Hey everyone, and welcome to Pokemon White, a new series we are starting after asking a few of you in our last Heart Gold video if we should play this game, and many of you like this idea. So here we are playing one of the best Pokemon games ever made, and please remember to like and subscribe, and also consider becoming a member as well to help support the channel. Yeah, and don't worry about our other series, all of them will still be continuing even Animal Crossing, even though those videos will be released on a slower schedule due to the fact those games become very boring after a while, whilst Pokemon is ever-changing and evolving. Yeah, so we hope you enjoy the video, everyone. Pokemon Black and White are my favorite games ever. The story is just so rich, and Unova is based off America, too. So as presidents, this is the perfect game for us. I agree with you, Donald, and I completely forgot that Unova was based off America, too. Be careful, Obama. Joe's dementia might be contagious, and you have been spending lots of time with him lately? Yeah, this game is so fun, and also I can't believe it's almost 15 years old now, boys, which is insane to think about. I was in high school when these games came out. Joe, 15 years ago, you absolutely were not in high school, you dumbass. But I agree, these games are some of the best ever. And then they went and made Black and White too, which was just as amazing. Please leave a comment down below on which versions you all liked out of Black and White or Black and White 2. Personally, I prefer Black 2 since Black Kyurem is so cool looking and really strong, just like me. Hang on there, Donald. Obama just named the character after himself whilst you were talking, thinking we wouldn't notice. Well, we fucking did notice Obama. So why did you do that without consulting us first? Joe, first of all, don't swear at me because I am your superior, remember? And second of all, you named yourself Biden in our Platinum playthrough, so it's only fair we name ourselves after me and Pokemon White here, isn't it? Can both of you be quiet and see what's happening? We are about to pick our starter Pokemon boys, and I already know who we will go with. Oh, look, there's a letter, guys. It says, I've brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely, Donald. Enjoy your Pokemon from Professor Juniper. Funny Joe, Professor Juniper never said my name in her letter, and also I already decided to pick Ushawat. Yeah, I like this choice, Donald. Its final evolution is one of the better ones. Although Embora is pretty cool too. All right, Joe, looks like we are about to have our first battles here in our room, which seems like a great idea, doesn't it? But anyway, don't lose. Donald, after playing Pokemon for the fourth time, now I've got enough skills to always be victorious in every situation, especially against this yellow-haired weirdo, Bianca. Um, Joe, why the hell aren't you attacking, you moron? It's called Strats Obama. I'm lowering her defense. OMG, Joe, you stupid idiot. You lost the first battle again. Yeah, and he's trashed our room now, too, the dipshit. Joe, seriously, how did you lose that battle? All you had to do was spam tackle. This wasn't an Elite Four battle, so you didn't need any strats. You just needed to turn your brain on. Well, look, Bianca is at least apologizing for our room getting destroyed, guys, and anyway, she rigged that battle, too, just like May did in our Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough. Yeah, and like how you rigged the election, too, Joe, but anyway, now we have to battle Sharon, and once again, please don't lose. I am going to take Obama's advice and spam our attacking move because he is the best Pokemon player I know. What are you both looking forward to most in this series, guys? For me, I really want to get a shiny Zorua and also use Pokemon I never used when I was younger, such as Scrafty. Scrafty reminds me of some hooligan teenager Obama and does not suit the team a president should be using. Nah, I like Scrafty Joe. It kind of reminds me of myself in many ways. LML. I also want to use a Haxorus too. Boys like Iris has in the anime. Her Axew was so cute. But then seeing it as a Haxorus brought tears to my eyes. LML Obama, you simp. But check it, boys. Our mom looks like a solid 10 in this game too. Donald, you gotta stop hitting on our mom. You could at least check out Professor Juniper, you know. Which, by the way, did you guys know that Professor Juniper was the first female professor in the mainline series games? Obama, who cares about pointless information like that? We all know who the best is, and also in this first episode, we are currently running the game at normal speed, and we'll see if we will continue this trend with the second episode or not, but for now, I am actually enjoying it quite a bit, guys. Yeah, these newer games aren't like Pokemon Diamond or Pearl in terms of speed, so we may keep this game at normal speed. But anyway, guys, check out the outside. Isn't it so pretty? True, Joe, the outside is very pretty, just like your wife. But anyway, first we need to head to Bianca's house because she's getting a lecture from her dad. Obama, what did you say about my wife? Joe, hurry your ass up and get to Bianca's house. We haven't got time to talk about Jill, and frankly, no one cares either. Well, I'm pretty sure I heard you say something about her. Elmo, look, boys, Bianca is getting ripped apart by her daddy because he doesn't want her going out on a Pokemon journey with two boys, which makes sense if you think about it. Elmao. 
Seriously, not having the running shoes to begin with is the dumbest feature in any game. It makes zero sense. That's true, Joe. And with you playing, this is taking 10 times longer. But anyway, we are finally heading to the lab. And I have the perfect nickname for our little blue otter. Guys, I forgot that this game was the first in the series to start having animated Pokemon battles too. That was a really big change. Oh yeah, I forgot about that Donald. But look boys, I named our Oshawott Yoshi from the Mario series if you didn't know who Yoshi was. All right, we just got the Pokedex guys, which looks like an iPod, but now we can finally head out on our new Pokemon journey. The first Pokemon in the roots up ahead are so shit though, Joe. And compared to Black and White 2, where we could find a Riolu right off the bat was pretty insane if you think about it. Also, you can get a Magby and Elekid in Verbank City, guys, and their final evolutions are absolutely insane. And when we start a playthrough of those games, we need them for sure. Ooh, yay, kids. Dear God, here we go, Donald. I'm gonna just ignore him, Obama, and wait till our mom stops talking because she's currently making me feel uncomfortable. But anyway, we got the town map now. And by the way, how do we enter that place in the middle of the Unova region? Oh, I know all about that place, Donald. That place you're talking about is called the Entrelink, I think. And it's a place for Wi-Fi based activities. Talking of Wi-Fi based activities, when we reach Castilia City, we need to do that Victini and Meloetta event. Oh, hell yeah, Obama, we need Victini, which is known as the Victory Pokemon, because we need all the luck we can get with Joe playing LML. Do you know what's funny about this part of the game? Bianca's like, we should take our first steps on Route 1 together like they have never, ever left the town before for the first 10 years of their lives, and this place doesn't even have a Pokemon Center or Pokemart either. Joe, once again, that's called story development, so just play the game, and we have a Pokemon catching tutorial now, too. OMG, I forgot this game has its own version of Whitney Boys being Lenora, the Nacrane City gym leader. Oh fuck, I forgot about her Donald. She was an absolute nightmare to deal with and her watchdog was evil. Why do they insist on making the second gym leader ridiculously difficult, but the first and basically everything after is absolutely easy? From my memory, Joe, they have only done that twice because in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, Gardenia was a walk in the park no matter who you picked. But yeah, Lenora is one tough cookie. All right, well, guys, I say we end this episode here since in the next episode we can head towards Accumulate Town and the next few routes. So if you enjoyed this video, then please like the video and subscribe and also consider becoming a member too if you'd like to help support the channel. Thank you and have a lovely rest of your day. Yeah, thank you, everyone, and Donald smells on mouth. Yo, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon White. We are in the Unova region today, AKA the USA. And today we will hopefully try to get to Stratton City and take on the yo, first yo, gym. Yo, 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 yo. So please remember to like and subscribe as we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, we are really close to 1,000 subs, everyone. It's amazing. And also, Joe, stop interrupting Obama's introduction all the time, you idiot. Donald, shut the fuck up. I am president and I will interrupt who I want. So why don't you go eat a pie or whatever it is you do to keep yourself looking like a Snorlax? Call me a Snorlax one more time, Joe. I dare you. Donald, you are the biggest, ugliest looking Snorlax ever. You are even bigger than a gigantic Snorlax. Joe's a moron, Snorlax. Joe's a moron, Joe's a moron. Donald's a, moron. a Snorlax, Donald's a Snorlax, Donald's a Snorlax. I am literally at my wit's end with you two. We aren't even a minute in, and you two are already going at each other. I swear to God, I will send you both to couples therapy after we are done here. Yeah, no thanks to Joe. We didn't catch any Pokemon and now look like a total loser in front of our friends. So thanks, Joe, for being a useless piece of shit as usual. Donald, who the hell would want to catch Lillipup or Patrat anyway? They are useless and pointless and no one ever uses them. You just described yourself, Joe. But anyway, boys, welcome to Akumla Town, where there is sweet fuck all to do except go see Professor Juniper and get the tutorial done with. Well, Donald, you are still a Gigantamax Snorlax, but also, why is this the first game in which they decide to actually take us inside the poke centers and show us how to heal our Pokemon, unlike the other games? I guess they think we are just idiots now, Joe, considering this is the easiest thing in the world to do, but I am glad they have decided to combine the poke marts and centers together. It just makes life easier. Oh yeah, Obama, it really is convenient because I hated going to heal than having to run over to another building just to buy some repels Once again, and proving you're a lazy that ass such Snorlax a Donald because you can't even be bothered to press some buttons to go to a virtual shop. So no wonder you're a Oh, just shut the man. fuck up, Joe. I have had enough of you now. I'm going to ignore you two arguing now. This is ridiculous. But anyway, this dumb tutorial is over and I think we should talk about Team Plasma Boys. What do you think of this evil team? 
Well, Obama, I feel Getsis and myself have a lot in common because we you both have, have the in same ideals and vision fatties. for our country. So I really like Team Plasma. LML Joe, I will give you that. But yeah, Donald, I do have to say you and Getsis are nothing alike at all. But I was talking more about what you both think of Team Plasma's vision. Well, Obama, their vision is to separate all people and Pokemon because in their view, Pokemon are slaves and being forced to go into their Pokeballs in battle. But I think their philosophy is wrong and a lie and basically the Republican way of thinking. Okay, Joe, just like I said in our Animal Crossing playthrough a few months ago, we need to keep politics out of our gaming sessions, but I do agree with you in that their philosophy is flawed as Pokemon have a choice to leave their trainers if they so wish, but they don't which shows we aren't forcing them, if we are kind trainers. And look guys, it's this weird Owen who thinks he can talk to Pokemon LML. You know, I remember N from the anime and his voice didn't vibe with me, but he was a cool character, IMO. Yep, and now I gotta battle him Obama. And in the anime, he never battled. So I'm not sure why they made him violent in this game. Well, he has one purloin, Joe, so this should be easy. And I really hate this Pokemon, it's so annoying. And Leopard always uses Fake Out, which is a joke of a move. Seriously, people just use that to troll. Oh yeah, Fake Out is such a troll move and a waste of time, and so is Detect. What are your favorite moves though? Boys, please comment down below and let us know what your favorite Pokemon move is. My favorite move has to be Draco Meteor. It's so cool. My favorite move is Sweet Kiss or Attract Obama because I love using all those moves. Joe, don't even favorite. finish that damn sentence seriously. Let's just move on and ask Donald. LMAO, he was going to say Youngsters Obama. But anyway, my favorite move has to be Judgment, which is Arceus's signature move. And the reason why I like that move the most is because it can change its type depending on which life plate Arceus is holding. And it just suits me. You know, Donald, I had a feeling you'd say your favorite move is Judgment. But anyway, boys, check it out. Our hot mom is calling us. And she is a solid 10, Obama, holy hell, I'm getting uncomfortable in my nether regions now. Donald, we gotta keep this video at least PG-15, so enough of that, but anyway, she has come all the way here to give us the running shoes, which shouldn't have taken this long to get. Joe, shut your mouth. You were the one making jokes about muck in our heart gold playthrough, and now you wanna act like a good Samaritan, all of a sudden you hypocrite. Yeah, Joe, he has a point. You were making muck jokes, so drop the innocent act and hurry your ass up to Stryouten City so we can get that gym badge already. Whatever you two, I felt a change coming along within me, so felt I should act on it as president. That's what we do, isn't it? Uh-huh, Joe, no one cares. Now get this battle done with, please. Oh, youngster Jimmy, how yummy. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go again, Obama. So much for PG-15. He never changes, Donald, but at least he's becoming better at Pokemon, don't you think? That's to be seen, Obama. After he beats Red in our Heart Gold playthrough, I will then give my verdict on Joe's Pokemon skills. I'm doing quite well. I think, boys, you both just don't give me enough credit at all. Hey, check it, Obama. That freak Bianca wants to battle you, LML. Yeah, and Joe, don't lose again, please, you idiot. We have water-type moves now, too, so we should win this hypothetically. That was a slight oversight, Obama, on my behalf, but don't worry, we have so won against this bish. Oh, she's leading off with Lily Pup, which is a joke of a Pokemon, to be honest. So yeah, I do feel quite confident in you, Joe, for once. My water gun move just took it down easy, peasy boys. But now it's time for her tepig. And that went down easy peasy too, Joe. So well done, you actually did something good for once, LML. Yeah, and look, Bianca says I am a tough cookie, boys, which is true. I love cookies and I am very, very tough. Right, welcome to Striaton City, guys. We finally made it. And now, Joe, we need to do a few things such as battle Charon in the trainer school and then head to the gym to take on one of the gym leaders. And in this gym, Joe, there are three leaders, but we will face Silen since we chose the water type, and he has a grass type Pokemon. This will be easy too, Obama, don't worry. Joe, we should probably evolve our Yoshi to a Duat since we don't have any other Pokemon with us right now. You know, that can handle a grass type. Donald, shut your mouth, I got this. Don't worry, we will beat Sharon, and then I will destroy this Silen fellow. Obama was raving about too. So just have some faith in me, will you? Yeah, that makes me even more worried. Now, Joe, seriously, Obama, can you tell him to train a bit, please? Well, I took down Snivy easily, Donald, and he's a grass type, so you are stressing way too much, buddy. Oh, great, it's Purloin again. Just destroy this piece of crap, will you, Joe, and head to the gym? All right, Joe, good stuff, but maybe you should train a bit because Silen is a really strong trainer, and I OMG, am OMG, sure I can't win. believe you both haven't got any faith in me, and you're meant to be my best friends in the whole world. All right, I'm all for watching you get obliterated here, Joe, so go ahead and embarrass yourself, you moron. Yeah, I got the popcorn Donald with extra butter for you, buddy. So let's watch this dumpster fire, and then we can rip into Joe L. Mao.
Look, he's got a lily pup too. Guys, this is gonna be super easy, just watch. Lily pup isn't our concern, Joe. And by the way, you could have got a pansier, which is the fire monkey, and we could have used him to fight again silent, which would make your life so much easier, Joe. But if you wanna make it difficult, then go ahead. Look, Lily Pup is already down, Donald, and now his pantsage will meet the same fate. And don't you both forget I am already the champion of both Johto and Kanto. Oh, and a big surprise to absolutely no one here, Joe lost the battle because he thinks, because he's president, he suddenly knows best. Yeah, does that remind you of anyone, Donald? But anyway, that was all part of my plan to gauge how strong Silan actually was. And now I know he's really strong. I did a shit ton of training and got our Yoshi to evolve into a Dewat. So now we 100% absolutely positively have won this battle. Uh, his HP is on 69, boys. All right, now watch me, boys. You will be so proud of me. And you already should have been, by the way, for evolving that Dewat. You know, Joe, I would have been way more proud of you if you listened to us in the beginning, because then we wouldn't even have to be here to begin with. Well, Donald, we wouldn't have evolved our Yoshi if I had lost the first battle. So why don't you look at it that way, huh, huh, huh? Oh, nice, Joe. You also got Fury Cutter, so we should have this battle in the bag for sure. Now I'm certain of it, but still, you're an idiot for not listening to us. Oh, hell yeah. And I got the crit on that one too, boys. And now we have our first gym badge, so yay, us. Yeah, it took you long enough, Joe. But anyway, boys, we should end this episode here. What do you think? Thanks for watching, everyone. And in the next episode, we will hopefully make it to Necreen City and take on the second gym. So please remember to like and subscribe for more. All right, fellas, we are back in the Unova region for some more of that sweet Pokemon white action. So please hit that like button and bell icon and subscribe too, so you keep up with our content. That's right, everyone, and today we will aim to get to Nacreen City and take on Lenora for our second gym badge. And I have a plan to catch two Pokemon in this episode, so stay tuned for that as well. Yeah, but first we gotta stop Team Plasma from literally beating up this Muna and saving it. And I think this is the first time we see actual gang warfare going on in Pokemon. Joe, what on earth are you talking about? Gang warfare? They are just beating up this Muna to get some of its dream mist, first of all. And second of all, there is no gang. It's just Team Plasma, you goon. No, this is gang warfare, Donald, because this is Muna's territory, and Team Plasma here are trying to take it over like some David Attenborough documentary. Yeah, sorry, Joe, but you have officially lost it now. We have no idea what you're on about, but anyway. Donald be a deer and take on these grunts with their piece of shit, Patrats. Obama, I know what I'm doing, I'm not Joe, okay? And anyway, I was thinking, boys, one of the new Pokemon we could catch whilst we are here is in fact a Muna. What do you two think? Having a strong psychic type this early in the game is quite rare. Actually, Donald, I wanted to catch a Blitzel since I've never used one, and having an electric zebra thing would be so cool, wouldn't it? It would also be useful for Skyla. Good shout, actually, Joe, I'm down for that. Oh, and when we get to Nacreen City, we so have to catch either a sock or throw, whichever one we encounter first. Yeah, they will help us beat Lenora too, Donald, so that's fine by me. But check it, guys, these two Team Plasma Grunts are still kicking this Muna, and it's just standing there taking it. I say this is Muna's fault for not standing up for itself. Well, it could be a baby too, Obama, so you have to also consider that. And Musharna has showed up now, look anyway, and is making Getz disappear in their imaginations. I could use some of that dream mist and dream about all the youngsters' phone numbers I got whilst we were in Johto. And there's the first creep comment from Joe in this video, and we are just over two minutes in. So thanks for that, Joe. Now do us a favor and shut your fucking mouth. And Donald, we have to go back to see Fennel and see what she will do with this dream mist for us. Oh yeah, it's for this Sea Gear shit Obama, which is basically for all the wireless communication stuff which we won't be able to use anymore ever since they shut down the DS servers so we can just ignore this entire part of the game. Oh, and this cute little girl gave us a journal so we can journal everything we have done in the game so far, boys. And can I just ask, who the hell actually spends their time reading it? I mean, if you just played everything that's written, why would you want to read it all again? Joe, can you stop analyzing everything in the game, please? And anyway, that journal is for people like you who can't remember what they did 10 minutes ago, so that's why they included it. Oh, looks like Sharon wants a battle, Joe, and you should be able to deal with his team, although he has that stupid purple cat. I don't know why, boys, but I hate Purloin so much, and Leopard, they're both so shit. And I want them all to be shot with Hyper Beam. Okay, well, that got dark pretty quick. You heard it here first, everyone. Donald J. Trump condones the mass genocide of Purloin via the use of Hyper Beam. Oh, guys, look, Fury Cutter is super effective against all of Charon's Pokemon. 
Good to destroy that purloin with it then, Joe. And that leads me to a question, boys. What do you both think is the least used type in all of Pokemon? I don't really see bug types popping up much, but saying that this game has a bug type gym. Well, I think that many people consider bug types to be weak. Donald compared to like psychic types or dragon, but I personally like them and they are super effective against psychic types too. I think normal types aren't used that much either though. Well, I have seen lots of arguments about ice having so many weaknesses too. Obama, which is true as well as grass, but after doing some research, most people seem to think ice is the worst. I can agree with that, Joe, but ice has sheer cold, which is a dope move, and will KO any Pokemon, even Arceus, if it hits. Yeah, but the key words in your sentence about sheer cold Donald are, if it hits, and that move has the worst accuracy ever. Okay, Obama, then what the hell happened with the move Fisher? Yeah, we won't be talking about that move, Donald, but check it, everyone. We caught a Blitzel and didn't name it as we wanted one of you to name it, so please leave suggestions for our newest Pokemon, and we will choose whichever comment has the most likes when we get to the name raider. Yeah, and now I am currently battling Team Plasma again to help rescue a Pokemon they stole from a little girl. And it just breaks my heart that someone would do something to a poor little girl like that. Yeah, I'm sure it does, Joe. And please leave a comment, everyone, about which type you think is the worst in Pokemon. We have a double battle now with Cher and Joe, so this next one will be even easier, and then we can head to Nacreen City, boys. I really like that the gym in that city is in the museum, too. It's a nice change instead of a random building. Oh, I swear these teams always use the same Pokemon, boys. Why do they do this? Yeah, Team Rocket always uses Zubat. Team Galactic does, too. But also Golbat sometimes as well. And Team Plasma always use Patrat or Purloin. They always use the same Pokemon because those are the ones which are available the most, boys. So they can just keep catching them. And it doesn't matter if they die because they will just get more. I think Team Rocket is the worst though because they actually killed that Marowak. In the Pokemon Origins anime, you see them pretty much murder it with an iron rod and that baby Kubone is crying. Yeah, that was pretty cold, Joe. And since then they had to make the teams more kid friendly because people these days are snowflakes and can't handle anything LMFAO. Oh, I would so vote Giovanni as president if he ran boys. I don't like Getsis, he is just weird and Cyrus is just straight up batshit insane. Team Skull is the dumbest of them all, but anyway, well done for beating Team Plasma Joe. Oh, and by the way, something I wanted to ask you both was if you think we should use Zekrom on our team? Well, that means we have to leave an empty space. Obama and a Pokemon I really wanted to add was a Litwick, because Chandelure is so awesome. And I also wanted to catch a Tynamo too. Oh, I agree, Donald. And in fact, a couple episodes ago, we got a request to add a Chandelure on our team, and I want a shiny one. So make that happen, Donald. And also, we can have Tynamo and Zekrom because they are both electric types, remember? Yeah, and I would say we use Litwick Donald and Ditch Tynamo in this playthrough since we will probably end up using Zekrom. And I also want to catch a new Pokemon when we reach Nacreen City anyway, as there is a patch of grass before we can enter Pinwheel Forest. Obama wants to use a Throw Donald and also name it after you because Throw is a fatty LMO. Joe, I never said that or thought about it. Even I just like using those fighting types. But now you mention it, naming Throw after Donald makes a lot of sense. LMFAO. Hey, if you guys haven't noticed, I have been pretty good lately and only got mad where necessary. And Joe also hasn't acted like an idiot either too, except when he brought out a fire type in Crasher Wake's gym in our platinum playthrough. You deserve to be abused for that one. Joe, seriously. Well, like I said yesterday, Donald and I will say again now, I fucking forget I had it as the first Pokemon in our party. And anyway, we didn't need Houndom for a battle with Wake. So I used that death as motivation to beat him. And I did so there, end of story. No, Joe, you just won't admit your dementia is getting worse. But anyway, boys, we finally made it to Nacreen City, and I love that this city is basically all recycled, which is something I wish I pushed more when I was president. But anyway, all the buildings here are warehouses, basically, but they have been converted. Check it, Obama. I caught a throw for you. It took me ages to find one, so I just cut to catching it because this thing drove me mad. Joe, why did you catch that thing in a pink ball, you idiot? That's so girly, OMG. Because I knew it would piss you off, Donald, and then when I name it after you, it will be even funnier, LMFAO. Okay, Joe, we have another battle with N now, and his team hasn't changed so much, but it makes me wonder for someone who loves Pokemon. What does he do with the ones we beat? Does he like just dump them somewhere or leave them knocked out LMAO? The guy is a walking contradiction, Obama, and that's why I hate him. Yeah, does that remind you of anyone, Obama? 
I just know there is someone who reminds me of the description Donald just gave. Joe, shut your mouth. No one cares about what you have to say, so just beat in already. Yeah, we did some training off screen too for the sake of time since pumping out videos almost every day already is a lot of work, so we hope you appreciate that. But with Joe battling, our time takes even longer. You know what, Obama, if we didn't pick Oshawott as our starter, I would so have loved to use Tim Pole since Seismic Toad is so cool and unique looking. Hey, I would also have loved to use Rog and Rolla or Conkledur, but they have trade evolutions, which is so annoying. Oh yeah, one of my friends traded me for a Giga Lith once, Obama, and it was such a fun Pokemon to use, and I wish they'd just ditch trade evolutions. Now it doesn't make any sense, and what if you're like Joe and have no friends? Hey, I have lots of friends, Donald, and I'm with two of them right now. You sure about that, Joe LMFAO? But anyway, well done for beating this weirdo, and now we shall take on Lenora for our second gym badge. Hang on. First, we have this tour of the museum, boys, and the funniest thing here is that Zekrom is just asleep as a ball in here and everyone is clueless to it. We could have just walked out with it right now, Obama LMFAO. Oh, and that reminds me, another Pokemon I want to use is Volcarona. We can catch one in the desert ruins, remember? Donald, you have rattled on about catching 10 different Pokemon when we can only have six. So let's ask our viewers instead on what they would like us to use for our team out of Chandelure, Zekrom, and Volcarona. And we also had a request a while ago to use Levani too. So please let us know, but regarding Zekrom, we may end up keeping it since they just force us to use it in the end game parts. Okay, fine, Joe. And also we cut the trainer battles in here for the sake of time again, as we have so much to edit. So now, Joe, it's time to take on Lenora. And she is basically Whitney 2.0 if we don't battle her, right? Yeah, and she has that move retaliate, which does more damage to a Pokemon if the other has fainted already or something like that, Joe. And oh, be careful of Intimidate. Wow, Joe, you idiot. Obama just warned you about Intimidate and you decide to send out Throw, which now has a reduced attack, so Seismic Toss will do jack shit to hurt here. Oh, um, yeah, sorry, Obama. I must have missed that, but don't worry. I will win this on my first try. And we have Thunder Wave, so we can paralyze her Pokemon too. See, I have 10,000 IQ strats. You only have Thunder Wave because we told you to teach it to Blitzel Joe. So don't give us that crap. And then you take all the credit for it. WTF, guys. I used Thunder Wave and this Herdier isn't getting paralyzed at all and just KO'd our throw. Why isn't he not attacking? Herdier knocked out Blitzel Joe, you idiot. And because Takedown does a lot of damage to us, but also recoil damage to the user is why it died so fast. And also Thunder Wave isn't a 100% guaranteed paralysis. Okay, now it's taken down two of our Pokemon, Obama. What the hell even is this battle? Lenora is literally Whitney. Well, she already used her Super Potion, Joe, so you should be able to take her to your out. And then her last Pokemon is Watchog, and we can use Fury Cutter against it, too. Oh, shit, and there's Retaliate, like Obama said, and it did so much damage. Wow. Yeah, but now it won't do so much damage, Joe. I think it's only on the first turn it does more damage than normal. So either use Razor Shell or Fury Cutter, but you will get Stab if you use Razor Shell. And I have so got this in the bag. His defense just dropped Obama, so one more razor shell and this doggo thing is one dead boy. Nice job, Joe, you won that, even though we lost two Pokemon, which shouldn't have happened. But anyway, congrats. And she will give us the TM for Retaliate now as well, I think. Yeah, we will get that TM Donald. But I don't think we should use it, at least not right now, but maybe before the Elite Four we could teach it if Joe can come up with another 10,000 IQ strat. Oh wait, boys, Team Plasma is here now. What the heck are they doing? I think that they believe this Dragonite statue is actually Zekrom or something, Joe, which makes no sense, but anyway, they stormed the museum to steal its head and see if it is, in fact, Zekrom, which, by the way, it isn't. Yeah, and now our friends are gonna show up with Berg, who is the third gym leader, Joe, and I think in the next episode we should deal with all this crap and get that Dragonite skeleton back for Lenora. So how about we end this episode here, boys? Sounds like a plan, Obama. So thanks for watching, everyone, and stay tuned for more Pokemon White. And check out the playlist in the description below for our other videos. And please also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content, as we love making videos for it. So thank you for all the love and support you're giving us, too. All right, everyone, we are back in Unova. And as you can see, trying something a little different in this episode, we are going to keep this one longer, first of all and at normal speed to see how you all think of this style compared to the others we have What's done. What's up, my peeps? And based on this reception, we will take it from there. But anyway, we hope you enjoy this episode, so please hit that like button and subscribe. Yeah, and Joe finally got the fucking audio working after I slapped him silly. 
But anyway, with these types of episodes, you guys may not see an episode every day. And we went over the poll we did the other day regarding upload schedules and the comments and the actual votes seem to be split. So we decided to try the style for a week and see what you all think. Yeah, so anyway, since we got the announcements out the way, boys, we can carry on with stopping Team Plasma from stealing that skeleton head from the Dragonite statue. And they've run off into Pinwheel Forest by the looks of it, Joe. Hey, hey, look, boys, two young girls all by themselves. And here we go, Obama, not even a minute in, and Joe has started his fetish thing again, the idiot. Well, Donald, if you've noticed, he only does this now and then these days, and in Sinnoh, he thought Bertha was a hottie. So I'm not sure if it's his dementia that makes him forget what he's into. But we should get through this battle as quickly as possible, I think, LML. We got some comments about what we should name our Blitzel. By the way, boys and I would appreciate you guys commenting down below and letting us know any more nicknames you might have for Blitzel, since it was a long time between this episode and the last one, and we want more of you to participate in this, and we will give you a shout-out, too. Good idea, Joe, and I am so glad we chose Blitzel. It has a really good variety of moves, and Flame Charge will help us a lot with the third I just learned Vital Throw Boys. Type gym. Yeah, as Donald was saying, as he rudely interrupted Obama, I just taught Throw Vital Throw since this guy is built like a tank, and with this move, we will clean up in the forest. I'm glad Donald isn't throwing a hissy fit and has accepted his new role as a fat karate Pokemon in this series, Joe L.M. Fayo. I don't care at all, Obama. You can make me anything you want now, since I got to be God in our Platinum series, and nothing you nickname me now will ever replace me being named after Arceus. In fact, I think we should get Arceus in this game, too. Yeah, that's going to be a big fucking no to Arceus Donald. You can't use him in every playthrough. But if any of our viewers know where we can catch a Tegepi, then we can name that Donald. Since okay, you don't Joe, I take back my him. statement. You can name me after anything but Tegekis. Fuck that Pokemon seriously, and if you are listening, Muta, don't you dare comment another random fact about how good Tegekis is and how it somehow held up to Arceus in my battle with Cynthia in the Platinum Final episode. Well, Donald, it's a fact that Tegekis actually did hold up to Arceus. And you were just salty about it still. I saw you bitching to Melania last night when you came over. Like how I am always a creep, Donald will always moan, but look, boys, this sand dial is a Pokemon some of the viewers suggested we use, and I actually really like it. Yeah, and I just one-shot it with Vital Throw, Joe, so it doesn't seem that good. Well, we already have three Pokemon, Joe. Currently, our team is going to be Dewat, Blitzel, Chandelure, Throw, Hydreigon. And then we have room for one more, and I still really like the idea of using an Electros. Holy shit, boys! I just realized we can get a Venolite, the fucking ice cream Pokemon I so need that please, 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 can we get that on our team, please? I can lick it all day then. Oh shit, Donald Joe found out about Venolite. Should we just deny its existence, or what do you think we should do? Um, I'm not sure Obama, and then when it evolves, it gets three fucking heads. So I think we should just overrule Joe and tell him we have another idea for a Pokemon to use. You two realize I'm sitting right here with you, right? And I can hear what you're both saying, too. It's not fair you won't let me choose what Pokemon I want to use. Either, guys, you two always decide, so why can't I? Joe, we choose Pokemon for reasons that are valid, such as choosing a Pokemon a viewer likes, or one because it's strong or cool, or because it's a dragon type. However, Vanillite is, and I'm not sorry when I say this, but it's none of those things, so go away with your dumb idea and come back when you have a better one. Just so you know, Donald, Vanillite would shit all over your dragon types because it's an ice type. I would like to make an observation about how crap these Pokemon Rangers are boys. Team Plasma is all over this forest and these guys want to pretend to be a Diglett and hide underground to scare unsuspecting 10-year-olds, which is one of Joe's pastimes, by the way. True, Obama. That is one of my favorite pastimes, actually, but you're right. I would be so ashamed if the rangers who look after the forest in our great country did this obscene behavior. Be ashamed of yourself then, Joe, you loser LMFL. But anyway, boys, I think we should save our sixth spot for Zekrom since the game basically forces us to use it. You know, Donald, I was thinking about that, and since we didn't use Giratina and Platinum, we could actually use Zekrom in this game since oh, it yummy, is a youngster. the box legendary. And then we can catch Kyrim later if you two want. Seriously, why is there a random kid all alone in this forest where Team Plasma is lurking about? It's only more experience for me if you get my drift, Donald. Hey. Oh, nice Avenipede boys, but be careful, Joe. It will most likely have the Poison Point ability. I remember using one of these in my Black playthrough a long time ago, and it was actually a really good Pokemon to use. I feel bug types don't get the credit they deserve unless it's a Sizer or Heracross. 
I agree, Donald, and using a sizer would be cool in this playthrough, too. But we would have to trade for one, and Joe, you better switch out to Blitzel because we can use Flame Charge. Yeah, Joe, you're killing me here with poison, bro. You know, I'm thinking we could switch throw out at some point, guys, because I'm starting to not like it anymore. It's so slow, and we only really caught it to battle Lenora, and now she's beaten. We won't need it, and we haven't even decided what flying type we should use either. We could have got a pit of Joe, remember, but I'm pretty sure Hydreigon can learn fly. I'm not wasting the fly HM on Hydreigon Donald, and I don't think we can even catch a Dano until way after we get fly and we need fly bad. I'm sure some of our viewers will suggest us a good flying type Donald, so you can stop crying about that. Look here is another fucking Pokemon we could have used if we didn't need to trade it to evolve it. Timber has got one of the coolest final evolutions, but they go and trash it behind a trade. It's fine, Obama. I can always call up the Russians again and hack in a shiny Conkledur for you, LMFAO. Donald, we won't need you to call them unless you two want to do the special events like we did in our Platinum playthrough, which I would really like to do, by the way. I'm pretty sure we can do the Meloetta and Keldeo events in this game. Oh yeah, Joe, we are so doing those events, but we can do it after we've beaten the game. And guys, I am actually more looking forward to us playing Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 since the post-game, for those are way more fun than this game. Yeah, did you two actually beat all the floors in the Black Tower or White City's Tree Tower thing? Uh, those were some really tough places to battle in, if I remember. But when you beat them, that Benga guy gives you a shiny Jebel or Dratini. Yeah, but who the fuck would want a shiny Gibble Obama? We already talked about how shit it looks, and anyway, a green Dragonite is where it's at in my mind. Although I would have loved the purple one too if they kept the color scheme the same. As much as I love Dragonite, the shiny version makes me want to throw up whenever I look at it. I'm sorry to say this, Joe, but I'm not really, but you have the same effect on me, too. Look, it's a pan poor, boys. We could have fought one if we chose Tepig in the beginning since one of Sillin's brothers has one. Pan poor is my favorite out of the three elemental monkeys, guys. He just looks like he's in the clouds all the time, smoking that cabbage elemao. Well, if he wants, I still have enough cocaine to last him his entire life, and when he evolves, he'll be able to handle even more. Yeah, Joe, we already have a water type, and... I don't particularly want you drugging our Pokemon up unless you have a stash of calciums and proteins, then we could really use those. I think we can only get them in the Driftvale market if I remember Obama, but we gotta earn a shit ton of money to buy just one of those, and I am not a billionaire in this game, so Joe go find some rich trainers and keep battling them so we can make bank, then buy all the steroids. Donald, we can only battle trainers once, you idiot, so why don't we just wait until we reach the Elite Four? and then we can battle them as many times as we want. And I will even find an amulet coin so we can double our earnings. Joe, you're the idiot, because if we get the VS Recorder, I'm pretty sure we can rebattle trainers, and then when we find the rich ones, we can just farm them like they're our crop and make bank off them. Google it. I'm sure you will find someone who knows who the richest trainers are in this game. Yeah, and Joe, what's the point of waiting until after we beat the Elite Four before using all the steroids on our Pokemon? when we're meant to get them drugged up before battling them so we can win you, dumbass. Oh yeah, you're right, Obama. I didn't think about that. Fine, by the next episode, I will Google who the richest trainers are, and then we can battle them off screen to make money and buy your drugs. Guys, now this Pokemon Ranger has a Panseer. We've battled all these monkeys again in this forest. Hey, that reminded me, did you two ever enjoy the Pokemon Ranger games or nah? I thought they were okay, Obama, but I enjoyed playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon more if we are talking spin-off games, and I am sure our viewers will want us to play one of those games once we are done with these series. Oh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was so good, Joe. I played Explorers of Time the most, but those 99 floor dungeons really pissed me off. Sometimes they took so long to get through, and I'm not sure I have the patience to get through them anymore. Oh, hell yeah, Donald, I remember those two, they were hell. But look, boys, we beat the last ranger in this dumb forest, and I think we can take on that last team plasma grunt for the skull. Yeah, but before we battle him, Obama, I am switching Blitzel up front since we basically took this whole forest on with Donald and I can't stand to look at him anymore and he only has one good move, which is just trash because he's almost level 20. Joe, once again, it's not my fault you caught that piece of shit. And you're lucky I didn't really have a meltdown about it either. And now look, you're the one bitching about it, LMFAO. Okay, Donald, I admit I took this L here, but when we get to Castilla City, I'm going to release Throw since he is really useless. But I will keep the Donald name on him because I think it's going to be so funny knowing there is a wild Throw wandering around Unova who will only respond to the name Donald. Well, if you release it, Joe, 
What Pokemon will you name Donald? Because we always have to have one Pokemon on our team at all times named Donald. You can name Zekrom after me, Joe, is what I suggest, but you obviously won't, so you can Fucking name right, Sandile we won't, after Donald. me. Yeah, legendary Pokemon don't get a nickname Donald because they are too cool for that. And your Arceus was an exception because you didn't stop going on about it throughout our entire playthrough of Platinum. But this time, I will not succumb to peer pressure. Joe, you could get peer pressured by a turnip, so I have nothing to worry about, LMAO, but hurry up and beat this guy, will you seriously? I want to get this done so we can head to Sky Arrow Bridge. That place is probably the most scenic place in Unova. Okay, I forgot about that place, Donald, and the music whilst we walk on it has to be one of the best scores in the entire series. It's so good. It's one of the seven wonders of the Pokemon world, Obama. And it is based off Brooklyn Bridge, too, I think, since Castilia is meant to be New York. Yeah, the devs rebuilt New York, Donald, except they didn't bother putting your tower in the game, did they? LMAO. That really rubs salt into the wound, Obama. I should find them $10 trillion for that. They even put the Game Freak building in Castilia and not mine. Donald, you always need to be reminded the world doesn't revolve around you, and we finally beat all these dumb grunts, boys, that took so damn long. Yeah, and now this sage has arrived to save him, Joe. I think there are seven of them, and at the end, we basically have to go find them all and get them arrested. That's the post-game LMFAO. Oh, and how convenient of both gym leaders to show up now, isn't it, boys? It would be nice if all three of us could have taken on all the grunts in the road together instead of them leaving it to the 10-year-old. I think Berg was too busy frolicking around with bug-type Pokemon in the forest, and he forgot why he was even here to begin with the moron. He probably was Joe, and he's probably the most forgetful gym leader in Unova. I would say Bryson is probably the most forgetful Donald, and then in Black and White 2, he just quits being a gym leader and decides to become an actor full-time because he probably got paid more as one LMFAO. Oh, nice boys. We got a Moonstone from Lenora, and with that, I think we can evolve Muna into Marshana if you want to go get one now, Joe. OMG, Donald. You can't keep changing the fucking team every five seconds. It's seriously stressing me out, and my Apple Watch is now beeping at me because my heart rate has gone over 120. Joe, your heart rate goes over 120 every time you breathe, so shut the fuck up and let me change what I want. We need to make sure by the time we wow, beat what a the lovely view, guys. leader that we have the most perfect team possible. It is indeed a lovely view, Obama. It's my favorite spot in the game. Did you two even hear what I just said? I said we need to have the most perfect team possible before we reach the eighth gym leader, which is why I am always coming up with new Pokemon to use, but apparently you two don't care about that. Oh yes, Obama, here comes that For banging tune as we make our way across the Sky Arrow Bridge. They should play this tune at nightclubs, and it would be lit AF instead of that Drac fellow they always play. Um, Joe, his name is Drake, but I agree wholeheartedly. And I love how we can see the trucks driving underneath the bridge too, probably delivering all those essential supplies to the Pokemon Center in Castilia City. Delivering all those lovely steroids we need to inject into our Pokemon Obama to make them ripped LMAO. But my bitching aside, this place is absolutely stunning. If any of you have a favorite place in Pokemon you'd just like to sit at, then please leave a comment down below. I love this place, and when I edit sometimes I listen to this theme tune in the background since it's so cheerful and always lifts my mood up when I'm having a long day with Donald. Well that's just rude Obama, but anyway, boys check it out, we've made it to Castilia City finally. That's right Donald, and this is where we will be ending this episode everyone, and please leave a comment down below as well regarding what you all think of this style of video. It's much slower paced than our sped up ones, but you do get a generally longer video out of that, so we would love some feedback on this. But in the next episode, we will check out Castilia City and take on the third gym, so please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Hey everyone, and welcome to part five of our Pokemon White playthrough. And the last episode for us was a kind of experiment to see what you all thought of the slower paced episode, but also in longer format. And basically everyone didn't care if the games were sped up, but you all preferred longer episodes. So going forward, that's what we will do. Yeah, and like we have mentioned before, we only speed up the game because it saved us hours from editing. And this has been something on our mind for a while now, as we only want to provide our viewers with the best content we can. And we can't please everyone. So we're going to meet in the middle here and keep the game fast but long. That's right, so we hope you all understand and we apologize for the slow and fast episodes, but going forward, this is probably how it will be. But anyway, let's get back to the game, boys. That's right, Donald. And we're just going to spend some time checking out Castilia City in this episode and take on the gym, too. 
But this place is probably the only city in Pokemon that actually reminds me of a city. Yup, and first of all, this is the actual Game Freak building, boys, and it's on floor 22. And the actual Game Freak building in Tokyo in the Carrot Tower is also on floor 22. So that's a pretty cool Easter egg they added here. Wait a minute, boys. So you're both telling me these are the actual people who made the game? Well, Joe, they aren't the actual people who made the game, but these are their avatars. They put in for a bit of fun. And when we become champion, we can come back here and challenge them all to a battle. And the director guy will give us a diploma for completing the Pokedex, too. Joe, did you actually think those are what the devs look like? Oh, yay, we can give our Pokemon a massage from this lady, boys. And no, Donald, I'm not that stupid. I just thought it was interesting how there is real people represented in this fictional game. Those massages will boost our Pokemon's happiness, Joe, but they're only really useful if we had a Pokemon that evolved from happiness like a Crobat, but they're still fun to do. Oh, yay, boys. That guy gave us the TM for rest. I wish I could use that TM. Joe, rest is a fucking HM for you, dummy. I second that, Donald Elmo, but Joe, go to the Plaza Center and talk to the dancer because we can get the amulet coin. Oh, yeah, hey, but Obama, I forgot to Google who the rich trainers are so we can farm them. Don't worry, Joe, we expected you to forget. But don't worry, because we don't need the money so much right now. And I already bought some super potions and revives earlier for you as well. Okay, thanks for that, Donald. And look, boys, another goddamn monkey. I swear we've come across these Pokemon more than any others in this game so far. Well, Joe, sorry to disappoint. But the other two dancers have the other elements, and that reminds me there's a guy on one of the piers who will give us the evolution stone for whichever monkey we want. Joe, go down here and we can find the secret cafe, which is where we can do the Meloetta event, if we ever get that Pokemon. These two look suspicious, boys. Call Officer Jenny, then Joe, and by the way, why do we never see her in the games, but she's only in the anime? Probably because the snowflake's getting salty that she would be the only police in the game, Obama. That's what usually happens. Hey, look, Donald, it's your favorite monkey again, and this one has been smoking that cabbage as well. Okay, but how the fuck does it take two shockwaves to kill it? I mean, seriously, we are electric and it is water, so it should die immediately. Donald, we need to be higher leveled and evolve Blitzel to Zebstrika. Yay, another dancer. And by the way, the name raider is here, so after the gym, we should go name Blitzel to one of the names as suggested to us by our viewers in the last video. Ah, we are getting attacked, Obama. Joe, calm down, you muppet. This guy is giving us the TM for Flash, which means we can light up dark caves. Yeah, but then he goes and hides again to jump out on someone else. Joe, seriously shut your mouth and man up. And I got a free lemonade from this guy too, Donald. Meloetta will dance and sing in here if we bring her here with the guitarist too. I don't condone smashing Pokemon Obama, but Meloetta is definitely a solid 10 in my book. And apparently I'm the creep. Joe, no one asked for your input, thank you very much, so go be a good little bitch and keep playing the game for us. He's picking the evolution stones up right now, Donald, actually. Joe, you better pick Panpour Stone because it is the best monkey, remember. Just to shut you up, I will, Donald, but we won't really need it or ever use it since we already have a water type with us, so what do you want to use it on? Joe, we can always use it on an EV to get Vaporeon LMFAO. Why is that funny? Joe, when we played Heart Gold, we told you to Google it, but if you still haven't bothered, then we ain't gonna tell you, buddy. Oh, that ship is the Royal Unova boys, but I think we can only get on it after becoming champion. Well, Donald let it sink in that Joe Biden will become the champion of a fourth region now, LMAO. That is something that wouldn't have happened without us, though, Obama, regardless of what Joe says. You two can say what you like, but I was the one who still battled 12 elite four members and three champions. And after beating Iris, I will have beaten four champions and 16 elite four members. So how about you let that fucking sink in, Donald? LMAO, Joe, you moron, you don't even know who the champion in this game is. Yeah, but what he said is still true, Obama. He would still have beaten four champions. And the champion of this region is Alder Joe, not Iris yet, anyway. She is the champion in black and white, too. Oh, yeah, I remember now, Donald. I couldn't beat her stupid Haxorus. Well, Joe, to upset you even more, because we are playing in winter, you can't buy any Castilla cones until spring. So no ice cream for you, Joe El Mao. What the actual hell, guys? You two told me I could have some Castilla cones if we came here. Well, Joe, we are currently recording this on a Sunday, and you can only get them on Tuesdays anyway, so we wouldn't even be able to get them even if it was spring or summer. Well, I must say I'm quite upset now, and I shall take my rage out on this last dancer and his Simisir monkey. Well, whilst you do that, Joe, I was reading some of the comments in our last video, and lots of people have gone between choosing Braviary or Sigilif as our flying type boys. People suggested Braviary as it's the symbol of America being an eagle, pretty much. 
and how it would suit us a lot, and some suggested Sigilift because of its move pool and because it's cool. So what are we saying about this? Okay, well, Donald, those are some very valid reasons from our viewers. And I do like the idea of having a Sigilift since it is part psychic type 2. But Braviary is indeed an eagle, and I love them. And also that video of you being scared of one in your office is fucking hilarious, LMFAO. Oh yeah, Obama, the fact that Donald is scared of yeah, eagles is enough for me scared. to vote on Braviary. Donald, you don't need to admit you're scared because that video of you is enough to prove that you are indeed scared of a bird. And our national bird at that which makes you look even more stupid as an ex-president. Oh look, boys, they formed their dance group. Isn't it so cute? Yeah, and after all that shit, we finally got the amulet coin, Joe. So between this episode and the next one, if you haven't found out who we need to farm with the VS Seeker, then I will make sure you won't be champion of Unova too. Donald, I said I would find them and I keep my word unlike you, so shut your mouth. Okay, Joe, let's bring it back to the story now and you won't actually be able to take on the gym right now because Team Plasma have been causing trouble. Yeah, you need to head to the main pier, Joe. And this whole part of the game is so fucking stupid and it's all Bianca's fault too. You know, Bianca in the black and white anime was so annoying and it kept getting boring that she always pushed Ash into a fountain or some lake. And now in this game, she's just as annoying. Yeah, well now she's gone and had her Pokemon stolen from Team Plasma, which is such a Team Rocket thing to do, by the way. Yeah, Team Plasma's thing is separating people from Pokemon, but this one goes and steals Bianca's and then starts using it. Okay, but how does one even get their Pokemon stolen to begin with? Like if she had a battle and lost, I would have just returned the Pokemon to its Pokeball. And then they wouldn't be able to do anything about that. And if I can come up with that idea, then Bianca really is an idiot. Preach that shit. Joe Biden, preach. Hey, isn't that the captain of that boat the father of the Verbank City gym leader has? Because this is the pier we arrive at in Pokemon Black and White 2 when we first arrive at Castilia City, boys. And her dad was the boat captain. Yeah, you're right, Donald, but also no one cares now. Look, boys, I switched Blitzel and Dewat around because this guy had two sand dials on his team. We are about to fight. Yeah, but your key move is Razor Shell Joe, and those sand dial have the intimidate ability. Which Who's the champ, Obama? Who's the champ? Who's the champ? Oh, wait, it's fucking me. So don't give me any BS advice. Thank you. All right, Joe, that was uncalled for, and just because your champion doesn't give you privilege over us. Yeah, Joe, cool it because you're starting to sound like a certain actress playing Snow White, who I won't name, but will actually name Cough Cough Rachel Zelga. All right, Donald, as funny as that was, we didn't need to go there, LMFAO. Obama, we so did need to go there. You don't understand how pissed off I am about this Snow White situation. That movie was goaded and now it belongs with the rest of what Disney has made. In a trash compactor. Okay, well, Donald, I'm sure that Bianca, as stupid as she is, is also pissed off that her Pokemon got stolen. So how about we bring it back to that, huh? Yeah, so Getsus here is currently going on a rant about the legendary white Pokemon of Unova, which of course is Rashiram, and how a hero united with Rashiram to stop everyone in Unova from fighting and thus uniting them. Wow, Obama, somehow you managed to combine the entirety of Unova's history into a 10 second speech, but still got all the facts right, LMFAO. Yep, and that's why I was the best president our country ever had, Donald. It's all in the writing. So if we played black version, then Getsis would be spewing the same shit, but about Zekrom, wouldn't he? Pretty much Joe. And I mean, Iris is the eighth gym leader, and instead of trying to stop Getsis, which she probably could, she just stands there and demands them to give Bianca's Pokemon back. Oh, look, boys, they left an item on the ground over there. I wonder what it could be. Joe, calm your pants down. There isn't a 10-year-old in there. It's just a smoke ball. And I am so glad Bianca's drama is over with, because now we can focus back on the gyms and I suggest switching to Blitzel Joe because Flame Charge will be very useful in there. Already on it, Donald, and here we go, boys. I shall be taking on the third gym now in our Pokemon White playthrough, and I'm super excited to take down some bugs and get our Blitzel closer to evolving. Yeah, I am glad they stuck a bug-type gym in this game, even though they aren't difficult at all to deal with. And you would have to be the biggest moron on the planet to lose to one on the first try, but it's a good change from having a rock or water-type gym, in my opinion. I agree, Obama, you would have to be the biggest, most stupid, idiotic piece of trash to lose to a bug-type gym on the first try. Isn't that right, Joe? Don't you agree? Yeah, I am glad there aren't any of those around here, Donald. Oh, yeah, you might find Dwebble in here too, Joe, which is a rock type, and Berg has one too, so we should use Dewat for those. But they're so annoying because they usually have the sturdy ability, which just pisses me off. I think Dwebble is so cute though, and it's also quite underrated as well. I believe I haven't seen many people using it ever actually. 
and speak of the devil, here he is, Joe. And Sillin from the anime actually catches one, and it evolves into Crustle, which is also a really cool Pokemon. And I'm surprised it took them this long to incorporate a hermit crab style Pokemon as well. Yeah, we could use one when we do a playthrough of Pokemon Black and White 2. Yeah, I am really looking forward to playing that Donald, mainly because of the repel feature. But after this game, we will then move on to on our Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough and then Violet. And we can do all the new DLC shit later on, if everyone wants to see that. This gym puzzle is so annoying, boys, because I can never remember which switch opens what, and then some have a clown under them, whilst others don't, and it's all just so confusing for me. Yeah, I agree, Joe. This gym isn't the best in this game for me. I love the Humalau gym, but that one is only in black and white, too. And it's super interesting how the final gym in that game is a water type gym, too. Yeah, I don't think anyone struggled beating that gym Donald since everyone had really strong Pokemon by that point. And you could even have legendaries with you at that point, too, since Cobalion and Verizian just hand themselves over to the player. Hey, talking of Cobalion, what do you think of his new paradox form or whatever it's supposed to be? Personally, I hate it. And they made Raikou look like a fucking giraffe, too. Yeah, they really did Reiko Dirty Joe, and I wonder what they will do with Entai next, since he is the last Pokemon out of the legendary dog trio. They will do him dirty too, Obama, just watch. They will probably turn Entei into a hippo or something, and then I bet they will move on to Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres, and butcher them as well. Guys, I'm feeling so confident for this gym battle, since Blitzel and I have destroyed everything in this gym. I hope it will learn another Fire-type move later on, though. Well, Joe, let's put that confidence to the test now, and he has three Pokemon on his team. This first one is actually the second evolution of Venipede. Okay, Joe, that flame charge did nothing, so you are definitely gonna struggle here, LMAO. But how the hell is this purple bug ball surviving my fire type moves? It doesn't make any sense. And his poison tail does so much damage to us, Obama, what the hell? Well, it would Donald since it has same type attack bonus, which means moves used by the same type as the Pokemon get a boost in power. Such a nerd that you know that Obama, but Joe, maybe if you start using Shockwave, we will also get that stab boost too. Donald, I am the champion, not you, and I know type matchups now as well, and fire will conquer in this gym. My Blitzel is like the fire nation, and this gym is the puny little air nation. Well, Joe, your so-called fire nation just got beaten by the air nation LMFAO. Yeah, and anyway, Joe Skyla's gym would be the air nation since she's the flying type, and I guess this would be a bug nation. Joe, you gotta be careful here too, since Levani has Razor Leaf, and oh, it will shit. KO our Water Nation Pokemon. Yep, and there goes the Water Nation too, Joe. So back to the Fire Nation, huh? I swear to God, I will start blood bending this dude in a minute, boys. He is really getting on my nerves and is also definitely hacking since his bugs are immune to fire for some reason. I see those super potions we bought you are really coming in handy now, Joe. But remember what we said, Obama, when we first arrived at this gym? Yeah, we said you would have to be the biggest moron on the planet to lose to a bug-type gym, Donald LMFAO. You two rigged this shit, didn't you? There is no way I lost that. Cry me a river, Joe, you did lose because you're useless. So let me take him on again and watch how a real champion squashes bugs. You two knew I would lose this battle, didn't you? That's why you made those comments before we entered the gym. I haven't lost a battle in ages, so I do not accept this, and also we will never talk about it again. Nah, sorry, Joe, as your friends, it's our duty to remind you of your shortcomings, and you have a lot. So we will never let you forget this battle, even with your crazy dementia issues and general idiocy. All right, Donald, this one is on you now, and you better not fail, otherwise I will be the only one left among us who has brain cells remaining. Obama, I thought you would have at least some confidence in me, and comparing me to Joe is probably the most insulting thing you can do. Well, when we get to the next route, we will catch that sand dial everyone wants and we will train it up and use it for the next gym, since Elisa is an electric user, and you will see how Joe Biden tears that supermodel up. I will really put my type matchup knowledge on show. Okay, I might have to agree with Joe here, Obama, because Berg's Pokemon is paralyzed and yet still got two poison tails in. This is such BS. Yeah, this gym is quite sus if you ask me too, Donald, because he's gone and used two hyper potions, and usually gym leaders at this point in the game won't do that. If you lose this, it's okay. Don't worry, bro. You can always try again. And he's gone and used another one. What the actual hell? How come you gave nice supporting words to Donald and not to me, Obama? I could have used that after losing to him the first time, you know. Because Joe and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but Donald hasn't been the one going on about how great of a trainer he is 
unlike you constantly raving about being the champion of four regions. Boom! Yes, boys, I one-shot that Dwebble. See, that's how a real champion operates, Joe, you goon. If you had given me the chance, I could have also taken Dwebble out in one move, Donald, you know. It's not my fault you got lucky in this battle and Berg switched out to Dwebble for his second Pokemon instead of Levani. Yeah, well, he didn't for you, Joe, did he? So tough luck. And now watch as my Fire Nation Zebra takes out his Weird Mantis Pokemon. It is a really good Pokemon, though, Donald, and you even agreed that it was. Yeah, this Pokemon would make a better replacement than Kamala Harris, Joe. And on top of that, she's even named after that koala Pokemon from the Alola region, LMFAO. And there we go, boys. Donald clutched this battle for us. Donald, you got so lucky in this battle, OMG. I could have also beaten him if my battle had played out exactly like this one did. And now I'm never going to hear the end of how I lost to a bug gym, which is the worst part of this whole ordeal. You know what, Joe, after beating this gym, I feel like playing the next few ones myself since we've let you have most of the game time. And now I feel I should get more chances to play since I'm clearly better than you. Well, Donald let Joe take on Elisa, and depending on how well he does, then we can take it from there. And Joe, I have some news for you regarding Vanillite. Oh yay, the ice cream Pokemon. What news do you have for me, Obama? Can we catch it now? Um, no Joe. Because one of our lovely viewers suggested to us that we save Vanillite for Black and White 2, since Iris is the champion. And that makes a lot of sense, since she loves her dragon types. Oh, it seems Bianca wants to battle us boys, so she told us to meet her in the gate before the next route. And guys, I thought we were going to play Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux, which is the ROM hack version of Black 2. Well, Donald, I didn't decide what version we would play because we have so many other games to play, so I suggest we put it to a vote later on after we have played Omega Ruby and Violet. I only brought it up Obama because the ROM hack versions have fairy type included in them, which the normal black and white two didn't have, which means we wouldn't have to use that ice cream piece of trash at all, LMFAO. Hey, not a bad shout, Donald, but first we need to change the name of our Blitzel. And we asked you all for suggestions in the last video, and one of regular viewers who calls themselves Gazilla00x chose the name Pundamelia, which is Swahili for zebra. And we love that name since it's unique, so that's what we're going with. Hey, that's such a cute name, Obama. But I am not happy about this whole Vanillite situation. If you guys choose Blaze Black 2 Redux, then you'll just use fairy types to spite me, which isn't fair. Yep, that's exactly right, Joe, because we don't give a shit about your Pokemon choices or any choices you make, actually. You lost to a fucking bug type, Jim, which means you're at the bottom of the pecking order now and you can watch me destroy Bianca. Well, Donald, wasn't I always at the bottom of the pecking order? LF Mayo, you said it, Joe, not me, but to answer your question, yes, you have always been at the bottom. If you want to rise up, however, you have to beat the entire Elite Four with a team of absolutely shit Pokemon, which we could let our viewers decide upon. Be careful, Donald Blitzel just fell asleep, and I 100% back this idea. For fun, at the end of this series, our viewers should comment some Pokemon they think are so useless. And Joe, you have to beat the Elite Four and champion with them to prove your worth after losing to that bug-type gym, El Meow. All right, I am so down for that, boys. Bring it on. Okay, this battle is basically over, and then we can head into the next route and catch that sand dial. And I have the perfect nickname for it, boys. God, it better not be something dumb again, Donald. We need sand dial to have a really cool name like Al Capone or something since its final evolution reminds me a lot of a gangster. Trust me, Obama, my name does fit with what you suggested, but it is way better. And guys, this next route is probably the most annoying out of all of them. It's so long, and the constant sandstorm in the battles drive me nuts. All right, and the first Pokemon we encounter here is Sandile, boys, so good stuff. I guess this Pokemon isn't that rare to find on this route at all. Yep, and Joe, you seriously need to buy some useful poke balls because I had to throw another heel ball at Sandile and I refuse to have a full party of Pokemon with pink balls. I am a man and refuse to have girly colors. Thank you very much, this is unacceptable. And Donald the misogynist is back again, Obama or whatever this is called. Um, Donald, what is that nickname you gave Sandile? I have named our Sandile after the two famous gangsters who used to basically run London called the Cray Twins. And any of you haven't seen that movie about with starring Tom Hardy called Legend, then I suggest you do if you want to be as cool as me, Donald J. Trump. Um, okay, well, I guess we should end this episode here, boys. So thank you for watching, everyone. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon White. Today, we will battle some trainers with our new sand dial. 
Explore the dessert ruins and take Elisa for our fourth gym badge, so please hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Joe, first of all, why are you doing the intro? And second of all, it's the desert ruins, not dessert, you moron. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. And first off, we have this battle with Sharon, and I love how he gets straight to the point and battles unlike Bianca, who keeps talking for 10 years before we do anything. Yeah, and when we hit level 28, our Blitzel should evolve into Zebstrika boys, which means we will get our first fully evolved Pokemon already, which will be so useful for Skyla. I hope this zebra evolves Obama because its fire type moves are doing fuck all to this Servine Charon has, and it's a grass type. This happened the other day when we battled Berg for our third gym badge, and our fire type moves did nothing to his bug types. Donald the Carpenter never blames his tools. Joe, shut the fuck up with your philosophy bullshit. Who do you think you are, Dr. fucking Zeus? Not him, Donald, but I do spend a lot of my time reading Sun Tzu, and that guy is one mad lad. Okay, well anyway, boys, back to the game. We got a pretty good reception from the way our last video was styled out. So going forward, that's how we will take things since you all loved it. And also there was more conversations about using a Brivia Oh yay, our cute little too. horse is evolving boys. Um, yeah, Joe, shut your mouth, bro. I was talking and telling our viewers about bravery and Sigilyph. Yes, and we have decided to go with Braviary because it's the best Pokemon that perfectly represents us presidents. Well, me and Obama anyway. And Abra represents Joe since all it does is sleep, LML. Donald, if you don't watch your mouth, I will catch a Munchlax and evolve it into a Snorlax and name it Donald because all it does is eat like you, Mr. Fatty Pants. Okay, well, it seems Professor Juniper wants us to meet her at the next gate before Nimbasa City Boys. And by the way, that Snorlax joke doesn't work, Joe, because it also sleeps a lot like you. So if anything, Snorlax is a combination of both your natures, LM Feo. Whatever Obama Donald is still a Snorlax in my eyes, and check it out, boys, it's a Darumaka. They are so cute, OMG. Okay, Joe gotta agree with you there. Darumaka is adorable, and we could have used one, but we are getting Litwick, so we won't need fire coverage. I also don't like Darmanitan much anyway, it has a weird face. I'm sure Darmanitan thinks the same about you too, Donald, but yeah, its smile is quite creepy. I think its Zen mode is pretty cool though, and outside the Relic Castle, there is a bunch of them just hanging out. Obama, I have no insult for you actually, except we don't actually need to head to the Relic Castle right now since we have to go there later anyway. Well, Donald, I think we should go there because we can get the TM for Rock Tomb, which is somewhere in the desert resort, I think. And there are some trainers we can battle, so we can train up a bit too. Oh, sorry, Joe, I thought you were the champion and the best ever. So you didn't need any training, and then the other day you went on a rant about how you've beaten 12 Elite Four members, soon to be 16. Well, Donald, I am in fact the best Pokemon trainer ever. And I was just giving you some advice as you insisted on playing today. And since I am the champion, I thought you could use it. Yeah, seriously, Joe, don't wear it out. Oh, okay then, Donald, I won't. Let's hear it for me, Joe Biden. Who the champ? I'm the champ. Who the champ? I'm the champ, yay! Dear God, Donald, what has happened to Joe? I have no idea, Obama, but he's either been possessed or he's been snorting the cocaine before we record every episode now. But if you ask me, I think it's a combination of both. Nah, I am just absolutely goaded, Donald, and look, we just got the TM for Dig. That's another move we could teach to our sand dial if you two want. Not actually a bad idea, Joe, since it would be useful for Elisa's gym. However, she has a fucking Emolga on her team, which is so annoying, and that flying yellow bat thing always uses Volt Switch. Volt Switch is such a cheap move, Obama, and there is no way I will allow our zebra to have that move ever. Wow, so you actually listened to me and went to the desert resort, Donald, but I wouldn't call this place a resort. It's literally just a desert with a constant sandstorm. There is no way I would take my kids on holiday here. Joe, I can't believe this, but this is the second time I am agreeing with you today. I should rip this land apart, including that dumb castle, and build a Trump Tower here and turn it into a real resort. This place will be getting a one-star review on Yelp from Joe and I, Obama. Want me to include your name too? Oh hell yeah, Donald, this place deserves negative stars on Yelp. It's complete dog shit. Joe, why the fuck did you want us to come here seriously? And Donald, why did you listen to him? Obama don't blame me. Joe kept going on about how he's the champion and knows best and to shut him up. I came here so don't Donald, get mouthy with me. Donald, you shut the me. fuck up because I do know best and we had to visit this place to get the TM for Rock Tomb since we can teach it to Sand Dial Joe, don't you dare get mouthy Elisa's with me gym. either. This is all your fault that Obama is yelling at me. I will be as mouthy me. as I want with you, Donald. Go to hell. Go be mouthy with your fucking youngsters, Joe. That's all you really want. And you just made me come here to stall me from battling Elisa since you're salty. I'm Donald's not letting a moron. You Donald's her. a moron. Donald's a moron. 
Are you two finished or is this fight still going on? Obama, it's not fair that Donald gets to battle Elisa when I have battled all the other ones, so I deserve to battle the fourth gym too. Happy now, Joe? I picked up the TM that started this whole fight, so I hope it was worth it to you. And you will probably forget to teach it to Sandile anyway, because after all this, I'm sure as hell not going to. Fuck you, Donald. I will teach it to Sandile myself later and then catch a patrat and name it Melania LMFAO. Keep my wife's name out your fat mouth, Joe. Damn Donald about to Will Smith this argument up now, Joe. Be careful, you might get a big smack in the face. I don't want to be Will Smithed in the face by Donald Obama. Okay, well then I suggest you two make up and then we can leave this shithole because I want to get to Nimbasa City and check out everything there before we end this episode. Joe started it this time, Obama. I mean, you didn't even want to come to this place either, but just because I voiced my opinion, he starts getting mouthy with me. Well, look, Donald, we've left the desert now, and I'm happy you got my TM so we can head to Nimbasa and take on Elisa finally. There are also some football stadiums we can check out there too, and some trainers we can battle if you two want. We can visit the football stadiums in the next episode, Joe, because Bianca has another meltdown with her dad there, and there is also the battle subway we could do in the next episode too if you want. Oh, nice Professor Juniper gave us some ultra balls, boys. Finally, we get some good balls to use in this early in the game as well. Great. So now I can stop using those ridiculous pink ones like we're characters in the fucking Barbie movie. I will never use those pink piece of crap balls again. Actually, Donald, most of the balls only provide aesthetics, but at least the heel ball heals Pokemon when they are inside them. Then why the hell do they have to be colored pink if they are so useful? Jesus Christ, Donald, stop bitching and save this old man from Team Plasma. They seem to be threatening him. Yeah, Team Plasma is attacking this poor old man, Donald. And by the way, he gives us the bicycle when we defeat them. I miss the acro bike and the mock bike from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, though, boys, because ever since then, we only got one type of bike. And then in Pokemon X and Y, they gave us roller skates of all things. I mean, seriously? The acro bike was so fun, Obama. I can't do wheelies anymore because I'm so fat, so doing them on the bike in Emerald was all I had, and then they went and got rid of it. That sounds like a personal problem, Donald. Joe, you are really being a sassy little diva today. I don't know what's come over you, but it needs to stop right now. Donald, I love you. Um, okay, well, welcome to Nimbasa City, everyone. We didn't formally introduce our arrival here because of the other two. So if you're liking what you are seeing, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe as we heal our Pokemon and check out Nimbasa City. Yeah, love you too, Joe. And that guy was saying he got the HM for strength in the house behind the Pokemon Center, boys which we need to explore the dream yard, but other than that, I can't think of any other places we need it, really. There's lots of places in Victory Road where we will need it, Donald, and I don't think we can beat the game without strength either, so we can use it on a HM slave if you want. Such a Democrat thing to say, Joe, but sure, we can teach it to that Patriot we have sitting in our PC box later. And guys, this city really pisses me off. I think Nimbasa City has lots going on in it, though, Donald. Not as much as Castilia, but I still like it. The stadiums at the back are super cool and nice to have instead of the usual houses everywhere. Undela Town has some of the best music in the Unova region, though Obama, and in black and white too, they built that aquarium tunnel there, which we can walk under and see all the Pokemon swimming about. It's so cute, hey, hey, hey. You know, boys, I saw some comments in the last video from our viewers saying they want us to play Blaze Black 2 Redux because they want to see me suffer, apparently. I didn't know those games were that difficult. And I also find it so mean they want to see me suffer too. If you ask me, Joe, I find it hilarious that our viewers said that. And yes, those games are very challenging and we can even change the difficulty of the game as well to challenge mode, meaning all the trainers Pokemon will be way more challenging. Okay, but why did they have to single me out? Because Joe, you have been raving about how good you are and that you're the biggest champion ever. And when we play that game, we will put your words to the test, LMFAO. But anyway, boys, I think it's time we head for the gym. Oh great, it's this guy again, Obama, and he's kidnapping us to ride with him on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, N here is telling us that he's the so-called king of Team Plasma, which makes no sense to begin with because kings rule land, and this guy has no land. And also in the anime, he hated Team Plasma, so I'm not sure why he's so friendly with them in this game. Well, Donald, in the anime we find N during the time of Black and White 2, I think. And in those games, he hated Team Plasma, which fits in well with the anime, except Team Plasma wants Reshiram instead of Curem. Okay, Donald, time to concentrate because the so-called king wants a battle with us now, and he has a sand dial too. 
Yeah, but our one is way better than his one, and anyway, every time we battle him, he changes his team and probably leaves his Pokemon for dead. Oh yeah, we got that move he just used, boys. It's called Embargo, and I think it will be so useful for all future battles, as it will stop our opponents from using any items on their Pokemon. The Elite Four will stand no chance now, since all they do is spam full restores. Yeah, we are keeping that move, Donald, and probably got to find some PP-ups to increase its power points so we can use it on every Pokemon in battles especially when some opponents have a full team of six Pokemon. Okay, what the hell he took out our Sandile with his Scraggy. He is using hacks for sure, boys, because that's just not possible. Well, it is possible because it just happened, didn't it, Donald? And at least we have our Zebstreka now. It's so OP, boys. I love it. Oh, shit, I should have used a Watt for this battle. I probably messed up here. Um, yeah, Donald, what you just did is something I would expect Joe to do, but instead you messed up, and now our Zebstreka has just died to its own confusion. How did you manage that, you dumbass? Oh, um, well, um, Obama, see, it was actually Joe's fault because he distracted me by looking at me. Donald, you are way more uglier than I am, and just because you got cozy with Stormy doesn't mean shit. You probably paid her LMFAO. Oof, sick burn there by Joe Donald. If I were you, I wouldn't take that and now look and got up close and personal with us. Well, Obama, I am about to get up close and very personal with Joe because he has been acting like a major dick throughout this episode, acting like he's me or something. Fine, Donald, I will stop, but you do realize after spending almost every day with you, your huge ego is starting to rub off on me, and my weak mind can't stop it. But anyway, well done for beating N, and now I think we should take on Elisa. Yeah, and our sand dial is going to absolutely slay in there, Joe. And also, this gym is actually one of the best because every trainer in there is rich like me, and they give out a lot of money when we beat them. I hope you have the amulet coin on our first Pokemon, too. Oh, great. And this young lady has the most annoying Pokemon Obama mentioned earlier. And our sand dial has nothing to use against it. So we need to switch out Donald. Well, I shall switch to our zebra boy Joe since electric type moves won't do much damage to us then. I think flame charge will be your best bet against Amolga Donald since it flies. And we don't have any other better moves right now. And if we use Dewat in here, it will get destroyed. Hey, I have an idea, boys. After we beat this gym, if we evolve our Dewat, then when we get to the fifth gym, we will destroy that place. Because that's a ground-type gym, and Samurott will slay in there. Well then, Joe, you can waste your life leveling up Dewat, because the only thing I can be bothered to do is battle the gym leaders in Elite Four, as I am way above doing normal training. That's for peasants like you. Donald, this girl has two Amolgas, what a troll. And by the way, Dewat is so close to evolving now, too. And we should evolve it anyway because the levels of Elisa's Pokemon are already very high. Okay, Donald, we only have one more trainer battle left and the next girl also has Emolga. I swear they made this Pokemon just to piss the player off in this gym. There's no need for it to exist. Well, at least she only has one Emolga Obama and that reminds me. Iris has one too and hers is really high leveled. Joe, I wouldn't worry about Iris's Emolga because by the time we get to her, we will have a fully evolved team and we will have a crocodile too, which will be so OP. All right, nice, Donald. We beat all the trainers and now it's time to battle Elisa and I think she's quite easy to be honest. And with you battling, I'm not actually worried. Joe, however, would probably try take her whole team on with Dewat though, LMFAO. Oh my fucking God, it's Emolga again, boys. This is getting ridiculous now. Oh yeah, and this one has Aerial Ace Boys, and that move never misses either, if I remember correctly. So Donald, I would keep spamming Crunch What the hell, she you. got a critical hit, Joe? What was that you said earlier, Obama, about Elisa being easy? It's fine, Joe. We still have lots of revives to use, but I'm still not worried about her, and also we can use Embargo to stop her healing too, Donald, so don't forget that. These gym leaders love using items for some reason. Oh, I forgot she has a Zeb streak of her own Donald. You should have gone head-to-head -head with her one and ours to see which is the superior zebra. It's obvious ours is the superior Zebra Joe, but how the hell does her flame charge do so much damage to our ground type? That also makes no sense. Nothing in this game makes any sense. Now you are starting to see and feel the pain I have been going through, Donald, and you always gave me crap about it, so I hope you understand how the AI here trolls us so much. Donald, why the hell would you use an electric type move on her Zebra, you idiot? It has lightning rod too, and now her special attack got increased, dumbass. Well, you see, Obama, I kind of panicked, but now our gangster croc is back out. And with this little guy, we will slay her zebra. Okay, see, this time her flame charge didn't do much damage, Donald. Great, she gets to go again. And you were saying, Obama, this bitch has got like 10 billion critical hits in this battle. This game is rigged. I tell you rigged. I bet Joe rigged it like he did the election. I didn't rig that Donald and I didn't rig your battle with Elisa either. She got another crit. Either. What in the actual hell? And anyway, 
You were the one who insisted on battling her. So this is the consequence of your action now, El Mao. Now, Joe, this is very suspect. Elisa has somehow got like six critical hits in this battle. Does she have that item that boosts them on her team or what? She's hacking plain and simple Obama. There is nothing more to it and she will still lose to me. And when I am champion, I shall come back here with Arceus and slap her up big time. Donald, for the last time, you had your fun with Arceus in Platinum, but now we are in Unova. However, you can come back and slap her up, as you put it, with Kiorum, and I will help because she is the worst thing we have come across so far. When you two say you're going to slap her up, it puts a very different image in my head than it probably does in both of yours. But anyway, Donald, you should have used Embargo again, so she didn't heal. Don't worry, Obama, I'm about to clutch this. Watch now as Donald J. Trump slays yet another pursuer of evil. Thou shalt feel the power of Maya's blade henceforth. Just end this already, Donald. We aren't in a Shakespeare play, so no need to talk all high and mighty. Yeah, and our sand dial is about to die again to Emolga, Donald, and then all we will be left with is Duat. Joe, Duat is our highest level Pokemon, and unlike you, I have full faith in it. And it will destroy this flying squirrel once and for all. And I have a question for our viewers. Have any of you actually used Emolga in a proper playthrough, and was it any good? Because if you already hadn't guessed, we hate it. Yay! We got our fourth badge, boys, which means we are halfway through our Unova region journey. And Donald, well done for going through that ordeal, but I want to take on the fifth gym. Thank you. Be as polite as you want, Joe. I am still going to be the one to take on the rest of the gyms. Sorry, buddy, but I can't let you become the champion of another region. And by the way, Obama will be the one to beat Steven in Hoenn. So he has the chance to be a champion, too. Wow, everyone Donald has become the diplomat now and is actually negotiating better than Joe. It's like their roles have reversed. But anyway, boys, I say we end this episode here. So thanks for watching, everyone. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe and see you all in the next one. What's up, my brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Pokemon White. We hope you enjoy this episode. Obama, that intro was lit AF, but yeah, welcome everyone. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more arguments and brotherly love between us three. Yeah, we are full of so much love that it's actually unreal, and today we're going to make our way to Driftvile City as well as do some training and go see Zoroark too. Okay, I'm not fucking dressing our Pokemon up and we'll keep refusing to until this old guy fucks off. Donald, you moron, we have to do this part of the game. You can keep refusing all you want, but we won't be able to progress until you do dumbass. This old man is the dumbass Obama. Look at all these fucking pink colors again. First, half our team is in pink balls, and now we have to play dress up like this is some doll's house. This is a very serious game. Obama and I take it very seriously, and there is nothing serious about this shit. Yeah, I agree with Donald Obama. That was such nonsense, and who actually goes back to do all that shit? We have to save the world and catch legendaries and become champion, not play Barbie. Oh yeah, Joe, stop hiding behind Donald. You love the Barbie movie more than all three of us combined when we went to see that the other day, you dummy. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that, Obama. I told you that in confidence. You are a whistleblower and a hypocrite because you went and exiled Snowden for doing the same thing. Hey, Snowden ruined my chances of becoming supreme overlord of the world, Joe. But anyway, Bianca's dad here is trying to get her to come back home with him. And this is one of those rare moments where the game and anime share the same plot. So what we saying about this? Well, Obama, if you look at it from the point of view as a dad with a daughter, it's understandable that he'd want to protect her and not let her travel around all by herself. And I understand that myself a lot as I have a daughter. Yeah, well, Donald Obama has two daughters himself. But the difference between him and you is that he didn't say he would date her if they weren't related like you did LMFAO. Joe, shut the fuck up. No one cares about your opinion, so let's head east, boys and take on some trainers on this route, but I don't think we can go all the way across the marvelous bridge yet. LMFAO, Joe, that was a sick burn, but anyway, Donald, you're right, we can't yet because we need to be champion before we can do that. And there's a Cresselia we can catch there too later as well, or that might only be in black and white too. That damn herdier just took out our sand dial with takedown, and it got a critical hit too, boys. I swear this sand dial is bad luck for us since we ever got it. All we have been hit with is criticals, and it always gets knocked out too. Well, Donald, our sand dial is going to evolve very soon, and then we will have a Krokorok. If only we had it for Elisa's gym, though. We should have come here first and done some training with it. Joe, you should have told me first because that battle was hell. 
And I'm so looking forward to taking on Clay because our watertight moves will crush him. Yeah, and when we get to Driftvale City, Donald, there is a guy who will teach us water pledge, which is a really strong watertight move only our starter can learn. Oh yes, Obama, I want that move. I need the power. I shall have ultimate power. I just want to interject here and say I am still very unhappy with how Donald gets to battle everything in this game and become champion, but you both won't care what I have to say anyway. Oh no, anyway, Donald, let's beat the last of these trainers and head to the Lost Lorne Forest because Zorark is just chilling there. Yeah, but Obama, how do we activate the event? I don't think we have the right thing set up for it to activate. To be honest, Donald, I have absolutely no idea how to start the event, but all I know is Zorark is just chilling around there. I think this event had something to do with one of the anime movies that came out a long time ago. Okay, could one of our viewers please leave a comment down below and let us know how to start the event if nothing happens when we get there. Donald, you're so lazy to Google it yourself that you just want to wait till this video gets uploaded to find out how to start the event seriously? Hey, listen here, Obama. Those viewers of ours are my underlings, and they will do whatever I say at this point. I am their supreme overlord, and out of the three of us, probably the most loved. Talking of being loved, Joe, you have been very quiet. Are you dead? No, I am not dead, Obama. But you two just said you wouldn't listen to me, so I didn't feel the need to say anything anymore. Well, Joe, that would be a blessing for us all, so... Would you mind keeping your fossilized mouth shut? That would be great, thanks. You know, Donald, if I wanted to, I could send SEAL Team 6 after you and they wouldn't even question my authority at this point. They know I am more mentally stable than you. Oh, finally, boys, our sand dial has evolved and Joe, your mind is not any more stable than a fucking uranium isotope, so your logic is flawed. Yup, and with that, our team so far is on their way to becoming the strongest. And that reminds me, boys, one of our viewers mentioned that getting a Braviary might be difficult since we can only get them in Victory Road, and training that little guy up is gonna be an absolute bitch to do by that point in the game. So what do you two think we should do? Well, Obama, we do have Joe, and once again, he can be our little man slave and just spend the time he has left on Earth training Absolutely a Rowlet up not, for Donald. us. Absolutely not, Donald. No way. Not in any universe am I doing that ever again. And that Rowlet is going to be so under um, too. Um, yes, you will, Joe, because I fucking said so. Hey, Joe, I have an idea. If you train a Rowlet up for us, then I will let you nickname our Vanalite in Pokemon Black 2 when we play that game anything you want, and I will even let you use a shiny one, which I will find myself. Guys, this is Zorark, by the way, but nothing is happening right now. Maybe in the next episode, we can come back here and get this event to activate. Holy shit, Obama, you promise you will find me a shiny ice cream Pokemon? Because if you do, then I will be your manslave for this playthrough and every other one, and that's a promise I will make you. All right, Joe, I promise. So when we get to Victory Road, you need to find a rufflet to train it. And by the way, Donald Charon is going to challenge us when you leave Nimbasa. Sharon is a walk in the park for me, Obama, but his leopard is the worst thing ever because it always uses fake out first. Well, Donald, you could always use Dewat first since we have revenge on it, and it will double the attack power if the move is used in the same turn, which is really useful against a leopard since fake out always goes first. Okay, Joe, that was a pretty champion strat you came up with, but it would have been better if you told me that before we started the fucking battle, you moron. Says the person who just used Crunch again after we got hit by that torment, Donald. See, I wouldn't have made that mistake unlike you. Doesn't matter, Joe, because Donald's mistake wouldn't cost us the battle unlike the stupid mistakes you have made when we journeyed through Johto and Kanto LM Fao. Well, that's when I first became Champion Obama. And I was still learning the game because if you remember, I didn't even know what Pokemon was in the beginning. And now I am champ more times than you both combined. Man, I am destroying Charon boys. Most of his team is weak to our zebra, so these battles will be so easy in the future. Oh, and remember when we asked our viewers what they thought of Emolga in the last video, boys? Well, it seems it's universally a piece of shit LMFAO. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny that no one even bothered to defend Emolga because everyone knows it's so useless LMAO. Oh wow, check it boys, I forgot this is where we get introduced to Alder the Unova region champion. And he is so cool, he has the same hairstyle as Kyojuro Rengoku from Demon Slayer. Donald, don't mention his name otherwise I'm gonna start crying again bro, seriously. We all cried so much Obama, it wasn't just you. But Alder says he is on an adventure of his own, but he's already champion. So what's the point? He is saying that there is more to being champion Joe, which is advice you should probably take since you've turned into a diva now. Um, Obama, I don't think I like Alder anymore. Look what he's saying now. He's basically Joe with ginger hair. Holy shit, we have another Joe on our hands, Donald, and look, those two poor children are with him. 
Alder is my brother from another mother, it seems, boys. <laughs> um, okay, well, swiftly moving on, it seems Alder and his two um, children want to battle us, Donald, so please get this over with as quick as possible. Don't worry, Obama, I will finish this quicker than you can say Joe's a creep. Well, I don't see why we can't hang out with Alder longer, boys. He's my favorite character in Pokemon. Now, this is the best thing Joe, ever. Joe, shut your fucking mouth right now. You will not talk until this battle is over with, and Alder is no longer visible on the screen because I am very disturbed, and so is Obama, and this needs to end right now. Yeah, we haven't come across anything like this before. Donald and I agree with you that Joe isn't allowed to talk until we cross the bridge and reach Driftvile City. Actually, Joe just don't bother talking for the rest of the episode. Well, I beat them, Obama, and thank God that didn't last very long either. Now we can get this stupid cutscene over with. Good job, Donald. Glad that's over with. Also, there are some adult trainers we can battle around here before we cross the bridge, which I think we need to do as a cleanse. Maybe we should do a seance, too. Okay, Obama, I think that's taking it too far here. We do not need to do a seance. They are children, not demons. Joe, I was talking about a seance for you, dumbass. You were doing so well too, and now Alder appeared, you will probably go back to your old creepy Joe ways. What do you mean he probably will, Obama? Joe ain't changing for shit, but this situation has made it worse now, because in his head, if a champion can go play with kids, as Alder put it, then he will think he can too. Oh, thank the Lord that the bridge is coming down now, and Elisa here is our savior, Donald. We should build a shrine for her in Washington, D.C. Oh, and by the way, one of our viewers commented that we can find those stat-boosting wings on the bridge, but they aren't as good as proteins or calciums. I was thinking about hunting for wings, Obama, but I would rather buy calciums and proteins since they will be way better. And those wings spawn at random, too, so we could be here forever. Hey, if I provide useful conversation now and not bring up what we saw with Alder just now, then will you two let me talk? Well, whatever you say better be fucking useful, Joe. Otherwise, I will throw you off this bridge without your water wings. Well, I was going to talk about how excited I am to take on the Pokemon World Tournament in Black 2. I wish they had incorporated something like that in this game, because we can even take on Red at the end again, like in Heart Gold. That's pretty good conversation, Joe. You have just about redeemed yourself, I think. But yeah, please comment down below and let us know if you beat the Pokemon World Championship in black or white too, all the way to the champion's tier. Well, Obama, I am making a point right now to not let Joe take on the Pokemon World Tournament because his already inflated ego will become bigger than mine, and that's not allowed to happen. Oh, nice, we are learning Water Pledge now. One sec, Joe. Donald, are you seriously worried about Joe's ego getting bigger than your ego? This is like egoception now, I swear. Hey, that was a damn good movie, Obama, with Leonardo. Except he is another Joe, too, since he dates teenagers. But anyway, I removed Aqua Jet and taught our Dewat Water Pledge, which will help up big time in this city's gym. Isn't this building the one where we can get a Zorua in black and white, too, Donald? That's right, Joe, and they convert it to some sort of X-Team Plasma Rehab Center. And some of the sages even hang out here, too, because they convert to the good side and sort of hang out here doing rehab things. Wow, that guy was chatting some pretty deep shit, Donald. Jesus, it's like this whole place is full of philosophers, Obama. We should leave Joe here since he's reading Sun Tzu, apparently, like he mentioned in our last episode. Well, actually, I want to go to the cold storage place, boys, and see Vanillite. <laughs> Lucky for you, Joe, we have to go there anyway, but if we didn't, I would have absolutely ignored what you said. That hiker guy back there was talking about a legendary Pokemon 2, boys, and I think it was Cobalion. He's in that cave around there somewhere. Yeah, and thank God it's the proper cool-looking Cobalion, not that shitty Paradox form we were bitching about last time, LMFAO. Yeah, but we need the HM for Surf to get it, I think, boys, which we don't get until some point in the game. Wow, Joe, how astute of you. Your intuition is next level, seriously. I think we get Surf after this gym, Joe. Or it could be Fly, I can't remember. But anyway, boys, I am now here storming the cold storage warehouse to find those Team Plasma goons. Donald, I know what you're doing. You're avoiding those battles, so I don't see Vanillite. I tried to, but here we go. Here's your damn ice cream, Joe. OMG, look how cute it is, boys. I need one so bad. Gimme, gimme, now, now, now. Yeah, but watch as I one-shot this little piece of shit, Joe, to prove to you that it's useless, and I really don't want one on our team in Black 2 ever. Well, Obama said he would catch me a shiny one if I trained that rufflet up for you, Donald, so you can go back on your word, buddy. Nah, sorry, Joe, I would rather train that rufflet up myself than have an ice cream you won't shut up about through our entire playthrough of that game. Sorry, not sorry. Actually, Donald let Joe have this W otherwise. He won't stop whining, and that'll be worse if you ask me. 
And anyway, we had some viewers agree with Joe that the ice cream is a really good Pokemon too. Fine, whatever, Obama. But look, I found these morons and they're all huddling around that sage like a bunch of fucking penguins, LMFAO. Hey, there's that penguin Pokemon in the Galar region. That's a penguin with an ice cube on its head and I think it looks adorable. Oh, that's Ice Cube Obama. I love that Pokemon too. And when we play Sword and Shield, we need one. It will be so useful for that Rayhan guy too, since he has a dragon type gym. Donald, you idiot, stop using Crunch on Scraggy. It's a dark type too. Obama, shut up. I'm just spamming moves right now because these battles are so pointless and Charon only battle one guy, but we have to battle like four of them. Yeah, and this Sage actually is like the only one who remains loyal to Getsis. He is the purple guy in black and white two boys and he's the definition of an ass. I like him, Obama, but I like the shadow triad more. Those ninja dudes are so cool, OMG, and I want to be like them. Well then, Joe looks like you will be joining me in prison then because they all get arrested and like I said before, I don't want to share a cell with you ever. Deep down, I know you would, Donald, because who wouldn't want to? Oh, how convenient of Clay to show up now with his henchmen after we did all the hard work. Obama, if you haven't noticed, that's a common theme with these games. But anyway, now we can finally leave this oversized refrigerator. Hey, Donald, can you let me edit this video, please, and record the next episode, too? Please, 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 I just really want to have one turn. But you can still be champion in this game. I promise I just really want to play one more time. Fine, Joe. I don't sense any ulterior motives here, no so idea, you can Donald. play the next episode. And I will even let you take on Clay as well, since you haven't been annoying in the past few minutes. Okay, well, on that happy note, I think we should end this episode here, boys. What you thinking? Yeah, good place to end Obama as we witness all our work go to waste catching Team Plasma only for the stupid gym leader to return them like they're groceries. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed our content, and I hope you're all excited to see what mischief I get up to in the next episode. <laughs> um, what was that you just said at the end there, Joe? Hey, 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 ma, peeps, welcome back to Unova. And today, Joe is going to take on the gym since Donald let him play for some reason, which will backfire. But anyway, hit that like button and subscribe if you like the video. Joe, what in the actual fuck is this? I'm surprised you were this quick to notice the newest member of our Pokemon team, Donald, so please welcome the ice cream. No way, Joe. You will put this fucking ice cream back in the PC box and let it melt there till it dies or I will release it. Whichever gets rid of it faster. But Donald, it's doing so well in the gym already, and ice will be really useful in here as well, so please, can we keep it, please? All right, Joe, if you want to keep it, then you will nuzlock this up, so as soon as it dies, you will release it, okay? No way, Donald, that's insane. I can't release my poor ice cream. If you don't play by my rules, Joe, then I won't let you play ever again, and you won't use one in black, too, if you use it now. He's got you there, Joe, and you also went behind my back to get this ice cream, so I can't help you anymore, buddy. Yeah, he did Obama, and this was the reason why he wanted to play too, just so he could catch this thing off screen when me and you weren't here with him. It's you and I, Donald, not me and you, dummy. You can't even speak English properly. Joe, that's it. I don't even care if that ice cream doesn't die. I will release it like I did to Geek Hiss in Heart Gold, and there's nothing you can do about it. And you are officially banned from using it in Black 2 now as well because you betrayed LMFAO, my trust. LMFAO, Donald, it just died to a drill I let you play burp. today because I thought you were being super cool through the second half of our last video. And that Donald, was all just Donald, because of you, my concentration was lost and now my ice cream has been unjustly killed and it's not fair. Wow, what a shit Pokemon Obama. It didn't even last two minutes into the video, LMFAO. Yup, so much for your ice cream, Joe. It's already melted. And now when we beat Clay, you will release it yourself as punishment for going behind our backs and catching it when we told you not to. Oh, and let Donald Obama, play now. I already snatched the controller of Joe because I'm so pissed off with him. And I shall be the one to get our fifth gym badge as well. Just so you know, Joe, if you didn't pull this stunt, I would have let you battle Clay. So you got a chance to battle another gym, but now never again. If I say sorry, will you let me take on Skyla, Donald? Joe, if you find a shiny Litwick in that tower place, then you can battle her in the Elite Four too. But that will never happen, LMFAO. All right then, deal Donald, and you heard him, Obama. I will spend the rest of tonight hunting a shiny Litwick. Sure, whatever, Joe. Good luck with your pointless trial, but we should focus on this gym battle, boys. And Donald, this is Clay's strongest Pokemon, so be careful. I would use Embargo on it if I were you. He just took out our Duat with Bulldoze. What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I will use that Obama, but I was hoping for our water type to carry us through this gym. Well, Excadrill is really strong, Donald. There's a reason why Iris uses one, and you could always use Sand Tomb to trap it. And then we will get chip damage on it every turn, and it can't heal now either. 
I would just like to add here, boys, that if you two were to revive Vanillite, then we could easily beat this gym with Avalanche since it has that move. Wow, it just took out Crocorock too. Okay, Joe, that may be good advice, but I refuse to give you the benefit of the doubt here. And I'm gonna be Mr. Petty Pants and not revive Vanillite because it deserves what it got. Um, well, Donald, you might need to take your Petty Pants off because this is his last Pokemon and that ice cream would actually be useful here. And I can't believe I said that. It would absolutely be useful here, Obama, but I also don't want Donald using it just to clutch this battle and then go and release it because he said he would still do that to me, which is just unfair. He can't use it to win a gym battle and then release it. Yeah, I could, Joe, and that would be hilarious to do as well, but I'm in a sticky situation here since our last Pokemon is the zebra, which is weak to everything in here. Crimea River, Donald. And by the way, you two, I was reading some of the comments in our last video, and people were telling us that to get the Zoroark event to activate, we need a shiny, legendary beast Pokemon which came out with that Zoroark movie, and I have no idea how to get one of those. Our revenge is the best move ever, Obama. It clutched us in this battle, he he he. Good stuff there, Donald. We got our fifth gym badge, boys. Well done to us. Yay! 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 Okay, on your point about Zoroark Joe, we could get Donald to call his Russian boys up again and see what they can do to get that event to activate. So what you think, Donald, can you do that for us? That one might be tricky to do, but if our lovely viewers would like to see that event happen, then hit the like button and sub if you haven't already. And I will see what I can do with regards to that. Oh, nice plug there, Donald. That was so slick of you. Joe, stop trying to sweet talk me, buddy. Unlike you, my memory is perfectly fine. And watch now as I release your beloved ice cream forever. No, Donald, not yet, please. I need more time with it. Yeah, release that mofo, Donald. You deserve this, Joe. And see how kind I am. I will still find a shiny one for you in Blaze Black 2 later. Oh yeah, you did say that, Obama. Okay, let that Vanillite melt, Donald. I don't care because our shiny one will be so much better and I will nickname it Licky. Oh, here we go, another battle with Bianca boys and she still doesn't understand that she will never ever beat us again. She's even worse than Sharon too. Like, what does she even do after this game? Sharon has a respectable job as a gym leader and this idiot just runs around doing nothing. Actually, I think she becomes Professor Juniper's assistant, Donald, because in the sequel, she's the one to give us our starter Pokemon and in the anime, she follows Professor Juniper around like her tail or something, too. Well, she should stick to being an assistant, Joe, because she's definitely not a good Pokemon trainer. Even you're better than she is. In case you forgot, Donald, I am the champion of three regions and going to oh, be here at we least go again, five Donald. soon enough. Joe put that as your fucking slogan in 2024, if you care so much about being champion. Even Make America Great Again Again sounded better than Joe Biden champion of Pokemon, seriously? Well, Donald, the way to win is to get the youth vote. And after they see me playing Pokemon, they will all vote for me no matter what I do to the country, because who doesn't like Pokemon and Animal Crossing too? Fine, remind me in two years, Joe. Post a letter to my prison cell, but anyway, boys, I have nearly beaten Bianca, and her last Pokemon is this Marshana, which I absolutely adore still. I wish we got one. Yeah, but it's not as good as our Duat Donald, and it will soon evolve to a Samurott too. So make sure to battle all the trainers in the next route, as we make our way towards Chargestone Cave. By the way, guys, I checked the Pokemon Center earlier, and they haven't stocked Ultra Balls yet, so when the hell do we unlock them? I think we need all the gym badges before we get them, Donald, but at least we have a bunch of those lovely pink heel balls still. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, it's this little yellow shit again. I thought we were done with the Molga boys, but turns out this vermin is still trying to harass us. Yeah, and to troll us even more, it used Double Team twice, but that didn't get in the way of our lovely Dewat did it. You dumb yellow bat squirrel. Oh yeah, and on this route, we will encounter these deer Pokemon a lot too, boys. I wonder if it's hunting season yet, he 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 Donald, seriously, did you just say you want to go hunting these cute little deerlings? Oh God, this is the trainer who has four Tim Poles on her team. Like, why would you ever want four of them? And yes, Obama, I did say I would want to hunt deerling because their faces look too human for me, and it makes me very uncomfortable. I gotta side with Donald on this one, Obama. Deerling looks way too human, but Sawsbuck is a Pokemon I really like, and I love how its horns change depending on the season. The Autumn Sawsbuck is my favorite, as Autumn is my favorite season. Hey, Autumn is my favorite season too, Joe, because you can wear what you like since the temperature is never too hot or cold. Well, I prefer spring, which is the superior season, as I was the superior president. But all that aside, after this battle, we will have a new Pokemon, boys. I hope you're both excited. Oh yes, here we go, Obama. Our little Oshawott is now a big boy Samurott. 
With this guy, we will destroy everything that comes our way. We need ice beam on it too, because that will be very useful for N and the 8th gym. Donald, get rid of water pulse, since we already have water pledge, and we can't have two moves with the word water in them. Joe, that is the dumbest reason I've ever heard for removing a move. Your OCD is insane. I can't handle two moves with the same word in them, Donald. I don't know why, but it bothers me so much. I wish I could rearrange them in alphabetical order, too. Obama, you hearing this shit? Joe is the type of person to sort his bags of cocaine by color, too, from least white to most white. I can actually see that happening, Donald LMFAO. But anyway, boys, look, we have made it to this lab, and I have no idea what they do here. Well, Obama, they run tests on deerling here, I think. I wonder if they run taste tests. I think the autumn deerling would taste the best, but I wonder about the others, too. Hmm. Hey, I have an idea. Leave a comment down below about which deerling you think would taste the best based on their No, seasons. please do not comment that anyone we don't need to get attacked by people saying we abuse Pokemon Donald, you moron. Yeah, instead we can talk about Cobalion because that guy there is the one who is waiting for Cobalion to appear. I mean, he could just swim over to that cave, you know. Yeah, but we need Surf Joe, and I just realized we could actually catch that Cobalion before we fight the Elite Four, too. Would you want to do that, boys? You know, Obama, usually I would be down for ditching the Pokemon we've trained so much with and form such a close bond with for a legendary that would overpower half the Pokemon we got rid of. But in this case, I'm actually looking forward to catching the last few Pokemon for our team. No, you're not, Donald. I know you too well. You just don't like Cobalion, really, and would prefer to use Hydreigon because it's a dragon type. Oh, look, boys, it's our first time meeting the Shadow Triad, and you wanted to be a part of their group, didn't you, Joe? I think you yeah, should try you change would fit the topic, right Donald, in. But you told me you didn't like the normal Cobalion either the other day, let alone the Paradox one. Joe, shut the fuck up. And it's time we explore the Chargestone Cave, guys. And this place is super trippy with all these floating rocks. And in this place, we can find Joltik and Clink. And on the lower floors, we can find one of Obama's favorite Pokemon being Tynamo. I also love that little guy, too. Yeah, I love Tynamo, but sadly in this playthrough, we won't be using one since we already have our team decided. And anyway, we are so close to getting the next member of our team boys being Litwick. I am so excited for that candle Pokemon. Well, I was reading one of Litwick's Pokedex entries, Obama, and it says it can drain the life energy of people, and when it does, its candle gets bigger. If that happened to Joe, though, I don't think we would be able to tell the difference. Well, now I am even more excited that you told me that Donald LMFAO and Joe thinks he will find a shiny one, too. Hey, look, Donald, we have another one of your favorite poke balls added to our items. It's your heel ball, LMAO. Seriously, out of every item they could have put in this part of the game, they put that ball. At this point, they could have put like a max revive or max repel or something useful. But no, they put another heel ball there as a troll. Why don't we talk about why Professor Juniper is here? And what Team Plasma is doing here, too, instead of you bitching Donald? Well, I can tell you, Joe, Professor Juniper is here studying the clink like she did in the anime. And to be honest, I have no idea why Team Plasma is here. I guess they are just for the sake of the story, since it's been a minute since we've seen them. Well, they seem to be in every city we go to Obama, if you haven't noticed. Every single city except Nuvema Town. Holy moly, you're right, Donald. They are in every single town we have been to so far. But all the towns after Opelucid City is where they kind of just disappear. Oh, nice, Donald. These two random people are the best ever. Because they give us really rare nuggets, which we can sell to make absolute bank in the Poke Marts. Will be useful when we need to stock up on full restores and max revives. Hell yeah, Obama. I love those two guys as well then. And by the way, guys, the next city is getting ever closer and it's home to the hottest gym leader, my girl Skyla. Skyla is hot Donald, but that gym leader from the Galar region is way hotter, and she's a supermodel too. I can't remember her name though. And that one you're talking about is Nessa Obama, and I agree, she's a solid 12 out of 10. I'm surprised you remembered her name Joe since your age demographic is sub-16 generally. But anyway, good to see you still have the mature side Donald, in you somewhere. Donald, what the hell, man? You just died to a fucking Scraggy that's almost 10 levels below Joe, us. Joe, you distracted me with your comment, and now look, our Crocorock has died all thanks to you. Nah, Donald, that was completely your fault, you idiot. Not even Joe has made a mistake like that in this playthrough. Obama, Joe lost to the easiest gym in the world, and I lost to one Scraggy. I lost the battle, but I didn't lose the war like Joe did in Castilla City, and like you did in Yemen, LMFAO. Wow, Donald, you seriously decided to go there, didn't you? Yeah, and what you gonna do about it, Obama? I am already pissed off now that I lost to that Scraggy, and then every single Team Plasma grunt will have one on their team now, too.
Yeah, and now this guy has one too, Donald, and why haven't you revived Crocorock yet too? Um, well, you see, Joe, I kind of forgot to stock up at the Poke Mart in Driftvile City because I was in a rush to see Skyla. And anyway, it's not my fault. None of the items in this damn cave are healing ones. Otherwise, Jesus Christ, I Donald, stop blaming Crocorock everyone else and accept so your L for once, devs. you fat pig. And anyway, concentrate on this battle with N. Obama, I haven't lost one single battle yet, so don't you start getting mouthy with me too now. I already dealt with Joe in our last video acting like he's some sort of god-tier level Pokemon trainer. Oh, hey, Donald, that's not a bad campaign title for 2024. Joe Biden, god-tier president. Joe, the only thing you're a god tyrant at being is Creepy Joe, along with Sleepy Joe, too. And there is no way you're winning in 2024, buddy. Wow, boys, look how strong our Samurott is. That electric web did absolutely nothing to our Samurott, and it was an electric move against our water type. It's either so strong or that Joltik is just a piece of shit. I think Yoltik is just super weak, Donald. And in the anime, do you remember how small that thing was too? It reminded me of a parasite or a tick. They make Yoltik look so cute and fluffy, but I know where the inspiration for it came from, and I hate it so much. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, Obama, but look here is a really good Pokemon, which I think is super underrated. This Pharaoh Seed's evolution is so cool, and I used it once, and it was so OP, and it would make a really good team member for us. Donald, you better not be hitching a plan to swap one of our Pokemon Joe, out calm for your a Pharaoh pants Seed, down. seriously. We only have two spaces left, and they are taken, remember. Well, good, because I agreed to train Rufflet up for you, but that's it, because that Pokemon will already take ages to evolve, and I can't be asked to deal with anything else. And by the way, our Litwick will only evolve into a Chandelure when it has a certain stone used on it, and I can't remember which one it is. I think it's a dust stone, Joe, but I'm sure one of our viewers can let us know in the comments down below. And finally, boys, we've made it to Mistralton City. This town is like one of the least memorable in my book, Obama. And the only thing good about it is Skyla OMG. Yeah, but before we can even battle her Donald, we have to make our way to the top floor of the Mistralton Tower and ring the bell at the top of it. It will be a good place to train our Crocorock up, though, since that place is full of psychic and ghost-type Pokemon. Oh, look, boys, this is Professor Juniper's dad, Cedric Juniper. He's also a professor, but he's not named after a tree. The thing that bothers me most about this is the fact that it took them like 15 years before we had a female professor. And this is meant to be modern Obama, times no one now, cares seriously. about your views right now. Look, Skyla is finally here, and I would say she's a solid 24 out of 10. Joe, holy hell! Yeah, she's even making me very uncomfortable in my nether regions, Donald. She is seriously so cute. I don't want to battle her. Can we instead just go stare at her instead for a few hours? Hell yeah, Joe. I will board the creep train with you. But first, she is telling us to find her at the top of the Mistralton Tower, boys. And now we can finally go catch our Litwick. So, Joe, that's on you, buddy. Oh, one second, Obama. I forgot these were a thing in these games. This here is a triple battle, which means there are three Pokemon on the field at the same time. I think these are a great feature to change things up a bit. What do you two think? Well, Donald, I actually like them. And in Pokemon Black, they have rotation battles, but out of the two, I prefer triple battles. They move along much faster. And with rotation battles, you never know if the opponent will rotate their Pokemon to another on the field. Yeah, but triple battles are basically double because the Pokemon on each end can't attack the opponent's Pokemon on the other end. So what's the point of having three Pokemon out? Joe, I'm not surprised your puny little brain can't comprehend the greatness of these kind of battles. And they are not like double battles at all, because if we wanted to, we could attack the opponent's Pokemon individually. I'm still not convinced, Donald. But let's ask our viewers what they think, so leave a comment down below and let us know if you guys like triple or rotation battles, and let us know which you think is best. Personally, I think they're pointless. Well, Joe, personally, I think you're pointless. But here I am still playing with you, so shut your mouth. You two need to calm down, because we're getting ever closer to catching our little Litwick, and I'm so excited. I also have a really cool nickname for it from one of my favorite movies. Yeah, catching that Litwick will probably be the highlight of this video, and I can't wait to take on the rest of the gyms with it in yeah, Elite Yeah, we will Four see two. about you taking them all on with it, Donald. Um, Joe, what exactly do you mean by that? The dumbass forgot already. And I'm the one with dementia, Elmao, but anyway, Donald, you shall find out soon enough. And for now, hurry up and beat this cute little Axew. That Axew reminded me of the one in our Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough, which you should all go check out, by the way. We will continue that after this series is over. Okay, Joe, go find us a Litwick, buddy. 
I have a feeling this will be the last time you're nice to me, Donald. But anyway, here we go. Joe, you are being really cryptic. No, he's being fine, Donald. But here we go, boys. It's Litwick time. Wait, no fucking way, Joe. Holy hell, Joe. What in the actual fuck? I don't believe this. Believe it, boys. And Donald, I will be taking on the Elite Four now. Thank you very much. Joe, have you been in touch with my Russian buddies or what? There is no way you got this lucky. I'm not a traitor to our country like you are, Donald. So why would I contact the Russians so I win, you lose? Now I get to battle everyone else because that was our deal if I found a shiny Litwick and here he is. This is so cool, Joe, that you found a shiny Litwick and now I don't care which one of you gets to battle the last few gyms in Elite Four because this is the happiest day of my life. We will have a shiny Chandelure. Yeah, and when I go show this little guy to Skyla, she will have the hots for me, Donald, because which girl wouldn't love a shiny Pokemon? Joe, I saw her first, so go back to your 10-year-olds and show them, because kids also love shiny Pokemon, and you love kids. And boom, caught it, boy, so go on, Obama, you can name it. Yep, thanks, Joe, and everyone, I shall be naming our Litwick Lumiere, as that is the perfect name for our Pokemon, and it's named after that candle from Beauty and the Beast. I think it is, anyway. This is properly fucked up, Obama. I can't believe you're letting Joe now battle everyone else. Joe is still letting you battle the champion, Donald, so you will still be champion, don't worry. But before Donald starts moaning anymore, let's end this episode here, boys. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, so please remember to like and subscribe and have a lovely weekend. Okay, everyone, welcome back to Pokemon White. Today we shall climb the Mistralton Tower with our little Litwick, which is our favorite Pokemon it's ever. The best ever! And then take on Skyla for our sixth gym badge. Damn right, it's the best ever, Donald. Our Litwick is the new Arceus, and when it's the Chandelure, we shall just use it all by itself. I wouldn't go that far, Joe, and say it's the best ever, and it's definitely not Arceus either, but it's still a damn good Pokemon, and we need to find a dust stone for it ASAP. Leave that to me, Obama. You want a dust stone? Then a dust stone shall be yours for a small loan of a million dollars. Forgot to pay daddy back, did we, Donald LMFAO? Hey, Obama, leave Donald alone. He is my bestie for resties. Now we have made a pact that we shall be nice to each other for the rest of this series. LMFAO, Joe. I'm excited to see how long this so-called pact will last and don't come crying to me when he stabs you in the back. Ignore him, Joe. Obama is just jealous that you're my bestie for resties and that you're invited to my slumber party and he isn't. Donald, I didn't want to come anyway because the last time we did a sleepover with Joe, all he did was sleep. Well, Obama, it's called a sleepover, you dumbass. So what did you expect me to do? Well, Donald and I smoked 10 blunts and played Smash Mary Avoid with the White House staff, but I can understand you not wanting to play that game, given the age demographic LMFAO. Oh, check it out, boys. It's a Simis here. This Joe is the evolution of the fire monkey we kept seeing when we got to Castilia City. It's actually really strong. And from now on, all we will see are these evolved monkeys, too. Wow, Donald, thanks for that piece of information. I think the pre-evolutions are way cuter, though. You're most welcome, Joe and Obama. We really gotta teach Litwick some better moves because Flame Burst is all we have right now, and that's not good enough for us. We need Fire Blast and Shadow Ball and Eruption. Yeah, Donald Litwick can't learn Eruption, and neither does Chandelure, and there isn't a TM for that move, I don't think anyway, so we will never be able to get it. Well, Obama, that is bullshit, because we have a Fire type with us, and it should be able to learn Eruption. It should also be able to learn Blue Flare too, which is my favorite Fire type move as well. That is a move Fire Lord Ozai would use. Oh yeah, I agree with Donald Obama. He is 100% right about Fire Lord Ozai and Blue Flare is my favorite move as well. I say we teach it to Litwick. Joe, you fucking idiot. I just explained to Donald that it can never learn those moves because Blue Flare is signature to Reshiram. And Eruption is only learned by like two Pokemon. And anyway, we had that move on our Typhlosion when we played Pokemon Heart Gold, remember? Okay, but why can't we still there teach it no to- There is no why, Joe and Donald, please tell your new best friend to shut it. Joe, please, would you be a deer and shut your mouth for a while till Obama calms his pants down? Okay, Donald, dear. But what I was asking was a genuine question to begin with. Donald, what the fuck have you done to Joe? Obama, sometimes it's better to just not ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. So let's carry on with the game, and by the way, boys, there was some comments about us doing that Zoroark event since quite a few people haven't seen it yet. Oh yes, Donald, I would absolutely love Dear to see God. you do that event for me too, since I never got to see it either. Yeah, I'll work on getting that event started, boys, after we beat the game. And we could also do the Landorus one too, if you like. I like anything you do, Donald, so I don't mind, and I'm sure our viewers and Obama would also love to see that Landorus event too. You're gonna break his heart, Donald, once he finds out you lied about being his bestie for resties. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Obama, Joe is my bestie for resty, right, Joe? Right, Donald. Oh, and Obama, guess what? Joe was kind enough to tell me that he insists on training Ardino all the way up to a hydrigon for me. Oh, really? He insisted that he would do that all by himself, did he now? Is this true, Joe? Yeah, Obama, because that's what besties do for each other. And I would be honored to help Donald out get one of his favorite dragon type Pokemon. And I am even going to name it Donald, too. Joe Hydragon is one of the most annoying Pokemon to train up since it evolves at like level 65 or something, and you're seriously okay with going through all that and training a Rufflet up as well? Obama, I don't know why you're complaining, bro, because you don't have to even do anything and you get one of the strongest Pokemon in the game to use too. This is absolutely gonna backfire, but whatever you two do, what the fuck you want, just don't get me involved in any way. We have finally made it to the top of this tower. A couple of episodes ago, you asked our viewers where their favorite places to hang out in Pokemon is Obama, and I completely forgot about the Mistralton Tower. It's super peaceful up here and would be the perfect place to catch a Rayquaza, don't you think? Yeah, this tower is like the one in Hoenn, boys. Except we didn't have to use the Mac bike to get up here. That was the least fun thing about Pokemon Emerald, and I'm so glad they changed that puzzle in Omega Ruby. I could never make it to the top of the tower in the older games because of the arthritis in my fingers. You know what, Joe? That does not surprise me at all, but anyway. Boys time, we took on Skyla for our eighth gym badge, and I have a feeling you will obliterate this gym, Joe, with the electric zebra we have on our team. Yeah, Joe is gonna slay in here, Obama. But I did tell Joe that if he loses, it's okay too, since Skyla is super hot, and if he gets distracted with her looks and gets beaten, he can let me play instead. Yeah, Obama. See, Donald was kind enough to let me catch my breath back if I lose to Skyla, and he can have a go instead if I lose. Actually, you know what, Donald? You can play right now. Thanks, Joe. Don't worry, buddy. This will be for you and definitely not for anyone else. Hang on, Joe. Do you remember the deal you made with Donald in the last episode about the Litwick? Obama, I have no idea what you're on about. And he's gone and forgotten everything that's happened. Wow, Joe. Are you for real? I'm as real as Donald's return to Twitter, Obama. Oh, and Obama, I have a quick question for you. You know how you're all about equality and fairness, right? Yeah, I sure am, Joe. Okay, so say, if I was being really fair to someone, and then later on they weren't being fair at all to me, would you stick up for me? Yeah, sure, whatever, Joe. I would say that would be a situation where I would stand up for equality, depending on the situation. I mean, if it had something to do with which child you would want more than another, but you want to make sure you give them equal attention, then don't fucking come to me for that. Yeah, I am super confused, Joe. What the hell are you on about? Don't worry, Donald, this doesn't concern you yet anyway. Hmm, okay, Joe, acting a bit suspect again, Obama. But look, boys, I am absolutely destroying everything that moves in this gym. And by the way, this has to be one of the most fun gym puzzles ever. Yeah, I love these cannons, Donald, that fire us around the gym warehouse. This reminds me of the time- Reminds you of the time you fired Hellstorm missiles from the bottom of a drone to the people of Yemen whilst you sat all nice and cozy in Air Force One Obama? Ha ha ha, so fucking funny. At least I didn't get a mugshot of myself printed all over the world's media, Donald, like you did the other day. LMFAO. Obama, seriously watch your mouth. Since this gym battle isn't going to be interesting at all, I shall share a quote which came from your mouth, Donald which you blasted all over the internet the other day about that mugshot of yours, ready to hear this, Joe, about your bestie? Obama, I don't like hearing negative things about my bestie for resties. Tough shit, Joe. This is what he said, everyone, and I quote, They purposely show the absolutely worst pictures of me, especially the big orange one with my chin pulled way back. That's what you said, Donald LMFAO. Okay, let's change the topic, Obama, before my face goes from orange to red with you, and look, I got our sixth gym badge. Change the topic all you want, Donald, but you said that, and now it's eternally printed on the internet for all to see. But anyway, well done for beating Skyla, even though she doesn't deserve to be the sixth gym leader with her shit team. Yeah, our zebra learned discharge when we were training in the Mistralton Tower. And as soon as we got that move, she may as well have given us the gym badge as soon as we walked in the gym. She is hands down the easiest gym battle I've ever had to deal with, boys. I can't remember the last time we had a gym battle that easy, and oh, now look, N is here and he's talking to our Zipstreaker. What a fucking weirdo, seriously. You're right again, Donald N is such a freak and he thinks he can talk to a zebra. If I were to do that, everyone in the Senate would impeach me and send me to a mental asylum, but just because N is a self-proclaimed king, he can get away with it. 
What I would like someone to explain to me is how did Unova suddenly gain a bunch more new towns in black and white too? Because remember in those games we caught a plane to East Unova and could even catch Heatran in that cave. Yeah, and that in itself doesn't make any sense because Heatran is a legendary and I thought there could only be one of each legendary as that's one of the reasons that makes them legendary to begin with. Yeah, maybe someone could explain why there are multiple legendary Pokemon sometimes. And that reminds me of the time they changed Mewtwo's voice from male to female. Now, I'm not a misogynist like Donald, but you can't change Fuck legendary you, characters like that. What Obama said is true, though, and I'm not sure if any of our viewers saw that movie with the Jenny sect and Mewtwo where they made it a girl when it had a male voice for the last 20 years, and then in the Pokemon Journeys anime, they realized their mistake and changed it back to male. Like, what the hell? Reminds me of what another certain company is doing that rhymes with the word Disney. But anyway, guys, we shall slowly be approaching Twist Mountain, and this mountain is the most annoying one in any of the games, in my opinion. Hey, I was waiting for Thunderous or Tornadus to appear here, Obama, but I forgot that only happens in black and white, too. And then we have to go chase them around Unova. That's right, Donald, and hey, check it out. Our hot mom is calling us boys. Been a while since we've seen her. She just called herself Senior Trainer Mom which means she was a trainer too at one point. I think it would be so cool that after we become champion, we could go back home and battle our mom with her team just for fun. I would love to just walk into any of the gyms and be able to re-battle the gym leaders with their strongest teams possible. It would also make training so much easier too, and also give us more things to do after we beat the main story. That's actually not a bad feature, Joe. And what's funny is the amazing people who made the ROM hack versions of these games incorporated that feature so seamlessly, but Game Freak can't be bothered. Yeah, that's because they're too busy sitting in their ivory tower in Castilia City, Obama, whilst real people like us work hard and produce quality content. Oh, look, boys, a Tynamo. Finally, I get to see my favorite little Pokemon. Isn't it so cute? No offense, Obama, but Tynamo looks like a literal sperm with eyes, and that freaks me out a lot. Yeah, and it didn't last very long in the battle either, did it? Obama LMFAO. Both of you need to apologize right now because you know how good Electros is. Well, I know Donald does because Joe is just an uncultured moron. You can't deny that Tynamo literally looks like a sperm with eyes, though Obama. And by the way, Bestie, you have a battle with Charon coming up in a second. I thought I would let you know Donald. Oh, yep, here we go. I get to battle the real rival amongst our friends here, boys, unlike that useless peasant Bianca. And nice look, he finally has an Unfeasant too. Such an amazing bird Pokemon. I don't know, I like Star Raptor more, Donald. I think it looks way cooler and aggressive as well. Whilst this one looks like it's about to take part in a Paris fashion show. Yeah, and this one is literally trolling you, Donald. It's used Detect, Taunt, and Air Slash now. And we haven't got one hit in. That's why I'm sending out our Zebra Obama to one-shot this thing with Discharge. I shall let our Litwick deal with his Servine. His Servine is just as annoying though, Donald, because it always heals itself when it gets to low health, and then it uses Leech Seed or Charon will use a Hyper Potion on it. I suggest using Embargo on it. How the hell did that Leaf Blade do so much damage to us boys when we are part fire type? Charon must be a hacker too. Donald, you can't just keep accusing everyone of being a hacker if they get a good shot on us. I can, Obama, and I just did, and I also got a very good shot on him now with Flame Burst, so Take that, you dumb snake piece of shit, mwa ha 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 ha. Oh, look, Donald, Sharon has a Simipore now, and he still looks like he's in the clouds smoking that cabbage. Yeah, I love both these monkeys, Joe. They look so derpy, but it's a shame it shall now die to discharge. And now he's on his final Pokemon, Donald, and it's the most annoying one because of Fake Out, so I say, you should stomp this dumb cat to death. OMG, this one has a Citrus Berry on it, too. First, that Servine has a leftovers, and now Cheren is using cheap tactics on his Leopard as well. I clutched that battle, boys, and I'm not going to teach our Zebra agility since we get a speed boost anyway with our ability. Oh god, it's Alder again, Donald, but at least he hasn't got those two children with him again. Oh yay, 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 it's Alder, I love him so much. You don't love him as much as his ideology, Joe, but he gives us the HM for Surf, which means we can get rid of Water Pledge on our Samurott boys. Good idea, Obama. And before Joe gets more excited, let's end this episode here, guys. And in the next one, we shall make our way through this dumb mountain and head to Ixera City, so please like and subscribe, everyone. What's up, peeps? And welcome back to Pokemon Hi, White. And sorry you guys didn't get an upload yesterday. It's because we have been working on this episode, which is longer than usual, so we hope you understand. But anyway, please remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you enjoy our content. 
Yeah, today we will be making our way through this godforsaken mountain and taking on Bryson for our seventh gym badge. And our little Litwick is getting super close to evolving. So that's something I am really looking forward to. Yeah, and if you haven't noticed, Obama, I am letting my bestie play again today because I'm all about equality and sharing like you, and it keeps the peace too. Yeah, I was about to ask you, Joe, about Donald playing again today, and you even let him take on Skyla yesterday. You're being very generous the last two episodes now. Wow. Yeah, he is Obama. It was super kind of Joe to let me play again today. He sent me a DM on Snapchat last night that I could play and even posted me some cocaine too. I don't know if that was a good idea since your houses are still getting raided, Donald, but anyway, boys, we are in winter now, which means we have access to certain areas that we normally wouldn't be able to visit. And it also means we will be able to get through this mountain way faster than normal. Mount Coronet in Sinnoh is my favorite mountain, Obama. But I'm also biased to Sinnoh since out of all the regions, I think it's the most beautiful and scenic, and I love the Pokemon there. Donald, just admit you love Sinnoh the most because Arceus lives there, and you simp for him all day every day. Hey, that reminds me. Everyone I started playing that ROM hack called Pokemon Light Platinum the other day, and it's so good, and we should do a playthrough of it one day too, and you will like it a lot, Donald, because they have shrines for Arceus in that game. And there's a whole story about it, I think. I Hell yeah, Joe, we will play that then later. We should do more ROM hacks after the other series are finished because they are generally more fun than the normal versions. Yeah, they are Donald. And also, could someone please comment down below on the location of a dusk stone because that would be very helpful. I think we can find them in these clouds that randomly appear on the ground in caves. And then there's a man on Route 10 who can give us one, but that will take ages to get to. Yeah, our Litwick will evolve at level 41 into Lampant. And then, I'm not sure when we should evolve it into Chandelure because it might learn some moves only as a Lampant, which we may need, so. Joe, you gotta Google that. And also our Crocorock is going to evolve soon as well. Oh, look, it's a throw, boys. I wonder if this is the same one that Joe released when we were in Castilia City. Hey, just so you know, Donald, I would have actually kept that Pokemon, but the ones we will get are going to be way stronger. And also, Sock is the way better version of the two fighting types anyway. Nah, you just named that Throw after me because Throw is a fat Pokemon like I am Joe. But since we are besties for resties now, I have forgiven you and don't really care either. Oh, this bestie for resties shit is still going on between you, is it, Donald? You're still keeping up this facade of actually getting along with Joe and pretending to be his BFF? I sense great jealousy within you, Obama, but it's okay because you're still my friend too. And check it, boys, it's Professor Juniper's dad again, and he's telling us about the Dragon Spiral Tower. Yeah, and did you know, Donald, I think if we get a super rod and go fishing around the tower, we can find Dratinis there. But we shouldn't use one since we already did in our Heart Gold playthrough. I did know that, Joe, but thanks for telling me anyway. You really have changed your ways and matured and are truly my bestie for Resty. I have matured faster than a cheddar cheese Donald, so you have nothing to worry about with regards to me anymore. And wow, does the seasons really change how the game looks, doesn't it, boys? Yeah, Joe, it's pretty insane how different everything looks, but this snow is really bothering me now. Everything is just so white and boring. Well, I think it looks really pretty Obama. And it suits this place anyway, since this town has an ice-type gym in it, which, by the way, will be the perfect place for our Litwick to evolve in. Oh, boys, this is the quiz house. The house is a what, Donald? It's the quiz house, Obama. Every day we can come here and do a quiz for fun, and then we will get an item if we pass the quiz. Oh, I love quizzes, Donald. What's the first question? Um, well, Joe, they only ask us one question a day, so it's not like a proper quiz, really, and they're not even difficult either, so it's a bit of a gimmick. Okay, well, the answer to this quiz is a fucking bicycle, Donald, and if the quiz is that easy, then the item we will get will be completely pointless. Obama, you have too much negativity within you, dude. Maybe try thinking more positive and you shall see the item we will get. Wow, Donald, they gave us a fucking antidote which I could have just bought from the Poké Center. Such a great item you got there. Obama, that was your fault. We got a shit item from them because I told you that you were being too negative and now look what you did. The game sensed how you felt and punished us accordingly. Yeah, for fuck's sake, Obama, because of you, we got an antidote when we could have got a rare candy or even that dusk stone we've been after. Joe, shut your old greasy mouth. You know that's not how this works and you're just trying to side with Donald more so he likes you and turn everything on me. Don't forget, Joe, that I could ruin your entire career if I wanted to. 
You can't touch me, Obama. I am the president and Donald is my buddy, so he will protect me from you too, right, Donald? Right, Joe, buddy. And because of that, I am letting him even take on this gym as well, so he can get the seventh gym badge for us. Trust me, Joe, touching you is the last thing I would ever want to do, and all I would have to do is run for president in 2024, and you would get destroyed, LMFAO. Obama, we are on the same side, so you can't actually do that, you know? Well, you're not acting like you're on my side today, Joe. So I would destroy you if I ran for president again. But I won't, because making these videos is way more fun than those meetings, and having you as my VP too was more annoying than playing Holy games shit, with you. boys, look, it's an even bigger ice cream. I want it so bad. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give please. Oh, fucking hell, Obama. I forgot this guy had one left. Donald, you moron. Now, Joe has that stupid ice cream Pokemon back in his head. I told you to edit the entire gym trainer battles out so we wouldn't have to deal with this shit. I want that fucking Vanilish right now, Obama and Donald. Joe, calm down first of all, and yeah, sorry Obama, I was too busy listening to your Democrat argument and forgot to edit this last guy out. For God's so sake, that's another on me. one. But Joe, we told you we won't be using one yet, and if you bring it up again, I will make Obama my bestie for resties, okay? Oh, uh, hell no, Obama can't be your bestie, Donald. You have finally fallen for me, and I can't let all my work go to waste. Um, Joe, what did you mean I have fallen for you, hmm? Oh, Donald. Because you are probably one of the greatest trainers I have come across, I think you should be the one to take on the final gym for me too. Since dragon types are super difficult, and only you can take them down. Yeah, I don't even know who has who wrapped around their fingers anymore. No one has anyone wrapped around their fingers. We are just three best friends, playing one of the greatest games ever made, and we no longer stab each other in the backs anymore either. Since Joe has made a change, and he won't even fight with me anymore about whose turn it is to play because he knows I will always be the Alpha. That's right, Donald, you are the Alpha, but I suggest you switch out to our Yoshi since our Litwick is gonna die to this bear tick and we need the experience from it so we can evolve. See, Joe even gives good advice to me as well, Obama, unlike you. He has really changed and it makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside that he changed because of me. The only thing inside you feeling warm and fuzzy is your ego. Donald and I can see exactly where this is all going. But since I'm apparently unhelpful to you, Donald, you can deal with the consequences. Now hurry up and beat this stupid gym. You know, they didn't exactly add any other very exciting ice type Pokemon in this game, did they? I mean, there never was many to begin with, but I love that Alolan Ninetales being an ice type. It's way more beautiful than the fire one. Yeah, I agree, Joe, that Ninetales does look way better, but the fire type would destroy it in a battle just how I'm destroying Bryson right here. LML. You know what's funny, boys? The gym that we took the piss out of and said is the worst being Berg and his bug types has actually ended up being the most difficult for us to deal with so far. Yay! Well done, Donald. You did so well and got our seventh gym badge, which means we are one step closer to becoming champion and being the strongest trainer in Unova. Thanks, Joe, but there is no we when you talk about being champion because only I am the champion here, remember? And now look, boys, Charon and Bianca have showed up and apparently something with Team Plasma is going down. Oh yes, of course, sorry, Donald, I forgot that you will be champion in this game, but I was just providing some support for you and looks like we need to head to the Dragon Spiral Tower, boys. I remember this part of the game being the most boring since we have to battle so many Team Plasma members and then climb all the way to the top of the tower as well. I wish we could just fly up there. Yeah, Donald, I agree with you. This part is quite tedious, but there are some pretty cool Pokemon inside the Dragon Spiral Tower, actually. We can find Golette in there, which is a cool totem Pokemon. Well, whilst you make your way to the top of the tower, Donald, I was reading some of the comments from the last video and lots of people have commented that some legendaries contain multiple species, such as more than one Lugia, but others only have one form. Yeah, I saw those comments too, Joe, and I don't care as long as there is only one Arceus because he's the best in case you two forgot. How can we forget Donald with you reminding us every two minutes and even Joe has had enough of you going on about Arceus too? So why don't you just focus on these Team Plasma battles instead? But these battles are so boring, Obama. They're also really easy as well. But one thing I would like to say is this place is called the Dragon Spiral Tower, yet there are no dragons here at all. Only Galette and other stupid Pokemon no one ever uses. You're gonna get a lot of comments bashing your opinion on Galette now, Donald, because that's actually a really good Pokemon. And you've probably insulted a bunch of our viewers with that opinion of yours. Obama, every time I speak, someone gets insulted with what I say. 
So at this point, why should I actually give a shit about what everyone else thinks? I am richer than all of them anyway, so there. Donald, as your bestie, it's my duty to tell you that money can't buy happiness. And as an ex-president, your voice still holds power. So you should think before you speak sometimes. And as your bestie Joe, it's also my duty to remind you when to shut the fuck up and stay in your lane because I am better than you. Whatever Donald and guys look, our Litwick finally is going to evolve at the end of this battle. I am so excited. Yeah, Joe, except its move pool is just so shit still. I agree with you, Obama, and I've been saying that since we got it, so could one of our viewers be a deer and leave a comment down below about what moves would be good for our shiny chandelure? And if I agree with you, I shall like your comment and give you one of my homemade Trump cookies. Oh, wow, our viewers are so lucky to get one of First your cookies, life. Donald, and look, boys, it's happening, it's fucking happening. Okay, I don't want to interrupt the most important Pokemon evolution we will all ever witness, but Obama, how dare you say my cookies are cursed? Your cookies are more cursed than the botched surgery you performed yesterday on poor Bob Donald in Surgeon Simulator. But anyway, boys, look, we made it to the top floor of the Dragon Spiral Tower finally, and N is here already. And he's here with Rashiram Obama, and look how awesome it looks. Rashiram is whiter than the cocaine I have been snorting for the last month. Okay, so the freak just flew off on his legendary Pokemon and now will only battle us if we find Zekrom, boys, who is just chilling in that fucking museum with people ogling at him all day. If I wanted to sleep for like a thousand years, I wouldn't want people staring at me all day whilst I do that. Donald N actually changes his ways and is a really nice person if you get to know him, which is something that can't be said about you. Shots fired there by Obama, and look guys, everyone is here now, even my brother from another creepy mother alder. Yeah, and thank God he doesn't have children following him around anymore, Obama. Yeah, but I just remembered in black and white too, he works in that trainer school with those two children again. Donald, which means we will have to lock Joe in a room until that part of the game is over. Oh, yummy, 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 I'm looking forward to playing that even more, boys. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, boys, I just realized something. We never caught a HM slave to teach fly to, and there isn't any around here, which means we have to walk all the way back to the relic castle. Okay, Joe, this is absolutely your fault, you piece of shit. Why didn't you catch a Pokemon that can learn fly? Obama, don't blame me, bro. You told me to catch a Rufflet since we aren't using Sigilyph anymore, and we can only catch those on Victory Road, so what did you expect me to do? Yeah, Joe, you idiot, you had so many chances to catch a HM slave that we could have taught Fly to, and you could have also told Donald to, since he wouldn't have forgotten. There were so many useless flying types we could have caught, but because you're a useless moron, we now have to walk all the way back to Nimbasa City. Well, the way I look at it is, we get to see all the lovely towns and cities we passed on our way to the seventh gym. And also, it will be good for us to get a few steps in as well, especially Donald L.M. Fayo. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear you say that, Joe. And for God's sake, I missed this Pokemon Ranger earlier, and now we have to battle her now. Hey, we were going to use Swadloon's evolution line in our team, but it kind of got sidelined for other Pokemon. And a viewer of ours even suggested we use one, since it's really good, actually. Well, I am very much considering we don't use Hydreigon anymore, boys, and use Zekrom instead, because it's so cool, and actually, I think I will do that. Yeah, and if we do that, Donald? You will save your bestie about 10 years off his life from training that Hydreigon up because there is no way you could make me do that. Well, I think it would be fun to use the box legendary for every playthrough we do from now on. Actually, since we used Ho-Oh and HeartGold and I used Arceus and Platinum, which should have been Giratina, but whatever. Oh boys, our Krokorok is going to evolve at the end of this battle. Oh hell yeah, Joe, and now we need to teach it Earthquake and possibly Stone Edge and then we shall be set, but we need Earthquake the most and I think it learns it by leveling up. You know, Crocodile would have been a cool Pokemon to get a Mega Evolution, and I'm surprised they didn't actually make one for it. Yeah, they should give it like two more heads or three tails and arms. That would be so scary and cool too. Well, Donald, some geniuses have also made ROM hacks that are based on Pokemon fusions, which means they combine two Pokemon together. And I think that's a ROM hack you would like to play. Yep, it's now official that Joe is the kindest person in my life, Obama, and he's taken over you now as well, and I just love him so much. He has provided so much valuable insight and knowledge for me in this playthrough, whilst you have done nothing helpful. Donald, because of him, you have to walk all the way through like five cities and routes, when we could have flown to the Relic Castle and probably got through it in the time it's taken you to get to Chargestone Cave. 
and then we still have to catch that Volcarona too. You know what, Obama, you are seriously nitpicking here and spreading so much negative vibes. And anyway, look, I have already made it to Driftvile City, and we only have to cross the bridge now, too. Hey, Donald, if you surf there, I think you can find a water stone next to the lighthouse, although we don't really have a use for it at the moment. Once again, thank you very much, Joe Biden, for being helpful, and I feel like finding an EV just to use that water stone on LMFAO. Yeah, I want to see Vaporian Donald, but I think finding EV in this game is much more difficult compared to black and white, too since in that game there is that secret EV garden in Castilia City. Well, I am still waiting for them to make a Ghost and Dragon type evolution. They made Psychic and Dark type EVs like 15 years ago and I'm surprised they still didn't bother making a Ghost type 1 at least. Okay, look Obama, we have made it all the way back to Nimbasa now, so stop crying and to shut you up. I will even find some random flying type Pokemon for you around here. I'm pretty sure I can find a Pidove or something in the grass, Maybe someone could leave a comment for the location of a shitty Pokemon that can learn fly for the time being around here. I don't think there are any around here that can learn fly Donald, but what's funny is we might actually be able to find Sigilyph inside the relic Castleton. Well, if it's in there, Donald, just fucking catch that Pokemon because I refuse to let you walk all the way to Opelucid City where the 8th gym is. Hey, Donald, what's going on with Obama today? He's been tense throughout this entire episode. The vibes around here are getting more polluted than a grimer. You know, Joe, maybe he had a fight with Michael and is taking it out on us because we all know who the dominant one is in that relationship, wink, wink. All right, Donald, you went too far on that one. Well, look, I made it all the way here, Obama, with my own two feet, and it didn't take that long, did it? And now we have like 10 floors of this damn castle to get through. Hey, I forgot about Yamask. What a great and underappreciated Pokemon that is. Very unique too, I think. Something I will agree with you on today, Joe, Yamask is indeed a really great Pokemon. And by the way, Donald, this place is going to be full of Team Plasma Grunts and a few Sages, too, so be prepared for them. Obama, none of them will be able to stand up to our Crocodile now it's fully evolved, and they only have crappy little Sand Dials and Watchogs anyway. Hey guys, this part of the game was never in the anime, was it? They only made that stupid Reshiram arc in the end of the Black and White series, and we never saw Zekrom, too. Zekrom was actually in the beginning of the Black and White series, Joe. And boys, how about we end this episode after Donald has beaten this plasma grunt? I have already started recording the next episode, and that should be out by Sunday, since the next few episodes we want to try make them over 20 minutes for your entertainment. Yeah, all right, Obama, I'm actually getting sick of your company today, which never happens, since Joe is the one who usually pisses me off by the time we get to this point. But look how the tables have turned. But anyway, everyone, thank you for watching, and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Yeah, and in the next episode, we will take on Team Plasma and head to the 8th gym and hopefully have a Chandelure as well. Okay, everyone, welcome back to Pokemon White, and we hope you're all having a great day. And if you're not, then we hope that by the end of this video, you will leave us with a big smile on your face. So please remember to like and subscribe. That was a very nice intro there, Joe. So well done. But yeah, welcome, everyone. And in today's episode, we shall make our way through this place which Joe probably built a thousand years ago, LMFAO. Obama, I'm not that old. And then head to Opelucid City and take on Iris for our eighth gym badge. Yeah, and don't forget, Obama, that we also need that dusk stone for our lampant so it can evolve. And if you don't let me do that by the time this episode finished, I shall have the biggest meltdown you have ever seen. Donald, you just had the biggest meltdown when that mugshot of you came out, LMFAO, and you kicked off. And that video was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Even funnier when you got scared of that eagle. Yeah, that was pretty funny. No offense, Bestie. And by the way, people are saying that mugshot will be my downfall, whatever that means. But you're still going to prison, Donald. Sorry. Nothing I can do about that anymore. That's fine, Joe. I have accepted that my absolutely terrible actions have consequences, and I shall take my prison sentence on with dignity. But as long as I can still play games with you, I won't make a fuss about it. So make that happen, Joe. I've sorted that out already, Donald, and nice one too, we found Shadow Ball. Yeah, and in the last episode, we had a bunch of lovely viewers comment what moves would be the best for our Chandelure. And I think we will be going with Flamethrower Hex, Shadow Ball, and possibly Nasty Plot. But that last move we aren't so sure about yet. Yeah, and I will also teach Sludge Bomb to our Crocodile 2, Obama, since some poison coverage is never bad to have, and I never knew Crocodile could learn Sludge Bomb either, actually. 
Yeah, good idea, Donald and I was hoping that we could get Ice Beam by the time we reach Opelousid City. But I don't think we will be able to, so we will probably have to brute force our way through that gym. I'm sure the TM for Ice Beam is available to use before the Elite Four, at least Obama, because that move will be useful for N. And by the way, since his Reshiram is a fire type, our Samurott will destroy it. Yeah, good shout, Joe. You and Donald are being really strategic today, and I'm all for it. And if you can tell, I'm in a much better mood than yesterday, too. I can tell Obama and I feel a lot of positive vibes around here, too, which is great. But I want to know why we are even in this stupid place to begin with. Well, Donald, I think Team Plasma think that Zekrom is in here somewhere. But to be honest, I have no idea why we are here, either. I just know there's a Volcarona here somewhere, and I want it. Well, Obama, our team has already decided in this series. But when we play black and white, too, we can use a Volcarona. And I also want to use Zekrom on our team, too, since it's the box legendary. And Donald's idea in the last episode was a really good one about using it, too. Yeah, my idea was big brain, wasn't it, Joe? And if we get a shiny Zekrom, that would be even cooler. Shiny Zekrom has green lights inside it compared to the normal blue. But have you guys seen Rashiram's shiny version? It looks disgusting. Yeah, it reminds me of Vomit, Donald, because of the yellow color on Reshiram's tail and its shiny form, but Kyrim is my favorite out of the three, since it goes purple and ice blue, kinda, and just looks so cool. Oh yeah, Kyrim is the best Obama, and we should definitely catch it when we do the post-game, which doesn't really exist in this game, to be honest. Oh look, boys! Finally we made it to the bottom of the castle, and Alder is here with Getsis. And he's still ranting on about separating people and Pokémon for some reason. Yeah, so essentially Getsis has been brainwashing N since he was a young boy to be the king of Team Plasma and lead them on their quest to separate people and Pokemon and make the world better. But really Getsis is the puppet master acting from behind the scenes. Yeah, and now Alder says he's going to go challenge N and try convince him to change his mind. And I remember watching the anime short series they made on YouTube and you actually get to see N battle Alder with his Zekrom. And it was so cool to watch. Yeah, I watched that too, Obama. And by the way, we still don't have a Pokemon with Fly, which means we now have to walk to Nacreen City, where Professor Juniper told us to meet her and everyone else. Oh fucking hell, Joe. You had two days to find a Pokemon to teach Fly to, and now I have to watch Donald walk all the way back to Nacreen City when we could have flown there in two seconds. Yeah, but at least we get to walk through Castilia again, Obama, and the Sky Arrow Bridge too because after we get to the eighth gym, we probably won't bother ever coming back to these places. So why don't you look at it from that point of view? Hey, Joe, I forgot that since it's spring, we could have got a Castilia cone. Actually, Donald, it's not Tuesday, so we can't, which is why I didn't make a fuss as soon as you entered Castilia City. But since we have fly now on Tuesday, I would like to record us going to get a Castilia cone and eating it, and that can be the whole video for Tuesday. That is the most amount of times I have ever heard someone say the word Tuesday in one sentence, Joe. And we are absolutely not recording you buying a Castilia cone and not doing anything else because I haven't got time for that shit. Yeah, and whoever was playing the last time we were here in the pinwheel forest forgot to battle these fucking kids, which means I have to waste my time now slaughtering their puny little shitty low-leveled peasant Pokemon. Yeah, and this particular kid has three fucking Woobats, Donald, which is just rubbing it in because we have seven gym badges and still don't have a Pokemon with Fly. OMG Obama, after this battle, I shall go into the grass and find a flying type for you, so you stop bitching at me about this. Yeah, there are wild pea doves in the forest, Donald, so just catch one of those. Yeah, anything to shut Obama up, Joe. And I will even waste an Ultra Ball on this thing, so we don't have to waste more time trying to catch it. Yeah, and name this pea dove bitch without the T Donald, because that's what this thing will be to me. Yeah, whatever, Obama. I just want to get to Opelousid City and get our 8th gym badge done with so we can get that dust stone. And then I'm going to train our Chandelure and only Chandelure to level 100, and we shall obliterate the entire Elite Four with it. Well, Donald, there is actually uh, one member of the Elite Four who has Dark-type Pokémon, so that's probably not going to be a good idea to do. Also, you can't train it to level 100 either because there won't be any exciting battles then, will there, if we are that OP? Joe, since I'm the one who will be champion this time around, I will do what I want. Yeah, we'll see about that, Donald. But anyway, Bestie, look, you made it to Nacreen City in good time, and the whole gang is here, and Lenora has the Darkstone too. Yeah, but it's going to be a while until we actually get Zekrom Joe. I'm pretty sure we have to beat the entire Elite Four first, and then we get Zekrom. Yeah, and then we'll have to rebattle the Elite Four again, 
and the proper champion since N kind of just disappears. Um, you two do realize you're giving away spoilers willy-nilly. Joe, this game has been out for over 10 years now. And if any of our viewers still hasn't played it, then that's on them because this is my game and I will say and do what I want like I've told you before, so there. Wow, does it feel good to see the entire map of Unova like this, boys, and it makes me feel so warm and gooey inside, knowing that we can fly back to Ixera City instead of fucking walking Donald. Yeah, and look how pretty this place is now that it's spring, Obama. You were right when you said spring is the best season. The grass is so green and the water is so blue, and you can even see our reflection in it. It's very nice, Donald, but there is a battle with your favorite person coming up now, so get ready for that. Oh, I thought it was going to be a battle with someone important, Joe, but it's just Bianca, for fuck's sake. I think this is the last time we have to battle her, though, so I will try to get through this as quick as possible. Well, Bianca is a pretty important person, Donald, as she is one of our best friends in the game, and I actually like her a lot. Also, you have to remember this game was the first in the series to incorporate more than one rival for us. Well, in Black and White 2, they go back to only having one rival, Obama, which just proves that even Game Freak found Bianca annoying and they made her. You can't argue with that, can you, Obama? And we really need to get rid of Inferno on our lamp and Donald. That move is so shit because it never hits. We need to replace it with Flamethrower. Well, Joe, we won't be able to get Flamethrower for a while. I think it's a level up move, but I agree, Inferno is so dead. Well, Donald, we should use some PP ups on Shadow Ball and especially Hex. Hex is going to save us a lot because it does more damage to a Pokemon with a status condition and our ability on Lampent is Flame Body, so it's a, such a perfect move for us to use. Yeah, and we could also combine it with Thunder Wave because Flame Body won't guarantee a burn every turn, Obama. But our Zebra has Thunder Wave on it, so that would be an even better strategy. Wow, Joe, you coming in with those big brain moves, I see well done. I wasn't planning on getting rid of Thunder Wave anyway because it will be useful for catching legendaries later on. Yeah, and well done, Donald. You beat Bianca for the final time, which, to be honest, wasn't a challenge anyway, but she gave us some full restores, which means we can start buying them from the Pokemarts now. We'll probably need a bunch for the Elite Four later. Oh, God, look, boys. Getsis is here spreading more of his propaganda. And, I mean, we have the champion of Unova right here as well as both of the gym leaders, so why the fuck didn't they try stopping Getsis? Donald, that would be like a three versus ten battle, which wouldn't be fair, would it? because Getsis had a bunch of Team Plasma members behind him. Joe, stop trying to defend them, you idiot. Alder and Iris alone could have taken them down, but no, they are so lazy, and we have to do all the work, and if it wasn't already apparent to you, I'm allergic to manual labor. If you're allergic, Donald, will you let me have a go now? Sorry, Joe, nope. Even though you're my bestie, I am still being champion here, so there and now we have to go to Drayden's house and listen to his lecture, for fuck's sakes. I actually like this story, Donald, because Drayden tells us the story of the two princes and how Zekrom and Rashiram were once one Pokemon, and then they somehow split into two because of a fight. Yeah, well, that story literally makes zero sense, Obama, because Joe and I fight all the time, and you don't see us splitting into two, do you? Donald, the princes didn't split into two, you dumbass. The dragon Pokemon did, and anyway, I think the original one had Kyrem in it, too. Leave a comment down below and tell us what you think the original dragon Pokemon was like. I think the original dragon was a combination of white Kyrem and black Kyrem Obama. But that would mean it would have to have four types instead of two, which is something we haven't seen before. Imagine that dragon Pokemon being dragon, ice, fire, and electric type all at once. Yeah, they would never do that, Joe. Imagine how broken that Pokemon would be if they did that and that would mean it could overpower Arceus, which is just not acceptable. Donald, could you please go one episode without simping over Arceus, for God's sake? And anyway, you need to concentrate on the gym now, too, because this gym is going to be tough, and we have no moves that are strong against dragon types. You know, something I have noticed is they stick basically all the dragon-type Pokémon in every game right at the end, usually after we beat the eighth gym, which means you can't really use one unless you want to spend so much time training it up like we had to do with our Dragonite in our Pokémon Heart Gold playthrough. That's because most dragon types are OP, Joe, so Game Freak, go and stick them at the end before the Elite Four, thinking no one would be bothered to train a dragon type all the way up, but they didn't take into account you, Joe. You broke the mold. Wait, what do you mean I broke the mold, Donald? That's Donald's nice way of saying you're our bitch, Joe, because we make you always do the training, and then we get to take the credit for it all, LMFAO. Yeah, well, the tides are changing, Obama, and by the way, you said these dragons would be difficult to beat, but Donald is slashing them all down like they're a bunch of level one Pokemon. 
Actually, Joe, they are pretty strong. I mean, that fracture almost killed our Lampant with one Dragon Claw, which is just dumb when we also have Stab, too. But Shadow Ball does fuck all. I just realized, guys, that Hydregion is named that because it has three heads like the Hydra Hyle does Hydra. in mythology. Wow, I'm so stupid. Donald, you can't say that in our videos. Obama, I only quoted Red Skull from Marvel, and me and him have a lot in common, don't you think? Wow, Donald, yeah, I can't deny that. We could call you Orange Skull LM Feo. Yeah, I didn't mean it like that, Obama, you idiot. Hey guys, why do you think Game Freak made Dano the highest level Pokemon to evolve in any game? Because Hydreigon is so goaded, Joe. Seriously, you ask the dumbest questions sometimes, bro. It would have been cool if Iris had one in this gym battle as well as her Haxorus. But anyway, Donald, let's get started with the final gym battle of our Pokemon White series. So good luck, bro. I believe in you. Yeah, good luck, Donald. And would you care to tell us what your plan of attack is for this battle? Do you have any strategies in mind? Well, thank you, boys, for that prep talk. And yeah, Joe, my plan is embargo the hell out of each of her Pokemon and then basically spam dig, especially since this fracture loves to use Dragon Dance. So if I can take it out before its stats get too high, then that would be great. Yeah, I think that would be a solid plan of attack, Donald, using dig to avoid her attacks. And we can get stab on that, too. Her fracture isn't the Pokemon I would worry about, though. OK, nice, Donald. Your plan to use dig actually worked out really well. And now she sent out Drudagon which is my least favorite Dragon-type Pokemon, too. Yeah, I don't like it either, Obama. And by the way, Iris never had one of these in the anime, so why did they go add one to her team? Looks like you will need a different plan for this Pokemon Donald because Dig isn't going to do much damage to this Pokemon of hers. Yeah, Joe, thank you. I have eyes too, you moron, but I have full faith in our Samurott here, although it's become our lowest level Pokemon for some reason. Yeah, and Iris has gone and used a fucking Hyper Potion Donald, so I can tell exactly how this battle is going to go now. Yeah, well, unlike her, I refuse to heal until it's absolutely necessary, Obama. I can beat her for sure because I believe in my team, which is what Pokemon trainers should do with their Pokemon. Yeah, Donald's right, Obama. You gotta have faith in your team. And with Shadow Ball, Donald can clutch this easily now. All right, now it's time for her strongest Pokemon, boys. So here I plan to get it burned if Flame Body hits and then use Hex to one-shot this guy. Yeah, I swear, Shadow Ball used to lower special defense, but now it's not doing anything. So what's up with that? I think they changed it in this game. Joe and Donald, her Haxorus has assurance, which means we're fucked. So now what are you gonna do? Yeah, and of course we would get the flame body to connect after we're killed. That's such BS, boys. I swear Iris has rigged this battle now too. That's why she ran off from Drayden's house early. Donald, you can't keep blaming your battle mistakes on the opponent. And Iris hasn't rigged Obama, anything yes, either. yes, she has rigged this battle. She probably used an action replay and made sure we died before she could get burned. But look, I still beat this little cheater. Donald, that doesn't even make sense. And instead of wasting your energy on that well done for beating her, but for an eighth gym battle, this wasn't exactly challenging either, was it? No, she was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Obama and I say we hold a Senate meeting and a vote too on switching Iris and Berg around, and he can be the eighth gym leader instead because he was one tough cookie compared to Iris. Yeah, I'll be your second vote for that, Donald. Berg was hell, but anyway, well done for beating all the gyms. Now, Donald and Professor Juniper just gave us a master ball, so what should we use it on, boys? Well, we are definitely keeping it away from you, Joe, because you wasted our master ball in our Pokemon Platinum playthrough, which you should all go check out, by the way, link in the description. But anyway, nice plug, I say we keep the master ball for Arceus. Yeah, Donald, we can't get Arceus in this game unless you phone the Russians up again, but we could use it on Kyrem because he's gonna be a challenge to catch. Fine, Joe, we could use it on him too, and then can we use him in our party? I mean, we could use him for the Elite Four rematches, Donald, but we would already have Zekrom in our party, so having another Legendary would probably be overkill, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I just wanna say I'm gonna be very unhappy if you two swap out Braviary after I trained him all the way up for Kyrem, which will already be level 70 anyway, so that wouldn't be fair on me. Joe, of course. We would never do that to you, buddy. All your hard work going into training the Pokemon that is the symbol of our great nation would never be replaced by such a powerful and awesome legendary Pokemon for a legendary president like myself. Okay, well that sounded sincere, Donald, so thank you for clarifying that with me, bro. I love you. Joe, the word idiot was made for you, but anyway, Donald, it's our last battle with the real rival of this game, so make sure to put Sharon in his place and show him who the real champ is around here. Don't worry, Obama, I will rush through this battle because after we beat him, we can finally evolve our cute little Lampant into a shiny orange Chandelure, and I'm even more excited now. You know, I think that Bianca's team is actually stronger than Sharon's.
because our zebra can take out three of his Pokemon all by itself, pretty much. No way, Joe, and even if her team is stronger, she isn't the rival to me, only Sharon is. Yeah, I wonder why you think that Donald... Yeah, we all know why Obama, but I'm not gonna say it because Donald will have a fit otherwise. And look, you could have used embargo on this superior, you know. No need to waste embargo on this stupid snake, Joe. Superior is the worst starter out of all the game, in my opinion. I hate it so much, and if you agree with me, then leave a comment down below. And if you think it's actually a good Pokemon, then also leave a comment so I can tell you why your opinion is wrong, Elmao. Yeah, I just want to apologize now to any of our viewers who actually like Superior, and please don't take anything Donald says personally. Look, Donald, your favorite monkey just survived a direct attack from Discharge. Are you going to blame Sharon for using an action replay now, too? Okay, going to admit that was pretty suspect, Joe, but it probably survived because Sharon has been smoking him up so much and then it went and killed us with Scald. So that's the only explanation I can think of. Well, he only has this Pokemon left, Donald, and it's nothing challenging so well done for beating him for the final time. Yeah, Sharon was a pretty cool rival, but I prefer Hugh from Black and White, too, since his story is way more deep, in my opinion. And nice, our Samurott got to learn Aqua Tail, too, which is a super OP move, and I prefer it to Hydro Pump. Me too, Joe. And now, Donald, you gotta go up from here and follow the path around to get the Dust Stone. But I think there are two trainer battles on the way to it. Yeah, I know, Obama. And look, Bianca just gave me some Max Revives. Probably the only useful thing she does in any game, seriously. Well, giving us our starter Pokemon in black and white, too, could also be considered quite useful, Donald, don't you think? She doesn't deserve to be a Pokemon trainer, Joe. She got her Pokemon stolen from her. Remember, which shows how pathetic and weak she is and she needs to have more confidence in herself if she wants to be considered a rival to me like Charon. Yeah, it's funny how they made the girl lose her Pokemon, but they didn't make any of the guys go through that LM Fao. Obama, that's a conversation that needs to stop right there before we get into trouble with someone. But look, boys, we are only one more trainer to getting our Dusk Stone. I think that was also the first time we saw a Sock Boys in this game, unless there was someone I missed who had one. But I would have preferred to have been named after that Joe, just FYI. Yeah, Donald and I have already apologized like 20 times now too. And we could use a Riolu in our black and white two playthrough boys since we get them really quickly in that game. A shiny one would be even cooler and I would even name it Donald for you, Donald. Shiny Lucario makes me want to throw up Joe, it looks so stupid. They could have made it all black instead or something, or made it a red color even. All right, boys, enough about all that. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Our little Litwick is now going to be an awesome shiny orange Chandelure. And no wonder you love its shiny version, Donald. You're basically the same color as it LMFAO. You know what, Obama? I won't even take that as an insult, but a compliment. Instead, because look how cool this thing is now. It's so awesome, and I could just stare at it all day long. I'm so happy now. I can go to prison knowing that one of my life goals has been achieved. Yeah, and we can take the lucky egg off it now to Donald and give it a charcoal or something to boost its fire or ghost moves. And by the way, we really, really need flamethrower on Chandelure before we get to the Elite Four. Joe, I didn't hear anything you just said because I am in awe at looking at this gorgeous thing. But anyway, boys, what do you say about ending this episode here for today? Sounds good, Donald. And I just want to say sorry, there wasn't any uploads for the last two days. We have had lots of things going on in real life, so we hope you all appreciate that. But we hope you enjoyed this episode. And in the next one, we shall make our way through Victory Road, so please remember to like and subscribe for more. All right, everyone, welcome back to our Pokemon White Playthrough, which is slowly coming to an end, sadly. Howdy, howdy, my brothers and sisters. But for now, we aim to make it through Victory Road, and then take on the Elite Four, Please like and which subscribe, with our team and I will should be a walk in the park, Donald, so get ready for that. Yeah, Obama, and look, we finally get to put our Chandelure to use in a battle for the first time, and I'm so excited. Yeah, except we have no moves to use against Sawsbuck Donald LM Fao. All right, boys, this is really pissing me off now. It's not just Chandelure, our entire team has shit moves, so before we take on the Elite Four, I'm phoning the fucking Russians again and asking them for some better TMs. And I'll also search all over Unova if I have to as well. Well, Donald, lots of viewers have still been suggesting us moves. So if you do all that, then take a look at the comments again first to see what moves they suggest for us. Yeah, Donald, take a look at those. And Joe, you need to do some training for our Pokemon since I think getting everyone to around level 50 will be a good place to take the Elite Four on with. All right, you two. 
I shall take a look at those comments. And yeah, Joe, you also need to catch that rufflet at some point too, bro. Remember, we better have a braviary to use by the time I enter the Elite Four. Yeah, Donald, I remember. And Obama, I have a question for you. Do you think that the first time we battle the Elite Four doesn't actually count? Because I don't think it does. Now, Joe, I do agree with you there that it doesn't count. We don't actually fight the champion, really, even though N does beat Alder. I don't personally consider him to be the champion. So the Elite Four rematches are what I believe to be the proper battles. Well, that's just bullshit, boys. If I beat them in N2, that means I am the champion. So there, end of story. Donald, technically, you're not the champion, but we can discuss that later. First, we need to beat this trainer, and then we get to walk through the badge gates, which are super cool in this game, especially the one where we get to be Jesus. Hey, this guy had an Escavalier Obama. I love that Pokemon so much, I wish we could have used one. Yeah, that's a really good Pokemon, Donald, except it's stuck behind a trade evolution. Trade evolutions remind me of PlayStation trophies you can only unlock if you do something online. Those are the worst trophies. Obama, these gates aren't exciting at all. I would rather watch reruns of your White House press speeches than go through these. Yeah, well, your speeches are even more boring, Joe. I'm surprised you don't put yourself to sleep when you read them out. Oh, Mao. Well, you have to agree, these are more exciting than what we got in Diamond and Pearl and Heart Gold and Soul Silver Joe. In those games, you just have one guy who checks all the badges and then you carry on. In Gen 5, they've made it more interactive. Oh, look, this is the one where Obama said we get to be Jesus. Okay, this is definitely my favorite gate now, boys. Well, he walked on water. He didn't fly, but that's besides the point. Anyway, boys, I would like to discuss the victory road in this game and how I think it's the worst one in any game ever. I concur, Donald. It looks so shit in this game and dirty and brown and doesn't even feel like a victory road. Sinnoh's victory road has to be my favorite. I also think it's the most challenging one out of all of them with the trainers inside it. Yeah, I agree, Obama, but I think in black and white too, they made the victory road way more challenging, which was a good step up. I think the Elite Four is also more challenging in those games, Donald, and tell me which Elite Four member are you the most nervous to take on? Joe, you should know me by now that Donald J. Trump does not get nervous at all, and I shall obliterate the entire Elite Four with Chandelure alone, if I want. Something I would like to know is why Donald J. Trump keeps referring to himself in the third person. Donald, you're so busy inflating your own ego again, you've failed to notice this ace trainer has taken out two of our Pokemon LMAO. And you're saying you're going to obliterate the Elite Four. Hey Obama, you failed to remember that three members of the Elite Four will be weak to our team. One member is a ghost type, another is a psychic, and the third one is a fighting type, which means we can use Chandelure for the ghost and psychic type and Braviary for the fighting type. Yeah, except the fourth member is a dark type trainer, Donald. So what's your plan for that? I shall brute force my way through him, Obama. And also, I made a cut here and let Joe do some training for me too, which is why our Pokemon are a few levels higher now. After that ace trainer almost killed our entire team, I made Joe level our team up a bit. Yeah, Donald basically forced me to do some training again, Obama. And now he wants me to get that rufflet. Oh yeah, I forgot we could catch rufflets on Route 10 boys, but I think they have a 30% chance of appearing, so we might be in the grass for a while. Now, nah, Obama, I will find one really quickly and catch it, which means my work will be done, and then Joe can do all the training like he said he would. Yeah, I will train that little birdie up, boys. And also, please leave some comments down below for what nickname you'd like to see us give Braviary, and we will pick the comment which has the most likes on it, Oh yeah, good idea, Joe, except naming it Donald would be the better option because I am the best. Donald, you're still my bestie, rest. but please shut so the there. fuck up about naming everything after you. Look, Joe, I found our rufflet, and since you told me to shut the fuck up, which is extremely unacceptable, first of all, and second of all, I need to be named after one Pokemon, at least in our playthroughs, so I am not forgotten. Yeah, trust me, Donald. There is no way anyone will forget about you, LMFAO, but our team is basically built now. And I doubt our viewers will suggest having your name as the nickname for our braviary. Yeah, and we decided a while ago that we won't be nicknaming legendaries Donald, so you're going to have to wait for Black and White 2 for that, buddy. Okay, fine, Obama. I am learning to be a changed man and have collected lots of different self-help books for when I'm in prison, so in one year I will be a different person. Just wait. Donald, you should battle that doctor to get a free heal. And also, I realize that the dark type trainer has a few fighting types on his team, too, which means we could use Braviary for that battle as well. 
Oh yeah, he has a Bisharp on his team as well as a Scrafty, so good call there, Joe, nicely done. Apparently most people have the hardest time dealing with Marshall, who is the fighting type trainer Donald. But to be honest, when I first played this, the ghost type leader was the worst. Yeah, but I stuck a spell tag on our Chandelure Obama and we have trained very hard, so I think we can sweep Chantal just using Lumiere. All right, boys, it's now time for round one of the Elite Four, and I still don't feel excited or anything really because the whole team plasma shit is taking priority still. I agree, Joe, but before we take them on, we need to train up our rufflet and evolve it since it will at level 54. Which for a nun dragon type Pokemon is actually ridiculously high if you think about it. Yeah, Joe, we are super close to evolving and I even stuck the lucky egg on rufflet for you to make your life easier because I'm such a good friend. The thing is, Joe, I think it would be a lot easier for you to train rufflet up on Route 10 where we caught it because the Pokemon in the caves here are gonna kill it with Stone Edge or other rock moves. This place is filled with steel and rock types, remember? Okay, Obama, that's not actually a bad idea, so thanks for that. What moves do you think our final braviary form should have too? Well, we need fly on it, Joe. And it can also learn close combat, which I think would be a really good move to have, as well as air slash or brave bird, possibly. What do you think, Obama? Yeah, close combat sounds like a solid move, Donald. And we are absolutely not getting rid of fly. I refuse to walk anywhere now, especially since most of the map is now open to us, and after we beat the game, we still have like four more cities to travel to. All right, boys, looks like Rufflet here will be taking out its brethren for experience, so I apologize in advance, fellas, but this is a needed sacrifice. Well, we have the superior Rufflet anyway, Joe, so who gives a fuck seriously? Just kill them all. It would have been cooler if you found a shiny one, Joe, seriously. I think shiny Braviary has a blue tint to it or something, so you could have put in more effort and caught one of those you know. Listen here. Obama, you don't understand how long it took me to find that shiny Litwick, let alone another three plus days. I will probably have to spend looking for a shiny rufflet. I seriously don't have the time or patience for that shit. And also we need to get the videos out, so unless Donald phoned his Russian buddies up, then I say a big fuck you to doing that. Yeah, Obama, as much as I love shiny Pokemon, there is no way I would wait for Joe to shiny hunt. But after we beat the game or complete the Pokedex, I think Professor Juniper will give us the shiny charm, so then we can make him look for a shiny Axu for us. LML! Hang on, Donald, did you just spend all our fucking money on 75 full restores? Yeah, I saw him do that too, Obama. Donald, you just spent a quarter of a million dollars on full restores. Why would you do that? Like the scouts say, bro, it's about being prepared. And now look, I shall take on Chantal first, boys. And with our shiny Lumiere here, I will perform a seance on this bitch. Hey, Donald, that wasn't nice. She's actually quite a cool trainer, you know, but I expected her team to be way higher leveled than this. I thought all the members of the Elite Four would be in the mid-50s when we battle them, boys. Actually, you're right, Obama. I don't remember them being in the 40 region either, but oh well. I can slaughter them all now, LML. Look, our Chandelure is absolutely decimating her team. Well, with the spell tag, Donald, your ghost moves are boosted in power, and ghost is super effective against ghosts, so no wonder you're destroying her. And I have a feeling Elite Four member Caitlyn will also face the same fate here. Yeah, that's right, Joe. I am going to take on Caitlyn next anyway, and there is no way that blondie will come out on top. The only blonde who's allowed on top of me is Stormy. <laughs> Donald, I knew exactly where you were going with that, so please remember to keep this at least PG-15, bro. I don't want to start getting emails from some of our younger viewers' parents complaining about you. Tell them to suck at Obama, because this is my video and my game, and my time to be the champ, so there. Now watch as this team of psychic types feels the power of the ghost. All right, calm down, Donald. I think this is getting a little easy for you, so why don't you make a small rule here that you aren't allowed to heal your Pokemon up until the end of a battle? It will at least make it a bit more challenging. Joe, that is the dumbest idea you've given me so far. It's not my fault two of these so-called Elite Four members decided to have a full team of Pokemon weak to Ghost, is it? And anyway, the next trainer I shall battle is Marshall, and I can't use Chandelure for him, can I? Yeah, but you're gonna switch to Braviary and then you could just spam Fly and take his entire team out just like that. Actually, Joe, some of Marshall's team has the move Stone Edge. So this battle should be a bit more difficult. And anyway, remember, we aren't counting these battles as the official Elite Four battles until Team Plasma is beaten and we do the rematches. Yeah, this battle will be slightly more difficult, Joe, and stop complaining and setting me up to lose. 
Donald, I'm not setting you up for anything. You're literally sweeping everything, so yes, I thought I could are, make it a Joe. bit more fun for you. You That's just want all. me to lose so you can have a turn and beat them and become champion. I can see right through your games, bro. Yeah, Joe getting a bit salty, I feel, as well, El Mao. All right, his first Pokemon didn't stand a chance against Fly. Yeah, obviously. And now it's time for his sock to die, too. See, look, Joe, he has Stone Edge, and he just outsped us with it, too. So now this battle isn't going to go like the others, is it? That was just luck that he outsped us, Obama. But I guess you're right. I forgot that Sock usually always has the sturdy ability, too. And now Marshall is probably going to use a Hyper Potion or something. He's gone and used two fucking full restores in a row now. What the hell? Well, I won't stoop to his peasant level, boys. So I refuse to heal and I shall take him out with my awesome power. See, I knew Donald's ego would get the better of him, Obama, which is why I didn't make a fuss because I knew I wouldn't need to El Mal. That's right, Joe. Donald can never let anyone be better than him, which makes it super easy to exploit him. All right, this Marshall guy has taken out three of our team now, guys. I thought this battle would be a walk in the park, too. I should have healed up Braviary and kept using Fly. I hate my ego so much sometimes. Well, imagine how the rest of the planet feels, Donald, if you've only just realized that now. But anyway, I did warn you earlier that Marshall is considered the most difficult. Yeah, I'm going to just chime in here, Obama, and disagree with that statement because I think that each Elite Four member is only difficult depending on how well or not you come prepared for the battles. I mean, you did say Chantal was difficult for you, did you not earlier? All right, Joe, calm down. I know what I said. But if you listen to my statement about the Elite Four, I said that Marshall is considered the most difficult. But your statement also is true, actually. And I can't believe I'm agreeing with you. Wow, so this Elite Four member, whatever his name is, is just plain rude. He was complaining about the amount of challengers today, and he's only had to battle in. What a lazy piece of shit this guy is. I think his name is Grimsley Donald, and he sure dresses pretty well, and his Elite Four room is also probably my favorite out of the four of them, too. But yeah, this dude does seem quite negative. Yeah, and now watch as Braviary here will go through his team like a hot knife through butter. Or whatever that saying is, I can't remember, but you know what I mean. That's absolutely not the saying, Donald, just FYI, but I know what you meant, yeah? And if you're not careful, you'll get Bravery killed again. Yeah, we are so getting rid of Skydrop. Before we battle N or Getsis or whoever is next Obama, I thought this move would be cool. So that's why I taught it, but we should have kept Air Slash instead. Oh, look guys, our Braviary held on for us with that smudge of HP left. Yup, and then because I'm the goat of Pokemon battles, our Braviary got that crit to take down this Crocodile with one shot, boys. Oh yes, aren't I just the RNG master? Well, you could have healed Braviary this time, Donald. It probably could have taken out the rest of his team, you know? He hasn't let our other Pokemon really battle, though, Obama. So since this is the last member of the Elite Four, he may as well use everyone else. He even taught Ice Beam to our Samurott. Yeah, I noticed that too, Joe. Donald, how did you manage that so fast? I just told you about 10 seconds ago, Obama, it's because I am the goat around, and look, I beat the entire Elite Four faster than Joe ever could, LML. Hey, using revenge there for the last move was pretty cool, Donald. And we got lucky that his Bisharp attacked before us. And we got the critical there as well. All in all, those were some good battles, but I'm still discrediting them until we battle them again to become the actual champion. Damn, I definitely need to talk to my architects and ask them to build me something like this place, don't you guys think? This would be absolutely perfect for someone like me. Oh lordy lord, here we go again. And it doesn't help either that the entirety of the interior of this building is all gold too. Hey, listen, Obama, as weird and creepy as Alder is, he sure has good design skills. I mean, look at this place. It's straight fire. Yeah, but he just lost to N. Donald, so instead of complimenting his interior design skills, why don't you critique his battling skills instead, which are apparently non-existent, because every time we have battled N, we've won. I'm just going to interrupt Joe here and say we had to cut out the animation of Team Plasma's castle destroying the Pokemon League, because for some reason on our recording software, it was very flashy and probably could have caused someone with epilepsy to have a seizure, so we felt it would be better to cut that clip out entirely. Yeah, sorry about that, everyone, since it's such a cool clip, but the footage was very bad and also unsafe to use. So we hope you understand, but anyway, boys, time to storm the castle now. And to be honest, this whole part of the game makes no sense. It may not make sense, Donald, but it's fucking awesome. All the gym leaders just appear and take on all the sages, which I think is so cool. Except, don't you guys think the Elite Four should have been here too? 
I mean, those four could have taken these sages on all by themselves. Well, I was thinking that too, Joe, but we did just destroy their entire team, so they're probably in the Pokemon Center recovering LMAO. I've always loved this part, boys, just running through the gym leaders and sages as they battle, but they could have animated this whole bit better and had their Pokemon appear out of their poke balls, but whatever. Yeah, cool, no one cares, Donald, but look, there are a bunch of rooms for us to check out here in the castle. And it seems the story behind this place is N and his two side chicks grew up here. Oh yeah, Joe, I forgot about those two. They were in the anime too. I think their names are Anthea and Hermione or something. Either way, N is a playboy and has a whole harem going on here, LMFAO. And speak of the devil, here is the harem boys. I rate Hermione a solid nine and Anthea is a solid eight. What you two thinking? I'm thinking these two are way too older for me, Obama, so I won't be casting a vote here, but Donald make sure to check all the rooms because there are some really cool items we can pick up. There's even a rare candy. Yeah, Joe, I'm not an idiot. I just beat the Elite Four. And apart from the rare candy, the other items in here are pretty shit. But if we missed any hidden items, then please leave a comment down below. In the next episode, we could go pick them up then. This is the part of the game in which some of the Team Plasma members start to doubt whether or not forcing people to release their Pokemon is a good idea or not. Yeah, I mean, you two call me an idiot a lot, but if it took them this long to figure out forcing people to release their Pokemon is a bad idea, then who's the real idiot, huh huh? Joe, you've made some of the dumbest mistakes I have seen anyone ever make in Pokemon before. So you're still quite a big idiot, but you're still my bestie, bro, so don't worry about it. I guess I will take that as a compliment, Donald, but check it, boys. This room was ends when he was young and his harems, too. Oh, and get the rare candy, Donald. Joe, stop going about the fucking rare candy, seriously. This guy has a half pipe in here, guys, in a basketball court, too. He was living his best life. Well, remember, Obama, he was brainwashed. So Getsis has to obviously sweeten him up and make N trust him. So that's probably why he had so much stuff and toys to play with. And Getsis even gave him two girls. Oh, that blondie's name is Harmonia Boys, not Hermione. I thought that sounded stupid. Hermione, Harmonia, tomato, tomato. Who gives a shit, Joe? That Team Plasma grunt was talking about Team Rocket and Team Galactic Boys and how they lost because they were too public about all their actions, which makes zero sense because Team Plasma was the one holding public speaking shows in front of everyone in basically each town they visited. Holy shit, you're right, Obama and also Team Rocket and Team Galactic actually lost because I, Joe Biden beat them, remember? You had a shit ton of help, Joe, don't forget that, and a lot came from our viewers too, so give them some credit as well. But anyway, boys, check it out. I made it to the top of the castle where N's throne is. Yeah, and sadly, we had to cut these animations, too, because of the epilepsy issue, and that's not a joke, either. I blame Joe for this. Obama, how is that my fault when Donald is the one who's been playing all this time, and he's too Joe, stupid to set up the recording software? Joe, will you stop interrupting the King's software? speech here with your excuses, and look, the two legendary dragons are finally showing up. Yeah, Reshiram just flew through the wall, and now Zekrom is about to wake up because he sensed the presence of Reshiram, and this will be the Battle of the Ages, boys. And here they are, guys, check out how cool they look. But I say we end this episode right here. And in the next episode, we will catch Zekrom, name it Donald, and then beat in. I agree with everything you just said, Donald, except naming Zekrom after you, you dumbass. But anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. And please hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for our next video. Yeah, thanks, everyone. We hope you have a lovely week. All right, everyone, we're jumping right back into Pokemon White, and today we're going to catch Zekrom Boy and probably get destroyed by Getsis. Sup, sup, everyone! So if you enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe. You know, we have a Master Ball in our pocket, so we could just use it on Reshiram too, LMAO. And then N would have lost his Fire Dragon, and we gained both Legendaries. Yeah, Donald, you know, that's not how that works, buddy. N already caught Reshiram, so we can't use another ball on it. Obama, it's called the Master Ball, which means it's the master of all balls and can catch anything. Please, can you just stop talking about Balls Donald and catch this Zekrom already? And by the way, thanks to one of our viewers' comments, this Zekrom is shiny locked, and we can thanks the morons at Game Freak for doing that. Yeah, fuck them, Obama. I can't believe that. Looks like I will need to make a few phone calls and get us a shiny Zekrom because that is just racist. Donald, on what planet is that racism? It's racist to the color green Joe, and anyway, look, I will use our last Ultra Ball and catch this boy. Yeah, we're just going to ignore the fact that you forgot to buy more Ultra Balls, Donald. And after about 20 minutes and some editing, you caught Zekrom in one Ultra Ball. 
From Zekrom's Pokedex entry, it says he's only nine feet tall, guys, for a legendary dragon that doesn't seem very big, does it? Yeah, that's only three feet taller than someone who is six feet tall. Joe, sometimes the insights you bring to our videos is just astounding. Why, thank you, Obama. He wasn't complimenting you, Joe, you fucking idiot. And instead of talking, Joe, watch me take on N for the final time. And check it, boys, it's dragon versus dragon. This is truly a battle for the ages. Yeah, this will be a good battle, Donald. And by the end of this series, we should try get Zekrom's other signature move. I can't remember what it is, but he gets it at level 99 or something, I think. Boom, look, Obama, I got the paralysis on Reshiram with Dragon Breath, and now I shall take him out with a slew of fusion bolts. Well, that was a close battle between the two legends, but obviously Zekrom would come out on top because he is the better dragon. I think they should have changed Reshiram's design, though I really am starting to hate it. Yeah, I agree with you, Obama, and also, where's Joe? He has been very quiet, and look, the ice cream's final form is on the screen, and he's not even saying anything. Yeah, Joe, you've been very quiet. What's going on? I was only kidding earlier, buddy. All right, Obama, I was getting quite upset because I thought you turned on me and our plan together to overthrow the dictator, and I was getting worried. Wait, what plan and what dictator, Joe? What are you two on about now? You should be more interested in watching me destroy N and his team than doing whatever it is you're doing. Donald, if you can't guess who the dictator is, then you're the fucking idiot. And don't worry, Joe, I still got you, bro. Don't worry. Obama, go to hell. You can't keep changing sides here, you know, especially with Joe of all people. Who said I was ever on your side, Donald, to begin with? And by the way, I think if you ever become champion, they should hang that mugshot photo of you in the Pokemon League, Donald LMFAO. What do you mean, if I become champion, Obama? I am already the champion. I beat the Elite Four, and look, I'm about to beat N2. Yeah, sorry, Donald, but after you beat N and Getsus, and basically this episode, it's the end for you, buddy. Joe, for the last few episodes, you have been spewing this same nonsense shit, and I still don't get what you're up to, but whatever it is won't work, bro. Oh, and one more thing, you are no longer my bestie, you fucking fossil. Just for that, Donald, I now formally extend your prison sentence. Joke's on you, Joe. I already got like 500 years LMAO. Can you two argue later? We have a serious battle to win, and Donald is struggling more than Joe here, so get on with it. Well, to be honest, Obama, I kind of thought N was going to be a pushover. And even though we have basically won this battle, his Archaeops is the worst. Yeah, I told you I used one a long time ago, and it was such a good member of my team way back when. Really struggling here, aren't we, Donald LMFAO? Proves that you aren't the champion because I would have beaten him by now, and you're so bad that you got Zekrom killed already. OMG, Joe, shut the fuck up. I'm not struggling. I'm constantly getting distracted by your fat mouth with your opinions, and you know I've won this anyway. Donald, his Archaeops took out our Samurott and Lumiere together, so would you mind explaining that? Yes, I do mind, Obama, because I beat him now, and you haven't actually done anything, so you can't give me shit. Yeah, but Donald, that battle doesn't even really mean anything. That battle was the warm-up for the real battle with Getsis now, and he's one tough cookie, and only a real champion is able to beat him. I will prove that you don't need to be a champion to beat him, Joe. And anyway, why do you think I bought all those full restores earlier? The Elite Four wasn't exactly where I would need them, was it? This battle with Getsis is renowned to be difficult, so like a good Boy Scout, I've come prepared. What doesn't make any sense to me about this whole situation is Getsis is the one who wants to separate people and Pokemon, yet he has a full team of Pokemon. How about someone explain that? I think his plan is to actually keep his own Pokemon Obama. So when everyone else loses theirs, he can become the dictator of Unova like Donald and then rule Fuck everyone you, or something, Joe. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe someone could leave a comment down below about that. Interesting theory, Joe, but you're probably wrong about that. And anyway, it's time to watch Donald get destroyed by Getsis LMAO. Obama, you're chatting shit, bro, because look, I already destroyed his coffin Pokemon and the rest of his team will follow suit. Just wait and see. Donald, most of his team is actually quite easy to deal with. It's his Hydreigon that's usually the problem. Now, nah, Obama, that dragon will be taken down too. We have Ice Beam on Samurott, remember, which is super effective against dragon types, and we have Zekrom as well. I was doing some research on that Hydreigon, Donald, and it is really strong, just warning you too. Oh, check it, boys. He has an Electros. It's great to see this Pokemon out in battle, even if we're against it. Yeah, and the so-called pro here forgot that it has the Levitate ability too, LMAO. Donald, because of that error, you've gone and wasted a valuable turn in this battle. Obama, you're gonna have to restrain me because I'm gonna bitch slap Joe so hard. My handprint will be on the face of his body in his next life. Donald, no time for that. Here comes Hydreigon. 
And even though it's only level 54, you need to be careful. Donald, I'm being serious now, and if you fuck this up, Joe is playing. Watch as our Lord and Savior Zekrom is here to slay this three-headed beast. Donald, you keep ignoring me, but this Pokemon pretty much has a move that's super effective to the entirety of our team, and you're still acting like this is some Dave Chappelle show. LMFAO, Donald, you are so dumb. Our Zekrom got one shot by Dragon Pulse, like we warned you, but your ego is clearly making your hearing defective now, too. Donald, he is literally sweeping our entire team, so will you stop playing around and pull yourself together? Obama, I know what I'm doing. It's all part of my supreme plan here. Okay, well, you got a paralysis on him, Donald, but he's going to use a full restore now. I guarantee it, and I just know Getsis is the type of guy to spam full restores since he probably did what you did and bought 75 of them at the Pokemon League Poke Center. I don't think Getsis is the type of guy who would walk into a store and buy anything, Joe, but you're right about him spamming full restores and Donald setting up a Toxic on his Hydreigon would probably be a good idea, you know? All right, everyone, Donald made a cut here because this Hydreigon was literally ripping us apart every time we healed and it took like 30 minutes for us to get this far in the battle, which we didn't have time for in the video. So we apologize for that, but I think Donald has this stupid dragon beat now. Yeah, I just want to say this battle wasn't one of my best moments and it was really embarrassing too. But anyway, now that Hydreigon has been dealt with, we can easily take out the rest of his team. No shit, Donald, that wasn't one of your best moments. He took out our entire team three times with that Hydreigon, pretty much. Yeah, well, let the pass stay where it belongs, which is where? Oh yeah, the fucking pass, so now watch as I destroy Getsis, just like how I did N and the Elite Four. I am just so OP and godly at this game, boys. Donald, the best thing you've done since you stole the game off me and started playing is buy those full restores from earlier. Because without them, you would so have lost by now, El Mao. Yeah, and he still has his inflated ego, too. Donald, let's be honest, you didn't have a plan coming into this battle, did you? Well, you see, Obama, as you know, because I'm just so amazing and goaded and an all-around pro, I felt that I didn't need to prepare for this battle, and in fact, I originally planned to one-shot get this Donald, you actually made a team, mess of this battle more than I happen. usually do, so just shut your mouth seriously. I'm going to say it, but you're more useless than I am now. Joe, if you haven't noticed, I didn't actually lose this battle unlike you when you lost to a fucking bug type gym of all things. Donald, well, you can't keep you bringing that, that up when you said just again. now that the uh -huh, past uh -huh. should be left in the past. Joe you lost to bugs. Hypocrite. Joe lost to bugs. He is so shit at Pokemon. La -mau, la -mau, la -mau. Okay, well, back to the game because I actually was enjoying the piece while it lasted, Joe, when you pretended to be Donald's bestie for resties. But anywho, N here is going to have a chat with us, and then he just flies off on Reshiram and doesn't even get arrested. Well, if you think about it, Obama, N didn't actually do anything bad, did he? He was brainwashed by Getsis and then battled us a few times and lost. So I don't think he deserves to go to prison, unlike a certain someone, LM Al. All right, well, this is the last time N is gonna get up close and personal with us boys. So say your farewells, and this basically concludes the end of the game. Although it doesn't really feel like it. Yeah, so now it's time for the post-game, boys, and I have a solid plan for us. This post-game isn't that fun, but we can try make it fun. Oh, nice Looker is here, and he disguised himself as our mom, which isn't creepy at all. Well, Joe, you and Looker can have something in common now, LMAO, but anyway, he's talking about those seven sages all around Unova, which we could go find boys. And I'm pretty sure to the west of Unova, there is a Team Plasma Lab where they did studies on Genisect. Yeah, and we need to head to Undela Town, boys, because there is a very special someone we can battle there. But we'll need to do a bunch of training before we go there, I think. And on the way there is Kyrem's Cave, too. And then we need to head to the other towns to the east of Unova as well. Oh, oh, Obama, who is that special someone? I never bothered going to those towns when I played the game because after beating the story, I felt it was pointless. Yeah, because of that statement, as well as all the crap you've pulled, I, Joe Biden, get to play the rest of the game. Donald El Mau, El Mau, El Mau. What the fuck, Joe? No, you're not. Actually, I am Donald, and Obama is backing me because he's all about fairness and equality things you know nothing about. But anyway, I have been such a good friend to you the last few episodes and let you literally do everything, but now I get to play right, Obama? Yeah, Donald, sorry, bro, but Joe is going to play now. Do the Elite Four rematches, beat Alder, and beat Cynthia again, LMFAO. Wait, so all this time you let me play Joe was so you would have a reason to play the last few episodes? What the actual hell is this? You guys have started a coup against me. Yeah, Donald, sorry, not sorry, but you're pretty stupid if you didn't see this coming from the beginning. And I let you beat basically all the gyms and in the Elite Four. Wait, so since I beat them, does that mean I am the champion of Unova like you promised me I could be? 
Yeah, sure, Donald, if you want to tell yourself that so it makes you feel better than whatever. But to me, Obama and everyone else, you are not going to be champion LMAO. I will be the official champion of this region when I beat the Elite Four again and actually take on Alder LMAO, because I will be the one to be registered in the Hall of Fame, not you, Donald. Yeah, Joe, you will be the champion of a fourth region now, like we discussed way back when. And the funny thing is, I don't actually care, but because Donald's ego is the size of a whale lord, he's going to kick off LMFAO. Obama, I can't believe you're letting this happen. Joe is struggling to battle this Rapidash whilst I beat Getsis, which is one of the most difficult battles ever. Well, to be fair to Joe, the Pokemon in the east of Unova are way stronger than anything you've battled so far, Donald. So taking that into account, I think Joe is doing pretty well. And I also blame you, Donald, for not training our Pokemon up enough for this point in the game, too. Obama, this is such BS. Joe was the one training our Pokemon up in Victory Road, wasn't he? So I say that's his fault for not leveling our Pokemon up enough. And then when he battles Cynthia now, who is apparently just chilling here, which is new to me, he will start saying he's the champion of Sinnoh twice. Yeah, he probably will, Donald, but once again, I don't give a shit. And anyway, Joe is doing pretty well here, and like he said, he let you play for so long without making a fuss, which is better than how you would handle it, LMAO. Yeah, but what's annoying is Zekrom is going to take ages to level up, and I guess I'll have to do that too, since Donald wouldn't have bothered anyway. Yeah, and now I'm also not going to bother getting a shiny Zekrom. And if I do, Joe, it'll be level one, just so you'll have to waste more of your life training it up, LMFAO. Well, Donald, maybe if you start being humble, I will let you take on Steven in our Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough, which is the next game we will be finishing off everyone. And also, what's the update on that Zoroark One event sec, you Obama, said you would look into that? for us? That Snover just got so lucky and used sheer cold on our Zekrom. What in the actual hell is this RNG? See, ever since Joe started playing Obama, our Zekrom has died like a billion times. And to answer your question about that Zoroark event, well, I did some research and I'm not sure if it's going to be possible, since I would need to bring one of those legendary doggos from that Celebi movie into our Pokemon White game and I don't think that's possible anymore. Yeah, not gonna lie, Donald, I was expecting that outcome because that event isn't like the ones we did in our Pokemon Platinum playthrough, where we could get an item from the green hat guy in the Pokemarts. So now what are you gonna do? Well, unfortunately, Obama, there is nothing I can do and I apologize to our viewers for that, but if anyone has any ideas on how to activate it, then please leave a comment down below. But bear in mind, we are playing on an emulator too. Yeah, I knew he would be too stupid to figure out how to activate that event, LMAO Obama. Donald is just as useless as me. He says he's going to do something, but then won't do it. OMG, Joe, you arrogant piece of shit. Shut your mouth right now. You've already ruined my mood, so let's not make it worse, all right? Yeah, on a different topic, how about we talk about this cool bridge, guys, which is also a town, too. Obama, I am really not in the mood to talk about this very awesome bridge. It may be one of the coolest ideas ever, and I'm surprised us three didn't have an idea to build a bridge with a village on it, but I am still very pissed off. So you should also shut your mouth too. Well, I could still talk to Joe about this awesome piece of engineering, so tell me, Joe, are you planning on building anything like this bridge before your term ends? Well, Obama, I was actually thinking about how we could turn those little bridges in Chicago into houses as well. Like we could build houses along each of those bridges which would save so much space in the city, don't you think? Um, Obama, aren't those bridges really small and don't they raise up and down too? Yeah, Donald, I don't even know why I asked Joe that question. Of course, Joe would have an idea that's stupid, but anyway, he's made it to Lacanosa town now. Well, I thought that would have been quite a good idea, boys, but whatever. And this town is so pointless to there's nothing to do here. And all the villagers talk about is some monster that comes out at night to eat them. But anyway, I think we should end this episode here. So thanks for watching, everyone. And please remember to like and sub. Yeah, thanks, everyone. And sorry for no more daily content. We have a lot going on IRL. But we will still get videos out every few days for you. All right, everyone. And welcome to the final episode of Pokemon White. Obama, let me do the intro since it's our last time playing this amazing game. So if you enjoyed it, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Good intro. Joe and I saw you did some training off screen. Nice work there. And yeah, today it's our final episode and I was reading some comments in the last video. Joe and our viewers are saying it's only fair that Donald finishes this series off. Yeah, see how much everyone fucking loves me, Joe Elmao? So hand over the controller and watch how a real champ finishes this series. 
I'm going to destroy Cynthia now and then catch Kyrim and finally take on the elite four in Alder to claim the title of champion. All right, Joe? Yeah, fine, Donald. I can't argue with our viewers on that, but I still don't think you deserve to be champion. And anyway, I proved a point that even I could play a prank on you, Donald. So in my eyes, I still win. El Mao, Joe, you have not won anything, you fucking idiot. After all the trouble you went through of pretending to like me and be my bestie for resty, what did it gain you? Donald, I gained the invaluable knowledge that I could indeed fool your so-called supreme brain and that you're not as tough or as smart as you blah, think blah, you blah, are. Blah, you know, El Mao. Joe is the loser. You're the fucking loser, Donald, you fat fuck. Joe, you do realize I'm the one battling Cynthia now, and she's even stronger than when you battled her in our platinum playthrough, which shows I am actually the better trainer You're not better. because I can handle her higher leveled Pokemon. Donald, stop fighting with Joe and concentrate, you idiot. This is a very serious battle, and her spirit tomb has spammed double team, and you can barely hit it now. This stupid purple ball of whatever it's made of is really pissing me off Obama. Cynthia is playing so dirty, she's not using any strategy or anything. Donald, if her spirit tomb has Hex, our braviary is gonna die, and I guarantee you don't even have a plan to beat her. Joe, listen, I'm about to spew some valuable 10,000 IQ knowledge to you. The secret to win any battle is that the best offense is also the best defense. Donald, how can the best defense also be the best defense if your offense isn't even hitting her spirit tomb? Well, Joe, I don't actually have an answer to that right now because Cynthia here is being a bitch with her bitch moves and her bitch Pokemon. Yeah, we did a test battle before we recorded this video, and she never used that many double teams, so I don't know what's going on here. Hacks, I tell you, Hacks Obama. There is no other way she is getting this lucky. Donald, you've done this throughout the entire playthrough, and actually in every other one, too, where you just go and keep blaming the opponents when you start struggling. Remember what I told you before. A carpenter never blames Joe, his tools. Joe, shut the fuck up with your propaganda bullshit. Okay, bro, I don't want to hear anything from your mouth until this battle is over. Well, that spirit tomb took a good two minutes to beat Donald, but at least that's over and done with now. The rest of her team other than Garchomp should be easy for you. Yeah, and speak of the devil, here it is, Obama, and it's higher leveled than any of our team. So, Donald, what's your plan for this one? I can give you some good pointers since I beat it before you, if you remember, bro. Joe, if you were still my bestie, I would have asked for your help, but since I've now disowned you, I don't need your stupid dementia advice. Well, I could have told you that using Zekrom against her Garchomp was a big mistake since it's ground and dragon, you dumbass Donald. Now Zekrom is dead. Zekrom made a valiant sacrifice, Joe, and it died a hero. It did one-shot her melodic, remember? And that's all I needed it to do. Now it's up to the rest of our team to deal with her, and if you haven't noticed, I am defeating each of her Pokemon faster than you ever did when we played Platinum. Yeah, to be fair to Donald Joe, he is beating her entire team faster than you, and I'm pretty sure you were way higher leveled when you battled Cynthia back in Sinnoh, so what you got to say to that? I don't need to say anything, Obama, because I still beat her, and our team back then had the entire Elite Four to deal with, whilst Donald had a fully healed team with full PP on each move, and he even took a nice stroll along Undella Bay before he battled Cynthia to de-stress his Pokemon. Joe, nothing was stopping you from taking a nice stroll around Lake Valor before you took on the Elite Four and Cynthia, so that's on you. Meanwhile, my team had a nice rest and sunbathed, and I also wanted to see the ruins, but we don't have dive yet. I can't remember where we get dive in this game, Donald, but that part of Unova isn't really that important anyway, is it? I think the only purpose of those ruins underwater is to get the Arceus plates, but other than Holy that, hell, there's Obama, nothing going on there. You could have there. told me Arceus is underwater in this game. Donald, didn't I didn't say, say he was underwater, earlier, you dumbass. I want Arceus so bad. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Donald, he said the plates are underwater, not Arceus. Why would Arceus be underwater anyway? He's not a fucking fish, is he? Well, Lugia isn't a fish either, is he? So explain that, Joe. Donald, instead of chatting shit as usual, just beat Cynthia already. Her braviary just took out our one with a flying type move, which is just an embarrassment if you ask me. Joe, you don't need to worry about me losing to Cynthia. And anyway, I am more excited about catching Kirim next. And if we get a shiny one, we are so using it on our team boys. Donald, it's now a one versus one battle, so don't mess this up. And also, that Kyrem could be shiny locked too, knowing Game Freak. I bet it is. It doesn't matter if it is shiny locked or not, Obama, because this is the final episode anyway, so it's not like we could do anything with Kyrem, is it? Look, Joe, I beat Cynthia too, like you, which means I am now officially the champion of Sinnoh as well. You can be my bestie for Resty's Joe again if you let me be joint champion with you. Donald, it's not possible to be joint champions, you idiot. There can only be one champion of Sinnoh, and it's me. 
Joe, you're already champion of Kanto and Johto. So even if I become champion of Sinnoh now, it won't make a difference, will it? I think you should be kind and let Donald take this one, Joe, since you're already champion anyway, and you can still be the champion of two regions, you know? Obama, if I do that, then Donald will be the champion of two regions, and so will I. And what's wrong with that, Joe? Then we'd be equal, Donald, and I can't be known to be an equal alongside you because that would ruin my career. Joe, you're already ruining your career without anyone's help, so I don't think it would make much of a difference, but can we get back to the game now, boys? Donald has nearly made it to the White Forest. Yeah, the White Forest is a cool area, so let's talk about it, boys. Well, I think the White Forest is kind of pointless, to be honest, unless we're trying to collect every Pokemon and complete the Pokedex, because it has Pokemon from the other regions in the tall grass. Yeah, gotta agree with Joe here, Donald. It's quite pointless. But they really made an improvement in Black and White, too, remember. We could make an entire series in of itself of going through the towers in those games since they take so long. The only reason I'd want to make our way to the top of that is so we get that shiny Dratini. Which is also going to be so pointless, Donald, because by that point in the game, we'd have finished everything. And don't even start to think about getting me to train it up for you by that point in the game. Joe, I could just tell you that we won't use a Vanillish in our black and white two playthrough to get you to do anything I want. And you know you can't resist the ice cream. Donald, whilst you were arguing, you failed to realize that Per Ugly took almost as long as Spirit Tomb to beat which is unacceptable for someone like you who's such a pro. Joe is constantly bugging me, Obama, like the little mosquito boy he is buzzing around being a nuisance. And this battle isn't important either, like you, Obama. Well, you could be using this battle as a warm-up for the Elite Four later, Donald, because their Pokémon will be in the level 70s now. And they will have full teams of six Pokémon. That gives me two more Pokémon to kill each with Chandelure, Obama, since Chantal and Caitlyn will have more Psychic and Ghost types, <laughs> You can laugh all you want, Donald, but they are going to be tough. You know? I mean, you could always leave it to me if you don't feel confident or you don't want to be Joe, embarrassed. Joe, I wouldn't leave you, you alone to boil an egg, so don't worry, bro. I got this. Okay, well, Donald, well done for making it all the way to the forest, but I think we can leave now. LMAO. This place has less to do in it than the desert resort did. Yeah, I forgot it was this bear here, Obama. There is like this one house, and it's like the entire population of this place is just hanging out here for some reason. Well... Donald, there's a couple triple battles you could do here if you wanted some more quick training, but other than that, we should head west across the Marvelous Bridge. I think we can get items from that old man to Donald if you catch the Pokemon he asks for every day, and that one lady asks us for berries, but other than that, yeah, Joe's right, we should head west. There is a cool event we can see too. Oh, that's the trading building, boys, but for us it's pointless. So what's so marvelous about the Marvelous Bridge? This bridge isn't as cool as the Sky Arrow Bridge, and the Village Bridge is better than this place, too. Well, Donald, you're about to find out why this place is so marvelous in a minute. But first look, we can just see a Patrat show. Aren't they so cute? Only someone as sad and useless as you, Joe, would find something as dumb as this cute. I thought we could catch Cresselia here, too. But they were dancing and spinning around, and it was all just so cute and sweet. I bet Obama will agree with me, right, Obama? LMAO, Joe, I agree with Donald, you fucking sad moron. See, Joe, if Obama agrees with me, then we definitely know something is wrong, LMAO, and look, boys, it's the three ninjas again. Yeah, they're going on about how Getsis has gone off somewhere, even though we saw him get taken away by Alder and Sharon, but obviously those two are too stupid to make sure he can't get away again, but these guys give us some cool items. Yeah, they gave us the adamant, lustrous, and gracious orbs, which are to be held by Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina, respectively, even though we don't even have them in this game and you can't catch them anyway. That guy was gonna scam us with a Magikarp for $500, boys, but because I'm such a good business person, I know when something is fishy. I see what you did there, Donald LMAO, but says the person who spent about $250,000 on 75 full restores, and then you go on about how you're so good at business. I'm still pissed you did that, by the way. You didn't need to buy that many, you know. Obama, shut your mouth. No one cares what you have to say and watch now, as I, Donald J. Trump, take on one of the coolest dragon types ever. Oh, yay! It's Kyrim time, boys. I am so excited, Donald. As you should be, Joe. And now watch as I catch this ice boy. And I did make sure to buy more Ultra Balls this time, so don't worry, guys. So I think we should be able to catch this thing relatively easily. All right, Donald, let's see how well you do here. And I'm not exactly sure what the catch rate of this thing is, but it's probably going to be around the... Oh, for fuck's sake, why did I do that? 
Donald, you dumbass Slash has a high critical hit ratio, so why the hell would you use it twice? Joe, I know what Slash does, you Muppet. I merely was testing out how strong Kyrim was, and apparently he isn't very strong at all. Okay, well, luckily you saved before that battle, Donald, so now let's try this again. And this time, don't fuck it up, otherwise I will let Joe battle Kyrim, which I know will piss you off. If you do that to me, Obama, I'll use a hyperbeam attack on you, I swear to God. Well, at least you taught Thunderwave back to our electric zebra Donald, and this battle with Kyrem isn't actually very threatening. What I've noticed with Kyrem is that it always tends to use Imprison a lot, which, to be honest, is a really useless move unless you're in a competitive battle, maybe. But I think that move is just luck-based, depending on if the opponent has the same move as you. Well, it would be pretty funny if a Pokemon used Imprison and they had the exact same moves as the opponent, then what would happen? Yay, we caught it, boys. Yay! All right, Donald, it's time to head to the Elite Four now and take them on as the final way to end this amazing series off. Yeah, and to answer your question from earlier, Donald, if a Pokemon uses Imprison on a Pokemon that's also used Imprison, then they're both going to be imprisoned. But how can a Pokemon be imprisoned when it has already had Imprison used on it? OMG, Donald, the only thing getting imprisoned is you. So shut your mouth and get on with beating the Elite Four before I take the controller off you and do it all myself. All right, that was a bit uncalled for Joe. But anyway, this time we shall take on Marshall first, boys. And with Braviary, it will be a walk in the park. You said that last time, Donald, when his team was even easier to beat, and he took us out twice with Stone Edge, so getting cocky isn't helping again. Oh, cool. He has a Berloom this time, boys. I love this Pokemon and think it's really underrated. We could use one in our Omega Ruby playthrough, as these are available in Hoenn. Joe, I just took it out with one fly, so it's clearly underrated for a good reason, LML. And now look, I have to deal with Sock again with its Stone Edge. Yeah, and like the first time, Donald, we died in one shot, which shows me you didn't take anything I said into account and just went straight into the battle like the bumbling buffoon you are. Obama, the only bumbling buffoon around here is you because you could have given me better advice. But instead, you just warned me that Sock has Stone Edge. So how is that helpful? Even if I gave you advice, Donald, I know you well enough by now to know that you'd just tell me to shut the fuck up so either way, no one can win with you. Okay, Joe, I say you pass a new law in the Senate to ban the ability Sturdy because it's the most annoying ability I've had to deal with and also ban Sock too. And whilst you're at it, you may as well ban Elite Four Trainer Marshall since he started this crusade. Or I could pass a new law to ban you from playing Pokemon Donald. But anyway, how about we give a quick review of our journey since we started this series, boys, up to now, as this is the final episode. Hey, not a bad idea, Joe. We did accomplish a lot in this series, and we also try to improve on every playthrough we do. And if you guys enjoyed this series, then you expect the full movie of it to be out soon. And you should all go check out our Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon Platinum movies, too. They're linked in the description below. Nice plug there, Obama. And as I am about to be the first ever champion of Unova, I shall start talking Donald. about how our journey started and shut up, Joe. You know, Donald, since we have had Zekrom with us, I thought you'd be sweeping most of the battles. But in fact, it appears that Zekrom is the Pokemon that's been killed the most out of our entire team. And we've had him for the shortest amount of time. Leave Zekrom out of this, Obama. He's the goat and you know it. And now, alas, we shall take a trip down memory lane and remind ourselves about how this adventure started. Yeah, we started our journey all the way back in Nuvema Town. And, well, I can't remember anything after that. Sorry, Donald. Yep, knew you'd forget Joe, but don't worry, I'll remind you. We chose our first Pokemon ever in the game, the cute little Oshawott, the otter Pokemon. Hang on, Donald, you said Oshawott is cute, which I completely agree with, but you called me sad when I said those dancing Patrat were cute earlier. How is that not the same thing? Because, Joe, more people care about Oshawott than they do those dumb dancing Patrats. That's like comparing, well, me and you. More people would choose me to be their Pokemon than say you LMFAO. Donald, if you and Joe were Pokemon, you'd be the tanky one who could tank all the hits, and Joe could be the slow one who builds up power and then unleashes it all in one move. Yeah, but Joe would only do like one health point of damage, whilst I would just have one-hit KO moves like Fisher and Sheer Cold, LMAO, LMAO. 
I don't feel like taking a trip down memory lane anymore, Obama, because it's going to turn into a let's take the piss out of Joe memory lane instead of actually remembering what we did throughout the game. Well, Joe, for everyone watching this in the full movie, they just saw everything we did so fine. I agree with you here, bro. Donald, I just want to interject here and say you messed this battle up so bad and got our Chandelure killed already. Yeah, he did Obama because yet again, he underestimated another Elite Four member and he said Chantal would be easy to deal with too. You know, I did a Joe and forgot that Crocorock has crunch on it, which is super effective to these ghost types, which means we can also use him against Caitlyn. Well, good stuff, Donald. That's two members down and two more to go. Who's gonna be next? You said that before I even beat Chantal Obama. You know me so well, ha ha ha. But next I will be taking on Caitlyn because that blondie needs to wake the F up. Out of all the elite four members, Caitlyn is my favorite and I'm pretty sure she was in the battle frontier in Sinnoh, boys. Or it might have been in Johto, I can't remember exactly. Well, she was in Renegade Platinum version Joe in the battle frontier with that other guy. She was way stronger in those games than in this one as an Elite Four member. She also battled Cynthia in one of the anime episodes in the Black and White series, and she got destroyed by Cynthia's Garchomp, like Joe did when we played Platinum version LMFAO. She has a Metagross now, though, Donald, which is probably the best Pokemon in this entire Elite Four. But yeah, Joe, you and Caitlyn have a lot in common. You both love to sleep, and you both got destroyed by Cynthia Elamau. How does the Elite Four suddenly get two more Pokemon and all leveled up to level 75 plus boys? It doesn't make any sense. They probably drug them all up like you would do Donald LMAO. And since they're the Elite Four, they're super rich, so probably have an infinite supply of rare candies too. You know, I wish we got to see Iris battle Alder in the anime for the title of champion. That would have been one amazing battle. But they go and cut a bunch of shit out to quickly end the series. Yeah, I wanted to see that too, Obama, but look, she's basically on her last Pokemon, and this Gothitelle was the Pokemon that died to Cynthia's Garchomp, Elmau. They should have made it part fairy type too in the newer games, don't you think, Obama? Yeah, they could have done Joe, but Gothitelle isn't a Pokemon I particularly care about, and I think it's shit and have never used, and will also never use one, so they're... All right, boys, time for the final member of the Elite Four, and in my opinion, the most forgetful one out of the four, I can never remember his name. He's Grimsley Donald, even I can remember that. And you said you thought his room was the best out of the four, too, the last time we were here. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind now, Joe, because they clearly stole the interior designs from me for this room. Well, whoever designed this room and yours, Donald, was clearly blind or on something because it's all just hideous. Take that back, Obama, right now. See, Donald, this is another situation where if we were still besties for resties, I'd defend you from the tyranny of Obama Barrack. Biden Joe, that's not my name, you dumbass. Look, guys, Guernsey, or whatever this dope's name is, is clearly the weakest out of all the Elite Four members. I am destroying his entire team with one shot, basically, and I was actually expecting him to be the second most difficult after Marshall. Yeah, do you know what's funny? Out of all the battles we've done, Berg is still the toughest, and I still don't understand why. And let's forget the fact that Joe was the one battling him for a second because I think he should be champion. Yeah, and then in black and white too, we have to battle him again. So I will be interested to see if he'll be any more difficult in those games. But I suggest we pick T-Pig when we play that game, boys, because it's time we pick the fire type starter again as we've gone full circle now. The stupid scorpion survived two flamethrowers, guys. What the hell? I thought it was weak against fire. You know, Donald, Lumiere's flame body ability has saved us so many times now, it's absolutely the MVP of this playthrough. And I'd go as far as saying the MVP of all our playthroughs so far. Yeah, Joe can't deny that you're absolutely right. Lumiere is our MVP, and I'm sure our viewers would agree with us on that too. Everyone loves Chandelure. Yeah, I agree too, boys. I would vote for Chandelure for president. Yeah, but it would have to be a shiny Chandelure Obama because no one gives a shit about the basic bitch purple one. There you go again, Donald being racist to shiny and non-shiny Pokemon. Listen here, buddy. You will shut your mouth right now. I suggest you shut your mouth too, Donald, because you just got Zekrom killed by a Bisharp of all things. Yeah, well, Joe is the most annoying thing in existence, Obama. I wish you would tell him to be quiet for once so I could focus, you know? He's just getting full of himself because he was able to prank me, which I let him do, by the way. That will go down in history, Donald, that you got played by Joe Biden. And I think I will get this story engraved next to those other guys' heads on that mountain in Washington so it's ingrained for all to see forever. 
Joe, be quiet because the official champion battle is now going to be taking place, everyone. So please be seated, ladies and gentlemen, as I give you a master class in how to beat a champion better than Joe ever could, LML. Well, they somehow got rid of Team Plasma's castle quickly, didn't they? That thing was so massive, how the hell did they move it so fast? Don't know, Obama, and don't care. I'm trying to focus here. Remember, like you told me too, Yagoon. And look, his Excelgor shall feel the might of Zekrom. I think Alder has had the worst time being champion, if you think about it. First, he had to deal with Reshiram when N battled him. And now he has to deal with Zekrom battling him Elamau. Yeah, I should have bought Kyrim with me too. Then he could have had the opportunity to lose to all three of the legendary dragon Pokemon in two battles Elamau. We could come back later with just Kyrim if you want to do that, Donald. No thanks, Obama, because otherwise we'd have to see this next Pokemon again. Take a good long look, Joe, at the final evolution of Vanillish here, Joe, because it's about to die. Hey, that thing looks so cute too, Donald. And it also looks so happy too. One of the heads is even smoking a blunt. Yup, and because of its drug problem, Joe, it died with one flamethrower attack, which reminds me of someone LMAO. How about you, Obama? Come on, Donald, this is the final battle of this series. So how about we play nice since the series is also almost at an end? Well, I was talking about Hunter Joe, not you, but all right, fine. Since this battle is coming to a close, I will be your bestie for almost resties again. Wow. And Samurott was the first Pokemon for us to lose in this battle, Donald. Not bad, considering this was meant to be the most difficult battle of the game. But shame our starter was the one who had to take the L. Hey, it was a noble sacrifice. Obama and our Samurott was the one who made it, so he shall forever go down in history. Donald, he isn't dead. No, but as usual, Joe, Donald has to overdramatize everything. You should have become an actor instead of a president, Donald, because you would have won about 10 Oscars by now. If I became an actor, Obama, it would be unfair on everyone else because drama is my middle name, LML. All right, boys, look, this is the final Pokemon we shall be battling in this series, and of course, it would have to be the Pokemon we wanted to use from the beginning. All right, Donald, let's end this on a bang, buddy. Volcarona is one of our favorite Pokemon, and I'm glad it's the last Pokemon we get to battle before the end. Yeah, unless it kills us all, Obama. That overheat was so strong, and now our zebra is dead. I just want to say that the shiny Volcarona is the one we need to use and not this basic one, boys, if the opportunity ever arises. Yeah, I agree. Joe and the shiny one was in one of the anime episodes, too. But anyway, boys, that's it. That concludes the final battle of Pokemon White. And the new champion is now Donald J. Trump. Yay! So well done, Donald. That was a good battle. Much better than what Joe did in Platinum LMO. Yep, that was my first official champion battle, and I'm super proud of myself, too. Obama, and thank you both for all the support, and to our viewers, too. This was a really fun series to make. Yep, it sure was fun, Donald. So everyone, thank you for watching, and like we said earlier, you can expect the movie out soon. And I'm very sad this series has ended, but you will see us three again next in the Hoenn region, so stay tuned. Yeah, and if you enjoyed this series, then please remember to hit the like button and subscribe as it really helps out our channel. See you all again soon, everyone, and have a lovely rest of your week. Alrighty, everyone, and welcome to part one of our new series. This is Pokemon Black 2, which is also a randomizer Nuzlocke, which means that this is going to be one wild ride. So please remember to like and subscribe so you know when we post new videos, and we hope you enjoy this new series. Yes. That's right, Obama, and I'll be the one playing as well, and we cut out the first part when we name our character and all that shit, because we've done that like a billion times now, but we do have some announcements to give whilst the intro is playing. Yeah, welcome to the new series, everyone, and first off, we have to state as per the new YouTube guidelines that the voices you're all hearing are not the real presidents. We're voices generated by AI, but that was probably obvious to all of you anyway, but it's something we have to mention going forward now, and also this is going to be our first Nuzlocke too, so we have the rules written down here, boys. Yeah, so since this is a Nuzlocke, we're going with the basic rules of catching the first Pokemon we find in each route. And if they die, then we have to put them in the PC and release them, because that'll be even more brutal. Yep, and we also have to name every Pokemon we catch too, Obama. Because apparently it makes us form a stronger bond with them, but I'm not a freak and have no attachments to a bunch of colored polygons. Thank you very much. We'll see about that, Donald, and also on top of all of that. This is a randomized version of Pokemon Black 2, which means we have no idea what Pokemon will be in the grass or what Pokemon trainers will have. For example, Youngster Joey could end up having an Arceus for all we know. Youngster Joey can go to hell if he shows up with Arceus Joe. 
I'm the only one who's allowed to use that Pokemon. Thank you very much. I mean, it's literally our channel mascot, too. Well, Donald, you never know. We might end up being able to choose Arceus as one of our starter Pokemon since this is all randomized. But first, this is Hugh, our rival in this game, and I think he's one of the better rivals in the series. Yeah, he definitely is Obama. He's a no-nonsense, straight-to-the-point kind of guy, and that's what we like around here. Unlike all of that crap that Bianca kept crying about in the first games. Oh yeah, one more thing I have to add to our announcements, boys, is we'll probably make small cuts here and there in the game at points where things tend to drag out a lot for the sake of time. We created a poll recently in which we, we asked everyone if they wanted the game kept at normal speed or if they wouldn't mind it sped up, but the majority said to keep it at normal speed. Yeah, obviously we won't cut out important parts of the game, but for the sake of getting content out to you on time, we're going to be doing it this way since it's the best way to keep everyone happy, but that all aside, boys, I think it's time to see what the starter Pokemon are going to be. Okay, this decision here could literally make or break this entire playthrough, Donald, so don't fuck it up. Oh, wow, so the first Pokemon is a Mawile. That's a pretty neat Pokemon. And the others are a Skitty and Voltorb boys. I guess it could be worse. I don't really think any of these are bad, to be honest, so just pick anything Donald. Okay, I think I'll pick Skitty, then Joe, only because Delcaddy is a Pokemon we've never used before, and all we need is a Moonstone to evolve it. Although, what if the evolutions are also randomized? If they're randomized, Donald, then we could be in bigger trouble because I wouldn't want to go from a Skitty to a Magikarp. That would not end well for us. I guess that's something we'll just have to find out on the way Obama. But anyway, I choose Skitty, and I also have the absolute perfect nickname for it. Hehehehe. <laughs> Donald, you moron, seriously, you want to name Skitty after my wife, of all things. To be fair to Donald, though, Obama, we did name Sylveon after Melania in Pokemon X, and why well, remember, and she turned out to be a great member of our team. Joe, are you seriously comparing Sylveon to a Skitty? I would rather Michelle be named after Sylveon any day than a stupid Skitty, which will also be the first Pokemon in this playthrough to just die. Hey, listen here, Obama. Leave my Skitty alone, thank you very much. You meanie Bo Beanie. This Skitty will become the champion of the Pokemon League for sure, and I will make sure it will never, ever die. I thought you wouldn't like Skitty Donald because it's pink. You had a whole rant about that when we got Sylveon in our Pokemon X and Y playthrough, remember? Joe, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, bro. And now look. You here wants to battle me, which means I'll show you both how good my little Skitty is. The real question is what Pokemon did he choose Donald? Ah, the noob picked Voltorb of all Pokemon, boys. Although actually this thing could end the playthrough right here if it uses explosion or self-destruct. It won't have those moves at this level, Donald. But yeah, eventually that could end up being a problem for us. Whenever we battle him going forward, we should send out a Pokemon we don't care about much. Joe, I'm sorry, but I'm totally against using one of our Pokemon as a sacrifice based on a hunch that Voltorb will ever use Explosion or Self-Destruct. All right. Well, when you have a better idea on how we should deal with this thing, Obama, then please let me know, because right now, that's our best plan. There is no other option. Yes, there is, Joe, and it's called Outspeeding Voltorb and one-shotting it. This thing has shit defenses, so that'll be easy for us to do, Joe. Check it out, my boys. I just beat Hugh in the first battle of this game. And my little Skitty got to level six as well. This just shows how good this thing will end up being, and I'm even more excited to find a Moonstone now, too. Yeah, yeah, all right, Donald, it did well in the first battle, which doesn't mean anything, you know? Joe's right, we have to play this series really safe. Otherwise, we might get wiped out right before the first gym. All right, Bianca just showed us how the Pokemon Center and Pokemart works. So we skipped all that basic shit since we're Pokemon pros and just want to go catch our first Pokemon. And finally our mom gave us the running shoes too, which shouldn't have even been an item at this point in the series, I swear. But regardless, at least we can move faster now. I just want to get to the first route as soon as possible so we can get our first Pokemon. Yeah, I really am on the edge of my seat, Donald, just waiting to see what Pokemon we could encounter out of the 721 in this game. <laughs> All right, now Bianca said it's time to go listen to her lecture on how to catch Pokemon. Not like we haven't been doing that for the last five series we've done, but anyway, here we go, I guess. Yeah, we don't need to see all this for like the billionth time, Donald. So cut it out in the edit, will you please? Joe, I've noticed you've become super comfortable bossing me about when it comes to editing and all that. 
And it's become so much now that some of our viewers have actually started a hashtag justice for Donald Movement LMAO. Donald, we can talk about that later because check it out. The first Pokemon we have encountered is a goddamn cloister. And I think this is one great Pokemon for us to use. Yeah, it's only level two, so we'll have to do some training on the side. Otherwise, we'll be here all day recording and not get any content out. But either way, this is a great Pokemon for us to start off this Nuzlocke on. Ah, yeah, caught it on like the third Pokeball, which was a joke, to be honest. That took way longer than it should have, boys. But anyway, I have the perfect name for it. You should name it something really cute and sweet, Donald, so we can form more of an attachment with them. And then if they die, we'll have real emotion for these colored polygons, as you put it. You can see what I named it later, Joe, when we use it in battle. But first, look who it is, boys. Alder, the Unova champion. Oh, sorry, I mean the ex-Unova champion is here just base jumping off cliffs, apparently. Well, you did destroy him in the first black and white games, Donald. So I guess base jumping has become his new hobby since he's not worthy of the champion title anymore. Something I would have liked to see in the anime is Iris battling Alder and the Elite Four for the title of champion. But they just went and skipped through all of that for some reason. And we didn't even get to see Benga, his grandkid, either. Yeah, that was a shame, Donald. All we got to see was Iris battling Cynthia and Ash and getting destroyed. She was kind of useless, to be honest. Okay, guys, looks like I have to go find Hugh since we've got two town maps, and apparently that's a sin in this game. So anyway, whilst I go do this, for the question of this video and new series, please comment down below and tell us which ghost-type Pokemon is your favorite and why. I guarantee Gengar will probably be the most popular comment to that question, Donald, but anyway, it's a good one. And hey, look, the first trainer has a Sigilyph, boys. Yeah, and it's about to meet its maker, Obama, when it feels the wrath of my mighty little Skitty. Oh, isn't it so cute, boys? I'm just in love with it so much. Okay, I'm starting to miss the angry, shouty, rage-fueled Donald Obama. But thanks to this Skitty, he's turned into a big softy. Oh, hell yeah, and my beautiful little Skitty just took out the second Pokemon of this game. It's even stronger than a Sigilyph. Guys, I am just one happy bunny for sure. Yeah, I don't think Donald is going to be able to live if that skitty ever dies, Joe. He said he wasn't going to get attached, but look at him. He's just given his heart to skitty. All right, watch this now, boys. My skitty is going to take on dragons now and slay them all. This Drudagon isn't going to stand a chance here. Since this is a dragon type, Donald, I think you should use Cloister instead since it's part ice type and we need it to gain some levels anyway. It's only level two, remember? You may have a point, Joe, but look how much damage my Skitty just did to it with a basic tackle attack. It almost took Drudigan down to half health. I think you got very lucky in this battle, to be honest, Donald, because at this level, that Drudigan is only using Leer, which means this battle is more of a slaughter for the opponent. All right, fine, I'll switch out to Cloyster, just for the sake of getting it up some levels. But since we're battling this Dragon type, I bet we'll get more AXP than a normal Pokemon, which is a bonus for us, if anything. Donald, are you as stupid as me? You named our Cloyster Spiv with a V instead of Spiky with a Y. OMG, holy hell, you're right, Joe. How could I be that stupid? I'm turning into you. Help! That's what's called the Joe Biden effect, Donald. And what a great effect it is. You can now become my bosom buddy instead of Obama. Come up with another name for your friendship with the human whale, Lord Joe, because that one has been taken by me. Thank you very much. Actually, you can't copyright words, Obama. Who do you think you are? The fine bros. Hey, I just found a dark gem, boys, which means all the items around here are also randomized. What if I find like a bunch of master balls and rare candies just dotted around everywhere? What I think you actually found is the next member of our team, Donald. This piece of shit, Gloom, holy hell. Hey, Joe Gloom may be trash, but Vileplume is a pretty cool Pokemon for us to use. And just for insulting it, I have the perfect nickname for this thing, too. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. We had a slight recording issue halfway through the battle with Gloom, but we caught it anyway. And now Donald is about to name it something. Donald, are you seriously naming it Jill? Why the fuck would you do that, man? This thing is absolutely not a Jill. I told you I hate Gloom and you went and did that. Think of it as payback for naming Melania after Sylvian too, Joe. Now I'm even with both of you. We have Michelle the Skitty and Jill the Gloom. Donald, we actually named you after a really good Pokemon, but you go and do this to us? I hope to God we find such a shit Pokemon like a Dot or something so Joe and I can name Melania after that now, too. Well, Obama, you both might have a change of heart because we're battling our rival for the second time now already, and the noob still only has a Voltorb, and it's only level eight. This guy will never beat us. Donald, 
your skitty is only level nine, you know, so it's not that much of a difference. And this guy might have some stronger moves now as well. So then what will you do? I believe in my skitty Joe more than Hugh believes in his Voltorb, and that's all you need to win Pokemon battles. Okay, but you gotta be careful, Donald, because every time Voltorb uses charge, its special attack goes up, and then he could end us in like one move, and I'd prefer a Pokemon named after my wife to not die, you know? Holy smokes, Donald, that sonic boom was so close to killing Michelle. You got so lucky there, man. Imagine one of our Pokemon already dying on the first episode of this series. Joe, that would never happen ever. None of my Pokemon are gonna die on this playthrough, especially on this first episode too, bro. Donald, I think you just went and jinxed yourself by saying that. But I gotta say, I would not care one bit if any of the Pokemon we currently have die because they're all trash. And also, good luck finding a Moonstone if all the items are random too. Yeah, and now it seems these two farmer people have lost one of their herdier Pokemon and we have to go find it, but they already have one herdier next to them and I bet it has a great sense of smell. So why do we have to do all the work? Joe, I hope to God your role in this new playthrough isn't gonna be pointing out flaws in the story because if that's the case, then I will bitch slap you so hard, man. Before you do that, Donald check out who we just found. It's Lumiere's non-shiny cousin. You better catch this thing, bro. Oh, fuck yes, boys, this is just amazing. Uh, out of all the Pokemon we have so far, this one even surpasses my Skitty, I must say. And I think I'll name it Lumiere as well after our other one because I was actually really attached to that guy. As much as I love this guy, Donald, we now have the same situation with Skitty in which, how the hell are we gonna find a Dusk Stone to evolve this into Chandelure? Well, Joe, I'm sure one of the shops somewhere will sell us one. And actually, we might be able to get a Moonstone that way too, unless all the items in the shop have been randomized because then we'll be in really big trouble. That might be your saving grace, Donald because the items in the shop aren't actually randomized. So let's hope your bet plays off. Either that, or you get Lampant killed along with Skitty. Obama and Joe, you both gotta stop sending those negative vibes out into the universe, man. Every time you do that increases the chance of this playthrough having an abrupt end, you know. All right, well done on catching Lampant, Donald. That guy is gonna be super useful since we now actually have a water type and fire type as well as ghost too. So this team is turning out to be pretty good, you know? See, Joe, you just gotta trust the process. And look, I found the team Plasma Miscreant who went and stole those poor farmers herdier. My question though is why doesn't the herdier not use Hyper Beam or just attack the grunt? It's not like he could do anything back, is it? Okay, so I see how it is, Donald. Only you're allowed to point out flaws in the game, but if I do it, then it's annoying. How the hell does that work? Because Joe, I'm the one playing, and it's my game, so I can do what I want, and since I'm still editing all this, I'm allowed to boss you about. Donald, if you're not careful, I swear to God, I'll start a revolution in the comments section again, and I will turn all our viewers against you. The hashtag justice for Joe movement will live on forever in everyone's hearts. Well, not that I really need one, but I'd love a hashtag justice for Obama movement, maybe everyone. But in other news, here we are with Alder again, and apparently he wants your help with something Donald. Oh, great. Looks like he wants me to help train these two little kids Obama. I seriously haven't got time for this shit, and I have a gym battle to win, but anyway, here we are, I guess. Actually, Donald, I think this battle is meant to be teaching the noob players about type matchups, but since this is a randomizer, it won't really apply to us, will it? Judging by the fact that I'm battling Amuna Joe, what do you think, you moron? Anyway, I'm about to send these kids crying back to their mommies. And here comes Jill again, everyone. I think we will need a grass stone to evolve this too, Donald. I must say, you seriously have made life difficult for yourself, haven't you? By picking three Pokemon that all require stones to evolve, and I even think Cloyster needs an item as well. I don't think Cloyster can actually evolve Obama, but either way, you're still right. The other Pokemon in our party all need items, which means I take back my statement about how good this team you have is Donald. I can't believe I'm saying this, Joe, but I'm starting to agree with you after hearing what Obama said. How the hell did we seriously manage to get an entire party of Pokemon which requires items to evolve? Well, it's part of the fun of doing a Nuzlocke randomizer, isn't it, Donald? One moment you might find a piece of shit Skitty, and in the next moment we might end up finding a Victini or some other legendary Pokemon. Who knows what we'll encounter next? Boys, I just realized something. All the names of the trainers we have to battle are also random too, which is pretty funny. 
because the kid we just battled was apparently a female swimmer. Joe, if you're going to make a comment, then please make it something worthwhile to say otherwise. Keep your trap shut, dude. And look, boys, I made my way back to Aspersia City after dealing with Alder, and now we're finally going to take on the first gym in the first episode. Yeah, I can't believe we're battling the first gym in the first episode, Donald. That's pretty crazy, to be honest. And for some reason, this is making me super anxious. Like, what if Sharon has some super OP Pokemon and just wrecks our entire team? Here we go with the negative vibes again, Obama. Keep your anxiety to yourself, please. I mean, look at me. I'm the one actually battling these fools. And if it was Joe, then I'd understand the anxiety because he'd start screaming at the sight of a Pokemon he wasn't expecting. I totally would do that, Donald, because this is meant to be a normal type gym. But instead, we're here battling a psychic type, being this Gothita, which is trash anyway. Well, I was expecting the levels to be a little higher than just nine, to be honest, Joe. So, yeah, this thing is gonna just die. And I never liked the Gothita line to begin with. I wonder if there's anyone who actually used one of these and vouches for it. Okay, well, I bet this next Pokemon will pique your interest a little more, Joe, because it's a goddamn Rampardos. This thing could end up being super scary if we're not careful, Donald. Not really Obama, because I have Aurora Beam, and that move will destroy this thing like it's a little bug. Plus, it's also level 9, too, which isn't even possible to get. I don't think so. This kid is clearly hacking boys. I second that, Donald. This kid is definitely a hacker since has a Rampardos at this level. There is just no way this should be possible, even for a randomizer. Joe, that's exactly why it is possible, you idiot. Alrighty, boys, that's Rampardos down, and it didn't even have any attacking moves at this point, which made this battle even easier. Okay, that's that trainer dealt with, Donald, but we still have this girl to deal with. This gym is super annoying because they force us to battle the trainers in here, but in every other one, we can sometimes avoid them. Well, this is just the first gym, Joe, and it's again to teach the noob players more about battling, but since we're pros at Pokemon now, all of this would, of course, be tedious. And this trainer is leading off with a modem of all things Donald, so this battle should be a cakewalk for you. This bug-type Pokemon is one I've never used either, and I mean, just look at how dumb it looks. Hey, I was about to suggest that you switch out to Skitty Donald, since Jill has such a shit set of moves right now. I mean, the best move we could get for it is probably Razor Leaf, to be honest, but I doubt we could until it evolves. Look at how good this Skitty is, though, Obama. Michelle just got a critical hit, and it almost one-shot Motham, too. If it was a few levels higher, then we'd have slayed in here. Holy fucking hell, Donald. The next Pokemon this person is about to send out is Deoxys of all things. Holy smokes, I did not see this coming, boys. Depending on what moves this thing has means it could be the end of us. Well, we have Lamp in here, Donald, and I see you did some training with it too, so that was a good idea. I did some training with it, Joe, because Lumiere was so low-leveled, and other than Skitty, it's gonna be our MVP, especially when I find that damn Duskstone. But I realized that we have ghost-type moves which are super effective against Deoxys. Okay, wow, you just one-shot Deoxys, but couldn't do that to a Muthum. How does that work? Mothim is clearly the real legendary Joe instead of Deoxys, but saying that Donald, if that Deoxys was like level 50 plus, then we'd have probably been in bigger trouble. I'd rather deal with it now than later, you know. Well, GG to that punk, and now it's time to battle Charon for our first gym badge, and I hope to God this guy doesn't end this series here. To make you feel better, Donald, just because he's a gym leader doesn't necessarily mean that Charon will have a team of super strong Pokemon, you know? I mean, he could end up having like a Bidoof or a Magikarp. All right, this game is trolling now, boys. Charon's name is now Jill, apparently. L-M-F-A-O. And apparently Jill is a servant Joe. What are the actual chances of that name coming up out of every single name in the universe? That has actually made my day. Well, what'll make my day is you destroying this imposter Jill person, Donald, and his stupid little monk. Joe Infernape is the best monk ever. It's a shame that it's not on our team, but since it's only level 11, we should be fine. Yeah, and I'm gonna use Michelle to take it out, Obama. Because as much as I'd like to go Jill versus Jill, that Infernape would probably take our gloom out with a fire type move. That Infernape is stronger than basically all the members of our team, though, Donald. And to be honest, I don't think Obama would particularly care if your Skitty got taken out anyway. Joe's right, Donald. I would actually prefer Skitty to just go now and anyway. There's no way a Skitty is gonna beat an Infernape, even if it is only level 11. I take back my previous statement. 
Obama, you may be right, actually, so I'm going to switch out to our cloister, but I can't believe we don't have any water-type moves on it. The only decent move it has is Aurora Beam, but supersonic could also be useful, too, actually. Supersonic never works for the player, Donald. It always causes the opponent to get confused for, like, one turn, but if the opponent uses it, we get stuck in an infinite confusion. And what's your game plan now, Donald, because this Infernape has almost taken out two of our members? and Sharon still has another Pokemon, which could be another legendary for all we know. Well, we have Lumiere Obama, and it's part fire type two, which means Ember won't do much to us, and I can use the new move I just taught it being Nightshade. This guy's is almost dead anyway. It's gonna take more than one Nightshade to beat this guy, Donald. I suggest you go train Cloister up later and make it learn some water type moves. The next gym is literally in the next town too, you know. Oh, for God's sake, he went and used a potion right at the last minute. I have a feeling we'll have to deal with this a lot in this playthrough. Yeah, but surprisingly, he's still confused, Donald, and anyway, you did more damage this time, so one more Nightshade should do the trick, and then we only have one Pokemon left. All right, thanks for the pep talk, Obama. Infernape is down, so let's see what his last Pokemon is. Yeah, this is definitely a legendary, isn't it, Obama? You thought Sharon would have some super amazing Pokemon for his last one, but all it is is a fucking Caterpie. Yeah, not gonna lie, but I think that last girl we battled in here should be the gym leader instead of Sharon. Or actually, I should say Jill here, LML. Alrighty, well done, Donald. You beat the first gym leader without any of our Pokemon dying, surprisingly, but regardless, good stuff. And now we can leave this town and our mom forever and head to Burbank City. Obama, there was nothing surprising about that battle, bro. I envisioned the strategy in my mind before this battle even began, and I knew what the outcome would be, and I was right. Yeah, 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 Donald. In other words, you just winged it and hope for the best as usual. Well, I think this would be the perfect time to end this first episode of our series, boys. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe, and if you want to help support the channel, then consider becoming a member. Yeah, thank you everyone. This first episode was super fun to make, and I also want to say a quick thank you to Jazz Soul 91 for being a member and helping to support our work. Yeah, thank you so much to them. And in the next episode, we shall be heading towards Verbank City, where our second gym battle will take place. So see you all in the next one. Alrighty, boys and girls, here we are in part two of our Pokemon Black and White 2 Nuzlocke Randomizer, and Donald, what the hell, man? You cut my intro off with this battle, you moron. Listen here, bucko. We haven't got time for your long-ass intros, and this episode is already starting off with a battle against a fucking Reggie Gigas of all things holy hell. Donald, I don't care if you're battling Mega Mewtwo. I have to do my intros, to you know. Introduce all our viewers to the episode and thank them for all the love and comments in part one. OMG, I'll do it for you in half the time then. Hey everyone, welcome to part two, blah, blah, blah. You all know the drill, hit that like and subscribe button. And oh yeah, we're voices created with AI. We are not the real presidents, blah, blah, blah. There, Obama, I even added in the disclaimer too. Okay, wow, I am actually speechless now, Donald. You went and butchered my sacred intros and now made me look like a fool. Obama, if you haven't noticed, your wife is about to get stepped on by a Regigigas and we're not even two minutes into this episode. I have other things to worry about right now other than your dumb intros, my guy. Okay, Donald, calm down. You deal with this Titan whilst I say thank you again to all our viewers for the support in the first episode. It's been our best episode of the channel so far, and we're so glad you all enjoyed it. We can't wait to make more episodes for you, so please stick around. This is seriously going to be one hellish playthrough if I have to keep dealing with legendaries like this, though, boys. In the first episode, we had a Deoxys to deal with, and now this. Once again, Donald, this is all part of the fun when doing a Nuzlocke randomizer. And anyway, that Regigigas was only level 11, plus it has slow start, so it's not like it was a big threat. Still pretty crazy that the first battle we do in episode two is a legendary, though, Obama. Imagine when we get to like the eighth gym and then the Elite Four. Knowing my luck, the entire Elite Four and Champion Battles will have Pokémon from the first roots in the game, and only the trainers here will actually have Pokémon that's somewhat difficult to deal with, El Mao. Well, look, Donald, this trainer has a normal Pokémon that we'd usually encounter, but then, who knows, the next battle we do might be against a Landorus or something. I just want to point out that my little skitty is slaying everything that comes in his path, Obama. 
You should be honored that I named it Michelle, but as a viewer pointed out, it would have been funnier if it was a male. Look, it's learning double slap right now, Donald, which is something I'd love to give you right now, you moron. Hey, Donald, instead of winding Obama up, why don't you instead ask our viewers another question? In the last episode, you asked them all what their favorite ghost-type Pokemon is, and we received so many responses. Yeah, listen to the old fossil Donald. At least the words coming out of his mouth sound sane unlike you. Most of the things I say sound pretty sane, though, Obama. Especially when it comes to Pokemon. Oh, for God's sake. Obama, you jinxed me just now, you absolute dumbass. This little child who's probably like four years old has a fucking Landorus now. We aren't five minutes into this episode and that's already two legendaries I've had to deal with. Donald, you keep complaining, but this one is even lower level than Reggie Gygus was. And anyway, I doubt Landorus has any good moves at level nine. I mean, you one shot Deoxys too, so who knows, you might do the same here. I just want to say, it's good to see Landorus though, boys. It's a legendary I don't see used much, and that goes for its brothers too. I think their designs are also really cool. Okay, well since this episode is full of legendaries already, my question to all our dear viewers is, what is your favorite legendary Pokemon or mythical Pokemon and why? Maybe it has something to do with the backstory of the legendary or mythical Pokemon, or maybe you just think it looks cool. Either way, please leave a comment down below. Hey, that's a great question, Donald. And I'm also finding it funny that you're getting my wife to bitch slap Landorus to death. Double slap is a seriously funny move, in my opinion. And you were right, Obama. Even though it's legendary, it's not doing very legendary damage, is it, boys? Well, I think it's because I'm just an amazing Pokemon trainer, boys. Way better than you two, that's for sure. For now, Donald, let's just see if you can get through this episode without killing any of our team. That's going to be your biggest challenge in every episode. Hey, Donald, the good thing about battling so many legendaries as well is we get more experience from taking them out than the regular Pokemon. That'll be super helpful since the next gym is coming up in a sec. Before that, Joe, check it out. I'm getting a phone call. And this phone call is from none other than our mom, which, by the way, I don't think is very hot in this game, guys. She's probably the worst looking one in the series. All right, well, that's pretty rude, Obama. I think she looks fine, but what's the actual lore reason to why we never have a dad in the Pokemon series except Norman? One of our viewers can also answer that for us, Joe, because I've just made it to Verbank City, and the first thing we gotta do here is heal our Pokemon and then head to Verbank Complex and catch our next party member. Well, that girl there we just saw was, in fact, the gym leader you'll be facing in a bit, Donald. And she usually uses poison types, but who knows what she'll have this time. She'll have a Kai Ogre and a Dialga, and then she'll have a Zekrom. That will be her team Obama. Joe, I have already been jinxed in this episode thanks to Obama and his Landorus prophecy, so I don't need you chiming in with statements like that. Thank you very much. If that's actually her team, Joe, I will LOL so much I may end up dying from laughter. Instead of coming up with random bullshit, you two, how about you look at the screen and see what the newest member of our team is? It's an Archon and a Pokemon. We don't get to use much since it's usually a fossil. But hey, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, hey, this is a great Pokemon Donald. I used one in my Pokemon White playthrough once and it was super fun. Archaeops is a really good Pokemon in my opinion. I don't know anything about this Pokemon, boys, but I think it looks stupid though, like a chicken with jaundice. Archaeops looks a lot better, Joe, trust me. Although the color scheme is still the same pretty much. Well, Donald, when we went through the last gate, we got some great balls from the clerk in there. So I think this would be the perfect opportunity to start using them. I doubt the catch rate is very high with this Pokemon though. And boom, caught it boys. And I have the absolute perfect name for this little fossil guy, but you'll both have to wait until later to find out what it will be. As long as it has nothing to do with me, Donald, then I don't give a shit. Well, you'll soon find out Obama because I'm gonna take on this gym now. Who knows, boys, this could soon be the end of this playthrough or it could be another W for yours truly. This gym is also a part-time nightclub, apparently, Donald, and it kind of reminds me of Spike Mouth Gym in the Gala region, although that's a dark type one. Well, like the first gym in this game, this gym also only has two trainers for us to battle, but we're forced to take them on again in what I always found to be extremely boring. Yup, couldn't agree more, Obama, and this battle is already starting off quite shit since this guy has a Whalmer first. 
Not the most exciting Pokemon for us to be battling, and we don't even have any good moves to use against water. Well, my wife has absorbed Donald, but like you said, it's really shit, and I just want to say I'm still not happy about this Pokemon still being alive. Yeah, now Whalmer has gone and used Whirlpool, which means we're going to be trapped in the Vortex for a few turns. This is going to be one long battle, boys. Yeah, and the Pokemon are already the same level as us Obama. That jump was like five levels between the previous route and this city, which is a bit messed up if you ask me. Even the Pokemon in Verbank Complex wasn't this high level. If you're struggling, Donald, you can always pass the controller to me, and I'll show you how the real champion gets battles beat in seconds. That's how good I am. Donald's ego is rubbing off on you now, Joe. That's what you get when you spend too much time with him. How do you know I'm not grooming Joe to become just like me, Obama? Imagine what the world would be like if there was two of us. That is something I absolutely don't want going through my mind, Donald. And I'm sure most people would agree with me on that. So instead of trying to be Emperor Palpatine, why don't you go back to being a, a Pokemon trainer and actually beat this guy? I was just trying to make some small talk whilst I beat Wilmer Obama. And look, it just died and now this guy is sending out a Hypno, which is a Pokemon I forgot even existed until I saw it. But we have Lumiere and its ghost type moves to kill it. This is one of the reasons I'm loving this randomizer, Donald, is we get to see Pokemon in battle, which we probably wouldn't usually see or even use if we have to catch them. Well, you still don't feel that way about Gloom, do you, Joe? If you just gave it a chance, it's not actually that bad, you know. It's not that I hated Obama, but Donald naming it Jill doesn't exactly make me feel better, and it just has such a bad set of moves to begin with as well. I would definitely not use one if I had a choice. Okay, Joe, if it makes you feel better, I will name a Pokemon after me at some point, too. And I Pinky promise I'll only name myself after a not-not-bad one. All right, Donald, but you can't break Pinky promises, okay? You said you'd name yourself after a shit Pokemon if we find one and need to catch it, so now that has to be done. Joe, you are so stupid sometimes you know that, right? Donald just used a double negative on you, but anyway, I'll let you figure out the rest. And talking of names, Donald, when are we gonna see what you named that Archon? After I beat Roxy here, Obama, that other trainer's battle was so pointless it wasn't even worth watching. So here we go, boys. I'm about to hopefully get my second gym badge now, and her first Pokemon is a Vibrava. Well, looks like my prophecy didn't come true in the end for you, Donald. She didn't lead off with a Dialga like I thought. That's because prophecies which come from idiots never come true anyway, Joe. Well, that was a bit harsh, Obama. You didn't need to go that hard, bro. Okay, I want to go back to talking about Vibrava Joe. This is a Pokemon which comes from the Hoenn region, and Flygon, which is its fully evolved form, is an amazing dragon type. Donald, I just want to say that using Will-O-Wisp was a really good move, because this thing is probably going to keep lowering our accuracy with Sand Attack the little shit. Well, at least this gym isn't difficult either, Obama. If anything, it's more of a nuisance. What even is the point of Roxy if all she does is use sand attack? Her name is apparently Donna, Donald. She's like the female version of you. If you were a girl, then your parents would have named you Donna. Or bitch. Uh, what was that, Obama? Oh, nothing, Donald. I just had something stuck in my throat. Anyway, well done. I'm super amazed at your battling skills here. You're such an amazing trainer. Ah, I see. So you finally understand my greatness, Obama. Took you long enough, but oh well. I'm glad you finally get who I am. I heard what you said, Obama. Yeah, well, keep your mouth shut, Joe, because Donald doesn't need to hear what I said, and the moron's ego is so inflated that to get him to ignore what anyone says, all you gotta do is inflate said ego even more. Okay, boys, this is the most annoying, stupid battle I've ever done in my life. This thing is gonna run out of PP on sand attack soon, and now my accuracy is so low that I can't even attack anyway. You just got a lucky nightshade in Donald, so that's one down and one to go. Wow, and her next Pokemon is a Pansage of all things. How comes the random trainers in the roots get way better Pokemon than these gym leaders? All right, boys, I just used a potion since Lumiere can use its fire moves to just destroy this green monkey, and I can't let it ever die. This Lumiere will become a Chandelure. Mark my words. Wow, but Pansage has Lick Donald, which is a ghost-type move, and now you're about to get seated, too. Obama, please never tell me I'm about to get seated for as long as I live. I don't need that thought in my head, especially from this monkey. Yeah, and great, now you've been paralyzed from Lick Donald, but this move makes no sense. 
How the hell does licking someone make them become paralyzed all of a sudden? It keeps restoring its health, Donald, but it hasn't even lost any either. This whole battle is just stalling and constant annoyance, seriously. We aren't getting anywhere here. Well, that's why I'm now sending out Michelle Obama. Your wife is going to destroy this gym now. Just watch. All right, usually I'd give you grief for saying that, Donald. But that wasn't a bad move, since Lick won't affect normal types like Skitty. Why did you use Sing Donald? That was such a stupid idea of yours, you fool. All you need to do is keep hammering away until the monkey is dead. Joe, this is what separates the noobs from the pros. I'm the pro. So just watch how my strat will play out for us now. All right, if this works, I'll take back what I said and call you Lord Donald for the rest of this episode. Well, open your old fossil eyes, Joe, because it's working right now. Pan Sage is still asleep, and only a few more tackles will be needed for me to take it out. Hey, hey, hey. It just woke up, Donald. Yeah, but Cute Charm got activated, Joe, which means I've won this battle before it even officially ends. All right, well, we talked about Sing Not Cute Charm, Donald, so I won't be calling you Lord Donald. Now I hope you know that, bro. Joe, I honestly don't give a flying fuck because I just stomped Roxy in her pathetic gym with her pathetic Pokemon and her pathetic tactics. All right, good job, Donald. We have two badges now, and thankfully none of our Pokemon died in this battle. Although, you never brought out Archon, which was a bit sad because I wanted to see how strong it is. I didn't feel this was the right battle for it, Obama. But fine, in the next battle we do, I'll make sure to show everyone how good it will be. And I also want everyone to see the amazing name I gave it to. Yeah, I want to see it so bad, Donald. And now look, that yellow-haired fellow wanted us to go to Pokestar Studio for some reason. Right, well, I skipped all the Pokestar Studio stuff, Joe, because it's completely pointless and is also a waste of time. I hate that place so much, and it doesn't even do anything for the story. In Blaze Black 2, which is the ROM hack of this game, they cut that entire part out. And wow, looks like we have to battle Team Plasma again, Donald. And I just saw you put Archon up front, but I still couldn't see what you named it. Well, pay attention, Joe, because you're about to find out. The newest member of our team is about to prove its worth to us, boys. If it's shit, then I'm blaming this all on you, Joe. Well, let's see what Pokemon Team Plasma are gonna have this time, Donald. All right, this dude is sending out a Graveler first, Obama. I may need to switch out, actually, since Archon might be at a disadvantage here. Oh, wow, Donald's so original. You named a fossil Pokemon after me so funny, not. Well, I thought it was hilarious, Joe, because no other type of Pokemon except the fossil ones deserve to be named after you. My friend, El Mao. Donald, you stupid piece of shit, man. You just got Archon one shot immediately. Um, okay, I didn't see that coming at all, not gonna lie, boys. Oh, so where's that so-called pro Pokemon trainer? Now then, Donald, huh? You stupid goon. That's now the first Pokemon of this series which has died, and we're only in part two. Shut the hell up, Joe, I never said any of that. And even if I did, I meant it hypothetically. And now look, because of you, the first Pokemon of this Nuzlocke has been sent to the grave, and in one move at that. Okay. Viewers, time to resurrect the hashtag Justice for Joe movement, because there's no way I'm letting Donald make me take the blame for his L. Don't you dare try brainwash our viewers again, Joe. Archon was named Joe, so therefore it's your fault since your name is Joe. Well, with that logic, Donald, you're basically blaming every person who's called Joe for the loss of our poor Archon. Nah, only you, Joe Biden, and now it looks like I have some hunting to do, boys. Team Plasma just ran off like the pussies they are, and I have to go find them. Well, before all that, Donald, you need to put your Archon in the PC and then release the thing. It's probably super confused about what's going on, too, since you caught it like five minutes ago and have already abandoned it. Hey, you listen to me, Obama. Donald J. Trump never abandons Pokemon, and like I said, this is all Joe's fault. Also, I now think Archon is a stupid piece of shit anyway. Well, Donald J. Trump is talking in the third person again. And it really wasn't my fault it died. You messed up your type matchups when you could have sent out Cloyster to begin with Donnie. Yeah, agreed on that, Joe. Donald, you fucked up, so own your mistake like the man you apparently are. And also, you could have just chosen the Move Pokemon option to begin with in the PC. Sorry, Obama, I've blocked out all the haters, so can't hear anything you're saying now, bro. And look, I found this little goon team plasma person, and now she's called Gent Mia and has a zigzagoon. It's funny how each battle goes from something crazy to something ridiculously easy like this. Imagine if the Getsis battle everyone keeps saying is so difficult, just ends up being a battle against a team of Purloin or Budo or something. 
All right, did you two just see that? My beautiful little Skitty is even stronger than Mewtwo now, boys. It just one shot that level 14 Zigzagoon. Okay, well, I think you're getting way too carried away now, Donald, but I do appreciate you saying nice things to a Pokemon you named after my wife, actually. Yeah, well, you see, I can be nice when I want to be Obama. But hey, it seems Hugh here is talking about Castilia City Boys. Looks like that's going to be our next stop. All right, Donald, you're going to listen to me very carefully now. You better record part three of this playthrough on a Tuesday so I can get my Castilia Cone ice cream when we get there. It's only open on Tuesdays, and I never got one in Pokemon White. Joe, OMG! I have way better things to do than get your stupid Castilia cone. I promise to get you a Vanillish, and I will keep that promise if not in this game, then in the next one for sure. But I refuse to go get you a stupid ice cream, which you won't even be able to taste anyway. Yeah, I second that, Donald. We haven't got time for you, Joe. In the next episode, we have to take on the third gym leader, which is going to be Berg, and let's hope he's actually going to be a challenge. Okay, it seems Roxy's dad has given up on his dream of becoming a Pokestar studio actor or whatever it was he was wasting his time with, and now he's gonna ferry us to the New York of Pokemon. Yeah, well, unlike her dad, I'm not giving up on you getting my Castilia Cone Donald. It will only take like three seconds anyway, so why won't you get me one? Joe, you do realize that they're to be used on Pokemon to remove status effects and the like. It's not actually for human consumption in this game anyway. If it can remove status effects, then I bet it can remove and cure my dementia, Donald. I don't even think a Castilia Cone is that powerful, Joe. It can't cure being an idiot. Shots fired there by Obama. But hey, look, we made it, guys, and it's great to be back in this place. I love Castilia City so much. It's all right, I guess, Donald, but to be honest, I prefer Jubilife City in the Sinnoh region more. The music is also an absolute banger there as well. Jubilife doesn't let you buy Castilia Cones, though, does it, Obama? So it's inferior compared to this place. Okay, on that note, I think we should end this episode here, boys, before Joe drives me mad. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed our video. And thanks to Jazz Soul again for being a member. And if you also want to help support the channel, then please consider joining. Yeah, thanks, everyone. We hope you had fun watching this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Donald, buy me my fucking Castilia cone, goddammit. All right, everyone, and welcome to part three of our Pokemon Black and White 2 Nuzlocke Randomizer. As you can see, I'm doing the intro today, so remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and also remember that we are not the real presidents, and our voices created with AI. Everything you're listening to is just a meme, so don't take it seriously. Donald, let's be honest, your whole life is a meme anyway, and I'm still not happy about this new development of you doing the intros now. That was my thing, and I was proud about it too. I thought Donald's intro was excellent, Obama. He was straight to the point, and it didn't drag either, and he's already at the third gym as well. But it seems Iris wants us to help deal with Team Plasma again, Donald. Yeah, yeah, I know, Joe. Apparently some shit is going down at the sewers or something, boys, which will be the place where I'll be able to catch the next member of our team, and I hope to God it's a legendary. I've had enough of having to battle them constantly. Also, Joe, just because you took Donald's side, I was actually the one who recorded this episode and we're in fact not playing on a Tuesday. So there's gonna be no Castilla Cone for you, buddy. I don't care, Obama, because Donald's promised me a vanillish and that's the real ice cream I want. Yes, I did promise you that, Joe, but I said either in this game or the next one, since finding a vanillish in this game is gonna be a one in 721 odds and I don't feel like gambling with that. So you'll have to just wait a bit longer. That's fine, Donald. I don't care either. I'm just so excited to see the ice cream eventually. And hey, look, we have a double battle with Hugh and these grunts, boys. You know, I think Team Plasma second generation, which is this lot, has one of the best outfits out of all the evil teams. They remind me of pirates for some reason, but the all black and face masks look really cool. Gotta agree with you on that, Obama. They look like pirate ninjas or something. Definitely the most fashionable out of all the evil teams. And oh yeah, whilst this battle goes on, I have another question for our dear viewers. So for this episode, please comment down below what your favorite ice type Pokemon is and why. Great question, Donald. And you should all know what my favorite ice type Pokemon is. It's Vanillux for sure. Well, Obama and myself share the same ice type favorite and it's of course the star of this game. It's Q-Rem. Yeah, we like Q-Rem because it has an interesting combination of types being ice and dragon. 
since ice is weak to dragon, but in QREM's case, it works out. Also, the fact that it can change its type from black QREM to white QREM, as well with the DNA splicers, is just awesome. I just want to say the first person who also comments their favorite ice type Pokemon is also a Vanalux. We'll get a shout out in the next episode. I wouldn't actually mind a Vanalux right now, Joe, because this Altaria is so annoying. And that wheezing too. Why would these two grunts have such annoying Pokemon that Regigigas and Landorus in the last episode were much easier to deal with? Be careful what you wish for Donald. Who knows, Gym Leader Berg might have Arceus. Then what will you do? Not possible Obama, because the last two gyms had the worst Pokemon possible, especially Roxy and her piece of shit Vibrava, who I normally would like, but now hate because of that sand attack. Yes, agreed, Donald, that battle was probably the worst we've encountered in any game we've played so far. Okay, these two have been beaten finally, and now I can go back to finding the next member of our team here, and let's all pray to Arceus that he'll send us something good. Well, Donald, something you could do is go into the cave right in front of us and find the next member of our team, or we could catch one in the sewer. There's also that special Eevee garden you could visit as well if you wanted. Since those places aren't ones we really need to go to Obama, I'm not gonna bother with them and instead find our next party member in here. Also, I'm not sure what rules are when it comes to places where we have a choice to visit or not when it comes to catching a new Pokemon. Hey, look, Donald, it's Colrus. This guy is the main scientist for Team Plasma, isn't it? I remember him from the anime, and he was a weirdo, if you ask me. Yeah, he was a bit strange. Wasn't he, Joe, kind of like you, LML? But anyway, Berg decided to show up right after Team Plasma was dealt with rather conveniently. But either way, at least he's gone back to his gym. And we found a spell tag too, Donald, which is useful for boosting ghost-type moves, I think. Maybe we could give it to Lumiere later. More importantly than that, Obama is we've just encountered the newest member of our team. If I can catch the damn thing, and hey look, it's a Golduck. Not a bad Pokemon, but not great either, to be honest. I'll try catch it anyway. Well, this isn't so great, Donald, because now we have two water types on our team. I take this ducky here any day over Cloyster, though, to be honest. All right, made a small cut here, boys, because this battle was taking way too long, but here I am throwing my third great ball now, I think. I've never used a gold duck before, Donald, so let's hope this guy is going to come in clutch for us and be useful. And I know I said I liked you naming my wife after Skitty, but actually I'm starting to really hate it now. Skitty is just so bad. I'm still not giving up on Skitty Obama. Granted, it has an absolute shit moves, right? But now. But come on, it's not dead yet, so that surely means something, right? All right, well, I just saw you put our new gold duck up front, Donald, which just shows me that you have even less faith in Skitty, otherwise you'd have used it here. And by the way, since it won't evolve without a stone, you should actually be training it up more. You never know, Obama, we might find that moonstone in the upcoming roots if they're anything like what they were in Pokemon Black and White one. But I'm agreeing with Donald here that we should keep having faith in Michelle. You're only saying that, Joe, because you don't want to be the only one left who has a Pokemon named after their wife, and I'd take Skitty over that god-awful gloom any day, LMAO. I'm neither confirming nor denying that, Obama. But hey, look, Donald is battling a Charizard. Uh-huh, bet you're eating your words now, Obama, with me putting our ducky up front. I didn't even know we'd be battling a fire type first and Charizard of all Pokemon, too. Yeah, well, your ducky's gonna take two shots to kill Charizard with Water Pulse, Donald. So I wouldn't exactly call that a major W, isn't it? It needs the experience anyway. Obama and I did a little training with it to get it to level 21, but I doubt that will be enough for this gym. Berg's Pokemon will probably be in the level 25 to 30 range. Oh, check it out, Donald. This clown's next Pokemon is a bee barrel. Another mediocre Pokemon, to be honest. Nothing special about this one. Yeah, exactly why I'm gonna send out Jill Joe since our little gloom here needs some experience. And the fucker still only has Absorb Holy Hell. I actually hope this Pokemon dies now, boys. Seriously, I take back everything I said about it before. Finally, we agree on something, Donald. Gloom is such a shit Pokemon. Maybe Vileplume is good, fair enough, but to get it to that stage in a randomizer with random items is gonna be almost impossible. I know, I know, Joe, I see your point and said I agree with you, so just shut it, man, all right? And Absorb is not even doing enough to restore my health, so I'm gonna have to switch out, I think, boys. This is another of those rare situations in which I agree that Gloom must die, Donald. Since all three of us agree on this matter, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, well, Obama, I'm not going to do anything, actually, since 
If we get all the way to the Elite Four with a gloom named Jill, it'll be the most hilarious thing ever. So even though I hate it now, I don't want to lose it, which is why I switched it out. All right, fair enough, Donald. But if this Nuzlocke ends early because of this gloom, then you're taking the blame, and you can't say it was my fault because I know all our viewers will have my back on this matter. If Donald isn't careful, he's about to lose our cloister as well, Joe. Rollout from that B-barrel would have taken us out if this had kept going on, you know. No need to get into the details on this matter, Obama. I beat that clown and now we're well on our way to getting to the top of this hive or whatever the hell this place is. Going through these cocoons is really freaking me out. Yeah, bursting through these nest things reminds me of Alien Even More Boys and I hate it. That movie is without a doubt one of the best horror movies ever made, but this is bringing me flashbacks of how scary it was for me. Joe cry me a river and now check it out, boys. I made it to the top of Berg's nest and it's like a paint factory exploded in here. What the hell has this guy been doing? He's like a child Donald painting all over the floor and walls, unlike a proper artist who uses a canvas or paper. What a moron. All right, well, this moron is sending out a goddamn haxorus to begin with Obama. And Donald, because you opened your mouth and said the gym battles have been easy, we now have to deal with this. Well, I guess I did ask for a challenge, Joe, so here we have one, but it's only level 22, so I don't need to worry about Dragon Claw or Dragon Dance. That would be a major problem, but right now this isn't. Donald, you're barely doing any damage to Haxorus with Golduck, bro. How about you send out another Pokemon instead? Joe, my plan is currently to keep using Water Pulse until Haxorus gets confused, because then it'll be much easier to deal with. And by the way, I hope we find one of these or a Hydreigon in these games, because those are some of the few Dragon types we haven't used yet. Okay, wow, Donald, your gamble actually paid off and you got it confused, holy hell. Now we just have to see how long it'll actually stay confused. Donald, I'd like to just point out that if you'd sent out Cloyster to begin with, then this battle with Haxorus would have probably been over by now since we have Aurora Beam on it and Dragon is weak to ice, you fool. Obama, I'd just like to point out to you that no one likes a smartass, thank you very much. Yeah, well, you know I'm right, you idiot, so do yourself and everyone else a favor and switch out already. And Donald still hasn't sorted out the name of our Cloyster either. It still has a V at the end of its name instead of a Y, Donald, my guy. Please sort that out. All right, Obama, thanks for that assist there, bro. Because Haxorus just snapped out of confusion and Gold Duck was close to dying, so I'm glad you reminded me about Aurora Beam now. Even if my ego is a little bruised. Yeah, and thanks to me, your ducky got up to level 23 as well, Donald. And I'd rather your ego be a little bruised than this whole playthrough ending because of a Haxorus. Although that would be a pretty cool way to go. Obama stopped talking about our playthrough ending already, and look, Berg's next Pokemon is a fire type, which is funny because he's meant to be a bug type gym. Yeah, Numel is a Pokemon I don't really know much about, to be honest, except it evolves into Camerupt, which can mega evolve, even though I think its mega evolution looks stupid. It's a Pokemon from the Hoenn region. Donald and Team Magma tended to use them a lot, but I think it's quite a cool Pokemon, to be honest. You've just never really given it a chance. To be honest, Obama, I wouldn't even give this thing a chance. It looks so dupey and pointless. I think what Donald's doing is quite pointless, Joe, since now he's being an idiot again and not using gold duck since one water pulse here would one-shot this thing. All right, I can't let my ego be bruised anymore, Obama. Just for that smart-ass statement from you again, I refuse to send out gold duck. Lumiere here is strong enough to win this battle anyway. Well, Numel here keeps using Lava Plume, and I didn't even know it could learn this move right now. Isn't Lava Plume a really OP fire type move? It has a power rating of 80 Obama, which isn't as good as Flamethrower. So it's no big deal that Numel has this move, and anyway, Lumiere is part fire type, so it won't do much damage. Yeah, but this battle could end up being like Roxy's again, Joe, if Berg now starts to spam Hyper Potions. And I can't even buy those in the shop yet, so this is just bullshit. And wow, it just lived your nightshade with like one HP left Donald LMFAO. These gym battles have been such a troll so far. All right, well, luckily, he didn't use another Hyper Potion Obama, which means I finally beat this camel thing. And now it's on to his last Pokemon, which I hope to God will be less annoying than this. His last Pokemon is a Floatzel Donald, which is a Pokemon which comes from Sinnoh, for those who don't know, and it's an all-around great Pokemon in our opinion. Yeah, I got no bad things to say about this one, boys. I'm not sure how strong it is, though, so let's see if Skitty here will be able to do some major damage. 
All righty, well, it led off with Swift Donald, which is a normal type move, so it shouldn't do much damage to our skitty here, unfortunately. Joe, why did you just say, unfortunately, you goon? I heard you say that about my skitty, you know. Because it seems Obama and myself have agreed that the Pokemon you've named our wives after don't deserve to be around anymore. We need a way better team if you're gonna wanna make it to the champion. Yeah, true, Joe, but I think Skitty here is about to do something actually useful for once, boys, and win this gym battle for us. Yep, correct, Obama. So that's GG to Berg here, and that concludes our gym battle with him, boys. That's now three gym badges down and five to go. Donald, so far we've battled a gym leader in every episode, which means by part eight, we would already be at the eighth gym at this rate. This isn't gonna be a very long series if you keep up this pace or not die, you know. Not true, Joe, because that whole Team Plasma shit will take at least two episodes in this game. It's so hella long. But it's fun, and I'm looking forward to battling Q Rem too. But my question is, are we allowed to use him if we catch him? Well, Donald, if you think about it, he could also be a randomized battle too. So it may look like Q Rem, but instead be a Baidu for all you know. Yeah, just a heads up on that, Obama. If it is a Bidoof, I'm definitely not using it. I'd rather, you know, accidentally kill it. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think the legendary battles like that are randomized, Obama, since we need it to help progress us through the story, I think. Or maybe they're randomized, I don't actually know. Okay, well, when you do know something useful, Joe, then please share it with us, but in the meantime, zip it! Hey, look, Donald, we're battling a Wismer. This little thing is so great when it evolves into an Exploud. I used one way back in the original Ruby and Sapphire games, and it was super fun. Drop us a like down below if you love Wismer, too. And now we're battling an original Unova region Pokemon Obama. This takes me back to our Croco Rock and Pokemon White way back when. Yeah, Crocodile was an amazing Pokemon in that playthrough, Donald. I miss it a lot, but its shiny form really, really pisses me off. I hate it so much. All right. Well, that battle was easy, Donald. And there's a route to your left here, so it's time to look for the next Pokemon of our team. It better be good, or I shall have a fit. Here we go, boys. What is it? Holy fucking hell, boys, we found a Victini of all things holy, holy hell. All right, this is what I'm talking about, boys. Our luck is finally changing. You know I would have been super pissed off if we went through this whole playthrough without encountering at least one legendary Pokemon or mythical, whatever this one is. All right, but it's only level 14, Donald, so don't kill it. And also, this Pokemon is actually broken as hell, because if you remember in the Pokemon black and white movie with this Pokemon, it powered up Ash's Tepig, and then it one shot a fucking Samo Rot, like it was nothing. Yeah, I think this is a good sign for us Obama, because Victini is known as the victory Pokemon. And if we catch it, then it'll mean our playthrough will be a success. But if Donald kills it, then that means we may as well give up now. I am absolutely not gonna try kill this thing, Joe. I'll try my best to catch it, but may cut out a bit if it takes too long. Either way, I would love to have the victory Pokemon on our team, and I also have the perfect nickname for it, too. Hey, Donald, you could try using Sing on it because it'll be even easier to catch then, too. And saying that having a Pokemon with Thunder Wave would also be beneficial since Sing has such a low accuracy rating. Donald Victini is about to kill Jill. If you're not careful, you buffoon. Alrighty, my bad boys, I seem to have caught Joe's amnesia and forgot that Jill doesn't have Sing. I mean, I bet I could have lowered its health even more with Absorb if I wanted to. This is taking too long, Donald, so just get it done, will you please? I have full faith in Skitty here, and if it manages to help us catch Victini, then I'll take back everything bad I said about it. Oh yes, boys, I got the Sing in on my first turn. So that means this will be easy, peasy lemon squeezy now. Just watch. Okay, 14 great balls later. Let's hope to God that this will be the final one. Holy smokes, Donald. Well, it helps that Victini is only level 14, Joe, which makes it a little easier to catch, but it's still a mythical or legendary or whatever. Excellent stuff there, Donald. But now we're gonna have to do like 10 levels of training to get Victini up to the same level as the rest of our team. And also what level will it learn its signature move to? Already did a little training, Obama. It just happened so quick that your little eyes couldn't even see it happen, Elmau. But now we have this battle with Colrus, apparently. Colrus could be a tough battle for us, Donald, so be careful here, bro. And just because you have Victini now doesn't mean you can get complacent here. I know you very well, and that's something you definitely do. Joe, you know nothing about me, my guy. I'm never complacent. And if Victini ever dies, then I'll even let you play through the rest of this game. How about that? Do you actually mean that Donald really? That would be so nice. You just said you know me very well, Joe, so what do you think? 
I think Joe is such a gullible moron LMFAO, but anyway, it's time to see how good this Victini is gonna be in battle, boys. All right, well, it's pretty trash, not gonna lie. Hang on, Obama, did you see what Donald named Victini? That is some major bullshit right there. Oh, wow, Donald. So you name your wife after a mythical Pokemon, and Joe and me get ours named after the trashiest Pokemon possible. How's that fair? I'm considering changing its name again, though Obama, because Herdier almost killed Victini just now. I thought this was supposed to be the victory Pokemon, not the loser Pokemon. And now you've sent out Jill to clean up your wife's mess, Donald. This is the Melania curse. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Joe. There is no Melania curse. And you even named Sylveon after her in our Pokemon X and Y playthrough, remember? Nah, I'm with Joe on this, Donald. There is a Melania curse, and any Pokemon you name after that name is bound to meet its maker. Looks like you'll eventually have to let Joe finish this game off for you, too, if that Victini dies like you said. Obama, stop it! There is no curse! Well, at least you got the poison powder in on Slowbro here, Donald. We have nothing that will be super effective against this thing, so that'll help a lot. Oh, shit! Donald, you monumental piece of poo, why did you do that? Okay, I have no excuse for that. This time, Joe, sorry. Donald, you actually said sorry to me, so I don't know how to feel right now. All right, well, there goes the second Pokemon of this playthrough, boys. And in the last episode, we lost Archon after like 10 seconds. So at least Gloom made it past the third gym, I guess. Yeah, and you can't go about naming the next shit Pokemon we encounter after my wife again, Donald. You have to name it something else, all right? Yeah, 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 all right, that's fair, Joe. I'll come up with another ridiculous name related to you for the next Pokemon we encounter instead. <laughs> What I want to know is, how is an hour ghost type moves doing any damage to Slowbro here when it's still super effective, but that stoned bear thing's water gun attack does way more damage to us? That makes no sense. Oh, great, and the idiot went and used a super potion too, Obama. This game has to be the trolliest one we've ever played, guys. It's just non-stop hyper potions and super potions. Agreed, Joe, and now because he did that, I'll have to switch out to another Pokemon. Wow, so this battle started off with Melania, who turned out to be useless, and then we moved on to Jill, who died, and now we're ending this battle with Michelle. What a joker you are, Donald. Um, you say that, Obama, but I may have to switch out again because this slow bro is strong as hell. It's destroying our entire team. Wow, so none of our wives were good enough to beat Colrus guys. I hope none of them find out about this, otherwise we'll all be dead too. Joe, you're correct, so I say we keep this little mishap between us three boys. Remember that sacred male saying it goes like this. Bros before hoes. Bros, Bros before hoes. Good, I'm glad we all agree on that. And now this slow bro has finally died thanks to the sacrifice Jill made for us. She'll forever be remembered for this Joe, I promise. But I'm still gonna be releasing her. Yeah, please do, Donald. Burn the evidence if you have to as well. I don't want her finding out about all this, and I should think you both wouldn't want your wives finding out either, so we're never gonna speak of this again. Okay, I think that was our toughest battle yet, Donald. Even with a legendary, we still got destroyed, and by a herdier and slowbrow of all things, two holy smokes. Okay, well I don't wanna think of that battle again, so now I'm gonna calmly and silently make my way to Nimbasa City without any more drama. Just head straight to the Pokemon Center, Donald. Heal our Pokemon and release Jill and then end this episode, please. Yeah, this would be a good time to end this episode and go think about what we've done, guys. But anyway, on this rather depressing note again, thank you for watching everyone and we hope you enjoyed this episode. So please remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you know when we post again. We have to stop ending episodes like this, Donald, since this is twice in a row now. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And uh, hopefully in part three, we'll be taking on Elisa for our fourth gym badge. And I hope to God Melania pulls herself together and becomes useful. All right, bye, Jill. You did make a worthy sacrifice in the end, even though I gave you shit. Howdy, howdy, everyone, and welcome to part four of this amazing play through which you should all hit the like button for and subscribe to. Also remember, we are not the real presidents. We're voices created with AI, and this is all a meme. <laughs> And as each episode goes on, my will to live deteriorates every time you do my intro, Donald. Let's just say I'm less than pleased. And let's just say I care, Obama. Oh, wait, I don't lump foul. Now watch me take on Ingo and Emmett here with the other main character, whatever her name is. Yeah, anyway, welcome back everyone to part four. We're already here in Nimbasa City. And I guess after this warm up battle, Donald, we can head straight to the gym. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. and. 
Also, if you want to help support the channel, then please consider becoming a member as it really helps us out. Oh yeah, I do have a shout out to give real quick to a longtime viewer of our channel. You can see him on the screen right now. He requested that Victini's name be changed and even donated some of his hard earned money to us, which we are extremely grateful for. We're so glad our vids can get you through college, but make sure you save your money too. Yeah, thank you for that, my dude. We will definitely name Victini with what you suggested before the eighth gym, since we already have recorded up to part six of this series. And Donald wanted its name changed anyway, because it's making his wife look bad. Yeah, that last episode was pretty brutal, and sadly we lost Jill, so I think Donald doesn't want that to happen to Victini, especially since it's a mythical. But anyway, this battle is going much easier than I expected it to. This battle is so pointless, Obama. We're battling the subway bosses, and they had a Puccina and a shitty psychic type. They originally had a Chandelure and an Electros, which was an amazing combo. Yeah, but being a randomizer, Donald, what did you expect? Anyway, like Joe said, this was just a small warm-up battle for you before Elisa. She could end up being super tough. As long as she isn't like Roxy again, Obama, then I don't care. I don't want to have to sit here again for what felt like 10 billion years and watch Donald get sand attacked. Well, that makes two of us, Joe. But we have Victini now, remember, and I'll do some training with it and the rest of our team before we take on Elisa a little. But a viewer did let us know that it won't be able to learn its signature move, V-Create, since it isn't the event Victini, which is just bullshit. Yeah, that's pretty trash, not gonna lie. I thought it would learn V-Create at like level 70 or some other high level, but apparently not. Either way, it's still a mythical and strong, so try keep it alive, Donald, please. For the sake of that viewer of ours, I will definitely do my absolute best to keep this little orange gremlin alive, Obama. And by the way, thanks for all the comments letting us know which Ice-type Pokemon is your favorite. Yeah, thanks everyone. So don't you have another question for them all in this episode, Donald? That's right, Joe, and the question for this episode, everyone, is what's your favorite Dark-type Pokemon? I know for a fact all three of us share the same best dark type, which is obviously Darkrai. That Pokemon is just the coolest looking thing and its ability to cause nightmares and visions in people is super scary. Yeah, the pitch black Pokemon is up there as one of our all time favorites, actually. We especially love the movie about it when it literally took on both Dialga and Palkia at the same time and held its own against them for quite some time too. Yeah, and the fact Ash battled Tobias's one in the Sinnoh League tournament and actually beat it was pretty cool too. But then he lost to a fucking Latios. That Tobias guy was just mad. I hope we find a dark rye in this playthrough, Donald, but hey, look the first battle we have in this gym. And it's actually with an electric type of all things. That Voltorb was even weaker than Hughes won, Joe. Not a match for our team, but now this supermodel lady is sending out a Ninjask. Ninjask is one hella fast Pokemon Donald. It's from Hoenn, I think, but I've never used one. It also has another evolution too, which is a ghost type. Oh God, it's using double team, which means my attacks have less accuracy. I swear to God, if this is Roxy again in the first battle of this gym, then I quit. You did some training, Donald, but only got our team to the same level as the trainers in the gym, which means Elisa is easily gonna have a team in the high level 30s. I got this Obama, trust me. No Pokemon of ours is going down in this place to Elisa. I'll stomp her just like I stomped the other three gyms. Our team is more versatile now too, so we have lots of counters. Whenever Donald says something like that, Obama, it always never ends well. I beat the last three gyms, didn't I, Joe? I swept through them faster than a quick attack, and the same will happen here too. This person is called Juggler Malcolm Boys, but it's a female supermodel. Now how does this work exactly? I think you should keep quiet on that topic, Obama, and instead admire the Pokemon Juggler Malcolm has sent out since it's the pre-evolution of your favorite Pokemon. That's true, Donald. Electros is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. And it's weird to see Pokemon, which should be in here again. These trainers are quite boring for a randomizer so far. Donald, you stupid, stupid moron! Oh shit, all right, that was absolutely not my fault, Joe. I should have one-shot electric with that Aurora Beam, so how the hell did he manage to one-shot me? Donald, instead of getting cocky and talking to me, why don't you focus on the battles going on right now, you fool? We aren't even at the gym leader yet and only like five minutes into this episode. All right, fuck this shit, Obama. I'm not taking any blame for that and now this stupid trainer has another electric. I mean, are we even playing a randomizer now or not? You need to calm down, Donald, so no more Pokemon get killed and so you can focus again. 
So Joe, please shut your mouth. Hang on, how did I get dragged into Donald's mess? It was his fault that Cloyster got taken out and it was a really good member of our team too. Agreed that it was Donald's fault, Joe, but to make him calm down and happy, I will unfortunately have to blame you for this. Otherwise, Donald will act like a child and have a meltdown again. All right, these electric are super annoying Obama. I'm still amazed this person just had to have two of them, and now this one won't die. And it was all thanks to Cloyster and Aurora Beam that the other one was taken out so quickly. Yeah, no thanks to you. Our ace in here is dead, Donald. What if Elisa has an Electros or something? You can't exactly send out Michelle for that, can you? Well, Joe, I suggest you start praying to Arceus that Elisa has some Pokemon we'll be able to deal with without another member dying on us. Imagine losing two Pokemon in this place. All righty, well, we're about to find out Donald because it's time for the main show now. I swear to God, if you get our entire team killed here, I'm not gonna talk to you ever again. Well, then I think you should also start praying to Obama. My main plan was to use Cloyster here and even I'm starting to feel stupid that it died. I really like that guy and I never even got to change its name so it would be proper. Okay, so instead of Elisa, you're battling Antoinette Donald, which is such a random name to begin with. I think it's a French name too, actually. Joe, I haven't got time to listen to your anthropology lectures. Thank you very much. I need to concentrate like Obama told me to so we win this and her first Pokemon is a Cranidos, a rock type. Boy, would it have been good to have Cloyster here already. Yeah, and you said you felt stupid, but you still haven't accepted that its death was your fault, Donald. Well, at least he said he was stupid, Joe, so that's a big thing for Donald, if you ask me. Donald, you even more stupid, stupid gimp. What are you doing? All right, so there's the slight possibility that I don't have any more potions, Joe. Or my other answer could be, I'm living life on the edge here and not using healing items during battles anymore. Take your pick, but I think you should pick the latter point. Or you're just a massive idiot, Donald. Chandelure was one of your favorite Pokemon too. So now that's two Pokemon that's died in this gym. Donald, be honest, did you do that on purpose? Well, Joe, I have the right to remain silent. He either did it on purpose, which has a low possibility, since I know he loves Chandelure Joe, or he was just being cocky again and thought he could have taken Kranidos out with Lampent. I just want to say that, that Lampent was probably the strongest member of our team, other than Victini, who's still yet to prove itself to us, and Lampent helped us a ton in all the battles up to its death. So I'm going to say that I didn't mean to get it killed, Joe, even if I could have maybe possibly healed it. So you could have, in fact, healed it, Donald, but chose to be your usual cocky self, like Obama said, and now look what you've done. Well done, you moronic baboon. That's a possibility, Joe, but either way, we have to move on now. What's done is done, and Lampin isn't coming back. All right, Donald, fine. Whatever man just beat this gym now, will you please? I've had enough of you taking out our Pokemon, especially the good ones like this. Well, I would have had this battle in the bag, Obama, if Sunshine here didn't decide to use a Hyper Potion. And we're battling Eradicate of all things, too. This thing is just trash, but somehow it survives everything. Gold Duck is proving to be quite useless in here, too, Donald. I hate our team now. There, I've said it. Well, Joe, I don't have any fighting-type moves on me. Otherwise, this would have been easy, and that Kranidos would have died in one shot, too, I bet. I can't believe we're sitting here watching Donald struggle to beat a glorified rat, of all things Joe. And he calls himself the Pokemon Master, or whatever other words he likes to compliment himself with these days. All right, well, you can calm your pants down now, Obama, because your boy here finally beat this Raticate, which should get the title of Legendary after the amount of time it took for me to beat it. These gym battles have been such a drag, holy hell! All righty, and her last Pokemon is just as boring as the others. It's a seal of all things. I think this Pokemon is a water and ice type, so yeah, we have nothing to beat this quickly with either. So, Donald, you did have some potions lying about then. Well, to be fair to me, Obama, I used a super potion, not a potion. But yeah, I guess I did have some lying about. And anyway, you told me to stop being cocky, so to save our gold duck, I used one. You should be happy, you know. I would have preferred gold duck to die and cloister to live through Donald because cloister is way cooler in my opinion. Or actually, I should say was way cooler. Well, Donald beat Elisa Obama at a major cost. If you ask me, though, I wouldn't exactly call this a win. It's an embarrassment, if anything. You better take that remark of yours back, Joe. I said sorry and I got our fourth gym badge too and more than all that, the playthrough continues since we still have Pokemon which are alive, so I would consider that a major W. If you wanna look at it in that way, Donald, then that's your ridiculous view. But I'm with Joe on this one and agree that was a slaughter for us. 
You see, the problem with you two is that you always get caught up in the minor details whilst I have the big picture view. And anyway, it's now time to head to the Pokemon Center and release Lampent and Cloyster. And just so you know, I was fond of them both too, especially Lampent. Donald, you do remember that Cloyster was the first Pokemon we actually caught in this game, which is why I'm extra upset about that. To be honest, I don't really care for Lampent, since we already used one the last time we were in Unova, but it shouldn't have died here. That's a fair point, Joe. The first Pokemon you catch is always special, I guess. But hey, time to say our goodbyes to these great team members, boys. And as soon as we leave Nimbasa, there's more grass for us to encounter Pokemon in. I hope to God whatever we find next will make up for this mess you've caused us, Donald. You also do realize that the less Pokemon we have, the harder the game becomes, right? And you can't go back to a previous route and catch another Pokemon too. So this could be where the games go south. All right, well, here they go, everyone. I'm actually very upset, Donald. I have indeed become attached to some colored polygons, as you put it. Okay, everyone, we had a little recording issue there since I forgot to release Cloyster 2 and had to go back and re-record that part. But anyway, there they both go now into the void. You're just rubbing salt into the wound a little more by doing that, isn't it, Donald? Just to remind everyone of how you got two Pokemon killed. Sorry, Joe can't hear your little mouse voice over the sound of the banging Nimbasa City theme tune. And hey, look, boys, Team Plasma Pirates have showed up here as well. It's like every city we go to, they're just there. Well, Donald, Hugh is hell-bent on getting his sister's Pokemon back from them since they still have it. But my question is, how does one steal a Pokemon when it's already been caught? because can a Pokemon only take orders from one trainer? Maybe they have a scary type of Pokeball that can turn Pokemon evil Obama, like in that Celebi movie with Suicune? I think it's the Pokemon's fault actually, boys. How can a Pokemon just suddenly have a change of heart and ditch their first owner for a second one? Joe, have you lost it? How on earth is it the Pokemon's fault exactly? A Pokemon can only listen to one trainer, so Team Plasma have clearly done something to Hughes' sisters purloin for it to change sides. I think he's right, Joe. They probably tortured the poor thing or brainwashed it to think everyone else is bad except Team Plasma. I guess you could be right, Obama. Either way, we must help Hugh at all costs, Donald. We have to save his little sister's Pokemon. Don't worry, Joe. It will be my mission to destroy Team Plasma all over again. I did it once before, and I'll do it again, and I won't even need a Zekrom to do it this time. Zekrom won't be able to help you even if you wanted it to, Donald, because I think it's runoff with N in this game. Or it might be Reshiram who's with him, I can't remember to be honest. Zekrom would be more fun to have right now than this stupid Victini Obama, which has just been useless so far. Can't there be a rule where if we catch a useless legendary or mythical, we can then switch it with a better one? Joe, what have you been smoking, my guy? If we did that, then what would even be the point of a randomizer Nuzlocke? Victini is useless now. But I'm sure it'll get better, actually, although I have no clue what its stats are or if we should make it a physical or special attacker. I just checked its stats, Donald, and it's got a base stat total of 600 with 100 across the board. The only other Pokemon I know which looks something similar to that is your favorite Arceus with 120 in everything. Well, Victini is a mythical Obama, so what did you expect? Now, something else I've realized is having legendaries in a randomizer doesn't actually mean anything, because what if someone else has a stronger one? That's gonna be our main concern, Donald. There's always a bigger fish. And to be honest, I have no idea which would be the worst to encounter. I just hope that battle with Getsus won't go badly when we get to it. Hey, Donald, I see you're struggling to beat this Gorbis here. I never knew this thing could be so strong. Yeah, me neither, Obama, but to be fair to me, we don't have any Pokemon useful against water types right now. But this thing is pretty cool regardless. It evolves from a clam pearl, and its counterpart is Huntail. This cool thing, as you put it, Donald is going to keep restoring its health using Aqua Ring, though. How comes most battles we've come across in this game just seem to be stalling situations seriously? Well, Ducky here and Zen Headbutt will help us beat this pink fishy thing, Joe. And normally I hate pink Pokemon, too, but this one gets a pass. At least Aqua Ring doesn't restore that much health, though, Joe. It's better than those ridiculous gym battles we've had where they decide to use Hyper Potions on their Pokemon before they're even into the red zone. Yeah, and those Hyper Potions will soon become full restores Obama, I bet. Before we even get to the eighth gym, someone will start doing that. 
Well, one more Zen headbutt should be enough to take this out, Donald. So after this battle, how about we end this episode here, boys? Yeah, good call, Joe. This was a slightly shorter episode since we have lots to do up to Christmas, but we still hope you enjoyed this episode, everyone. And please remember to like and subscribe to help support us. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. In part five, we'll catch our next Pokemon and then head towards Driftvile City, where our fifth gym battle will take place. One more thing. All of you should please pray that Donald doesn't get any more Pokemon killed in gym battles going forward. Not even I would do something that stupid. Howdy, howdy, my beautiful people, and welcome to part five of our Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke Randomizer. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content, and remember we're voices created with AI, and this is not to be taken seriously. And we're already getting interrupted by Bianca, as usual, Joe, but good intro. She's introducing us to hidden grottos, by the way, but I don't know the rules on these since all the Pokemon are not random encounter. I think we should ignore them for now, Donald. And anyway, this particular hidden grotto always has a Minchino in it when Bianca introduces us to it, and I don't want that trash on our team. Thank you very much. Well, there's grass there, Obama, so I guess that's where we will be catching the next Pokemon for our team. And I hope to Arceus that whatever it is will be worthy enough to replace both Lampent and Cloyster, which Donald got killed in the last episode. Yeah, Donald, just so you know, we're never letting you forget that fuck up of yours, bro, sorry. Okay, well, does this live up to your idea of a better replacement for Cloyster and Lampant Joe? Because I think it damn well does. We found a goddamn ho ho. Actually, Donald, I'm not even happy about this new development. Of all the legendaries you could have found, you just had to make it another fire type, isn't it, when we already have Victini? So, as far as I'm concerned, this is useless. I mean, Joe does kind of have a point here, Donald. We now have a fire type that's a mythical and a legendary if you manage to catch this burb. We found a fucking ho -o, and all you two are doing is bitching about types. Why don't you look at it this way, that we now have a super OP flying type Pokemon that can learn fly and also has a signature move we won't need an event for, for it to learn. I mean, I'd be happier if you found Reshiram, to be honest, Donald. We already used ho -Oh and Pokemon Heart Gold, remember? So I'm kind of done with this legendary, to be honest. I seriously cannot believe the crap that's coming out of your mouth, Joe. You're actually demented. Either way, I'm still gonna try catch this guy, and I'm going to name it after myself just because you two don't care, and this will now be my new favorite Pokemon. Hey, Joe, wouldn't it be super funny if Donald got his new favorite Pokemon killed before, like, the eighth gym LMFAO? Actually, yeah, I take back what I said, Donald. I do actually hope you catch this just so I can watch it die and you lose it. I've needed a good laugh for a long time now anyway. Well, Joe, I just went through about 45 great balls, so I'm tempted to just kill this thing with Skitty at this rate. Wow, you actually caught it, Donald. Well done, I guess. Now, please do everyone a favor and get it to die. How about we make our way towards Driftvile instead, Obama? I just did a little training with the whole team as well against the trainers in that little plaza area, but they had pretty trash Pokemon, to be honest. One guy had a Rotom, though. Hey, Rotom is a great Pokemon, though, Donald. It's used in competitive plays a lot as a wash or fan form, too, if I remember. And also, since you and Joe have hijacked my intros, I'm going to be asking our viewers the question for this episode. All right, before that, Obama, can we all agree that the Driftvile theme tune is an absolute banger, too? It's one of the best in Unova, but my favorite is still Jubilife City. Yes, it's a good tune, Donald, for sure. But anyway, back to my question for the viewers. Please comment down below and let us know which psychic type Pokemon is your favorite. We all love Mewtwo because who doesn't? But honorable mentions definitely go to Marsharna, Latios, and Screamtail. Yeah, we adore Screamtail. It's like a Jigglypuff on steroids or something, isn't it, boys? It also reminds me of Donald. If I remind you of a Screamtail Joe, then you remind me of a Wigglytuff. That doesn't even make any sense, Donald. And I take back what I said because in actual fact, you remind me of a gumshoes LMAO. All right, Joe, you didn't need to go that hard in on Donald there, bro. That was savage. Okay, well, I didn't see that one coming, but either way, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that from you, Joe. And instead, we're gonna take on this Team Plasma Sage, who was once bad and is now apparently good. And he just lives in this random house in the middle of the city. And hey, he has a Feraligator Donald, which is a great starter Pokemon from Johto and absolutely the worst Pokemon for Ho-Oh to be battling unless you want to bring Obama and myself some joy and get killed. I don't particularly want to do that, Joe. 
So instead, we're going to send out good old Michelle here to deal with this thing. And I still can't believe we have nothing good against water types, boys. Well, my wife always comes in clutch, Donald, and you know it. And by the way, I see you've gone and named Ho-Oh Donnie, of all things. I'm sorry, but Ho-Oh is too big a Pokemon for you to name after yourself. If you find a Whale Lord, though, then Donnie would be more appropriate. Yeah, we're not even five minutes into this episode, and I'm already getting ganged up by you two. I don't need to be dealing with this abuse, Obama. I could leave right now if I wanted to, you know? Is that before or after your voice breaks, Donald? And Joe Biden is on absolute fire today, everyone. He's going in one after the other on Donald, and Donald can't seem to get back on his feet. This is absolutely outrageous now, Obama. I will not stand for this shit. Donald, why do you always end up sending out Golduck to deal with any water-type Pokemon we encounter? You did the same thing with Gorobis in the last episode, remember? Because, Joe, all I have is Zen Headbutt to deal with them for now. And I don't have any electric or grass moves, and I don't think any of our Pokemon can even learn them right now. Ugh, just cut the battle, Donald. It's not like it's even important anyway, is it? We have the story to continue with, and also we gotta get our fifth gym badge today, too. But instead, we're here wasting time watching you battle water types. I will agree with you on that, Obama. And actually, since nothing interesting is happening right now, I'd like to give a shout out to a wonderful viewer of ours who always gives me the best answer to our video questions. This person knows I love and simp for Arceus. So here's your shout out, lovely viewer. Oh, dear God. First of all, please stop encouraging Donald. And second of all, the dark type plate for Arceus is called the dread plate. But I must say that dark type Arceus is probably one of the best looking forms for him. Yeah, Joe, no one likes a smart ass. I had to deal with Obama acting like one a couple episodes ago, so there's no need for you to join that club. Thank you very much. And by the way, this is where we get this free Zorua boys. So what do I do here with regards to the Nuzlocke? Well, since it isn't a random one, Donald, I think the best thing to do is leave it in the PC for now. Maybe someone could tell us the rules for gift Pokemon. I know we have one viewer who told us we get free catches if we have a Pokemon with the same evolution or something, too. Yeah, they did say that, and also that we can get a free catch or something if the legendary is not random either. I don't think we should use Kyrim anyway, boys, unless I happen to find it out in the wild or something. We already have Ho-Oh and Victini, and if they live, our team is going to be pretty solid. Still don't agree on having two fire types, Donald, but let's see how well they do in this gym. And by the way, the puzzle for this gym is just the worst, honestly. Yeah, it's just long and pointless Obama, I agree, and also the constant dark areas in here are the worst. It's like Morty's Gym and Johto, but ten times worse. All right, well, the first battle in here, and this is Rich Girl Kim, apparently, and he or she has a fucking Verizon of all things. Just wonderful, isn't it, that every battle in every episode has to have at least one legendary for me to deal with. Yeah, well, Rich Girl Kim decided to catch a shit legendary Pokemon, in my opinion. And by the way, this thing has a counterpart called Iron Leaves. And I still don't get how Paradox Pokemon work. Like, what even are they meant to be? It's a paradox, isn't it, Obama? If that was your attempt at trying to be even more funny, Joe, then I think you've run out of juice, my friend. So do us all a favor and keep it quiet. Yeah, Verizian is definitely the worst out of the three Unova Doggos boys. Cobalion and Terrakion are my favorites. And I also love them in that Keldeo movie where he has to battle Kyrem. The one thing I disagree with in that movie is that Iris said Kyrim is the strongest Dragon-type Pokemon in the world since it has the power of Zekrom and Reshiram. But I still think Rayquaza would destroy him. Yeah, gotta agree with you on that point, Donald. Rayquaza is just too OP for Kyrim. With Dragon Ascent holding a life orb and Mega Evolving is just the most broken thing ever. That's another thing all three of us can agree on. One of the few rare things in this world. All right, battle two of this gym, boys. These guys are so easy, I wish they gave us the opportunity to skip the trainers if we wanted, because that would make the gym battle more difficult. Okay, and his first Pokemon is a Totodile Donald, an amazing water type starter Pokemon from Johto. Give us a like below for Totodile, everyone. Yeah, but the moron hasn't bothered to evolve it, Obama. Why would you have a level 29 one of these then? In like three levels, it would become a Feraligator. Maybe he caught a level 29 Totodile Donald and never got the chance to evolve it yet. Plus, Totodile is just adorable, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cute, Joe, but Cyndaquil will always be the best starter Pokemon from Johto. 
Although if we ever play Storm Silver, I'll definitely pick Chikorita since that Pokemon is only for the pros. Hey, check it out, Donald. A Pokemon we barely ever see is coming out now, and it's Behem. An alien psychic type one, I think. I don't really know much about this guy, but leave it to my wife to deal with it. Hang on, Donald. Why has Skitty got barely any health left? Oh, for fuck's sake. Donald, I swear to God, my man. You know, this death will hit me the most now, Obama, because we all know it's about to die even when it hasn't happened yet. But I'm so sorry, bro. Okay, well, there goes Michelle to join Jill in the Mistralton Tower, I guess, boys. God bless her pink little soul. Yeah, you can now join the club, Obama. You're officially indoctrinated as the second member. Now we just need to get Donald, who's been causing this all to happen, to get Victini killed so he can join too. I don't want to join your sad little club, Joe, because if our wives found out, we'll all be dead. Hey, that Behem fellow just changed our ability from damp to simple. What does the simple ability even do, boys? I've never heard of that one before. It turns whoever it touches into a Joe Biden, because you're a rural simpleton. How can I be a rural simpleton, Donald, when I live in the White House? Fine, Joe, you're just a simpleton then. But hey, I made it to this guy, whatever his name is. And now watch me destroy the fifth gym leader here so we get our next badge. I bet this battle will be easy like the others have been. I'd like to just point out, Donald, that you've gone and got more of our Pokemon killed in the battles leading up to the gym fight instead of losing Pokemon in the actual gym battle. I don't know what's worse, to be honest. Details, details, Obama. Stop looking at the details, my guy. And look, we have to battle this thing again. This is the Pokemon which got Michelle taken out. So why don't you blame it, Obama? To be fair, Donald, you had Skitty on like two health points left for some reason, unless you were training with it off screen and forgot to heal it at the Pokemon Center, which is still not a good excuse for not healing it up. Joe, shut up. My Ho-Oh has now been hit by the Simpleton Beam, too. If I lose Ho-Oh, then it's gonna be your fault, Joe. I swear to God. Don't think that's gonna happen, Donald, because this Behem seems more useless than the first one we battled. It used Imprison on itself, which is just dumb because there's no way we have the same moves as this guy. Well, we might now Obama because I used Whirlwind and his Lucario got sent out, which might be the most challenging Pokemon of his to deal with. Unless he also has a legendary as his third Pokemon or something. Lucario is part steel type Donald, so I think you should swap Ho-Oh for Victini since this bird doesn't have any fire type moves on it currently. You make a good point there, Joe. It's pretty embarrassing that Ho-Oh here has no fire moves on it. Holy hell! We need to get us some flamethrower and sacred fires on this thing ASAP. Well, the only move Victini has is Incinerate Donald, which could be replaced by a better one too. Not at the moment, though, Obama. I'd rather teach it Psychic or something first, or even Shadow Ball, if it can learn that, so we have ghost coverage, too. What the hell, Donald Victini is officially shit. It just got a critical hit and a super effective bonus on Lucario, but it still didn't die. Could someone please explain what happened right there? I'm calling that this gym leader is hacking, Joe, because you're right. There's no way it should have survived that hit. And then the moron went and used a Hyper Potion on it. Hang on, Donald. Lucario has been using Quick Guard, which is probably what saved it, but that's a move I barely ever see, so I don't know much about it. Quick Guard protects all Pokemon on the user's side of the field from moves that have increased priority during that turn, such as Quick Attack or Aqua Jet Obama, so it can't be because of that. Agreed, Donald. This guy is just a hacker, plain and simple, isn't it? We should have him burnt at the stake for being a witch. All right, well, his final Pokemon is definitely a legendary Donald. It's about as legendary as you can get, considering he's now sent out the almighty Bidoof. Yeah, and it's basically higher leveled than our entire Team Obama, which is even more embarrassing, to be honest. But lucky it's trash, so I'm sure Victini has got this in the bag now. I see my fifth gym badge on the horizon now, boys. All right, it just rose. It's special defense, Donald. So now Victini is going to be useless again. I'd recommend some physical attacks here if we have any, like, fly or something. Oh, great. It just used the Joe Biden move on me now, Obama. It used yawn, which means I'm going to fall asleep now. Well, whilst you wake us up, Donald, I just realized Bianca already gave us the HM for fly, which you could have taught to Ho-Oh instead of Whirlwind. Great Melania is asleep, and Obama, I've had enough of your smart-ass comments. Thanks very much. Both of you need to stop that right now. All right, but I got to point out, Donald, that this gym leader still has his behem left. You know, you swapped it out with Whirlwind, remember? To be honest, Joe, I couldn't care less at this point. This Bidoof has taken the longest to kill out of his three Pokemon. How can a goddamn Bidoof be more difficult than a Lucario? 
because it's the ultimate legendary Donald. More than Arceus, Bidoof is so powerful it actually exists outside of creation. Well, it just doesn't though, does it, Obama? Yeah, that was a joke, Donald, to try cheer you up since the tension already here is rising a lot. And this is our safe space, remember? All right, you got this in the bag now, Donald, since Clay just made Bohemian use in prison again, which is so pointless. God, what I'd do right now to have some darker ghost-type moves on us boys. These guys are just infuriating. All right, this battle is never going to end, Donald, and this guy loves his hyper potions, too. Finally, four billion hours later, this thing dies. I hope to God we never, ever have to see one of these again. And if we find a wild one, Donald, you have my permission to use judgment on it. I just want to say I don't need your permission to do anything, Obama. But I will do that anyway, because Behiyem is now on my list of most annoying Pokemon, along with Vibrava from part two of this series. I think this one was way worse, Donald, and it was slowly eating away at our health, too. But anyway, well done for beating the fifth gym, and now we can head out, and I think you should catch our next Pokemon in the route to the west since Skitty died. Oh yeah, not a bad shout, Joe, to be honest. I could do that, actually. But first, we need to go heal our team up and then release Skitty. Time to say your goodbyes to Michelle now, Obama. I'm glad that pink little shit is going deep down, Donald. And like Joe said earlier, its replacement better be 10 times more useful to us. Yeah, no more glooms or skitties, Donald. But since we already caught them, I think the rules are that we don't have to use them again, actually. I mean, Zorua is just chilling in the PC, though, boys, so we could either use that or risk finding some garbage Pokemon in the grass. It's your call. I say take the risk, Donald, because it's more fun that way. This is a randomizer anyway, so you could end up finding Arceus, you know. Obama, you gotta stop tempting me with Arceus like that. You've done that a lot so far, I've noticed. And just because I keep falling for it doesn't mean I will now. Yes, it does, Donald. Because I know your curiosity is gonna get the better of you as well. And you're gonna wanna see if Arceus or some other legendary shows up for us, LMAO. I hope we get Zekrom this time, boys. We need a powerful electric type, and you can't get more powerful than a Zekrom. All right, well, here we go, boys. And it's not what I was expecting, to be honest, Donald, but nonetheless, this is still a dope Pokemon to have at this point in the game, and we won't need to evolve from an Axu either. Well, we did say we wanted to use a Haxorus at some point, boys, so I guess the Pokemon God's granting us our prayer, so let's hope I can catch the damn thing now. Luckily for you, Donald ho -Oh is so damn weak right now with its shitty moveset that I think you'll be okay. This tops the list of embarrassing things in this episode for sure. I bet that Fracture is even stronger than you. All right, well, watch me catch it right now then, Joe. And it'll be all thanks to ho -Oh. If you fail, Donald, this will be the even, even more embarrassing thing in this episode. Donald J. Trump never fails Obama. And boom! What do you know? I caught it with a gray ball, hey, hey, hey. That throw was just for the meme, too. I was thinking of putting it to sleep with Singh, but unfortunately, we can't do that anymore. That was just all luck, Donald, and you know it. And where the hell are you going now, too? Well, Joe, this is the new area that was added to Gen 5, and it's called the Pokemon World Tournament. And basically, it's like the whole competition thing that Ash does in the Ultimate Journeys anime, except without Leon. Yeah, so basically, we have to take part in it. Now, Joe and Legendaries aren't banned either, I don't think. So it's pretty much going to be a slaughter for everyone else. Let's be honest. I am definitely going to win in here, boys. And also, if we actually survive this entire Nuzlocke, we could come back here and film some special Pokemon World Tournament episodes just for fun, if everyone would like that. You could build a competitive team for us, Joe, and then our viewers can rate it. All right, but my team would just be Arceus, Normal type, ghost type, psychic type, dragon type, flying type, and maybe ground type to counter anyone who uses electric. All right, Joe, you're a moron. Because not even I would do that, and I'm King Simp when it comes to Arceus. You have to actually build a proper team, my guy. Um, yeah, Joe, that team would probably be fine for the beginning rounds, but then when it comes to the later rounds when we battle red, you might get destroyed. Cynthia also shows up too, and so does Blue. Yeah, well, Arceus can learn every move there is, Obama, so I still think a full team of gods would be fine. But okay, since you two aren't letting me do that, I will have a think about it. And anyway, that's even if Donald doesn't make us lose in this Nuzlocke. Well, that's also true, Joe, but I definitely don't plan to lose to Hugh here. His team has always been trash, and I bet the other morons in here won't have anything that good either. 
Looks like he evolved his Voltorb, though, Donald, and you've gone and sent out Ho-Oh to deal with this thing, which was a stupid move, to be honest. Also, we have two Pokemon weak to electric. Yeah, and I bet Donald picked Ho-Oh because he thought it would have some fire moves when it still doesn't. You should have picked Victini instead, Donald. All right, I will admit to that, Joe. I made a major L there. I have no fire moves on our team, which isn't so great, but on the upside, Ho-Oh is tanking these electric-type attacks against it. Well, Ho-Oh has some amazing special defense Donald, which is probably the only thing it has going for it. And since we're talking about Ho-Oh, I'm still super pissed off that out of basically all the legendaries in the anime, Ho-Oh got barely any screen time. Hey, Hugh caught an Anorith too, boys. That's an awesome fossil Pokemon. And I was listening to what you said, Obama, and definitely agree with you on that statement. Ho-Oh deserves more screen time. Lugia has had like three movies about it now, I swear. All right, well, I can start the hashtag justice for ho -Oh movement if you two like. I will rally the world against Game Freak or TV Tokyo or whoever makes the anime and tell them we need more Ho-Oh. When I caught it, Joe, you said you'd had enough of Ho-Oh and now you want more of him. What's with that? Well, you're one of my best friends, Donald. So even though we piss each other off, I do like to make you happy now and then. You know, bro. All right, well, I think I'm gonna cry, Joe. Why don't you two get a room? Oh, is little Barry Obama feeling jealous now? Don't worry, Barrack Joe and I will also be your friend forever, too. Yeah, you can even join us in that room you just mentioned Obama, whatever that means. I think I'll pass on that, Joe, but thanks, I guess. Anyway, look, Hugh's final Pokemon is a Mamoswine. A pretty awesome Pokemon from Sinnoh, but he must have caught this Pokemon at its final evolution since we never saw the pre-evolutions for it. Yeah, and it just died like that. Obama, what a weak, pointless trainer Hugh is turning out to be boys. And now we're going to battle Colrus for the sake of time. I just realized that we can't use healing items in this tournament, Donald. What the hell kind of rule is that then? The one who came up with that should be fired. Joe, it's like that. So everything in the battles are even. I think when we get to the Masters tournament, the levels of our Pokemon are also set to 50 to make things even more balanced. So if you do make a team, it better be strong and holding the right items and have good moves too. Yeah, that's one reason why Donald and I are against a full team of RCS Joe. It's just not gonna end well. You could build a really good team for this though, but remember that champion tournament or whatever it's called is going to be really tough. Alrighty, our boy here is sending out a Sand Slash first guys and I can't remember what his other team was, but if he still has that slow bro, then I will be pissed off. Hang on, I remember now. This is the little punk who got Jill killed, isn't it, Donald? Well, now's your time to get your revenge on him for doing that. He doesn't deserve to win this after the audacity he had earlier. All right, Joe, your wish is my command, even though we already got our revenge when I beat him the first time. But at least his ground type here will be weak to our ducky. I still have water pulse on him. Donald, you getting cocky and complacent has caused many untimely deaths of our Pokemon in the past. So please don't try act like a big shot again. We can't afford to lose any more Pokemon now, seriously. Hey, look, Obama. Colrus has sent out Donald to fight Donald. Okay, Joe. What happened to that whole speech from you earlier about being best friends and getting a room and all that? Well, the room part was Obama's idea, first of all, and I never said I'd stop not winding you up, Donald. <laughs> Joe Snorlax is absolutely not me. It's more you than anything because it spends all its time asleep, so end of story. Well, you'll always look like a gumshoosh's Donald, so say whatever you want to me because I don't care, LM Fowl. Hey, Donald, how about you switch out to Fracture next since you picked it and haven't yet used the thing? I hope you did a little training with it as well. All right, fine, Obama, fair point. But I just want to say it may not look like I've named it, but I have actually, I've named my Fracture Fracture. I think the nickname you gave Fracture is the best nickname you could have given it, Donald. Joe, you are so stupid. He clearly pressed the buttons too fast when it got to the nickname section, and now he can't be bothered to name it anything. That also may be true, Obama, but how do you know I didn't name Fracture the name it already has, huh? You don't know, do you? We'll trust you to do something as stupid and pointless as that, Donald, but it wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. Good, so now we've agreed on that. Obama, you can watch our new Pokemon Slaughter Colrus's last Pokemon here, which is just a trash bug type. Let's be honest, who would use something this shit? Uh-huh, yeah, who would Donald? But anyway, I guess you've actually gone and won this whole thing now, so well done. We've done a lot of battling in this episode, haven't we? Yes, we have, Joe, and I think this would be the perfect time to end this episode, boys. So what do you think? 
All righty, Donald, let's end this episode here. So thanks for watching, everyone, and we hope you enjoyed part five of Black and White 2. And please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and consider becoming a member if you want to help out the channel. Yeah, thanks, everyone. And in the next episode, we will be heading towards Mistralton City, I think. So stay tuned for that. All righty, everyone, welcome to part six of our Nuzlocke of Black and White 2. If you enjoy this episode, then please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, we're voices created with AI, and this is not to be taken seriously. Yeah, we're kicking this episode right off with Joe doing the shittiest intro and Donald storming the Team Plasma frigate, which just so happens to be parked here in the harbor. Yeah, that's right, Obama. Team Plasma have their ship parked here in the harbor, and we're going to be finding out why, I think, or we'll get kicked out. Let's see what happens first. But whilst this is all going on, we have some announcements to give. Oh yeah, first announcement is that for some reason this series playlist is messing up, so part two is going before part one. Some viewers have made us aware of that. And it seems to be an issue on YouTube's end. Yeah, we can't seem to sort that out, but thanks for letting us know about it. And the second announcement is that we made a post the other day asking what other games you'd like to see us play now and then for fun. And we got so many ideas, so thank you all for that. Hey boys, look, I'm battling a Don fan. A pretty awesome rhino like Pokemon. Ash also had one of these. But yeah, adding to Joe's point just now, hopefully sometime this week we'll release a small new series playing a game we absolutely love and think you will all too. Most of you will have seen this game, so look forward to that. But don't worry, Pokemon is still going to be our main priority. Yeah, Pokemon is still our number one, and especially this series too. But anyway, those were our announcements, so... Back to the game, Donald, let's hope you make it to Mr. Alton City today. Yes, we absolutely need to make it to Mr. Alton City, Donald. I need to see the love of my life again being Skyla, and I know you love her too, but sorry she's taken. Okay, what happened to bros before Hose Joe? You can't back out from the pact of ours now, you know, that's not how it works. That pact was regarding our wives, Donald. But when it comes to other female humans, such as the gorgeous Skyla, the pact is off. So there now, get your pants back up, because she's mine. Yeah, we'll see about that, Joe, because remember, I'll be the one battling her. And look, I beat all the grunts on this dumb ship, boys. And those battles were the most uninteresting things ever, so now I think we are, in fact, going to get kicked off. The correct wording there, Donald, was getting teleported off actually by the Shadow Triad, and we still have no clue who or what they are. They weren't even in the anime, so God knows what they do. Well, I'm still down for replacing the Secret Service with the Shadow Triad boys. First of all, having them means we wouldn't need Air Force One since they can just teleport us anywhere we need to be, which means I can get out of bed right at the last minute since I won't have any more flights to catch. I think they'd have better stuff to do than give you your wake-up call, Donald. But yeah, I could get teleported to any ice cream parlor I want, which is a much more useful job for them if you ask me. Okay, well you two, look where we are. This is the Deerling Research Place, where they study the different types of Deerling in Unova. And, well, there's four of them, basically all based off the different seasons being spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Obama, did you seriously just name all the seasons? Our viewers aren't four, you know. I'm sure they know what each season is, and currently we're in winter. Unless we have viewers from the Southern Hemisphere, Donald, and they're in summer, like Australia or New Zealand. Yeah. Well, they do everything upside down, Joe. I bet to evolve an NK in Australia or New Zealand, they don't have to turn their console upside down since they're already like that anyway, LMFAO. I would just like to apologize to our Southern Hemisphere viewers for Donald's rudeness there. Although I did chuckle at that NK joke. But either way, Donald, don't you have a question for our viewers today? Oh yeah, I'm sorry too, not. But yeah, the question for this video has to be, what's everyone's favorite flying type Pokemon? Please leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't guessed by now, we're slowly working our way through all the different types. And as a bonus question too, out of Mega Evolution, Dynamax, Z-Moves, and Terrestrializing, which is your favorite and why? Hey, check it, Donald. Cobalion has come to visit you. Now, this fellow is a lovely blue Pokemon, and he made an appearance in the Keldia movie. Yeah, and he just ran off. I swear we got to catch him here, or I guess he's gone off somewhere to Eastern Unova. I remember in Blaze Black, too, we get to catch him. Now, I'm getting a history lesson from these two old farts about Cobalion and the Swords of Justice as they're known. But hey, in other news, boys, we're going to be heading into Charged Stone Cave, which means a new Pokemon for us. 
Yeah, it better be decent, Donald. A viewer pointed out in the last episode how our Pokemon are hitting like wet noodles, which hurts to hear, but he's right. We have two legendaries and they're both absolute trash. Well, luckily we have Fracture then, Joe, because if you've noticed all the battles Donald has been in this episode, Fracture has been destroying everything. Yeah, it's the MVP so far for sure, Obama. The combo of Dragon Dance and Dragon Claw is just too OP. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, dear Lord. Joe, Bellsprout is an amazing Pokemon, and this guy will be our counter to water types, remember. All right, fair point, Obama. However, Donald, you might want to, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Donald, you're such a stupid little clown. Why did you do that? I bet that bell sprout would have been stronger than Ho O oh, and Victini combined, and now you went and got it killed. That was completely by accident, Obama, because I also like me some bell sprout on the side. And now, because of my stupidity, we still don't have anything to counter water, and the Nuzlocke rule states that we can't catch any more Pokemon in here either. Well, congrats, Donald. You just went and ruined something else for us, but I won't insult you more since you admitted it was your fault. He will still find a way to blame you though, Joe, so it's not like it'll make a big difference, is it, LMAO? But might as well use all the repels in here, Donald, since we won't need anything from this place now. But I'd laugh so much if you ran into a wild Rayquaza or something. Yeah, definitely gonna use repels Obama. Because if I run into something like that in the beginning, then I'll be super pissed off. Hey, look, it's a fortress, Donald. A Pokemon I never see anyone use ever, and I think it's a really awesome one. I don't know much more about it, but gives us a like down below if you also love Fortress. And if you don't, then we'll still hit that like button. This thing is a defensive tank. I think Donald hence the name, so Water Pulse would probably be your best bet here. By the way, Obama, we got some comments about doing a special episode or a few episodes regarding the Pokemon World Tournament after we beat this game, or if we beat this game, I should say. I think that would be super fun. Oh, so you went and taught Skull to Ducky then, did you, Donald? I think teaching TMs to Pokemon is so stupid because if they die, then you've gone and wasted them. Yeah, I did some item hunting off screen, Joe, but if you don't want me to use TMs, then what's the point of them? Donald, it would be better to save the TMs for the Elite Four and Champion Battles since those will be the most difficult or even gets this. Yeah, well, I like living life on the edge, Obama, and what's the point of having powerful TMs if all they do is sit in our bag all the time? And who knows, we might not even make it to the Elite Four and Champion, and then I'll be pissed that I listened to you. All right, well, Donald, you made it to Mistralton, so I'm happy now, since I get to see Skyla. <laughs> Joe, stop getting so thirsty, because we actually have a lot to do here, you know? And by the way, Donald, we don't have to climb that goddamn tower in this game, thankfully, so you can just skip all that if you want, but you will need to catch a new Pokemon in the routes up north. Yeah, I know Obama, and since the Mistralton Tower is an optional area, I'll skip it for now. But I think someone mentioned it's like a free catch area if we need to come back to it or something. Although I don't particularly want to use that rule in case it makes things easier. All right, fair enough, Donald. And oh yeah, we get the Master Ball super early in this game too, so we could save that for a random legendary we might encounter later. Oh, here she comes, boys. My love, you are finally here. Joe, she'll never date you, my man. I have a ho -Oh on my team, which is like the god of all flying types. And she's a flying type gym leader, which means I'm automatically in, if you get what I mean. Donald, you look like something that belongs in a pyramid, and also the god of all flying types is Rayquaza, and you know it. Yeah, well, I actually have ho -Oh in my party, Joe, but I don't see a Rayquaza in yours, so I think I have the better chance with her at the moment. Oh, for God's sake, here we go, boys. This is now the downfall for us in this playthrough. Donald, why do you keep finding such shit Pokemon for our team? Even the legendaries are shit. Everything you find is just so shit. An actual pile of shit would be better than this team we have currently. Take that statement back, Joe. A pile of shit would not be better than Fracture here. But everything else so far, I may have to agree with you on. And this masquerade takes the cake for sure now. I'd rather have Jill back than this thing. This is what you get for not catching that bell sprout from earlier, Donald. We now have to deal with this trash. Why can't we just get a couple good Pokemon to carry us? Donald, just start throwing your balls at this thing now. It's got such a low catch rate that you could use a poke ball. Obama, if I threw my balls at this thing, then it would get taken out for sure because my balls are so big, hey, hey, hey. Such a child, isn't he, Obama? Yeah, well, I'll still be the one to take Skyla on a date to the Pokemon League, Joe, and it won't be you. 
And by the way, this thing took four of my balls to catch, whilst Fracture only took one. I'd just cut all the throwing out, since it takes too long on normal speed. Well, I hope you actually nicknamed the thing this time, Donald. And I see you've already made your way to Skyless Gym, too. This is so unfair. She's obviously going to choose you because of hope. Oh, I just didn't want to admit it earlier. I just want to interject on that point, Joe, because I think Skyla would actually choose me over both of you. And how did you get to that conclusion, Obama? Because, Donald, I have a shiny Mega Rayquaza over in my Omega Ruby save file, remember? And when Skyla sees that, she'll be dripping. All right, well, shit. How about we talk about what I've named our masquerade instead, boys? As you can see, I gave it such a wonderful name indeed. Wow, you named such a shit Pokemon after Hillary, Donald. And the thing is, she'll probably actually like it, so I doubt that would make her mad, you know. And its move pool is just trash too, though, Joe. This Pokemon is not going to make it very far in this series, just you wait and see. And oh yeah, let's not tell Hillary about this either. This is where the bros before hoes rule comes in, Joe. Yeah, this is where the rule applies, Obama, but it would be funny to see Hillary's reaction in the next episode with this thing. I think you should call her. I think you should swap Hillary out, Donald, before it dies here, though, because we're in a vortex. We can't even swap Hillary out, boys. We're stuck. All right, what the fuck kind of sorcery is going on here then, boys? If I can't swap out, that means Hillary is going to get taken out here now to Ponyta? All right, well, Hillary didn't even last like three minutes, and she's already going to get sent to the Mistralton Tower where the rest of our team is. We should absolutely not call her now for the next episode. Imagine, Hillary, Michelle, and Jill all on our backs. Okay, well, GG to Hillary, who did absolutely nothing for us in this game, boys. I guess that means we now have to catch another Pokemon somewhere along the line, isn't it? Okay, well, let's now try get through the rest of this gym without getting anything else killed, Donald, and that includes Skyla as well. We seriously can't afford to lose anything else. If you had just let off with Ducky to begin with Donald, then none of that would have happened, and Hillary would still be with us. She lasted even less time than the other two women did. All right, well, I managed to skip the other battles, and now it's time for the showdown between myself and my new girlfriend, Skyla Trump, here. Even though I love her, I'm still gonna have to unfortunately beat her. Her name is actually Mia. Donald, you don't even know your girlfriend's proper name. All right, fine, Obama. Mia Trump here is still gonna lose, and she's got three Pokemon, so let's see if she's gonna be a challenge, or if this battle will end up like the others. And of course, she'd have a water type. See, Donald, this is another situation in which having that bell sprout would have been so useful, but now we're gonna be sitting here for ages watching Ducky use Zen Headbutt again or something. Joe, cool it now, dude. I'm sure we'll find another grass or electric type soon. Donald kinda needs to at this point because his current encounter rate has been awful. I think this thing might end up killing itself with Takedown Joe since my Zen Headbutt isn't doing as much damage as I'd like, but either way, it'll be a win-win for me then, isn't it? Yeah, unless Skyla, or Mia, or whatever her name is, now uses a bunch more of those Hyper Potions, Donald. We need a move to ban healing items on Pokemon, I swear to God. Okay, 20 minutes later, and a bunch more Hyper Potions from both of us, I finally took out that seal. No thanks to you two for giving me any advice either, by the way. Okay, Donald, her next Pokemon is Electabuzz, so swap out in case you want to die. There's your advice too, so I hope you're happy now. Wow, not like I already knew that, Obama, but whatever. And now watch, boys. I'm gonna one-shot both her next Pokemon, I'm gonna set up Dragon Dance, and then use Dragon Claw. Just watch how a pro does things. Donald's famous last words, everyone. Joe, stop spreading all that negative energy of yours to me, please, bro. I don't need none of that, especially in a gym battle against my girlfriend. I saw her first, Donald. So in my view, she's mine. Go get your eyes tested. We will see how she feels after she's lost this battle, Joe. Women love a strong alpha male-like figure, and I'm sorry, but you absolutely do not fit that bill. What? And you do Donald? Haha, <laughs> so funny, and now watch how strong my Fracture is compared to this electric Yeti. I don't think you needed to boost Fracture's stats up that much, Donald. You have Stab too, remember? You can never be too safe, Obama. I mean, if I could be bothered, I would have sat here and used as many dragon dances as I could, but that would have taken way too long. This is just Donald trying to flex in front of Skyla Obama. It's pretty obvious what he's trying to do here, and he's failing miserably. Yeah, but look, Joe, I just one-shot her Electabuzz, and even better than that, she has a fracture of her own. It's like we're just meant to be, isn't it? She has to be my soulmate now. This is complete and utter bullshit, Donald. You have a Ho-Oh, and now the same Pokemon as her. See, Joe, we're just meant to be, isn't it? How comes things never work out for me, but they always do for you? 
You sure about that, Joe LMFAO? Donald, you are the most stupid, idiotic pumpkin pie I've ever come across. Skyla just humbled you big time there. What in the actual hell was that? Skyla is a hacker now to Obama. That's it, I'm breaking up with her. Great, so she's mine. Hey, <laughs> And Donald, you went and got two Pokemon killed in this gym too. I think that means your Riz game is officially over. Nah, Joe, I hate Skyla now. She's such a little B word, I won't say, but yeah. How dare she do that to the alpha male? I guess she's the alpha female Donald, and all you are is a lowly little peasant man child who's gonna start bitching and complaining for the rest of this episode to Joe's and my own delight. I would like some viewers to review that battle with Skyla and tell me how she was cheating because I set up two dragon dances on my fracture, but somehow she one-shots me without doing anything? That is some major bullshit. Well, you did one-shot fracture with Ice Beam Donald, so explain that one then. Because Joe, I don't, I'm just worthy of one-shotting other Pokemon, since I'm actually a good Pokemon trainer and I'm skilled, unlike some people here, Cough Cough Skyla, who uses dark magic or something to gain an advantage. Donald, you always do this, dude. You always have to make us end each episode on such depressing notes. But anyway, I think this would be the point to end, considering I can't take any more of this depressing episode now. Hey, blame Skyla, not me, Obama. And then she just ran off somewhere looking all smug, I bet. I'm still shocked I lost Fracture in that gym. That should not have happened at all, and I refuse to accept it. Well, you better hurry up and accept it, Donald, because after you heal our team up, it'll be time to release both Hillary and Fracture. And to our viewers, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode. I'm sure you all did more than Obama and Donald. Yeah, I bet they enjoyed watching Donald get humbled by a girl Joe since his ego is so inflated all the time. I definitely enjoyed that, but I'm also super pissed of that we lost our best Pokemon. And it only lasted one episode, too. Yeah, Fracture only lasted one episode, but anyway, bye everyone. I'm now gonna go cry myself to sleep. That makes three of us, Donald. Holy hell, what an episode today was. Alrighty, everyone, and welcome to part seven of our Nuzlocke of Pokemon Black 2. I finally get to do my intros again after the other two criminals kept stealing it from me. But here we are in Eastern Unova now. So if you enjoy this episode, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, we're voices created with AI. Yeah, hey, everyone. We've had a busy week since Christmas is coming up and needed a small break from editing. So we hope you understand. But we're back right now to watch Donald probably go and kill more of our Pokemon. Well, that was a little uncalled for if you ask me, Joe. But anyway, Merry Christmas, everyone. This video should be out before then, but in case it's not, we hope you have happy holidays. And it's already time to catch the next member of our Team Donald. What is it? Well, shit, it's a legendary Joe, I think. I don't know if this counts as one, but regardless, having Spirit Tomb can never be a bad option. So watch as I add this beauty to our Team Boys. Well, whilst you battle this, Donald, I have some announcements, and the first one being going forward, we're probably going to speed up all the pointless battles in the roots and gyms since they take too much time during editing to go through. But we'll keep everything else at normal speed and also the important battles, too. Yeah, that was our first announcement. And the second is we mentioned in the last video that sometime in the week we'd be releasing a small new mini-series, but we've been so busy and haven't had time to record and edit it yet. And as of now, Pokemon comes first, but expect that new small series to be out soon. Boys, this Spirit Tomb is playing super cheap. Now look, it's putting all our team to sleep, the little purple bitch. Oh yeah, I forgot we're almost already at the seventh gym and only have three Pokemon. No thanks to you, Donald. You know I bet we could have had a Haxorus in this episode if you didn't get it killed in the last episode against Skyla. Obama, she was clearly hacking. We went through this, remember. I asked Joe to call a meeting for that bullshit and asked the CIA to look into Skyla as well. She's clearly using some device to get more critical hits than should be possible, because that's what happened. Um, yeah, Donald, in your Skyla rant, I think you just went and used Fly instead of trying to throw some Ultra Balls at Spirit Tomb, and you may have just got it killed. Ah, for God's sake, Obama, that was on you. See, it put me to sleep, and then I used a full heal, and then you started yapping away in my face about how that battle with Skyla was actually legit. And now, look, we lost Spirit Tomb, so I hope you're happy. Donald, I'm not the one playing you moron. That L was yours to take, so be a man and accept it. And now because of you, we can't look for any more Pokemon in this godforsaken mountain, and having that spirit tomb could have changed the tides for us, since our team is just trash except Gold Duck. Not gonna lie, but you're right, Obama. 
Somehow this gold duck we have is being way more useful than two fucking legendaries, which makes no sense to be honest. Just my luck though, isn't it? I'd rather Victini die, but no, it had to be Fracture. Well, right now we're battling a Kingler and Noctowl Donald, which are two cool Pokemon from Johto. Yeah, Kingler is all right, Joe, but I always use it as a HM slave in the Johto game since it can learn so many of them. Other than that, if I had a choice, I wouldn't use one, and I doubt anyone else would either. You say that, Donald, but it's still a water type, and you went and sent out Ho-Ho of all things to battle it, you fool. Are you trying to get it killed? Obama, it has fly, which means I can play super dirty and just attack from a distance. Because why wouldn't I? It just makes sense here, and Ho-Ho will never die. It's been named after me, so how could it? Well, Bianca's lair on just keeps using Protect, which isn't helpful at all, let's be honest. But Agron is one amazing steel type, don't you think, boys? And it can mega evolve, too. Donald, what in all that's holy do you think you're doing, you absolute gosh darn demented pumpkin seed? All right, I will actually take full responsibility for that one holy hell, boys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you goddamn better take responsibility, Donald. There's no way you actually just swap Ducky out when battling a Raichu. Why would you do that? To be honest, Joe, I have no reason or excuse, and now all we have left is a trash Victini and Ho-Oh! Basically, let's be honest here, boys. We have a party of one Pokemon, and now I'm losing all hope for this Nuzlocke. Great, and now we're here in Undella Town with probably some of the best music for any town in the series, but also one that makes me super emotional at the best of times, except now I have a reason to cry. Okay, well, I said I was sorry, Obama, and I really, really didn't mean to kill Ducky. It's clearly the best Pokemon we've had so far, so why would I do that on purpose? But rules are rules, so here we go releasing it. Can we all get Fs in the chat for Ducky, people? It was literally the MVP and definitely proved its worth to us. I'd rather have six of these than a Ho-Oh or Victini Donald, and you can't say I'm wrong about that. I'll agree with you on the Victini part, Joe, but apart from that, you're wrong about Ho-Oh. You need to give it a chance, my dude, and trust that it will become our strongest member. Well, Donald looks like Hugh wants a battle with us at possibly one of the worst times imaginable since our party consists of one and a half Pokemon. Prepare yourself, Joe, because this is the most important battle we're gonna have so far in this Nuzlocke. Okay, Donald, you're gonna need to do some major training at some point because we're almost 10 levels below Hugh's team. And that's absolutely not good for us with the current team we have. All right, well, Tranquil just died like the little stupid bird bitch it is. Not my favorite out of all the bird Pokemon, to be honest, but my main worry is still this Electrode with its stupid self-destruct move. If I was you, Donald, I'd just keep spamming Fire Blast until his team dies since it's our most powerful move and it's not like we actually can have a strategy anymore, is it? The Pokemon we have aren't great for that. Wow, you got a lucky critical hit there, Donald. That light screen was very unhelpful too, but anyway, somehow we're actually winning here, boys. And his final Pokemon is a Dusknoir. What an amazing ghost-type Pokemon this is too, Joe. I'd say this guy is Hugh's best Pokemon in his team, unless it's gonna change later on, maybe. Either way, good to see this guy, which is normally only available via a trade evolution, I think. All right, Donald, I can see how playing dirty with Fly like that was actually quite helpful. Going forward, play as dirty as you want. With this team, just do anything to survive at this point. Who actually cares? I plan to anyway, Obama. Using Fly like that is perfectly legal in a Nuzlocke anyway. And if I didn't use it, then it would have definitely died. Okay, seems Hugh is gonna go after Team Plasma still up north, Donald, which is where I think we should be going. And please, please catch a useful Pokemon next. This is actually painful watching you slowly kill our team with useless Pokemon like this. Okay, Joe, I shall make a Christmas wish to Santa or whatever, and I shall ask for a really good Pokemon to bless our party since we actually need one. Ho, ho, ho! Since you've been a good little fatty boy this year, Donald, I shall grant you one wish of the year and bestow a super powerful legendary Pokemon on your team. And here we go, boys. This is what I'm fucking talking about. My wish came true, and Santa gave us a goddamn Giratina. Donald, why is Bernie wearing a Santa hat and pretending to sound like Santa too? Are you bribing him? And also, what's this about you being a good boy? I don't know, Obama. Donald just called me up earlier and told me to wear a Santa hat and grant him a wish, but I don't actually have powers. And this is a randomizer Nuzlocke, so it was just sheer luck that he went and found Giratina. 
Bernie, shut your mouth. Oh, I mean, Santa, please stop talking, and thank you for granting my wish. However, we have an issue now, boys. This guy just used Destiny Bond, which means if we kill it, our Pokemon is gonna die too. Donald, you're an idiot for sending Victini out too, you know, but don't worry, your boy Barrack has your back and is gonna suggest you use the Master Ball on Giratina, since the chances of us finding a better Pokemon to use it on is basically nil at this point. Let's be honest. OMG, I can't believe I didn't think about that before Obama. Right, just for that, I'm gonna name Giratina after you. You have probably gone and saved the entire Nuzlocke by that move. Okay, well, can Santa leave and Bernie come back, Donald? This hat is making my head all itchy and sweaty. Also, I think that Giratina should be named after me since I was the one who granted you the wish. Bernie, you granted me a curse, actually. Giratina had destiny bond, and that move could have ended this whole series and I'd have never let you hear the end of it if that happened. So I think you should be thanking Obama as well for saving your sorry Santa ass. Sorry, Bernie, but you did almost ruin this series for us. I gotta agree with Donald on that, dude. And Obama, you're the real MVP of this series. And Professor Juniper, too. Great, so I came here on your request, Donald, only to get abused by you and Joe at the same time, and I came dressed as Santa as well. What a complete waste of my time this was. Welcome to my world, Bernie. But anyway, I think it's time you leave now so us three OG YouTuber boys can get back to our series, which is literally being held together by one Giratina. Yeah, Bernie, thanks for nothing as usual. Although I liked your Santa impression, so come back next year if we're still here for that cameo. But anyway, right there was Cobalion Boys, which I will not be bothered with at the moment. Having a full team of legendaries would be pretty boring, let's be honest. Donald, you already caught a Pokemon here. Yes, I'm aware, Obama, but I just wanted to test out our Giratina some more, and I did a little training off screen so our team doesn't get murdered again by some unsuspecting Raichu or whatever. All right, we just heard the story about Kyrem, which we've all heard a billion times. So now, Professor Juniper and Bianca are gonna go off and do more research or something, isn't it, boys? Yeah, I just wanna backtrack a bit, Donald, with something you said earlier. Oh God, here we go. All right, Obama hit me with it then. What you gotta rant about now, and remember, I did name you after Giratina. Donald, you said that catching Cobalion would be boring since you don't want a full team of legendaries, but the only legendary I think is worthy of that title so far is Giratina. The other two are just so bad. All right, I get the point, Obama, you hate ho o -Oh and Victini. Well, don't worry, there's another route coming up to the west of Lacanosa Town, so I'm sure we'll find something good to add to our team next. You've said that a few times, Donald. And look where it's got us. I won't believe anything you say until I see the pudding, and that's before you've gone and eaten it. Have more faith, Joe. We already found Giratina, didn't we? So who knows what we'll find next? I mean, the only other thing I really want at this point is Arceus, since you can't really get better than Giratina. Donald, you can absolutely get better than Giratina. And by the way, you need to find its orb to change its form, since its current one in the normal world is bad compared to the origin form, or whatever it is. Okay, whilst I team up with Hugh to battle these two Team Plasma Punks, someone should definitely comment down below and tell us the lore to why Giratina has two forms. He only changes form when he enters the Earth Realm and changes back in the Distortion World. Oh great, one of them has a Latios on their team. Now I swear to God, if that thing takes out Giratina since they're both Dragon, I'm literally gonna smash your face in with a Joy-Con Donald. That was exceedingly violent even for you, Joe. I don't think you could make Donald look any uglier by doing that anyway, LMFAO. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that, Joe, and instead we have our own light screen set up, which will be useful for dealing with that Latios. But seems like it'll only use Luster Purge, Joe. Hey, it's always good to see Latios, regardless of which side it's on, Joe. And look, our Dragon Claw is just OP as hell to it. Wow, Giratina's an absolute tank here, boys. It's barely losing any health to moves which are super effective against it. Yeah, it actually is Joe. But Electrode stole my kills there using Swift on both Pokemon like that, especially Latios, which was my prey. Maybe I should attack Electrode for that. Donald, we don't need your ego causing more problems for us. So please do not take out that Electrode. Remember it's on our side and it's set up light screen too, which it can do again as well. OMG, this battle is a complete waste of time, boys. This team, apart from Latios, wasn't interesting at all. I mean, we're now fighting the second stage evolution of one of the Unova region starters, and it's the worst one, too. You know I'd take a Chikorita any day over Snivy Donald. 
I don't know why, but I can't stand the superior line at all. I think it looks stupid and it's not even cute. Also, how is losing legs a form of evolution? I think you're spitting facts there, Joe. Chikorita gets a lot of unnecessary hate, and I bet lots of people agree with us on that too. All right, this is officially the longest battle I've ever been in, in my life, holy hell. And I thought Giratina was gonna one-shot everything, to be honest. Holy shit, Donald Electro just used self-destruct like you've been calling since part one. This is exactly what I was talking about, boys. If we didn't have Giratina, we'd have probably died. It was sheer luck that we had the immunity to normal type moves like that, holy hell. Yeah, I'm now wondering if that was the AI playing smart or if that was all just luck. Could someone also explain the rules to us if in this situation our Pokemon actually died due to another Pokemon on our side using self-destruct? Fuck the rules in that situation, Obama. There's no way I'm letting one of our Pokemon die due to another person's idiotic move choices when we're supposed to be on the same side. Yeah, Donald has a very good point, Obama. A Pokemon should only be considered dead if it's killed by an opponent. Not a guy we've teamed up to battle with. See, so whatever the rules are on that Obama, if this happens again, I refuse to accept them, and whoever made that rule can go get hit by a blast burn for all I care. And a hyper beam too, right, Donald? I hope there's no rule for that, but anyway, I'm glad that battle is done with, and now you can head west towards Opelucid City and catch another Pokemon for our team. Yeah, the seventh gym is next, boys, and it's Drayden's gym, who is my favorite gym leader, by the way. And I'm pissed he's the seventh gym leader in this game when he should be the eighth. But instead, we have a shitty water type leader. You know what's funny, though, Donald? We still don't have a Pokemon that's effective against water types, but we do for basically every other type. Oh, for God's sake, we've gone full circle now, boys. Donald, look what it is. Okay, well, we had Lampin in the beginning, and now we're going backwards, so I wouldn't necessarily call that full circle Obama. And also, I'm sure there's some actual useful rule about us using the same Pokemon in the evolution chain or something. So for now, I'll try catch this, but if we can swap it out, I definitely will. Nice first throw with the quick ball, Donald. That's a poke ball we should definitely be using more, you know. It probably would have saved us a bunch of time. Okay, boys, I just went through the next gate since nothing interesting was going on. But hey, look, it's Verizian. Yeah, the second legendary doggo of the Unova region and its paradox form is Iron Leaves, which I think looks ridiculous. Even having Suicune looking like a Velociraptor looks stupid too. Yeah, but the other Paradox Pokemon are just awesome Obama. I love Tyranitar and Hydreigons a lot, but hey, look boys, another flying type to add to our team here. As much as I love this Pokemon Donald, we already have Ho-Oh, so I think Lady Luck has decided she's gonna drop us again. I think after Giratina, it's probably gonna go downhill from here. No, I'm sure we will encounter some good Pokemon still, Joe, and I think we have the chance to swap Litwick out as well. So let's hope that rule is real, because I don't feel like using it again, and then watching it die again, too. All right, that's true as well, Obama. I mean, who knows Donald might get it killed in Drayden's gym anyway. No way, Joe. I can never let Litwick die just for the sake of it. Plus, it's only like one level away from evolving, too, so we could get it back to a Lampant, and then I'll need to find a Dust Stone again, which will probably never happen. Let's be honest. Donald, I said this before, but any Pokemon that requires a stone or any item, in fact, to evolve in a randomizer Nuzlocke, is just a death sentence in the making. All right, well, here we go, boys, the penultimate gym. Let's hope we don't end the series here too, Donald, and for the love of God, can you just get through one gym without a Pokemon dying? I keep saying that, but until you do, then I won't stop. Okay, well, that hurtier wasn't what I was expecting, but at least Aura Sphere here is just so OP and never misses. I remember Giratina in the anime also had this move. Pretty interesting that a ghost type like Giratina can learn a fighting type move though, since it's not effective to it to begin with. Well, if you think about it, Obama ghost type was one of the first actual types in Pokemon along with Dragon, Steel, Water, and Normal when Arceus created the creation trio back in the day. Oh great, we're battling another Latios boys. How on earth can there be two of them in one episode? And this one is even stronger than Zinzalin's one or that other team, Plasma Grunt. It was only one level below us, Joe, but Giratina is just so OP, and I promise you it will be the one Pokemon that will never die. Yeah, until we encounter someone with a Dialga or Palkia, Donald. I think that the higher the gym leader is, the better the Pokemon should be, and that we should encounter more legendaries or pseudo ones. 
All right, Donald, it's time to battle your brother from another mother. Before you said that was Obama, but I think you secretly like Drayden more than anyone. But he does have a very strange beard, which makes no sense. Okay, wish me luck, everyone. I think Drayden usually had three Pokemon on his team, so let's hope it's the same here. And it would be nice to see some dragon types here, actually, or Pokemon that would be a challenge. First of all, Donald, his name isn't Drayden anymore, but he's changed his name to Jimmy for some reason, but at least his first Pokemon is actually an awesome one. Yeah, we used one of these in our Pokemon Platinum playthrough, which you should all go check out, by the way, if you haven't done already. And it's also Wally's ace in the Hoenn region games. Well, luckily, Giratina is super effective against this Pokemon Donald, so it shouldn't cause us much difficulty. Yeah, I'll definitely one-shot Gal A to Joe. Shadow Force, which is Giratina's signature move, is just the best out of Dialga and Palkia too. In Legends Arceus, the animation for it is also just wild. All right, his next Pokemon is Dratigun Donald, so your wish came true again, it seems. You get to battle a Dragon-type in a Dragon-type gym, although this particular one is pretty trash, in my opinion. I could probably kill it with Giratina Obama, but I think I'll switch out for the sake of variety and let Ho-Oh out to play for a bit. I will say this about Ho-Oh Donald, since you love it so much, but there's something about its cry which feels so ancient, and it definitely has Johto region vibes to it, too. I prefer it to Lugia's, actually. Yeah, and its signature move is way better than Lugia's to Joe. Even though most people would probably argue that Lugia is the better out of the two, Ho-Oh is still more beautiful. Yeah, except you used Sacred Fire on Drudagon Donald, and it did jack shit damage to it. So, what was even the point of that? I think you should have just used Full Restore on Giratina and spammed Dragon Claw. Okay, so Drayden is just a hacker like Skyla, now Obama, and somehow his Pokemon avoided Fly, which is something I've never seen happen before. And I bet the guy will end up using a Hyper Potion, too. Donald, I'm pretty sure that Fly only has an accuracy rating of 95 instead of 100. So you should have expected it to miss at some point. Either that or you've just been unlucky again. Wow, and before it died, it just went and used Dragon Tail and dragged Melania out. Yeah, and now his final Pokemon is a Jolshan Donald. Didn't think we'd see this here, but hey, this is actually my favorite Eevee Lucian. This will be super easy to deal with, though, Joe, just watch. I've so got this battle in the bag, and see, I didn't even lose a single Pokemon in here, too. Yeah, except this guy is just gonna be annoying now, and use Thunder Wave constantly, Donald, which means this battle is just gonna be a drag, like the one with Zinzalin. Well, that's why I'll just keep switching our Pokemon around, Obama. Let's let Ho-Oh one-shot this yellow dog with Sacred Fire now or something. Oh, uh, wait a sec, Donald. Oh, you have got to be joking. Donald, I don't even know what to say to you anymore, my guy. All right, out of every Pokemon we've lost in this series, boys, this has to be the absolute worst. There was no fucking way Thunder should have hit when its accuracy rating is like five. I'm with Obama and also have nothing more to say to you, Donald. I feel I have to call you some profanity, but there is just no words left in the human dictionary for someone with your level of stupidity. You know, the worst thing, Donald, is that you had Earth Power all this time, but you completely forgot about it, didn't you? Okay, well, it's not like you remembered I had that move, was it, Obama? You and Joe had like 10 minutes worth of opportunity to tell me to use it, but you didn't say shit. What's even more hilarious is Earth Power didn't even KO that Jolchen when it's a super effective move. But either way, you've won this battle, but I bet out of the three of us, you feel the worst since Ho-Oh was your favorite. To be honest, I don't even care. Well, losing Ho-Oh here is actually really bad, Joe, because what if the next few Pokemon we find are complete trash? So if you ask me, I think you should really care, you know? That's on you then, Donald, isn't it? Since you're the one who got Ho-Oh taken out and to make you feel even worse, I just have to point out that we've lost two Pokemon in this episode and both of them died to thunder as well, if you can believe that or not. Okay, well, you make a good point there, to be honest, Joe. I can't exactly argue with anything you said there. But even though Ho-Oh is gone and so is Ducky, we did gain a Giratina, so don't forget that. I just want to say, Donald, that losing two Pokemon in one episode and then catching Giratina doesn't make up for the fact that you still went and got two Pokemon killed. It's all about numbers in a Nuzlocke, because otherwise we're in big trouble. Okay, I don't feel like talking to you two anymore, and I was actually about to end the episode, but... We promised that before the 8th gym, we'd change the name of Victini as requested by at Oler777, so I'm quickly gonna go do that. 
Oh yeah, the name raider is in Castilia Donald, but first you gotta teach fly to Pidgeotto. Since ho -Oh is now dead, no thanks to you. Yeah, now we just need it to evolve to its final evolution. So we'll have some chance for the 8th gym, and then we also gotta deal with all the Team Plasma crap now as well. Okay, boys, here I go releasing ho oh I can't believe I let it die, and to a jolchen of all things as well. But any who say your goodbyes, everyone, and now I can't even name another Pokemon Donnie if we find something better than ho oh All right, well, GG, you served us all right, I guess. Was that seriously your speech, Joe, as I just released it? That was the shortest and also the worst speech you've come up with, and you've said a lot of ridiculous things. Just change the name of Victini Donald. I told you I don't care about Ho-Oh from the beginning. So what did you expect? Okay, um, boys, where's the name Raider guy? I swear he was in this building in Castilia, and it's meant to be one of these two people, isn't it? Donald, are you even in the right building? Hey, I googled it Obama, so it's definitely meant to be here, isn't it? If we're in the wrong place for the name Raider, then would someone please tell us where the guy is in Pokemon Black too? Because I swear he's meant to be here. Donald is in the right place, Obama. But maybe the name Raider isn't in the game because it's a Nuzlocke, Donald. And technically, we're not meant to be changing the names of Pokemon. That could be the reason, to be honest, Joe, but I'm sure someone will let us know where the name Raider is. And before someone has a fit about changing the names of our Pokemon, we're only doing it because a longtime viewer requested it and we wanted to fulfill his wish. Because we are nice people! Okay, the guy is clearly not here, Donald, so how about we end the episode for now and sort this all out in part eight? Yeah, okay, Obama, and we're sorry to Ogler for not being able to change Victini for you right now. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and if you enjoyed this episode, then please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and maybe become a member, too, if you want to help support the channel. Alrighty, everyone, and welcome back to part eight of our Pokemon Black 2 playthrough. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. And remember, we're voices created with AI. So do not take all this seriously. Joe, I can't take you seriously dressed like that holy hell. Who do you think you are? Tupac? Hey, I should change my name to Biden or Joe Pack. What do you think, Obama? I think you should get those ridiculous clothes off right now, Joe. And pay attention to story time with gym leader Drayden. Yeah, but I look like such a G in these mad drips, Obama. I have my gold chains and gold Rolex watch and Gucci sunglasses. I feel like I'm about to drop the biggest mixtape of the summer. Look out, Drake, because Joe Pack is coming for you. Right, well, anyway, Drayden is telling us about the hero story and about Kirim Two Boys, but he doesn't even know it exists in the first place, which is just dumb, to be honest. How can he, of all people, not know if Q Rem is real or not? Maybe Drayden should start dressing like me and he'll gain the knowledge needed. Joe, what in the actual fuck are you on about my dude? Just take that shit off now, please. I don't know how, but it's messing with your already cabbage-like brain even more. Yeah, Joe, it's time to get serious now because look, Team Plasma has just stolen Bowser Jr.'s ship and flown into Opelucid City airspace. And they're about to start raining Hellstorm missiles down upon the inhabitants here too, Donald, which was my thing. These guys really need to get some new ideas. Don't worry, boys, because Gangster Biden Pack is here to protect you with my gold chains and mad dressing gown attire. Joe, last chance to take all that crap off, otherwise I'll melt all your gold chains down and mold it into a turd style to look like your face. No way will I let you touch my chains, Donald. But fine, look, I took it all off. But now who's gonna protect you both from these ice spear things that Team Plasma is launching at us? I'd rather get taken out by one of these things than have you protect me, Joe. And by the way, how didn't we get hit by those ice spears when we're standing right out in the open like that? Maybe we hid in Drayden's thick beard Obama. I don't know. But look, he's sending out his goaded Haxorus to try smash all the ice up, which in my opinion is stupid since ice is super effective against Dragon. Yeah, and that Haxorus was weak as hell and didn't even scratch that ice Donald. So it looks like you're gonna have to navigate this Arctic tundra now. And looky who we have here now, boys. The culprit is this fat old purple guy as usual. And how come he's the only sage out of the 10 of them who stayed with Team Plasma 2. I guess the other nine must have joined in. Okay, so the whole point of them freezing Opelucid City is to get their hands on the DNA splicers for Getsis, which means I am going to be the one protecting it at all costs. Hey, Donald, whilst you do this, can I ask the question for our viewers for this video, please? I have a really good one that they'll like. Ask them to guess how many dementia pills Joe Biden needs to take every day, LMFAO. 
Uh-huh. Anyway, the actual question for this video is, which Pokemon do you think is Ash's actual strongest one, excluding Pikachu? Hey, good question, Joe. I think the answer is obvious, though. It's clearly Solgaleo. It's a legendary Pokemon, and nothing else he's caught in the last 25 years comes even close to that. Yeah, to be fair, Obama, you're probably right about that, unless there's another Pokemon we're completely forgetting about. But if there isn't, then Solgaleo has to be his strongest one. He has also caught most of the starter Pokemon from each region, too, but for some reason, the moron can't be bothered to evolve half his Pokemon. And did you all notice he became champion after having a full team of evolved Pokemon, except a Pikachu? His Pikachu is protected by plot armor, though, Obama. It's a fact, and if you think it's strong, then you're an idiot. Pikachu is absolutely not protected by plot armor, Donald. Ash has trained it for 25 years, so obviously it would be super strong. You're just a hater. And you're just a Pikachu simp, Joe. Everyone knows he should have evolved it into a Raichu, but no, he just had to be cool and keep it as a Pikachu. You know, Donald, instead of arguing with me over stupid shit like this, why don't you do something useful like train up our Pidgeotto so it evolves? Joe, I've never given you Pokemon battle or training advice, so how about you don't do the same for me, Well, Paco? that's bullshit, and you know it, Donald. You're being you a always have to share your opinion you know with that, me. Right? Talk over me all you want, you fool. Everyone knows you're not capable of shutting blah, 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 that blah, fat blah, mouth Joe's of yours a noob, Joe's with a noob. Pokemon opinions. Right, well, if you're both done, you still have this Nuzleaf to deal with Donald, and for a sage, he has some trash Pokemon, let's be honest, boys. Tell Joe to stop being a little backseat driver, then Obama, and maybe this battle would have been over by now. Donald has killed more Pokemon in this series than you and I have combined in all the ones we've played. Obama, let's be honest. He's gone on a complete murder spree, and even our viewers have made a point of that, too. All right, well, that may be true, Joe, but most of them haven't even been my fault if you think about it. And anyway, look, I beat Zinzel in here without any trouble at all, and none of our team is even dead. And by the way, thanks to all our viewers in the last episode for pointing out where the name Raider was in this game. Oh yeah, as requested by you, Oler, we changed Victini's name to Fatal, like you asked us to, and before the eighth gym as well, like we promised. So Merry Christmas to you from us three. Well, this video will probably be out after Christmas, let's be honest, Obama. But we hope you all had a good one and got all the presents you wanted. This year, I've asked Santa for mint chalk chip ice cream, and I also asked him to send you Cole Donald. Well, I asked Santa to send you a pile of donkey shit, Joe. Before you reveal more gifts you've sent to each other, boys, we've got big trouble. The Shadow Triad just ambushed you, Donald, and stole the DNA splicers from us. Those mongrels won't get away with that, Obama. They can teleport like a bunch of bitch-ass Aber all they want, but I'll take them all out together in a raid battle if I have to. Raid battles don't even exist in this game, Donald. Obama did more of them when he played through Omega Ruby, when he took on multiple team magma grunts all at once, remember? I don't think that counts as a raid battle, Joe, but regardless, I found the first Shadow Triad member, and he thinks he's so tough just standing about here by this gate when his first Pokemon is a trashy Curlia. We used one of these in our Pokemon Platinum playthrough, uh, remember Donald, and even evolved it into a Gallade, which was goaded as hell. So I don't think you should be dissing this Pokemon. That's true, Obama, I guess, although seeing a male Curlia always creeps me out. Racist boy. It's something which just does not make any sense in my mind. How on earth is that racist Joe? It's not Obama, but I enjoy winding up old grumpy Trumpy so much, especially as the year comes to an end soon. Uh, for God's sake, this Shadow Triad member thinks he's Sabrina now using Calm Mind all over the place. Holy shit, it's used it like three times in a row now, Donald. I bet it could one-shot Gyratina unless you kill it first. It can raise its special defense all it likes Obama because Shadow Force is a physical attacking move. See, you should be proud of me since I know the difference between special and physical attacks really well now. And Shadow Force can also bypass Protect. You've been playing Pokemon for a good few months now, and that's like the most basic thing to learn about these games, Joe. The concept is even more simple than breathing, let's be honest. Although we are talking about you here. Hey look, Donald Vigoroth just trolled you using Endure like that LMAO. But it's always nice to see one of Norman's Pokemon like this. Finding a Slack King for our team would be great, and that's a Pokemon we should definitely name Donald. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of Pokemon I could suggest naming after you, Obama, but because I'm the bigger man here, I won't go there. You know, a viewer in one of our shorts said there's a reason I like Marshadow so much. Donald and I don't know what to think of that comment. 
All right, that's pretty funny. Obama, not gonna lie. Marshadow is one awesome Pokemon, and I hope we can use one one day. Hey, Donald, I think this Shadow Triad member was just battling us to stall while Zinzolin got away with the DNA splicers. And it took you a good, like, 10 minutes to beat this punk, too, so the fact he got away is all your fault. Well, it's just not my fault, though, is it, Joe? If I actually had full control, I'd have sent Giratina out and got him to just step on this Shadow Triad member because Giratina is so goddamn big. Hang on, we're getting a phone call now, boys, and it's none other than Sharon and Hugh. These two should have showed up and helped us here instead of gallivanting off looking for a stupid leapard. Obama, shush, that was a spoiler for Joe. He's not meant to know it's evolved yet. Donald, I couldn't care less about Hugh's stupid little story arc, to be honest. Every time we play this game, it gives me severe anxiety knowing that every episode could be the last one with your current Pokemon KD ratio. You can't say I have a KD ratio when it comes to Pokemon deaths, Joe, seriously. This isn't Call of Duty or Battlefield, you know, and I bet you'd get a randomizer Nuzlocke to end in like the first episode if you ever did one. I told you one day I'll do a Nuzlocke of Emerald Kaizo, and I'll add Radical Red to that list too, since our viewers want us to play that game as well. All right, Donald, you gotta fly to Undella Town now and head to the Seaside Cave, so might as well cut right to that place. Yeah, okay, Obama, and look, we can actually catch the next member of our team in this place too. This area was never in black and white. One was it, boys? All we could do in Undella Bay was go underwater using dive to those ruins to find treasure and all the Archaeus plates. You'd have liked that, Donald. Yeah, I did those mini games, Joe, but it's so annoying because you only can take a certain amount of steps. But hey, look, boys, the newest member of our team, and it's a Huntail. Yep, a really great water Pokemon, actually, Donald, and those quick balls are seriously becoming super useful. I also saw a chart on Reddit the other day showing how timer balls are actually better than ultra balls after like five turns, so we should try to get some of those too. Timer balls are gonna be way harder to find, Obama, but I think there is one shop somewhere here which sells them. Otherwise, I'll have to use the old Russian tactic to get them. If you get my drift, hey, hey, hey. No, Donald, please don't do that just for some stupid balls. And by the way, you can catch another Pokemon here. Yeah, and are you gonna tell us what you nicknames that Huntail you caught, or are you gonna make us wait till it shows up in a battle or something like you've been doing with every other Pokemon so far? Oh dear, before I even have that conversation with you, Joe, look, it's a goddamn cow I have to try catch now. I should name this thing Whitney if I catch it because she's such a cow, but I also have a better name for it, actually. You know, Donald Miltank might actually end up being a really strong Pokemon for us, and this thing can also learn some decent moves, too. I think you should try spec it out to be just like Whitney's Miltank. We'd slay so much with it then. Hey, that's a great idea, Obama. Make it just like Whitney's one Donald, and then it'll be busted as hell. Also, none of us has actually used a mill tank before either, so you can't come in with your opinions yet. Donald's saying it's shit when you haven't tried it. All right, fine, Joe. I'll be considerate for once, I guess. But anyway, boys, look, I made it to Humalau City, and the first thing we have to do here is take on Marlin, or whatever his name is, for our final gym badge. Yeah, and as this is the final badge of this game, Donald, please, can we try to go through the last gym without you actually getting anything killed? You've made that a habit of yours since, like, Berg's gym, I think. All right, Joe, I promise to go through this gym without getting anyone killed, and this time I actually mean it. And also, I'll probably speed up these useless trainer battles, too, since they're usually not very interesting. Hey, you didn't tell everyone how you evolved Pidgeotto off screen, too? Donald doing some training? It's not the biggest news, but you still did that. Yeah, I guess I did Obama. Or actually, I made Joe do it, LOL. I haven't got time for that shit anymore. And I've also edited every episode in this series so far, too, so it's only fair Joe does something useful. It only took one level for it to evolve, Donald. So that shows how extremely lazy you were. Yeah, 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 Joe, whatever. Instead of that, can we talk about how pretty this gym looks, boys? I love the color of the water, and gliding along these lily pads is pretty cool, too. Donald, you get sentimental at the most random of times. You know, but yeah, I guess this gym could be considered one of the most pretty ones if you want to put it like that. Except it's such a drag navigating through this place, Obama. Like even I can walk faster than Donald gliding along these things, holy hell. All right, well look, Joe, 45 minutes later, I've made it to Marlin, who probably has a random ridiculous name. But anyway, wish me luck, boys. I'd like to end this battle without losing any members. And his first Pokemon is a Huntial of his own Donald. Funny that he'd have a water type in this randomizer, but I guess this is a water type gym too. So what's the game plan for this place then? 
Obama, you should know me well enough by now that Donald Trump doesn't plan for anything. My usual strategy is just to brute force my way through gyms and all battles, actually, and hope for the best. So basically, you're just going to spam fly to avoid all his hits, Donald? I mean, we always have Giratina to come to our rescue, Joe. But saying that we've made it all the way to the eighth gym now and still have nothing super effective against water types. If Miltank could learn energy ball or something, then that would be very useful. Right, well, our dude here is probably gonna pop some hyper potions now, Donald. Hey, I thought you'd actually like Marlon Obama. You and him would for sure get along, don't you think? Oh yeah, and why is that, Donald? Go on, explain yourself. Marlon is definitely your brother from another mother Obama. That makes more sense than you and Donald. Okay, wow, boys, you two are really gonna be like that, aren't you? Hey, Joe's the one who took my joke a step too far, Obama. All I said was that I think you two would get along. Yeah, right, Donald. And the only thing that should get along is this fucking battle, which you're really struggling with, by the way. There is no way we don't lose a Pokemon in here with how you're playing right now. Who knew a Huntail would give you so much trouble, Donald L.M. Fayo? And now you've gone ahead to send out Giratina to deal with this thing. Well, it's not my fault, Joe. This guy probably has a full stack of Hyper Potions lined up to use. And the only move he bothers to use all the time is Aqua Tail 2, which shouldn't even be this accurate. Hey, you know you could put the spell tag on Giratina Donald to boost its ghost-type moves since we haven't found and probably won't ever find the Grishius Orb. Well, that's something you could have reminded me about before we battled this last gym, don't you think, Joe? Hey, Donald, I think you should switch out to our Huntail now since he's sending out a Marowak and using water-type moves on this ground badger thing. Should one-shot it. Oh, wow, Donald, so fucking hilarious. You've named Huntail Jill, too. Why do you always name the ugly Pokemon after my wife? If that's already not obvious, Joe, then I'll book you in for an eye test at some point this week. Maybe all that falling over you keep doing has caused you concussions, too. Haha, ha, Donald. And if you've named Jill after Huntail, I can probably guess what Miltank is named now Obama. No way would Donald stoop that low, Joe. We already decided to name Miltank after Whitney anyway, and Donald liked that idea, remember? Um, yeah, absolutely right there, Obama. Miltank is definitely named after Whitney and not after anyone else 100%. But, um, in other news, boys, look, his last Pokemon is coming out, and it's a Sigilyph, which is just easy prey for Giratina. Yeah, this is a Pokemon we almost used in our Pokemon White playthrough a couple months ago, boys, but instead used a Braviary. Braviary is like the symbol of the Unova region, though, Obama. It's meant to be a bald eagle, remember? And it's way better than that ugly vulture one, whatever that trash is called. Wow, this guy trolled you hard, Donald raising its special defense just before you attacked it. What a waste of a turn that was. Yeah, and I really need some PP Max for Giratina now, too. The fact it only has five power points is super annoying, since that's the best move we have for it. That department store to the west of Opelousid City should have some Donald. Or we can just wait until the Elite Four Shop, which usually has all the items at that point. All right, before that, Obama, I would just like Joe Biden to take a look at the screen and notice how I just won my eighth gym badge without a single Pokemon getting taken out in here. You should be impressed, Joe. Well, I'm not really impressed, Donald, and I don't think anyone else is either. Out of like seven gym battles, you've gone through two of them without losing any Pokemon, and that was the first gym, and somehow the last one, which should have been the most difficult. Joe, it was all luck. Let's be honest that I somehow had Pokemon that was super effective against two of Marlin's Pokemon. All the other gym battles we've had haven't been like this. I mean, Skyla, you could say we did, but I still think she hacked the game with her broken as hell fracture. Jesus Christ, Donald, we told you she only killed our fracture because she got a lucky critical hit and that's about it. But anyway, well done for surviving through eight gym battles in this Nuzlocke randomizer. And I think for once, we can actually end an episode on a positive note. Yeah, I uh, can't deny that Obama, it feels good to go through a whole episode without anything dying. So anyway, everyone, thanks so much for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe to help support the channel. And who knows, this episode might be out on Christmas. I just want to say that if this episode is out on Christmas, it's because Donald made me work overtime to get this video out for you all. And he'll probably take the credit again. Everyone ignore Joe, he's just speaking like a demented baboon as usual. But anyway, Merry Christmas, and we hope you all have a lovely holiday with your family and loved ones. Yeah, happy holidays, everyone, and we'll see you all in the next one. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to part nine of our Nuzlocke of Pokemon Black 2. 
Today we're going to witness Donald murder more Pokemon, probably. He took a little break in the last episode, so remember to like and subscribe and consider becoming a member if you enjoy watching Joe and I suffer. Yeah, we had a rest in part eight since Donald actually managed to go through an entire episode without a single Pokemon dying, which is just a miracle. A Christmas miracle, if I must add, actually. But anyway, Donald looks like this is gonna be our next member. Hell yeah, boys. We got a Glally for our team. This thing is dope as hell, and I know our viewers will love it. It evolves from a Snorrent, so I'm glad we don't have to go through all that shit. I do prefer a frost lass out of them both, to be honest, Donald, but this is still a great member for our team, if I say so myself. And good stuff you caught it with one quick ball. I'm glad we stocked up on more of them this time. Quick balls are now officially my favorite Obama. Luxury balls are still great too because they suit my billionaire status. But when it comes to catching Pokemon, you can't ever go wrong with a quick ball. All right, Donald, you gotta stop slurping on that helium holy hell. And hey, look, we've encountered Tarikian now too. This is the final member of the Swords of Justice. Yeah, we will come visit him again later because I have a little theory about all these Pokemon boys. I have a feeling they're all random encounters and not actually the Pokemon we see. And if that's the case, then I'm not sure what we should do. Well, I'd like to give a quick shout out to this fellow you're all seeing on the screen right now. They've been a great help to us on our first Nuzlocke, so thank you very much for all the guidance and support. Yeah, thank you, dude, or dudette. But I am also quite upset with this viewer, Obama, because right in the first line of their comment, they said, if you actually make it to Victory Road. Now, I'm taking offense to that because I've made it past eight gyms, so how dare you say that to me? Donald, stop being a little baby. That statement of theirs is completely valid because of the amount of Pokemon you've gone and killed so far. I think instead of releasing them all, we should have kept them in the PC. So if we finish this game, we can count our losses. Oh yeah, having a, a full PC of Pokemon corpses would have been funny as hell, Joe, actually. I could show off my corpse collection to everyone in the Pokemon Center. Donald, I think it's good you released every Pokemon you've gone and killed because Officer Jenny would probably give you a lifetime ban on catching Pokemon if she saw your KD ratio. You're probably right about that, to be honest, Obama. But anyway, look, apparently we need to head to Route 22, boys, and I can't remember where the hell that is. It's back in the seaside cave, Donald. Even I remember where to go. And this is where that Crustle is just taking a snooze and blocking the path. Yeah, well, Colrus gave us his machine earlier, Joe, so with this, we can move Pokemon out the way. And now let's see if my theory is correct. Holy shit, Donald, you were right. So that means that Cobalion and Veritzian and also Terrakian are all random encounters too. So does that mean we have to catch them or what? I don't know, Obama, but like that viewer said in their comment, we could always go back to Roots later if we missed any, but for now we have a pretty solid team, so I don't think we need to swap anything out. I agree, our team is strong actually, Donald, even if we did lose Ho-Oh who I'm actually starting to miss, and so is our viewers too. But hey, do you have another question for them in this episode? Yeah, my question for all our lovely viewers in this episode is, what's your favorite poison type Pokemon? I think there's lots of choices there. Our favorite has to be Crobat, although Gengar is also a poison type too. Gengar is the ghost type we love, though Donald and you already asked that question. Also, I just want to say my brother from another mother Marlin here is such a G. He stormed Team Plasma's ship all by himself and walked out like a boss. Okay, but he didn't do it wearing gold chains and a gold Rolex like Gangster Biden, did he, Obama? If I did that, then you'd say I was a real G too. Gangster Biden is a real moron is all he is, Joe. Please don't make him make an appearance again. Lots of our viewers loved him though, Obama. Maybe I'll dress back up and storm this ship in style with Donald. Give me a sec. Joe, hurry up, I'm going without you, bro. All right, Wagwan, my brothers and sisters, your boy Jizzy Biden is in the house. Oh, dear Lord, this is just embarrassing now, Joe. And why have you named yourself Jizzy? Of all the names, you just had to pick that one, didn't you? Jizzy is like Drizzy Donald. Obviously, I can't go and steal Drake's name, so my rapper name has to be Jizzy. I think you should go look up what that means on the Urban Dictionary, Joe. But to keep this content from getting demonetized, I think we should change the topic and go back to talking about the game. Agreed, Obama, and check it. Hillary 2, just one shot. Yan Mega, this ice ball is just dope as hell. Yeah, Hillary Dillery do number two is just awesome, boys. The perfect Pokemon for a rapper, if I say so myself. Um, hang on, Donald. Look at what this guy's next Pokemon is. How the hell does this work, then? Oh, what the fuck? This random team, Plasma Grunt, has fucking Q-Rem on his team. This Q-Rem is meant to be in the ship's hold, but this guy somehow has it. 
don't worry, Donald. Remember me and my gold chains and Louis Vuitton sunglasses are here to protect you from QREM. Hillary number two won't die here, that's for sure. Why the hell does QREM have dragon breath and not dragon pulse at level 46? This guy is not worthy to train this kind of Pokemon, that's for sure. Well, either way, Obama, he's gone and paralyzed us, which is just great, isn't it? Hey, Joe, I thought your gold apparel would protect us. Well, you're still alive, aren't you, Donald? I never said I'd protect you from status conditions, only death. That literally makes no fucking sense, Joe, but whatever. Can you change back now? Because you're just turning into a distraction, if anything. You know, Donald, you could have just sent out Victini and used Fire Blast to one-shot this guy, but once again, you forgot type matchups, isn't it? Even Huntail would have done more damage than keeping Glolly out. Well, I wanted it to get lots of experience. Obama and killing this legendary dragon will give us a shit ton. Also blame gangster Biden. Hey, it was because of me that you didn't lose any Pokemon there, Donald. But if you really want me to change here, then fine. I'll come back all dripped out whenever we have important battles. Then I guess. We absolutely don't need any more visits from Jizzy Biden, Joe. And if you do want to make an appearance again, then come up with a better name. Okay, well, all our Pokemon won't be protected when I change back. Obama, just bear that in mind. I think I'll be fine, Joe. Actually, I think I'll be better than fine. Now go change whilst I battle Zinzolin again for like the 100th time. All right, normal Biden is back, boys. And we're getting a close-up cam view of QREM down there. And why can't he just blast the entire ship? I mean, he's the strongest Dragon-type Pokemon, isn't he? All right, I want everyone to go back and rewind a few seconds to where you hear QREM cry, and I want you all to tell me what you heard, because I know what I heard. Oh, Lord, I think I know what I heard too, Donald. That cry was Giratina's, wasn't it? Yeah, it sounded like Giratina's cry, Obama, which means that's who we could be battling when we get to that point, which is interesting because we have a Giratina of our own. Okay, before that, though, Donald, we're battling a Cobalion by the looks of it, and a Shield and two, which is an awesome fossil Pokemon. Bastiodon is just a tank. Yeah, but I have Surf Joe, and it'll do damage to both of them as well as be super effective. So this battle will be another cakewalk for yours truly here. Hey, Donald, wouldn't it be better if you healed up, though? We're on 50% health here, and it's making me quite uncomfortable. Yeah, but healing wastes an entire turn here, Obama. And in a double battle, the time takes twice as long to get back to us so we can attack. So I'm not going to bother healing. I don't need to anyway. Donald. Something we absolutely need to work on is your patience, holy hell. And I just want to say you wouldn't need to heal if Jizzy Biden was here because of my aura of protection. Now, nah, Donald, ignore the moron and please heal up at least a bit. Obama, calm your pants down. I'm about to one-shot these two Pokemon now with Surf. And then they only have two Pokemon left, so cool it will you. This battle is easy peasy. All right, well done, Donald. You actually followed through with what you said. But now look, they have an Infernape, and a Meowth of all things. Surf again, Joe, this is just too easy. Oh my fucking God, Hugh decided to go full kamikaze on us, boys. I swear to God, if we died like that, Obama, I'd have overruled that rule about getting killed by a teammate. God, Hugh is actually gonna be the death of us. Imagine if that's how this Nuzlocke were to end, boys. I'm on your side, Donald. If we die to our teammate like that, it shouldn't count. What the fuck? Donald, you overgrown weed. You got Jill taken out twice now. What the hell, man? Joe, don't you dare blame me, my guy. That was entirely Hugh's goddamn fault for going full terrorist on us and taking out half my already half health down even more. Blame him. Donald, I'm gonna blame you. How many times did I tell you to heal and you decided to ignore my advice on that? And now look, we have a dead Huntail who is actually super strong. Watch your tone with me, Obama. Remember who was the one who named you after Giratina? Oh yeah, it was me. Oh yeah, who was the one who told you to use the Master Ball because it used Destiny Bond twice and you were in big trouble? Oh yeah, it was me, you big buffoon. This has to be the most brutal Nuzlocke in history, boys. I think you've won the Guinness World Record for the most Pokemon killed in a Nuzlocke run, Donald. All right, that's absolutely a title I don't want, Joe. Thanks very much. And also, that's not true either. I bet you've killed more Pokemon in a normal run than me, and that's even worse if you think about it. Oh, for God's sake, argue later, you two, because this battle just got way harder, Donald. You now have to deal with a Spirit Tomb and a Darkrai. I'll one-shot Spirit Tomb with Shadow Force Obama. Just calm your pants. And for Darkrai, I honestly don't know what to do because he's super effective against me. And Hugh is being as useless as ever using Corphish, of all things. There's like three legendaries on the field and then a stupid lobster. Yeah, he should have attacked Darkrai with Crab Hammer instead, too. Okay, well that's Spirit Tomb down and now only the pitch black Pokemon left to deal with. 
Obama got any tips for me? Yeah, how about you wash your mouth out with soap, Donald, before I do it for you? Darkrai is known as the pitch black Pokemon, though Obama and all Donald asked for was some advice. LML, Joe, you're so adorable you know that, right? Donald, just get this battle done with, will you please? Most of this episode has been you doing this shit. All right, this one is for you, Oler. Watch now as I fire blast Darkrai and kill it with one shot, too. You better, Donald, because Victini is psychic, which is weak to dark types like Darkrai. Nah, Joe, just watch. Victini is known as the victory Pokemon for a reason, so just you wait and see now. I think this battle is officially the longest one we've done in this series, Donald. But then again, you did battle like a full team of Pokemon, and double battles just take so long. Holy hell. And boom, that's how it's done, boys. I told you Victini would come in clutch like that with Fire Blast. It is indeed the victory Pokemon for sure, and I hope it never dies. Well, that was just sheer luck, though, wasn't it? Donald, let's be honest. And if Darkrai had hit Victini again, then it probably would have killed it. Okay, well, it didn't, though, did it, Joe? I won that battle fair and square with my victory Pokemon, which is just goaded as hell. Yeah, and Hugh is still here bitching about his lost purloin, for goodness sakes. And Zinzolin is bitching to Obama about using Q-Ram's ice power to freeze everything and take over the Unova region. I must give them credit for not giving up, though, after getting beaten by that first 10-year-old kid. That first 10-year-old kid was us the player, though, Joe. But I wonder what happened to that guy after the games finishes. He sort of just goes into the void or something. Hey, Charon was late again for the second time now, guys. He's making this into a bad habit, that's for sure. And he's supposed to be setting an example as a gym leader now, too. Well, he's still a great character, though, isn't he, Obama? I like him so he can get a free pass on his punctuality. And anyway, Donald, go heal our team up and release my wife for the second time now. Yeah, you know, I wish we had more of a chance to use Huntail in this series, but sadly, we won't get that chance. Maybe if you hop back into a plane and head to Hoenn again, I'll use one. This is probably the third Pokemon you've caught, Donald, that didn't even survive like one episode. Let's be honest. You caught Huntail in part eight of this series, and it's already dead 10 minutes into part nine. This one wasn't my fault, though, Obama. You saw what you did, so this conversation ends now, then. And anyway, I'm gonna go see what that Terrakian is. You can see what it is, Donald, but you won't be able to catch it, remember? We already caught Glalie from this route. Yeah, I know, Joe, but what I can do is catch the next member of our team in the giant chasm, remember? I'll find a good replacement for Huntail in there, that's for sure. All right, Terra Keon is apparently a Rodham Donald, which means your theory is 100% correct. I think we should go back later and see what the other two legendary dogs are then. To be honest, I wouldn't use this thing anyway, Obama, unless we could change its form to Wash or Fan Rodham. But then again, I don't know where the appliances are for him to change. This little guy was so good in competitive plays, though, Donald. I'm sure people still use it to this day, too. And Professor Oak even caught one in the anime, remember? Yeah, but he caught it to run experiments. Joe and I need strong Pokemon to help me beat the Elite Four and Champion now, boys, since we'll be heading to Victory Road very shortly. All right, time to pray to Arteus again, Donald, that you find something useful for us in here. I pray to myself, Obama. But hey, look, it's a little shielding. We saw this guy in that Team Plasma ship earlier. And I'm super glad we've encountered this because it'll evolve in one level too. And let me guess, Donald, you've run out of quick balls again, isn't it? Yeah, that may be a possibility, Joe, but who cares? I have a shit ton of Ultra Balls still, and this guy won't be hard to catch anyway. We're gonna have a lot of battles coming up soon, Donald, so make sure the team is all healed up this time and don't go into any more battles with, like, half health again, please. Yeah, that battle with Getsus is one people have always talked about in this game. But remember, he won't have his ridiculous Hydreigon, so I think it'll be another easy battle, boys. Well, as soon as I evolve this beauty, Joe, then we'll have an unstoppable force on our team. Bastiodon is gonna be staying around until this series ends, mark my words. Yeah, but you've said that about one other Pokemon, which then died Donald before I know you have. In fact, I'm pretty sure you said it about Ho-Oh before it got killed in Drayden's gym. Yeah, Donald, you have jinxed yourself quite a few times so far in this playthrough, but regardless, here we go. Storm and Team Plasma for the final time, I think my dudes. Let's show them why they shouldn't bother coming back for a third time. I think out of all the bosses, though, Obama, Getsus is the scariest one. In the anime, he had no remorse at all, or sympathy. I felt Cyrus had a little more than Getsus, even. Yeah, I can agree with that. Take Joe. Getsus just wanted sheer power over everything, and he somehow managed to brainwash everyone into following his orders. 
You know, Donald, I think it would be fun for you to play that ROM hack Pokemon game where we get to be Team Rocket. It would suit you a lot. Oh boy, hell yeah, Obama, that would absolutely suit Donald. In that game, you can go around stealing Pokemon and causing mischief, which is right up your alley, Donald. All right, just for insulting me like that, we'll not be playing that game anytime soon, you too, unless our viewers would really like me to play it, because then I'll add it to the list we have. They're obviously gonna want us to play it, Donald. But the next game we're gonna be playing, everyone, is a normal run through of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, which we mentioned a while ago. Yeah, I'm playing it too, and we'll one-shot that Ultra Necrozma, so just you wait, all you people who said it's super difficult. Hang on, Obama, before that we have to battle this peasant again. I think this is the last time we have to battle him as well, thank God. And even with his team changing every time, he hasn't exactly been a challenge, isn't it? Well, he's leading off with an Excadrill first Donald, which is a solid Pokemon right off the bat. Let's be honest, I love this guy, although I really dislike its shiny form. I think shiny Excadrill is mid two, Obama. They could have made it go all black, to be honest, like a real mole, or they could have styled it to look like a honey badger, which would have been hilarious. OMG, I'm surprised they haven't come up with a honey badger Pokemon yet, boys. That one would have godlike defense since real honey badges just don't give a shit, as the saying goes. I think Excadrill is meant to be a Wolverine or something, though, Donald with its metal claws like that. And we're talking about the real Wolverine animal, not the Marvel character, but they probably got inspiration from him, too. Well, it has metal claws, too, Obama, so it's obviously based off the Marvel character. Enough about Marvel, you two. We have more important things to focus on right now, like how this Swana is being a tank of itself. Yeah, maybe one of our Pokemon will be able to learn Thunderbolt now or something. Donald, before the battle with Getsis, please make sure you have something that will be super effective against water. Giratina is automatically super effective against everything Obama, so no need to worry. Oh dear, I'm starting to sound like Dawn from the anime when I say that. Yeah, and those have always been famous last words too, Donald. But hey, Zinzolin only has one Pokemon left, and look who he has Obama. It's Donald. Oh yeah, hey Donald, you're a cameo in this episode as a whale lord. How nice of the developers to include you like this. Say what you want, you two, but Whale Lord is actually a really good Pokemon, and it also holds the title as the largest Pokemon in the world, and bigger is always better, as I say. Well, it definitely has a lot of health points, that's for sure, Donald. Imagine what a Gigantamax Whale Lord would look like, though, guys. I wish they'd show us one in the anime. Yeah, well, spamming Ice Beam isn't exactly the tactic I'd have gone for Donald. You could have just kept using Dragon Claw or something, you know? Who cares, Obama? This guy has one redeeming quality, which is he never used hyper potions like a little bitch, which just wastes time when death is inevitable anyway. Well, I think you got really lucky in this battle, Donald, because he'd have killed Glalie if he kept using Surf or something. Either way, that Zinzolin dealt with forever, boys, which means we can now free QRAM, isn't it, Donald? No, Joe, we have a crap ton of other stuff to do first. But hey, I'm glad Hillary 2 here is performing up to par. She actually being really useful for once, better than Hillary 1, that's for sure. I think you should introduce Hillary to Glally if it survives to the end of this play through Donald. I'm sure she'd love to see the Pokemon which you named after her and which also survived your murder rampage. Okay, that cool rem is definitely Giratina, boys. We gotta hear its cry even more there, so Donald looks like we will get a free catch since we already have a Giratina. But I wonder if it'll have the Grisha's orb on it. It won't have the orb on it, Joe, because the items are random too, and it wouldn't make sense for Q Rem to have the grissiest orb anyway. Oh, hello, look who it is, Donald. Looks like we now have to sit through another battle with this guy too, for the last time as well, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, all Calrus has done in this game is talk, and it's so annoying. In the anime, he was even more pathetic, let's be honest. He had this machine uh, which tried to control Pikachu and Reshiram, but he failed like the little loser noob he is. Hang on, don't we get to battle him one more time after Donald? I read somewhere that he actually can give you another master ball if you beat him. Okay, well that's true actually, Joe, but stop getting ahead, please. We won't be doing that anyway since there's no point, is there? All right, you two, time to concentrate. Calrus, or Forest, as his name apparently is, now has a team of five Pokemon. This could be the run killer battle, Donald, so don't let the old fossil distract you. This old fossil hasn't distracted anyone, Obama. All of Donald's deaths have been his fault. And look, the first Pokemon is Shellos of all things. Not exactly a difficult battle, is it? Yeah, I'm speeding this battle up anyway, Obama, because we'll be here forever otherwise. I remember his team from the, the normal games, though. He always had that Magneton, which kept paralyzing us, and then it would use Magnet Rise as well. 
Okay, well, Donald, you didn't bother healing or restoring any of Giratina's power points, did you, you dumbass? So now it's practically useless for this entire battle now. Well, this Shellos keeps using Recover Obama like a little cheap skate. I would have killed it by now if it wasn't for that BS move, so don't call me a dumbass. Well, sorry, Donald, but you are in fact a dumbass. How can you forget to not restore Giratina's power points? That's something I'd expect of Joe since he has a medical condition. But I guess you have a medical condition too called dumbass syndrome. Okay, well look who I've sent out now, Obama, just for you. Donald, you lying little gimp. You said you named Miltank after Whitney like we all discussed. So why have you gone and named it after my wife again? Because Obama, I realized who the real cow is and it's not Whitney. Okay, well you have to change that back, Donald. That's very insulting to me and Michelle. How about you name it Melania, since Miltank is a more fitting Pokemon for her? How about I change its name to Michael Obama? That would be the best name for it, actually, LMFAO. He's just gonna keep doing this with every ugly Pokemon he finds Obama, so there's no point arguing with him anymore. At least you got named after a Giratina, whilst the only Pokemon he's named me after are trash ones. I'm just waiting to find a Trubbish or something Joe to name you after, because that's what you deserve. And then if I find a Garbodor, I'll name that Jill 3. How the hell did you manage to one-shot that Empoleon with Fire Blast Donald like that? I know it's part steel, but it's also water too. Because I'm such a goaded trainer, Obama, and that's the only reason there is for that. Donald, even with my bad eyesight, I saw you got a lucky critical hit in there, so that's why it only took one shot, Obama. Your level of skill is all based off RNG, Donald, and you know it, and Amoeba has more skill than you. Hey, steady on there, Joe. That's an insult to Amoebas. What happened to concentrating and not getting distracted, Obama? Half our team is in the yellow because of this guy, and his team isn't even that strong, so I'm blaming this all on you. Okay, well, I think after this battle, we should end the episode here, boys, because I'd like to end the episode on another non-depressing note. All right, good call there, Joe. So anyway, as Donald wraps this battle up, we'd like to thank you all for watching, and please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and you should all be proud, too, since I went through an entire episode and only one Pokemon got killed. That is absolutely not an achievement worth celebrating. Donald, you donkey. Yeah, I'm going to the Church of Arceus to pray to him to give you some actual skill, Donald. All right, ladies and gentle beans, welcome to part 10 of our Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. You know the drill, so hit that like and subscribe button, and remember, we're voices created with AI, so do not taking anything in this video seriously, especially any Pokemon I may get killed. I think they're allowed to take that seriously, Donald, since you've become a pro at that now. But anyway, looks like we're jumping right in with battling Q, Rem, and Getsus, Donald. But from the last episode, we deduced that this is, in fact, Giratina. All right, I think we can get Getsus sent to prison for life, boys, since he's literally getting Q Rem to murder us right here and now with Glacier. Does this guy know that we're presidents or what? Well, this part of the game is cutscene Central Joe, so we're not really gonna be playing that much in the first few minutes here. Yeah, and then N comes along here, boys, and saves us with Zekrom and Fusion Bolt. But whilst all this is going on, how about you ask the question for today's video, Donald? Well, since this episode is all about Q-Rem and Zekrom, and I guess Reshiram too, please leave a comment down below letting us know which Unova legendary dragon is your favorite out of Zekrom, Reshiram, and Q-Rem. We like Q-Rem the most since it can change forms. And as a bonus question, let us know if you prefer black or white Q-Rem more. We all know which version Obama is gonna like the most, Donald. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Joe. We don't need comments like that from you of all people. But to be fair, the black Q-Rem is just better and scarier looking than the white one. So I'm gonna say black Q-Rem is better. Oh, hang on, why is this ball thing floating about now, Obama? And why is it white? I thought Zekrom is meant to come from the dark stone. Well, Getsus has stolen the DNA splicers, remember Joe. And now Q-Rem is gonna absorb Zekrom into himself, so he changes form. But what doesn't make sense is in the anime. Q-Rem just changes form without having to absorb anything. So I don't get what this song and dance is about. This is exactly like you said it is, Donald. It's all a show for the games, but in the lore, Q-Rem doesn't need to go through all this shit. I mean, imagine having to go through this 10-minute whole ordeal just to change your form. Wow, and now Q-Rem is here shooting purple beams out of its wings. I mean, you gotta admit, Obama, this has got to be one of the best cutscenes in the games. The animations are pretty damn solid, too.
This scene always made me a little upset though, Joe, because it's like Zekrom is getting murdered and tortured by Q-Rem and then he just absorbs all his powers. I think this entire part is just creepy, if anything, Donald. Someone at Game Freak had a field day with this, though, I bet. To be honest, Obama, I have no idea what's even going on anymore. All I'm seeing is Q-Rem is now about to eat Zekrom or something. This all just doesn't make any sense. Well, it took about two minutes for Zekrom to turn back into the Dark Stone, which I thought he could do at will, but I guess he was forced to turn, and now he's about to get absorbed, Joe, so stop the complaining and just watch. My question is, if Q-Rem can absorb one of them, then what's stopping him from absorbing both of them at the same time? Because then, I'm sure we'll get to see the original dragon-type Pokemon, whatever it may be. I bet we'll find out in 2024, Donald. They'll do what they did with Diamond and Pearl and release the remakes of Gen 5 and then release Legends Q-Rem on the side like they did with Legends Arceus. I bet that's what they'll do. Hey, look, boys, it absorbed Zekrom. And now Q-Rem has turned into a mostly black Pokemon. Holy hell. Yeah, Joe, can you stop turning this into a thing seriously, dude? I know what you're doing. Obama, I have literally no idea what you're on about, bro. I'm just here chilling watching black Q-Rem. Uh-huh, right, well, just stop. And anyway, here we go. He's finally absorbed Zekrom after 10 years, so get ready for a battle with Giratina now, Donald. And by the way, I know for a fact, and I think everyone would agree with me on this too, that Giratina would one-tap Q-Rem, let's be honest. Yeah, Giratina would definitely one-tap him, Obama. I mean, if you just look at the size differences between them, you can see how small Q-Rem is compared to Giratina. Hey, I do like Q-Rem's shiny form, though. Boys, if you've seen it, its black form goes green, but its normal form has a tint of purple on him. I can't remember what his white one looks like, though. Yeah, shiny black Q-Rem is one of my favorites, actually, Joe. The normal form is pretty cool, too. I like the purple tint to it. All righty, here we go, boys. We're going Giratina versus Giratina here. And obviously my one is gonna one tap this guy. And since this Pokemon is the same as ours, does that mean we get a free catch if one of our Pokemon dies? Well, I don't think we should even be having that conversation at this point in the game, Donald, because I'd prefer to get through the next few episodes, however long we have left of them, without a single Pokemon dying. Yeah, I second Joe's point, Donald, and Someone in the last video called you out too and said you were totally useless at Pokemon battles, LMFAO. I thought that was harsh, but also true. Well, whoever said that will eat their words when they see me take on the Elite Four boys. Just you wait and see. Okay, well, that battle with Giratina was the most pointless thing ever, Donald. It had a black sludge on it for some reason, which caused it to damage itself. And then you literally did one tap it. And where the hell did Q-Rem go to? Zekrom is just randomly back chilling over there, but Q-Rem's just run off somewhere. I thought he was meant to be the tough guy too. All right, well, it appears that Q-Rem is just a pussy, everyone, and you saw it here first. Hang on, hang on now, boys. Apparently, we're battling Rachel instead of Getsis. Maybe he got some work done or something. Yeah, Donald, what do you, you both can't think? be saying things like that. You and Joe have both been way too savage today, you know? Obama, all I asked was if he got some work done or something, but you went and made it into a thing. Yeah, you did the same with me too, Barry. All I was talking about was Black Q-Rem. That's Game Freak who named it that, not me. You both keep making excuses for your borderline R word remarks, and Donald, you're just being a moron as usual. Well, hey, look, we're battling Rachel now, boys, and that's what I'll be referring to Getsis as of now, and is her first Pokemon is Gardevoir. It's a male Gardevoir too. Donald, so out of curiosity, how does that make you feel? Yeah, I don't think Donald needs to answer that, Joe. And well, I think he does need to answer that question, Obama, because his answer is going to be fucking hilarious. Well, if you want the channel to still be up when this video is out, Joe, then I think Donald should focus on this battle because he has to deal with the Suicune now. You two wouldn't even let me get my opinion in on that male Gardevoir. But I'm not surprised Rachel has one when she still looks like Getsis. Hey, Obama, it looks like Donald still hasn't got any moves to deal with water types, and we're almost at the Elite Four, too. Yeah, and Suicune has ice-type moves, and you think keeping Giratina out is going to be a good idea, Donald? You know that getting a Pokémon killed, which you've named after me, will get you cursed. Oh, the Barry curse. Yeah, I forgot Obama. What will it do to me again? Will it turn me into a black... No, Donald, it'll turn you into Joe Biden. I don't see an issue with that curse, Obama. And why did you cut Donald off, too? I think you're being very disrespectful today. Well, I think Donald should get this Suicune killed already, Joe, but he still hasn't done that yet. Yeah, well, I'm working with what I've got here. Obama and Rachel is probably gonna pop a full restore now, too. Oh, wait, she fucking did, for God's sake. 
Donald, I think you should just switch Giratina out, to be honest, because spamming Earth power and Aura Sphere isn't getting us anywhere, is it? I refuse to do that, Joe. I can't be bested by a water dog when I have the literal devil out. Imagine what everyone will think of me if I get Giratina killed to a sweet coon. It's not like they could think any worse of you at this point, Donald. We've been asked to make a montage of every Pokemon you've gone and killed in this series, and I think that'll be the best video we ever make. You will absolutely not be making that video, Obama holy hell. I don't need you and Joe publicly advertising my shit Pokemon trainer skills by putting every Pokemon death into one clip. That would be so mean. And I'll consider that a form of bullying too. What goes around comes around Donald. And finally, you beat Suicune. Now, will you please swap Giratina out because we haven't got enough PP to deal with the dust clops. Joe, why did you put so much emphasis on saying PP? Because you have, in fact, lost all Giratina's PP's Donald. And now I suggest you send out Glolly since it has crunch. What I want to know is why wouldn't Getsis evolve it's this Rachel into a Joe. Dusk Gnor instead of keeping it as a Dusk Clops? That doesn't make sense. Probably because Getsis. Oh, sorry, I mean Rachel Donald. Rachel here doesn't have any friends to trade his Dusk Clops with to evolve it into a Dusk Noir. Well, that's a completely understandable reason and valid point, Obama. Who would want to be friends with this person anyway? They can't even make their mind up on what gen. Yes, all right, Donald, remember the channel. Look, Donald, we've been burnt now because of Will-O-Wisp, and you haven't done any damage to Dusclops. Well, it looks like it'll take a few more crunches before this thing dies, Joe. But you should be glad that none of our team has bit the dust yet. Isn't that a really good achievement from yours truly? Once again, Donald, that isn't something we should particularly be celebrating. But if you can somehow make it through the entire Elite Four without losing a single Pokemon, then I'll catch an Arceus for you in Ultra Sun. As much as I would love that Obama, that would be broken as hell, and also I still promised Joe a Vanillux. Remember, so why don't you get him one of those instead? Wow, Donald. I had actually forgotten all about that, actually. Good to know you're good at keeping promises as you choose. Yeah, well, you better watch your tone, Joe, because I'm just as good at breaking promises as I am at making them. So don't get on my bad side. I think you should be my butler, actually. You can be Butler Biden. That's the nice way of calling me bitch Biden, though, isn't it, Donald? Let's be honest. And why the hell would I want to be your butler? Because, Joe, if you don't do as I say, you won't get your shiny Vanilux. The joke's on you, Donald, because Obama is playing next and he can overrule you. To be fair, I can do that, Donald, and also probably will as well. Also, having a Vanilux in Alola just makes sense anyway, since it's so goddamn hot there. All right, well, since you're playing dirty now, Obama, I'll also do the same here and send out Michelle number two to deal with this whooper. I don't care anymore, Donald, because I just remembered Miltank can learn Thunder and Rain Dance before the Elite Four battles. You need to teach both those moves to it. Wow, it just got a crit on that whooper too. Who knows, Obama, your wife might end up being the real MVP of this game in the end. Hey, look, Donald, he's sending out a Genesec next, which is actually the perfect Pokemon for this guy since Team Plasma were doing experiments on this Pokemon. Yeah, they were Joe. And it's pretty messed up if you think about it. They attached that cannon on its back. So the proper Genesec would have looked a lot different without that on. Shiny Genesec is one of my favorite Pokemon, though, boys, because it's red. And we all know why red is best, don't we? Red is the color of the moron Donald. And it took you this long as well to realize that you could have sent out Victini to deal with this thing since it's bug. Well, one of our lovely viewers who loves Ash Greninja, you know who you are, viewer, made a prediction and said that basically I'll get every member of our team to die in the Elite Four, and all that'll be left is Victini Joe. Okay, well, if that prediction comes through, I'll make that viewer a permanent moderator of the channel, Donald. And talking about the channel, we recently hit 6,000 subscribers, so thank you all so much for the love and support on our videos. Yeah, that's right, Obama. 6K is so huge, and we're getting ever closer to our goal of 10K subs, so please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy our content. Yeah, thanks everyone. And also, well done for beating Getsis Donald. Although, how comes there aren't any police here to arrest the guy, or is he allowed to just escape? The law situation in Pokemon regions is something I think we as presidents should work on setting up properly, Joe. Okay, well, Anne is being a freak again, boys, telling us what Zekrom is saying, apparently. I mean, you must have had a messed up childhood with zero contact with humans, if you can understand Pokemon speech, isn't it? Well, he did, in fact, have a very messed up childhood, Donald. And his father, 
who I'm guessing is Getzis, since they both have green hair, was a really messed up dad. I think Ann would have had a better life if Getzis went out for milk, but never came back. Right well, Donald, you've now beaten Team Plasma for the second time in a row, and we never have to deal with them again, thank God. Which means the only thing left to do here is head for Victory Road and the Elite Four Boys. Before we get to go through the gates, though, Obama the freak has ambushed me again and wants to give us another sappy story, so we feel sorry for him. Well, that's not going to work on me, thank you very much. You know, there is a slight split here, because in the anime, N didn't like Pokemon battles, but in this game, he goes on a rampage with his Zekrom or Reshiram and wants to battle us as well to see what kind of trainer we are. Well, thank God we won't be seeing him again for a while, because that guy would just not stop talking holy hell. But hey, this has to be one of the best badge gate checks in the series. I think this is just silly, Joe. I mean, what's stopping someone from just using fly and flying over all this or just walking along the edge? There's not even anyone to stop you from doing that. Here is there. Donald, stop nitpicking over trivial things like this. You should be mentally preparing yourself to battle the elite four, you know. Yeah, Obama's right, Donald. Their Pokemon is going to be in the level 60s, which is they're going to be the same as us probably, and I expect Iris to be close to level 70. They can be level 3 billion for all I care, Joe. I will still win and put all the haters in their place who've all been saying I'm the most useless trainer and whatever other horrible things people have said to me. I will prove you all wrong. Okay, well, level three billion is not possible, Donald, even with your Russian buddies you have. But we have some tough battles with these veterans now, by the way. And also one last rival battle, too. All righty, let's see what this person has. And for the sake of time, I took the shortcut through Victory Road because I didn't want to chance it and possibly get another Pokemon killed. And since we've been uploading daily, it just makes things quicker for us. So we hope you all understand. Wow, Donald, your Giratina, which is basically a god, was struggling to kill a puny little Nidorina. That makes me feel very hopeful for the Elite Four battles. Yeah, not going to lie, Donald, that doesn't exactly make me feel any better either. You know, how can Giratina take that long to kill a Nidorina like that? Well, it's not exactly my fault, is it, Obama? I don't have any moves useful for ground, really, do I? Actually, I know you taught surf to my wife, Donald. I mean, Miltank, so you could have used that instead, you know. Well, now, look who's nitpicking Obama. But I did take your advice and teach Thunder and Rain Dance to Michelle number two, which was actually a big brain move, so I will thank you for that. Wow, and War Turtle somehow survived that hit from Thunder. What the hell? Yeah, Donald, this strat of yours could prove to be very risky because water-type moves are boosted in the rain, if I'm right in saying, and some Pokemon with Swift Swim would get a boost in speed, too. That's a risk I will unfortunately have to gamble with Joe because Thunder is our best chance at dealing with water types, and with Rain Dance Up, it has a 100% accuracy boost. So in my view, I think that's worth it. Okay, well, Jizzy Joe Biden will always be ready and waiting when you need to boost yourself, Donald. I keep my gold chains and Rolex and Dior sunglasses under my normal clothes like Superman. Trust me, Joe, I doubt I'll need a visit from that tool again. But I do have a question for you both. Since this is probably going to be the team we take into the Elite Four, what are both your opinions on it? Well, Donald, this team is basically being held together by the Band-Aid, which is Giratina and Victini. And that Band-Aid could still come off, so just because you have two legendaries doesn't mean you can get complacent. Yeah, and it could come off right now. Donald in this battle with Hugh here because knowing him, he's going to go full terrorist on us with his Electrode again. Well, his first Pokemon is in fact you, Joe, so this one should be easy as pie to deal with. And I'm not worried about his Electrode using self-destruct either since I have Earth Power and its defenses are trash. He just used Block on us, Donald, so we can't escape anymore. I don't think either for this turn or for the whole battle. I guess that move might work the same as Mean Look. It's fine, Obama. A few Aura Spheres should do the job here anyway since fighting is super effective against normal and Joe here is just useless. Donald, that Snorlax could end up killing Band-Aid number one very soon with those crunches, since our special defense has dropped a lot now too, you fool. Joe, I can also pop full restores like a bunch of acid tabs too, you know, just like how Hugh here is popping max potions. But you're right, actually, another one of those crunches would have probably killed Giratina. Oh, hey, check it, boys. He got himself an Ampharos. What a great Pokemon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Ampharos is one of those universally loved Pokemon Obama. I haven't met anyone who doesn't like it, and if in fact you dislike Ampharos, then we are no longer friends. Okay, Mr. I will just self-destruct is on the field now, Donald, so please don't get the whole team killed here. Oh, great. He just used Levitate or whatever that move is to avoid ground-type attacks, boys. Just wonderful, isn't it? Well, I mean, it is a pretty smart move, Donald, if you think about it. 
I would have done the same. And you gotta make do with what you've got when you have a piece of shit Pokemon like Electrode out. Okay, Obama, well, his last Pokemon is an awesome one. Let's be honest. God knows when he caught this thing, though, but sadly, it's about to die to thunder from your wife. How comes all the water types in this game are apparently just immune to thunder? What the actual hell? First that war turtle, and now this fellow. Wow, so that took three thunders to actually take Blastoise out, boys. Donald, you better have some plan in place for real now. The Elite Four is going to be spamming full restores like nothing, I bet. Have some faith, Joe. I beat everything so far, so how hard will the Elite Four actually be? Let's be honest. And anyway, I already beat them all once before, remember, so big deal. Okay, well, we finally made it, everyone, to the ultimate challenge of this series. In the next few episodes, we'll see if Donald will actually be able to finish this Nuzlocke randomizer or if he'll just flop. I'm not a Magikarp Obama, I don't flop, but I think this here is a good point to end this episode anyway, boys. So thank you for watching, everyone, and remember to like the video and subscribe so you know when the next episodes will be out. Yeah, none of you is going to want to miss Donald trying to battle this Elite Four, and hopefully the champion too, so stay tuned for part 11, everyone. Donald, remember, as soon as you go through there, you won't be able to buy any more items, so I hope you've stocked up on everything you need. Don't worry, Obama. We have your wife who can supply us with an unlimited amount of Miltank milk, LMFAO. You didn't need to go that hard in on Obama like that, Donald. That was way too savage. Hey, but it's a fact, Joe, and you know it too, but you won't admit it, so I said it for the both of us. Okay, okay, ladies and gentle birds, here we are at the Elite Four, and God knows if Donald will make it through here alive. So please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to help support our work. And remember, we're voices created with AI. Yes, and the first member I shall be battling is Caitlin Boys because of them all. She's the hottest one. You mean to say she reminds you of a certain someone that rhymes with Bormy Panyals, right? Donald LMFAO. But anyway, please don't go and get any Pokemon killed, please. Well, while she deflowers herself or whatever it is she does in this random rose thing, I just want to say I hope all our viewers and you two are proud of me for making it this far. Donald, the funny thing is that none of us knows how you've managed to make it this far to begin with anyway. Ha! Look at who I'm battling, Obama. Oh, what the fuck, man? You just happened to be battling Rich Boy Joe of all people like holy hell. Why did the game have to choose that name again? Sharon had that name way back at the first gym, and now Stormy here is also called Joe. You're making it a lot worse for yourself by calling Caitlyn Stormy Joe. But anyway, since this is a serious battle, I'll stop with the jokes for now anyway. And her first Pokemon is a Rufflet. All right, Donald, we received lots of comments in the last episode as to why my wife is just useless as a special attacker. And it's because Miltank has a base stat of 40, which is just abysmal. Yeah, that's pretty shocking, to be honest. And we thought uh, our Miltank would be like Whitney's, but she's just a little cheating bitch anyway. Well, this whole Thunder deal just makes sense then, boys. Thunder is like the most powerful electric type move, but Michelle here manages to get it nerfed somehow. Yeah, with any other Pokemon, that Thunder would have killed Rufflet, but no, because Miltank is just a fat cow. We're now gonna have to waste a turn whilst Caitlyn uses a full restore. All right, Donald, this is super embarrassing. You've named Michelle after a piece of trash Pokemon. I'm now more pissed off that you named my wife after a Pokemon that makes Thunder hit like a goddamn tackle attack than it being a Miltank. Yeah, I can't deny that, Obama. I feel like every Electric-type Pokemon is looking at us in sheer disbelief at how we've butchered their best move. Oh, great. Now Rufflet has decided to use Whirlwind and throw Michelle out like the piece of garbage she's proving to be. You should have switched straight into Glolly from the get-go, though, Donald, since Ice is super effective to Rufflet. Yeah, but I thought it would have been way more fun to set up a rain dance and then use Thunder Obama. At least in my mind, that was a good idea, but today we've realized how trash Miltank is. Wow, and her second Pokemon is an Ipom, which is just trash too, Donald. This first battle with Caitlyn isn't exactly proving to be difficult. Is it, boys? We've had gym battles way more difficult than this. Joe, don't open your mouth and jinx me anymore, thank you. Her next Pokemon could end up being some sort of toxic legendary Pokemon or something. And as far as I'm concerned now, we only have a team of five Pokemon. Why don't you ask the viewers the question for this video, then Donald? Last time we asked them which Q Rem type is their favorite, and obviously black is best. <laughs> Joe, you're such a child, but all right, Obama, the question for this video is what steel type Pokemon is your favorite and why? 
We have lots of contenders for this one, such as Skarmory or Steelix or even Agron. Agron is go to Donald. I love that guy from Gen 3, but we also have Duraludon from the Galar region, which is a dragon and steel type too. Raihan had one of those Obama and it was his ace. I don't like it though, since it just looks strange. Well, it probably thinks the same about you too, Joe. I mean, I think that every time I look at you and we've been together for ages now. Donald, you could have probably killed this with Dragon Claw, so why are you wasting more time using Shadow Force like this? You're wasting PP every time you do that, you know. Trust me, Obama, my PP is never wasted on anything. Except Stormy. Yeah, what was that, Joe? Okay, Donald, time to concentrate because we're on to Caitlyn's last Pokemon. Good job on getting through the first member of the Elite Four without anyone dying yet. Hold your horses, Obama, because Donald's being dangerous again and sending out Michelle to deal with a drill burr. I know what he's thinking, but Miltank is just so bad it wouldn't surprise me if ground-type moves suddenly became super effective to it. Well, I thought I'd give this stupid cow another go and see if it can redeem itself, Joe, but apparently not. It's just as shit as it was five minutes ago. You know, I would have thought naming Hillary after Miltank would have suited your style more, Donald. I think you should change its name if it survives this run. <laughs> Good idea, Obama. Why didn't I think of that earlier? I can't wait to do that, actually. And then I'll personally invite Hillary on the show, which will surprise her, first of all, because she knows I can't stand her. Okay, Donald, well done. That's one down and three left to go. Who are you going to go take on next? Well, Joe, I think I'll take on my favorite member of this Elite Four, which is Marshall here. But I wonder what ridiculous name he's going to have. If it's Joe again, I will actually scream. Marshall definitely has the best entrance out of all the Elite Four members, that's for sure. He has some superhero landing entrance and just drops in like an absolute bomb. Does he drop in like one of your Reaper drones? Joe, shut the hell up. Yeah, Joe has become quite the savage the last two episodes, hasn't he, Obama? I have no idea where this is all coming from. It's because I'm dropping my mixtape in 2024, boys. Jizzy Joe Biden is breaking into the hip hop scene. And my first rap will be about you two. I'm living the thug life now. Joe, your idea of living the thug life, as you put it, is switching from vanilla ice cream to strawberry. Hey, on that point, Obama. One thing they should have done is made different flavors of Vanilux. They should have made a chocolate one and a strawberry one instead of boring old vanilla. They made multiple all creamy versions, so they could have done the same with Vanilux too. They probably did, Joe, until you came along and ate the drawings because you thought it was real ice cream, you buffoon. Donald, I think the real buffoon is you right now since you're struggling to kill a silly little bronzer with Victini. I thought this was meant to be the victory Pokemon. It's the loser Pokemon Obama. I just want to say that I would have beaten this floating blue coin if Marshall hadn't been a little shit and used a full restore. I think the Elite Four get way too trigger happy when it comes to healing items. Or you could have taught better moves, Donald. I'm surprised you haven't taught Flamethrower to Victini, actually. Joe, I have Fire Blast on Victini, you monumental pleb. You can't get better than that. Donald, look at Marshall's next Pokemon. It's a Pineco, and this thing might have self-destruct too, so be careful. Oh yeah, I remember this from the anime, and I think even Brock caught one at one point too. I never liked it though. And of course this thing would just have to have sturdy two boys. But this reminded me of something Donald. I know how you can beat Ultra Necrozma and Ultra Sun with a level one Rattata. Joe, that isn't possible, you fool. You're just trying to pull my leg now. No, I promise, just listen. All you do is get a level one Rattata and make it hold a Focus Sash and then make it learn Endeavor and Quick Attack. Then boom, one hit KO on Ultra Necrozma. Donald, that would actually work, you know. Joe's right. I'm still calling bullshit Obama. There is no way that's possible. I mean, I'm struggling here with Victini to kill Pokemon, which I should be super effective against. And then Joe comes along with this Ponzi scheme of a battle strategy, saying he can one-shot a literal god. OK, well, I am, in fact, playing Ultra Sun next Donald, as you all know. So we will try out Joe's plan and see if it's possible. Obama, you and Joe can take your little Ponzi scheme and shove it where the sun doesn't shine because I have actual important battles going on right now, like against this Metagross. This Metagross is the only Pokemon that's worthy of being in this Pokemon League so far, boys. And yet it was easier to take out than Bronzer and Pinaco Joe, so what does that tell you? That tells us that Donald is the most useless Pokemon trainer in existence, Obama. I think he's been devolving backwards instead of forwards all these years, too. If he makes it to 80, he'll be a Neanderthal. 
Yeah, well, if you make it to 80, Joe, you'll evolve into one of those Umpa Lumpa people from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Hey, those guys could dance and carry a good tune, Donald, so I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, boys, back to concentrating. Since Donald is about to take on the Dark-type Elite Four member Grimsley, let's see if this guy will have any Pokemon worthy for the Elite Four. This guy will probably have useless Pokemon too, Obama. I expected to see some legendaries in here, but the best we get is a Metagross. Okay, wow, his first Pokemon is a Blitzel Donald, which would be good if it was evolved. But we did use one of these in our Pokemon White playthrough back in the day. And the Neanderthal is using his brain a little now, I see, and switching to Geratina since we have Earth power on him. Joe, will you stop calling me a fucking Neanderthal? How am I one of those? There's a reason they went extinct and Homo sapiens took over. Because it's funny watching you get mad, Donald, and you act like a Neanderthal too half the time anyway. A Neanderthal would have probably got the same amount of Pokemon killed in this playthrough just like you have. Well, if you ask me, Joe, I think that's personally an insult to all Neanderthals. Those poor fellows don't need to have any relation to Donald, of all people, LMFAO. Both of you shut the hell up because look who we have on the battlefield now, a goddamn Articuno. You just had to open your big mouth, didn't you, Donald? You said there was no legendaries. And now look, we have this thing which is super effective against Giratina too, you know. Calm your pants, Joe. Our team has the perfect Pokemon to deal with this Bluebird. We have Michelle and I will finally be able to use my Rain Dance and Thunderstrat to take a Pokemon out. Yeah, Donald, I think Victini would be the better option here. Miltank is just a fat, useless piece of pink meat, and all it's good for is being on my dinner plate with some salad on the side and maybe a sticky toffee pudding for dessert. I get mine cooked medium well, Obama. How about you? I get mine as close to raw as possible, Joe, whatever that is. Probably medium. I can't believe you two are discussing how you'd like Michelle cooked, boys. But of course, you'd want her raw Obama. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Donald, I can't believe your goddamn ego is getting in the way of this battle. Donald, you're just the most useless thing to exist. You got Miltank killed, you fucking dumbass. There is no way that just happened, holy hell. Donald, I told you to use Victini first, you pumpkin. Why do you never listen? Hang on, you two are just going on about what temperature you want Miltank cooked, and now I'm getting lectured on being a shit trainer. How does that work? Because to be fair, Obama did tell you to use Victini first, Donald, but you just had to use your nonsense strat, didn't you? Okay, but how about you both look at it from this angle? Miltank died to an ice beam, which means it's probably frozen, which means it won't go off. So you can store it somewhere and eat Miltank whenever you want. Donald, you're more demented than a dementor. And by the way, you're an idiot as well, because fire moves have been weakened now, thanks to the rain dance, which you set up. Donald is either just useless or he's trying to sabotage this run Obama. And we only have two trainers left to battle before we win this entire Nuzlocke too. Yeah, Donald, even though we were shitting on Miltank, we didn't want it dead. We're now going into the champion battle if you make it that far with five Pokemon. Obama, you said that we basically have a team of five Pokemon anyway, so how's the situation my fault? This is all your fault? This is absolutely not my fault, Donald. You're the bumbling buffoon who's just trash at Pokemon battles and won't take your peers' advice because you have an ego the size of the galaxy, and now look. Yeah, and that rain dance move was ridiculous too, Donald. And it makes you look even worse if you set that up and then started using fire moves, forgetting that they're weakened now. I don't think the words idiot, moron, or pleb ever had someone better than you to represent them. All right, I'll take the first two, Joe, but I'm absolutely not a pleb. You're the pleb. And 10 minutes later, you're still battling this goddamn Articuno Donald. You're just unbelievably bad that new words should be invented to describe this level of trash. Okay, well I just beat it, Obama, and you both gotta admit that you're proud I've somehow made it this far, isn't it? I bet you're proud. I'm proud of myself, Donald, that I haven't found a cliff yet and walked straight off it with how you've been playing. And I'm proud I haven't ripped out my last remaining hair strands, Donald. This series ending will be better for my mental health, that's for sure. Okay, well, you two didn't need to make me feel this bad about myself, and look, Grimsley's on his last Pokemon now, too. So at least that's one good thing, isn't it? You're just so lucky his last two Pokemon just so happened to be weak to fire Donald. He could have had some crazy shit, but instead the game felt bad for you and gave you a Cottony and Deerling to battle. Yeah, this is just sad now, Donald. Even the game is feeling bad for you and giving you easy battles. The game is not feeling bad for me, Joe. It's feeling bad about itself for making me fight that hacked Articuno and killed Miltank in the process.
All right, Jesus Donald, we only have one member left now, so please can you try make it through Chantal's battle without another member being sent to Mistralton Tower? Trust me, Obama, this spooky ghost lady ain't gonna be taking out any of our team now. We got rid of that trash cow, and at the end of this series, us three can sit down together and have Ceylon and his two brothers prepare us a lovely Miltank steak. Hey look, she has her own Pixar lamp. Joe, that's not a Pixar lamp. If anything, it reminds me of that lamp that witch has at the end of Spirited Away. That's one goaded movie, Obama, and if anyone thinks otherwise, I will perma-ban you from existing. All righty, Donald, here we go battling Esteban, apparently. So let's make this a clean, quick battle with no deaths, all right, bro? Look at her, she's already crying, Joe, because she knows I will win and she'll lose. No need to worry, boys, I got this. Okay, well, her first Pokemon is a Krokorok Donald, and having Miltank here would have been useful since Surf would have one shot this thing, probably. This is Miltank, you're talking about Obama. It would have done absolutely nothing to it. Okay, but it seems Pidgeot here is on some roids or something, boys, because how did you manage to one-shot this Krokorok Donald? Because, Joe, I'm just the best and amazing and more goaded than LeBron James. Oh, dear Lord, look what her next Pokemon is, Donald. Oh, what the fuck? Come on, man, this game is trolling now. All right, Donald, at least you don't have any stupid strats anymore to use, so just end this shit with Victini. I don't need to have a season two of Donald struggling to kill an Articuno with a fire type of all things. That makes two of us Obama, actually, because I also don't need a season two of that crap again either. The first time was bad enough. Okay, well, here we go again, boys. Articuno, the troll, is back at it. Wow, this one had a citrus berry too and somehow survived a critical hit from Victini. What in the actual hell is going on with these Articunos boys? Out of the three legendary birds, it's apparently the worst, but now I'm confused. Okay, well at least she didn't use a full restore here, Donald. Otherwise this thing would have probably used agility like the last one did and kept on out speeding us like the troll it is. If Iris has an Articuno too, Donald, I'm leaving because that would just be the most trolliest thing ever, even more than your Pokemon battling skills. Joe, there's nothing trolley about my Pokemon battle skills. Thank you very much. Yeah, Joe, he's just naturally a trash Pokemon trainer. All righty, look, boys, we have a Hydreigon out on the field now, but luckily we have a super amazing ice type of our own being Hillary here. And normally I would be taking the piss because I named her after an ugly as hell Pokemon but Glalie has proven to be a valuable member of this team. Yeah, I bet Hillary would be proud that she was part of the team that could potentially win a Nuzlocke with you as the main player, Donald. I think we should tell her. I think that's a terrible idea, Joe, because she'll just take all the credit for it and say I only won because she was on the team. Otherwise, I'd have lost this Nuzlocke ages ago. Yeah, and then they'd fight Joe, and I'd like to end this hell trip of a Pokemon series on a positive note with us beating the Elite Four and champion without any drama. Okay, boys, here we go, battling the final Pokemon of the Elite Four now, and it's a goddamn Mothem of all things. This is not exactly how I wanted the final battle with the Elite Four to be. Yeah, a level 56 Mothem, holy hell. Well, at least there's absolutely no way I lose to this piece of trash Pokemon. And by the way, boys, I have a little thing to show you both before this episode comes to an end. And our viewers, too, actually. All right, well, Donald, you actually beat the Elite Four, and now what's this thing you want to show us? Well, Joe, a viewer of ours sent me a drawing they made over on Discord. Check this out, it's the best thing ever. Holy smokes, that is the best thing ever, Donald. Look, they drew us three, and also the first three Pokemon we caught on this Nuzlocke. Yeah, I want to thank Danny for drawing this for us, and we loved it so much we changed our YouTube profile pic to this drawing. It's a great drawing, Danny. And we love receiving art, by the way. So if anyone else wants to draw us stuff, then check the Discord link in the video description to join our server, along with some of our friends who also make content. And then you can DM us anything you make. And on that happy note, it's time we end this episode, everyone. The next one will be the final episode of this series, and Donald will be taking on the champ. So please remember to like and sub if you enjoy our content. All right. Everyone, and welcome to the finale of our Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke, which is a shorter episode than normal, since all I have left to do is take on Iris. So please remember to like and subscribe, and let's get this show on the road, boys. Yeah, and remember, we're voices created with AI. But anyway, here we go with our team of five Pokemon, since Michelle got taken out by an Articuno in the last episode. So let's see if you can actually beat this Nuzlocke, Donald, or if this is the end. Well, Obama, this is the end regardless, since we can't do anything else after this other than going through the Black Tower, but fuck all that. That place is not for Nuzlocks. 
Yeah, agreed, Joe. We won't be going through there. This is the final battle of this series, and after releasing the full movie, we'll be heading to the Alola region, where Obama is going to take on the island kahunas. Okay, I went to church last night and prayed to the almighty Arceus, Zeus, Jesus, and every other god that you actually win this thing, Donald. I even sacrificed some goats to the Mayans. I personally think Iris is a mediocre champion, but I love her battlefield. Getting blasted into space is what it feels like to me. The only thing getting blasted right now, Obama, is Iris when I beat her. And look, her first Pokemon is a Gardevoir. Not a bad Pokemon at all, let's be honest. Yeah, and it's a female one too, Donald, so I bet that makes you happy, doesn't it? Joe, please don't start that again. This is the final episode, and we need the old whale here to concentrate before he goes and gets any more Pokemon killed. Well, if he had a brain, Obama, he'd have switched out to Giratina and taken this thing out with one Shadow Force. I mean, I would have done that. Yeah, I could have done that, Joe, but I felt since this is the last time we'll use this team, then I should make the most of it and use all of them. Normally, I'd agree with that, Donald, but with your current track record and with this being a Nuzlocke too, I'd rather you not play like an idiot and actually play using real strats. All right, well, I just took her first Pokemon out, Joe, with Pidgeot. So now we have five Pokemon each, which I think is a great start here. Pidgeot is just too good, don't you both think? Holy hell, Joe, look what her next Pokemon is. It's one of your favorites. OMG, I love Iris so much. She has a Vanillish, and now I'm just the happiest person in the world. Yeah, well, make the most of seeing it, Joe, because it's about to die here. You know, Donald, if this Vanillish were to take out our entire team, then I wouldn't mind at all. In fact, I would be happier about it. All right, Donald, just for Joe's stupid demand, murder this Vanillish brutally and without mercy with Fire Blast. Done, Obama! Joe, I'm sorry, but first of all, she hasn't even evolved Vanillish into a Vanillux, which is just stupid, and this Pokemon is just garbage anyway. I know we promised you one, but still, it's garbage. Yeah, well, when you get my shiny one in Pokemon Ultra Sun Donald, I'll make sure Obama shows you how good it'll be. I bet it could one-shot Ultra Necrozma, too. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, just like your little Rattata can, isn't it, Joe? Just more pointless bullshit from you as usual. But anyway, her third Pokemon is an Electric, which is pretty cool, and one of your favorite Pokemon, Obama. I'm so going to prove you wrong about that, Donald, when we get to that point in Ultrasun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Obama, I'm still calling bullshit. Regardless, I'm looking forward to heading to sunny Alola. I feel like Unova has been quite dark and serious compared to that place. Clearly, you're not being serious right now, Donald, since you forgot that Electric here has the Levitate ability. Doesn't matter, Joe. And that was Obama's fault anyway for distracting me with nonsense about your stupid rat Pokemon. You know, Electric is so awesome because it has, like, no weaknesses, boys. I know there are some other Pokemon like that, too. And by the way, are you going to ask the question for this video, Donald? Yeah, I, I wasn't going to Obama, but since this Electric seems to be tanking my hits, I'll ask our viewers the question. And for this video, everyone, please comment down below what your favorite water-type Pokemon is. I can't even remember if I asked this one, but regardless, let us know. The best water-type Pokemon is Kyogre Donald, although I like Empoleon from Sinnoh, too, and Feraligator from Johto. Swampert is still the goat, though, boys, and don't forget it. And also, look, Joe, her next Pokemon is a Licky Licky, and this Pokemon is absolutely Donald L.M. Fail. Holy smokes, you're right, Obama. If Gumshoosh didn't exist, then this Pokemon would definitely be you, Donald. I remember the Licky Licky from the Dark Rye movie, which turned into a human, and that guy also reminded me of you. How the hell do I look like this fat pink trash Obama? I mean, just look at it then, look at me. Yeah, sorry, Donald, I'm having a really hard time telling the difference between you and this Licky Licky. I think I'd need a magnifying glass to tell the difference. Yeah, even a DNA test would show the same genes between you both, Donald. All right, well, look, boys, it just died, so there, Licky Licky is just trash, and you know it. I doubt there's anyone who has an affinity to this pink chunk. I mean, why would anyone want to use this to begin with? Oh, shit, all right. Donald, joke time's over now, because Iris has a fucking Registeel next. This Pokemon is a defensive tank and probably one of my favorites out of the Reggie trio. Donald, you stupid ape. Why didn't you send out Victini here to deal with Registeel? Fire Blast would have destroyed it easily. Because Obama, I just realized we've had Bastiodon all this time, and I never even used it once in the Elite Four, so I thought I'd bring it out now before we won't see it again. Okay, fair enough, Donald, but why did you name it Bushy? What does that name even mean? To be honest, Joe, it was the first name that came to my mind when I was naming it. Don't ask me what it means either, because I have absolutely no idea. 
All right, Donald, we've all been in that situation and named a Pokemon the first thing that comes to our heads, but I do have to say that bushy is the last word I'd use to describe Bastiodon. It's literally the opposite of bushy. Guys, why does Registeel keep using lock-on like that and then does nothing else after? I thought it would use lock-on and then zap cannon or hyper beam, but apparently not. Imagine if it had Fisher or something, though, boys. A lock-on and Fisher combo would be so toxic and deadly. I wonder if that's even possible. I'm sure it is, Joe. Lock-on means that the next move is guaranteed to hit, and Fisher only has a 30% accuracy rating, I think. But if it hits, then it's immediately a one-hit KO move. Talking of accuracy, boys, I've been getting super lucky with these fire blasts. I can't remember what the accuracy is for it, but I know it's not 100%. Yeah, good job, Donald. And now we're on to Iris's final Pokemon of the series. And unless it's something super strong, I think it's safe to say that you've gone and won this battle. OMG, it's a goddamn Eevee, boys. Well, I think this concludes this battle then, doesn't it, everyone? I'll even say well done before the battle officially finishes to you, Donald, since even with your track record, there's no way you lose to an Eevee. Yeah, and I didn't even need to use any healing items at all in this battle, boys, because I'm just a pro. But anyway, I think this means I've won the Nuzlocke, doesn't it? Hooray for me! Yeah, well done, I guess, too, Donald. You actually won your first Nuzlocke, but you also got super lucky that Iris had a mid-team, let's be honest. Either way, I was gonna win if she had a full team of Mewtwo's, Joe, because I'm just the GOAT. And also, we did have some comments saying that we should have set the Nuzlocke to only allow trainers to use fully evolved Pokemon at a certain point. But we didn't know this was a thing. So in the next one we do, we will make sure that setting is activated. Yeah, we will make sure that setting is activated. But since this was our first Nuzlocke, please give us a break on that point. We still had fun playing this game, and I know lots of you enjoyed watching us play it too, and mainly watching Donald get almost every Pokemon we catch killed. I'm just so entertaining, Obama. What else is there to say about myself? But anyway, here we go, boys. Time for me to enter the Hall of Fame, because Unova now has a new champion again. He actually somehow made it in here. Obama, can you believe it? I'm literally shocked still. Yeah, I don't think anyone would have expected this from the graveyard amount of Pokemon you've gone killed since the beginning, Donald. But here we are, I guess. I bet they had to add a new floor to Mistralton Tower for all the Pokemon you sent there in the last month. Nah, Obama, they had to send Pokemon over to Lavender Town in Kanto and bury them there because Donald took up all the space in Unova. Okay, okay, you two very funny. Now, will you at least be happy about the Pokemon that survived this run and which are now getting immortalized into the Pokemon Hall of Fame? Yeah, okay, Donald, but I'm just gonna say that without Victini and Giratina, you probably wouldn't have won this LMFAO. I guess it's true, though, what they say about Victini. It is indeed the victory Pokemon. Yeah, aside from the fat fucking cow, which we'll be cooking later, this was a solid team. So well done, Donald. You actually did something useful for once. Joe, watch your mouth, my guy. It's still named after my wife, so you can't be calling Miltank that, even if it was the most useless member we probably had, along with that Archon. That Archon was the worst Obama. It lasted like five minutes and died in the same episode we caught it in. But anyway, boys, I guess this is the end of our Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. We hope you all enjoyed watching it, so please remember to like and subscribe so you stay up to date with the rest of our shenanigans. Yeah, one thing before we go, we recently made a poll regarding which starter Pokemon you'd like to see us use in our playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. So please check out our channel and vote for which one you'd like. Oh, hey, look, we're getting a welcome party from the other Elite Four members first, though, boys. How nice of them. The Elite Four members from the other regions never did this for us. Yeah, because they all got salty that they lost to a 10-year-old, literally, whilst this Elite Four have been humbled by yours truly, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that's the reason, Donald, they've been humbled by you of all people, uh-huh. Okay, this really is the end now, folks, so we'll see you all in the Alola region from Monday, we hope. Have a great weekend and Happy New Year, too. All right, boys, here we go with a new playthrough for our channel of probably one of the best games ever made, Pokemon Platinum. And this is actually a ROM hack. As in this version, Pokemon will follow us, like in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh, this version is called Pokemon Following Platinum Version Obama. Wow, I'm so excited. This will be such a fun playthrough Obama alongside our Heart Gold one, which you should all check it if you haven't, guys, by clicking the playlist in the description below. And please also remember to like and sub, too. Just so you know, this game was my idea, even though Obama did the intro, and because of that, we will be naming ourselves the best name ever being Biden. 
For fuck's sake, Joe, why do we have to name the hero of this game after you, of all people? A guy who looks dead and who everyone probably thinks is a walking archaeological discovery. Yeah, there's probably cave drawings of you, Joe, in the Pyrenees, but anyway, Joe also named our rival Barry after the guy from the Diamond and Pearl anime series. Since Joe loved him so much, and now the main event begins, boys. I like Barry so much, so leave me alone, Obama. Oh yeah, I would also like to add, please could our viewers let us know what Pokemon they would like to see us use for this playthrough. And also give us nicknames for them as well. We would prefer to use Pokemon you suggest except the starter, which we will decide. Yeah, please give suggestions, otherwise I will just catch Bidoof and name them all Joe. But if we do that, we won't win any badges? I don't want to be named after Bidoof Donald. If you do that, I will catch Magikarp and name it Donald. Joe, I already made that joke in HeartGold, so you can't fucking copy it, you dumb fossil. Talking to fossils, please also let us know in the comments what your favorite fossil Pokemon is. Our favorite is probably Dracovish. Oh yeah, he's our favorite because of Ash's one in the Ultimate Journeys anime series. I love the noises it makes too, it sounds so cool. Guys, this is the game that Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl should have been, don't you agree? Yeah, Donald, the worst thing from those games was the scale of the Pokemon when they follow you about. Giratina, Dialga, and Arceus, to name a few, look so stupid next to the player in those games. All right, boys, we're about to get the chance to choose what our starter Pokemon will be. Which should we go for? Well, usually when I play this, I go for Chimchar almost straight away. But since we already chose a fire type in our heart gold playthrough, I say we choose the water or grass type. Well, since this was my idea, Obama, we will be choosing Piplup since I think he is so cute. And I have the perfect name for him, too. All right, watch this, boys. The first new animation of this playthrough for this amazing ROM hack. What animation, Obama? Look here, Donald. Our Piplup just jumps out by himself, and it's so cute and fun, isn't it? It's small things like this which I love about this ROM hack. Hey, that turt wig looks shiny, Obama. Well, it's not thank God Joe, but that does make me wonder if our rival can actually get a Pokemon that's shiny. What do you guys think? I think I'll be pissed off if Joe loses this battle, but yeah, Donald, that is a good thought. But I don't think the AI has shiny Pokemon available to them. I have so won this battle, Obama, since all Turtwing used was withdraw LMAO. He is so shit. Nice, Joe, and we leveled up as well. Now we need to head back home to see our mom. Ooh, look, our Piplup is still with us and following us about. You were right, Obama. I am already in love with this game so much. All right, we got the running shoes, boys, and need to head to Sand Gem Town now. I'm also looking forward to this playthrough. When we get to Sand Gem Town, we can get the Pokedex and also nickname our Piplup Joe, so you better have a good name. Oh, wait, what does Barry want first, guys? He's talking about some legendary Pokemon in the Lake Donald, and he wants to go try and catch it, which I really want to do, too. Obama. Well, we can't catch it right now, Joe, because we only just started playing, and also it's only Mesprit, too, and Mesprit is quite shit, so we don't need that. I will want to use Arceus, though, because who wouldn't want to use the god of everything? Obama, we won't be able to get Arceus for a long time anyway until we can access Spear Pillar, and also using him on our team would be so pointless and not make the game fun. A team of Bidoofs named Joe, however, would be hilarious. Donald, do yourself and the rest of the planet a favor and stick your dick in a blender and turn it on, please. Shots fired by Joe once again, LMFAO. But anyway, boys, here we are in the laboratory, and Joe, please don't give Piplup a dumb name. I have the perfect name, Obama. Joe, our Piplup is a girl, and you named it Pingu, which was a boy penguin, you fucking idiot. Donald, it's 2023, get with the times. Our Piplup can be whoever it wants to be. I love whilst Professor Rowan is talking, our Piplup is just running around the lab investigating everything and being nosy, LMAO. It literally just ran off the screen, Obama, what the hell? All right, boys, I made a cut here since we just went through the dumb tutorial and said bye to our mom. And now we are going to get a Pokemon catching lesson from Dawn before our journey officially starts. There should have been an option to skip the tutorial and ROM hacks, don't you think, guys? Yeah, Donald, especially since most people who would play a ROM hack probably would have played the mainline games, but oh well. Yeah, Joe, I agree too, but anyway, guys, let's call it for our first episode. We want to thank you all for watching and hope you enjoy our new series and just want to let anyone know who might be worried about our other ones that we won't forget about them either. So don't forget to like and subscribe, everyone. All right, everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum, and we shall be heading towards Jubilife City. But first, Joe, you have to beat this trainer and don't get any weird ideas about getting his phone number because you can't in this version, you fucking perv. Yeah, Joe, we are lucky you can't get phone numbers in Platinum. 
But anyway, thank you for all the love in the first episode of this series, so please remember to like and subscribe. And also, we asked you guys what Pokemon you wanted us to use, and we received lots of comments, but the most frequent one was for us to get a Zubat. Fuck you both. I didn't even mention how nice these young children are, but anyway, as Obama was saying, we received lots of suggestions for what Pokemon to use, a few being Zubat, which we will get, but others included Gibbelli, Riolu, and Lopunny. Joe is such an idiot, Obama, he can't even pronounce Garchomp's first stage evolution. But anyway, we have made it to Jubilife City now, boys, and isn't the music here some of the best in the entire series? Please comment down below what your favorite music is in the Pokemon series as well, we would love to know. Wait, who is this, guys? This is Looker Joe. He is part of the International Police. And we could have used someone like him in the White House as our security. Yeah, Obama, he is so cool. Probably one of my favorite characters in the entire series. But anyway, Joe, you need to head to the trainer school, which is to your left, and give that parcel to Barry. Oh, look, a school full of lovely young people. <laughs> hmm, maybe we should have sent Joe out the room for this part, Donald. Joe will never change, Obama, and I have accepted that. And you should try to as well, and he is still our friend, so we should try help him become more mature. Oh, guys, what do we do here? And also, thank you, Donald, you are my friend too, and I'm glad you will look after me. Well, Joe, we have to find these clowns around the city and answer their questions to get a special watch. It's quite pointless. Not as pointless as Joe LMFAO. Donald, what happened to being nice to me, huh? Joe, I never said I would be nice to you. I said I would look after you because I'm your friend. And as your friend, I get to also bully you and call you out on your bullshit and you have a whole wagon full of bullshit. Look, Joe, we got all the coupons, so now we get a watch. Yeah, and now we get to battle Barry, don't we, for the second time? Joe, are you using a guide again or have you actually become, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but have you become smart? Actually, Donald, I've done lots of research on Pokemon. Would you like me to give you a fact about Pokemon, which I learned recently? Go on then, Joe, enlighten me. In Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, Kanto Elite Four member Lorelei has a house on Four Island in the Sevi Islands. Inside the house contains six Pokemon dolls, but every time the player defeats the Elite Four and enters the Hall of Fame 25 times, an extra Pokemon doll will appear in the house. This continues until the player has entered the Hall of Fame 200 times, and a total of 14 Pokemon dolls reside in Lorelei's house. Obama, what the fuck is going on? Um, I have no idea what just came out Joe's mouth, Donald. I'm once again speechless. How did you know that, Joe, have you even played Fire Red or Leaf Green? Well, I found that out recently and also just destroyed Barry too, guys, so aren't you both impressed with me? I guess so, Joe, but I still don't know how you knew that about Lorelei because even we didn't know that. But anyway, you've made it to Orberg City now, so head straight to the mines where Rourke, the gym leader, is, and then we can finally take on our first gym battle. I swear he gives us the TM for Rock Smash, but we only use it once in the entire game. Actually, Donald Rock Smash is what's called a HM or hidden move, not a TM. Joe, just shut your fucking mouth and take the gym on, please. I thought you would both be proud of me, though, for knowing so much. Yeah, but it's making us very uncomfortable, Joe, almost as much as your interest in young trainers. Well, okay, I won't give you any more Pokemon facts until the next episode. If you like boys, I think it's fun knowing some obscure Pokemon facts you may have not heard before. But on a different note, look, we are almost at the gym, leader. Joe, perhaps keep your pants up around trainers younger than you. Obama, shut the fuck up and watch as I take on Rourke and destroy him with my little Pingu. You mean our little Pingu Joe, and by the way, we will be changing the name of that Piplup once it becomes an Empoleon. Yeah, I agree, Obama, the name it has right now is so dumb. But anyway, I think it will also evolve into Prinplup after this battle. Guys, if you change the name of our Piplup, I will send the SEAL Team 6 after both of you. Good luck with that, Joe. You will forget by then, and anyway, concentrate on Rourke's last battle, won't you? Guys, look, I beat Rourke so easily, I am already the champion, basically LML. Whoever the champion of Sinnoh has no idea what's coming for them. Joe, how the fuck do you know that random fact about Loralee, but you don't know who the champion of Sinnoh is? Because everyone knows who the champion of Sinnoh is. Everyone except you, apparently, Joe. Seriously, how don't you know who the champ is? I just Googled it, and it's someone called Cynthia. She looks like a total pushover, LMFAO. Oh boy, you will be in for a surprise, Joe. But for now, it's time to introduce you to the evil team of this game, Team Galactic. They all have blue hair, Elmao. Yeah, Joe, but this team is probably one of my most favorite ones in the series as well, don't you agree? Cyrus is such a cool boss, but Giovanni also has to be up there. Yeah, please comment down below which team you would all join. If you had two, we would probably join Team Galactic. I think out of all of them, Team Flare was just the stupidest one. Okay, boys, do I go north now or what? Yeah, Joe, head north. 
and you will reach a cave. But then we need to catch that zoo bat, so make sure to find one in the cave. Holy fucking shit, guys, look what we just found, fucking hell. Okay, we are so naming this shiny Obama because any shiny Pokemon deserves my name, and I don't want to hear shit from either of you. Wow, we are so lucky with this, guys. Look at that, a shiny zoo bat. Fine, we will name it Obama, but we will be catching a Garchomp and naming it Donald because all dragon types are like me and Joe. Don't you fucking ruin it for me like you did in Pokemon Heart Gold with that Dragonite. Fine, Donald, I promise not to ruin Garchomp for you, but we will be naming Arceus after me. LMFAO, Joe, there is absolutely no fucking way we will be naming a god after you seriously go fuck yourself. Donald is the perfect nickname for Arceus anyway. Don't you agree, Obama? I would rather name Arceus Melania than you, Donald LMAO, but looks like we will soon reach Floroma Town, Joe, which is probably the most useless town in any game ever. OMG, Obama, we should totally make Joe use honey on a tree and catch a Munchlax for us, LMFAO. That would be hilarious, Donald LMAO. And he is probably clueless on what we are talking about, too. I know exactly what you're both talking about, and you can't talk anyway, Donald. You look like a fucking Snorlax. LMFAO Joe, that was hilarious. But anyway, I say we end part two of our Pokemon Platinum playthrough here, boys. So thanks for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe for more. Yeah, thank you, everyone. And Joe, if I'm Snorlax, you are Abra because you are Sleepy Joe Elmao. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. I just wanted to start this video with a big thank you for all the love and support our channel is getting, and we hope you continue to enjoy our content. So please remember to like and subscribe. And now, let's get back to Platinum. Good intro there, Joe. And now it's time to save this little girl's daddy from Team Galactic. And don't even think about making a joke about you being her daddy, Joe. Seriously, I know you too well. Joe is already unzipping his pants, Obama, Jesus Christ. Donald, shut the fuck up. My flyers got stuck. That's all. I am not a creep all the time. You know, now watch me beat this glam out. I wish in this game that Team Galactic would also take over the Fuego Ironworks. It's like one of the least memorable places in all of Pokemon, I swear. Oh yeah, we will talk about that Obama, but look, this is going to be the newest member of our team, Gastrodon. A Pokemon I never really see used much, but I really like it. In the anime team, Galactic take over the Fuego Ironworks to make the red chain, but in this game it's an optional area, and even in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they made it redundant. Is there even any need to go there? I think all you can get from there are a few TMs and items, but that's about it, Joe, and well done for catching this Shellos too. Cynthia also has one as well. Yeah, but our one is better because we nicknamed it Pinky Donald, and now we have to battle these grunts, so they give us the key to the valley wind works, Joe. Also, please comment down below what you all think is the least memorable place in any Pokemon game. For us, Fuego Ironworks has to be up there for sure. Yeah, everyone, please let us know in the comments. I also think Verdanturf Town is pretty useless in the Hoenn region, too. There is literally fuck all to do there. Well, Joe, if you like contests, then there is a contest hall in Verdanturf Town, but that's about it. I'm sure you'd like contests, though, Joe, seeing all these nice young people all dressed up. <laughs> Donald, every time you laugh these days, it's like, you are having a stroke. But anyway, I would also love to see Joe do some contests in our Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough, which you should all check out, by the way, by clicking the playlist in this video's description. Look, boys, I am taking on our first galactic admin called Mars. These guys probably have the coolest names out of any admins in the evil teams throughout Pokemon, in my opinion. Yeah, but be careful of her next Pokemon, Joe. Pure Ugly can be a pain if you don't know what you're doing which is true for your case, LMFAO. Wow, this fucking cat just took out our shiny zoo bat, Obama. But don't worry, our Pingu will save the day. Joe, you dumbass. I just warned you about Purr Ugly, and now you got me killed, and we didn't gain any experience. That zoo bat is also close to evolving, but you ruined it as you ruin everything. Well, Obama, I didn't have any healing items, so what did you want me to do, you idiot? The only idiot is you, Joe, because you could have switched out to Pingu, and we still would have gained experience for our Zubat. Oh, um, well, um, I forgot I could do that, Donald. I really did. Well, now you know, Joe, so if you do it again, I will bitch slap you so hard that there will be my handprint on your face next time you give a speech. But anyway, we should head towards Eterna City now, boys, where our second gym is. Yeah, we cut most of Eterna Forest out because all we did was some training and yelling at Joe. But now, after helping Cheryl here, we have made it out of this bug-infested shithole. Oh, look, guys, Barry is showing us this statue of what looks to be Dialga, doesn't it? I think they should have put a statue of Giratina here, though, since this is platinum. Yeah, but Obama Giratina was banished due to its violence with Arceus, so they wouldn't have been any record of him in the Sinnoh books. 
This is why the people of Sinnoh only know about Dialga and Palkia, and I guess Arceus too, but not Giratina. All right, Donald, calm down, you fucking nerd LMFAO. Wow, Donald, it's so cool that you know so much about Pokemon lore. How did you become so smart? Oh, check it, boys, it's the champion, Cynthia. And to answer your question, Joe, between all these court hearings, I have had a lot of downtime, so I have spent it researching Pokemon in Trump Tower. I am really looking forward to you battling Cynthia Joe, since you basically called her out on how shit a trainer she was in the beginning. It'll be easy, Obama, just like how I beat Lance in our Heart Gold playthrough. But anyway, she gave us the HM for cut, so we need to get a HM slave now, guys. Hey, you all heard it here first, Joe Biden condones slavery. Donald, I didn't fucking say that. All I said was we need a HM slave for our playthrough of Pokemon Platinum so we don't use shit moves on our main team, you dumbass. Stop twisting my words, and anyway, you're the Republican here, not me. Joe, just ignore him and focus on beating this gym, please. Um, yeah, Joe, how the fuck did you get our gold bat to already evolve into a crow bat? Yeah, we got our zoo bat to evolve off camera doing some training, but Joe, how the fuck have you done this? Well, I gave it the soothe bell, and then it became my friend even more, and I don't have many friends except you two. But now Crobat is my friend too, and he loves me so much he evolved for me. Joe, that's not even an explanation, you idiot. But I'm not even gonna ask anymore. Just go take on Gardenia already and get our second badge, please. This bitch just happens to have the perfect name to be a grass-type gym leader, doesn't she, Obama? Like, who the fuck would name their child Gardenia? L-M-F-A-O. Yeah, Donald, that's pretty funny. But the eighth gym leader in Sinnoh who happens to be one of my favorites is called Volkner, and he is an electric type, so there's that too. Oh man, Volkner is so cool, isn't he? Please comment down below and let us know which is your favorite gym leader, we would love to know. And if we think your opinion is wrong, then expect Donald to roast you in the comments. Joe, how can an opinion be wrong, but well done for beating Gardenia with Crobat? Having wing attack made it super easy for you since it's super effective. But now we need to head north and save the bicycle guy from Team Galactic. Can someone explain this part of the game to me because I don't understand why they kidnap him to begin with? Yeah, even I don't get it, Donald, but I guess it's just to help us with story progression since we need the bicycle to get through the cycling road. This bit is so dumb too, guys. Looker, who is a member of the International Police, just lets us do all the work here and then he gets the paycheck. True Joe. But once again, it's called story progression and apparently 10-year-olds would be better security than adults. Maybe we should replace our Secret Service with 10-year-olds. Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you, Joe? A bunch of 10-year-olds as your security. I will neither confirm or deny that Donald and look, I'm about to beat the second galactic commander, Jupiter. That skun tank always gave me lots of trouble when I played through Diamond for the first time. Out of all the commanders, I felt Mars was the most difficult, then Jupiter, and lastly, Saturn. I would also agree with that order too, Obama. I hate Mars and her fucking fat cat. Cynthia just gave me an egg, guys. Should we use it? Fuck that egg, Joe and just get the bicycle. And also, we need to go visit the underground man before we can proceed any further. And by the way, Joe, he looks like you, LMFAO. This guy doesn't look like me at all, Obama, you meanie. I don't have a beard like that. This guy looks like a bald Santa Claus, too. Joe, it is basically you, so shut the fuck up. And now, boys, I say, we end this episode here, so thank you for watching, everyone. And please hit the like button, and remember to subscribe, too. Says you, Donald, you look like that. Her ugly Mars has LMFAO, but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And in the next episode, we will continue towards the third gym. What's up, everyone? Here we are back again with the best game ever, Pokemon Platinum. What's your boy saying what's today, up, what's then? What's up, what's up, what's up? I think Joe is on the white stuff right now, Obama. But anyway, welcome back, everyone, to Platinum. And today, we will aim to get to Heart Home City and take on Fantina for our third gym badge. So please remember to like and subscribe and enjoy the video. That's right, Donald, and whilst we are here, we can try get that gibble. Oh yeah, Obama, and it's being named Donald J. Trump, am I right, boys? Fuck off, Donald, we are not naming a Garchomp after you because you are no way near cool enough to be named after the same Pokemon that Cynthia has LML. Yes, we are, Joe Yagoon, because you are named after the main character in the game and you refuse to name our Dragonite in Heart Gold after <laughs> no, we are not, too. No, we are not, so no, go we to are hell. not, no, we are not, no, we are not, no, we are not. Yes, we are, yes, we are, yes, we are, yes, we are, yes, we are. Go fuck yourself, Joe. Jesus H. Christ, will both of you pipe down seriously? You are both acting like five-year-olds. Joe acts the age of the people he surrounds himself with Obama, which is not my problem. Whatever, Donald. And anyway, I just checked the guide, and apparently we can't even get that gibble right now anyway because we need strength, which we only get after receiving our sixth gym badge, so we have a long way to go anyway. 
See, he didn't deny it, did he, Obama? And we are still naming Garchomp after me, Joe. I don't give a shit about anything you say. Joe, let's just name Garchomp after him. Otherwise, Donald is going to bitch about this every episode until we do. And I CBA to deal with that, and I won't be defending you either. This goddamn Pachiresu is not dying, Obama. What the hell? Look at it. See, he avoids the point again, Obama. His dementia is either so bad now that he just forgets what we say immediately after we've said it, or Joe is just the biggest moron on the planet. Hmm, okay, then Donald, let's ask our viewers. Do you all think we should name Garchomp after Donald, or should we let Joe give it a nickname? And bear in mind, Joe's name will probably be some pansy-ass shit. So you guys better choose wisely, and remember as well, this is for a Garchomp, not a fucking Pikachu or Starly. I'm all for democracy, Obama, so I'm down for our viewers to vote on this, so guys, tell us what you think. Says the guy who started a riot at the Capitol because he was salty, he lost against me in the election, is now apparently down for democracy. LMFAO. Joe, you are really pushing it today. Choose your next words carefully. How about we focus back on the game, guys? And I think when our Shellos gets to level 30, it will evolve into a Gastrodon, which is something I am really excited for. Yeah, that'll be cool, Obama. And also the guide is saying there's a man by some trees in the route right before Heart Home City, and he will give us the odd keystone, which we can use to get a spirit tomb, which I think will be an excellent member for our team. At this point, Joe, we may as well get a Rose Raid, Melodic, and Lucario because we are basically building Cynthia's team. And what's wrong with Cynthia's team, Donald? Are you upset that a female is stronger than you? Joe, shut up. I'm just saying that building her team for our playthrough isn't original at all. So after Spirit Tomb, we are using different Pokemon, okay? Uh, when will you two stop arguing seriously? You both haven't even noticed I made it to Heart Home City for us, but I do agree with Donald Joe that we should stop building Cynthia's team. Wow, you heard it here, everyone. Donald and Obama don't like the fact that Cynthia is stronger OMG, than them. OMG, Joe, that's not what we said, you idiot. Just shut up and play the game again. Yes, it was Obama. You, you are face. both misogynists and you can't admit it. I am going to need some of that cocaine myself after this episode is done, Obama. I can't even with Joe anymore. Oh, hey, look, boys. Our mom is here in the contest hall. She used to be a top coordinator back in the day, like in the anime. The Diamond and Pearl anime was probably up there as one of the best in the series. In my opinion, Obama and I love the Team Galactic arc where they create that new universe in Spear Pillar with the power of Dialga and Palkia. Oh, hey, look, it's Fantina, the gym leader, just standing there, boys. And I'm so glad that in Platinum they changed it so we can battle Fantina right now, unlike in Diamond and Pearl where they made us do a bunch of other shit before we could. I agree, Joe, that was so annoying, and I'm not even sure why they did that, but then changed it in Platinum. Oh, I know the answer to that, Obama, but first, Joe, in this gym, you have to match the symbols on the floor with the symbol on the door. I just want to make a quick announcement, boys, to address why we have been speeding the game up, and it's because it takes a long time to edit and write the scripts, and we try to upload a video at least every day. So the only way to get that done is by speeding up the game, and we know some of you don't like that. But for our next few videos, we will keep it on normal speed and see what everyone thinks. Yeah, thanks for that announcement, Joe, and we have addressed it before, but good you remembered to mention it again. That's the only useful thing you have remembered in the last 20 years of your life, Joe. Well, I also remember where my staff hides the key to the cocaine room in the White House, Donald. So if you ever get bored in prison, I will smuggle some up the ass of a LeChonk plushie for you, LMFAO. So kind of you, Joe. However, you will get caught, and then they'll make me share a room with you, which will be my worst nightmare. Ooh, Donald, we can be bedroom buddies. Wouldn't that be the best thing ever? Absolutely fucking not, Joe. It would not be the best thing ever. I would pay a billion dollars to see that LMAOO, but anyway, Joe, well done for dealing with those trainers, so now go find the last door and battle Fantina. This battle will be easy, guys, because our Crobat has Astonish, which is a ghost-type move, and ghost-type is super effective against ghost-type. See how clever your boy is right, now. All right, all right, Joe, stop looking at the guide and then acting like a genius. Donald, when you shut are the not f up and stop taking away the spotlight from me. You always do this. Holy hell, boys! You have been arguing so much these days, and I have to keep playing adjudicator. Yeah, but look, I have almost beaten Fantina, boys. She's really not giving me too much trouble. Hang on a minute. I swear she had a Gengar on her team. What happened to that? I don't remember if she ever did, Donald. Maybe you're confusing Fantina with Morty from Johto because he had Gengar on his team. Okay, boys, the guide says we have a rival battle with Barry now, and I remember on Brilliant Diamond, this battle was really difficult for me. By the way, Joe, if you had talked to that hiker, he would have given you a happy egg, and we could have got a Blissey, which I do rate as a really good Pokemon, which people don't use much. Leave a comment down below if you'd like us to get that happy egg. Oh my god, this idiot used double team on his Staravia, then switched the damn thing out. 
Well, he must know that Shellos has water pulse, Joe, so it makes sense he switched out. Holy hell, he just one-shot us with Razor Leaf. Joe, you better not lose this. It's fine, Donald. We have Pink Obama with us, and he will destroy Grottle here. I really liked Barry in the anime, and in the game he feels very similar, but I wish they'd add the other characters, such as Paul, because he was such a good Holy rival shit, for Holy shit, you Ash. almost got knocked out, Obama, but Joe clutched Donald, that. I trust Joe with my life, and I knew he'd win that, so stop interrupting me. Wow, you actually said you trust me with your life, Obama. That means so much to me. Well, in the game I do, Joe, if you really thought I trust you with my life in real life, then I'm going to send you to a mental asylum because you are deluded, old male. Yeah, and you should change your mind about the game, too, Obama, because Barry is going to take you out with his ponytail. Sorry, Obama, you had to take that L for the greater good of this battle, but our Pingu has got this, so no damage done. All right, Joe, that's the one and only time I'm letting you kill me in this game, but if you do that again, I will plant cocaine in your coffee before your next speech. Oh, check it, boys. I just beat this Eevee, and now our shellos will evolve into a gastrodon. Hell yeah, boys. Our little pinky is finally showing us its final, ultimate form, and now we will be unstoppable. You know, I was thinking it would have been better if we caught a blue shellos instead of the pink one. Why would you want a blue one, Joe? LMO, I know why Donald just think about it. Oh, so funny, Joe, you just want a blue shello so it can be your Democratic shellos, isn't it? Hell yeah, Donald, we need a Democratic shellos on our team, not a pink one, LMAO, but anyway. Boys, here's the place we use the odd keystone on. Oh, wait, nothing happened. Oh yeah, why isn't that spirit tomb coming out to say hello to us guys? Joe, you're the one with the damn guide, so you tell us, you moron. Oh, holy shit. We need to also talk to 32 people in the underground and then come back here. Well, fuck that, boys. Looks like we will need a replacement now. Yeah, we ain't doing that crap, Joe. I agree. But anyway, Salation Town is a good place for us to end this episode. So thanks for watching, everyone. And please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. And next time, we shall head to Veilstone City. Okay, boys, back in the Sinnoh region, and we are going straight to Wayward Cave to catch that damn gibble. And name it so Donald. So please like the video and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Jesus Christ, Donald, you know what I give up, you win, I lose, I concede. You can name the Gibble anything you want, even Donald if you must. Yeah, Donald, name it whatever the hell you want. We don't care anymore because arguing with you is like talking to a brick wall. But anyway, some of our viewers pointed out we didn't need strength to get a Gibble in Platinum, boys. Nope, and there we is need a male one, Obama, not a girl one. To find one. See, Donald is being a misogynist again, Obama, towards female Gibbles. Now, can you believe it? Joe, go eat a fucking Castilla cone or whatever it is you do at this time of the day because I have been waiting for this day for ages, especially since you went and ruined Dragonite. No one for cares, me no one cares, no one cares. Playthrough. Okay, here is your male Gibble Donald, so what you gonna name it then? Let me catch the thing first, Obama, but I will name it after me, obviously. obviously. I already have a skyscraper named after me. It only makes sense that one of the coolest dragon type Pokemon be named after me, too. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, everyone? But anyway, here's your Gibble Donald. So now can we please carry on with the playthrough? Boom, named it Donald. And yeah, Obama, carry on as you were, and Joe, be a deer, will you, and go to hell. Okay, everyone, we are heading towards Veilstone City, and we have our second Donald with us now. And TBH, I prefer this one over the fat pig looking one. But anyway, it's quite underleveled. So we should try get it close to our current Pokemon's level. Yeah, we will do some switch training off screen later, but this route I find is one of the hardest in the game, especially the last two ace trainers. Don't worry, Joe buddy, you have two Donalds with you now, and with us we shall conquer all. Just like Alexander the Great conquered Persia, we will conquer Route 215. You know what, Donald? You are the exact person I think of whenever I need a confidence boost and some positive vibes in my life. Well, Joe, that doesn't surprise me. Whenever I need a confidence boost, I also just think of myself or look in a mirror and then suddenly all is well in the world again. Guys, this damn shielding is the worst thing ever. Can I have some help here, please? And by the way, Donald Joe was being sarcastic. Joe doesn't have enough chromosomes to know what sarcasm is Obama. So I think you will find he was actually being honest and you don't need our help with this Pokemon anyway. Ask me again when you are having a real challenge like with Arceus. Oh, nice, Obama TM66, that's the move payback. Something I will be giving Donald later in this video if you all know what I'm talking about, cough, cough, gibble. Um, what was that about my gibble, Joe? Do you have something you'd like to say about it, hmm? Oh, no, not really, Donald, except how much I love the name you have given it, and it's actually starting to warm up to me, you know, and you're right, too. And that gibble is the perfect Pokemon for you. Oh, well, thank you, Joe, that really means a lot to me, and check it out, too. It's doing really well in battles, don't you think? Well, you should be thanking me, actually, Donald, since I'm the one currently playing and training it up a bit for you on your crusade of Route 215. 
But anyway, I am looking forward to finally getting to Veilstone City because we will get the move fly and that will make our life so much easier. Yay, you got Gibble to evolve Obama, thank you so much. Well, I was in that grass for fucking ages, Donald, so you owe me for this, but I thought I may as well train it up since it was close to evolving, and then all our Pokemon will all be around the same level then, and taking on Maylene should be relatively easily. Well, we can use Crobat for her Obama since we have Air Cutter and it will be super effective against her fighting type Pokemon. But look, boys, these were the two ace trainers I was talking about. Oh, look, you two. It seems Donald wants to play with Biden, whatever that means. I just want to make it clear I absolutely don't want to play with Biden. And I also have no idea what that means or what context that's in, too. I can tell you exactly what context that's in Donald. It's the same context as Joe adding all those youngsters to his poke gear in our heart gold play through LMFAO. Guys, we really got to focus on this double battle because these two ace trainers are the worst. My strategy involves targeting one Pokemon at a time and then dealing with the other and having Slash on our gab bite will be really helpful too because we will get lots of criticals. Joe, I swear to God, you better heal me up, you idiot. Sorry, what was that, Donald? Look, you just one shot that Ralts with bite, Donald. OMG, but now Joe got me killed, Obama. WTF, Joe, what are you doing, you madman? Garchomp is our saving grace and you got him. I mean, me killed. Oh, sorry, Donald. You meant that you wanted me to heal our gabbit. You kept referring to it as yourself, which made me confused. So please forgive me. I am so very sorry from the bottom of my heart. Hmm, okay, Joe, that did sound like a sincere apology, so I forgive you, but hurry up and win already. This battle is taking ages. Donald, you are either just as dumb as Joe now, or you've completely lost it, because there's absolutely no way you are taking him seriously. I am being dead serious, Obama. Like I said, Joe doesn't know what sarcasm is, and he knows I'm the superior being among us. So he has got to the point where he will bow down to my greatness without any conflict. Well, you two haven't been any help in this battle at all, and I have been doing really well too, if I do say so myself. I've got them down to their last Pokemon, and we only lost one being Donald's gab bite. Yeah, very suspicious about how I was the only one to get knocked out there, Joe. But you did apologize very sincerely, so it's fine. And that battle reminded me that we need to go get a Gligar at some point, boys. Lots of our viewers wanted one, and I also want one too. So comment down below on what nickname you'd like, and also tell us where to find a Razor Fang, because I can't be asked to Google it. Okay, finally made it to Veilstone, boys, and we should check out the department store whilst we are here. But first I say we take on Maylene at the gym. Team Galactic are everywhere, guys. What's going on here? Well, their base is here, Joe, so that would be why they are everywhere, but for now we can't really do anything with them, so we should go to the gym. Nah, I'm gonna go drop some of my billions in the game corner first, Obama. <laughs> Donald, no, you're not, because we will need that money later, and we all earned it, not just you. And anyway, Looker is here, so go talk to him. He thinks they have taken over the game corner like Team Rocket did in Kanto, but I doubt that's happening here, boys. He just wants to gamble a bit, doesn't he? I don't blame him, Joe. I would also spend all my time in here if you two morons weren't playing with me, but it is what it is. You would probably spend all our money, Donald, and end up getting a piece of crap TM like Tackle. Oh, look, it's Dawn, guys. We haven't seen her in a while. I wonder what she wants. Oh, and it's Crasher Wake, too, boys. I absolutely love this guy. He reminds me of myself, actually. And how does he remind you of yourself, Donald, exactly? You two are because nothing Because they're alike. both fatties, Obama, Elmo. Uh, Joe, you fat shame me in heart gold, and you're doing it again now, too, you meanie Bo Beanie. Donald, I am not the meanie Bobini you are. And anyway, I want to get our fourth gym badge in this gym, which in my opinion is the worst looking gym in the series. I hate this gym so much. Yeah, this gym is annoying AF, so we will cut to Maylene here, everyone. Okay, boys. With me on the battlefield, we will conquer this gym using Air Cutter. And for those wondering why we cut the gym puzzle and trainer battles, it's mainly for the sake of time since editing takes a while, and we usually edit two videos in one day so we can make daily content. Damn, got hit with that fake out, boys, but I believe in you here, Obama. You will beat this bishop. Yeah, air cutter on our crowbat is really useful in this gym, but I was thinking we will need a grass type or something to deal with Crasher Wake. Do you think any of our team can learn any electric moves? One sec, Joe, this Lucario might end up killing me. Yeah, she will probably restore his health, Obama, when he gets to the red zone, but meanwhile, we won't be healing. Oh shit, we managed to outspeed it, yay. Yeah, that was lucky, Joe, so good stuff, boys. We managed to win our fourth gym badge, which means we are halfway through our Sinnoh region journey, everyone. Yeah, we got the cobble badge, boys, and a feature I really liked in this gen was being able to polish our badges and make a song out of them. 
but they went and did an Animal Crossing and removed that feature in the newer games. Oh, it's dawn again, and she says she got kidnapped, and we need to help save her from Team Galactic. Joe, go get your damn eyes tested. She clearly wasn't kidnapped since she was literally talking to us, and she said Team Galactic took her Pokedex, so we have to go help her get that back. Oh, sorry, Obama. It's been a long day in the office. I have been stuck in the cocaine room all day, so feeling a bit doozy. Good to know our current president spends his days getting high, although he probably doesn't have many of those days left. So God bless you, Joe. Uh, thanks, Donald. And after this battle, I have something really important to do, guys, so I hope you don't mind. Sure, Joe, anything you need to do in our game, go ahead. And by the way, do you two think the Pokemon battles in Platinum are more difficult than in Diamond and Pearl? Well, I think they are slightly more difficult, Obama, but I'm all for it. And Joe, what do you have to do? Oh, um, a bit of this and a bit of that, Donald. Don't worry about it, but let's see if we can get this battle wrapped up. Boys, these two grunts should have been beaten by now. Uh, well, there we go, Joe. And also, I have realized that Platinum is the game which follows the Diamond and Pearl anime, too, because of Looker. Well, Looker was in X and Y, too, Obama. But he wasn't in the anime, and he was one of my most favorite characters, too. For someone going to prison for the remaining years you have left of your life, Donald, you seem to like the Popo a lot, which is what Looker is. Actually, Joe Looker is a member of the International Police, so that's even cooler, don't you think? Oh, check it, boys. That's the TM for fly, which we should teach to crowbat and replace air cutter or leech life. So this is their headquarters, then, is it? What do we do in it? Well, Joe, after getting our seventh gym badge is when all the Team Galactic stuff goes down. And Looker, and you will storm the Team Galactic headquarters and beat Cyrus in a battle. And then we will head to the Spear Pillar and visit the best place in any Pokemon game. Oh, yeah, the Distortion World is my favorite place, Donald. It's where I feel like sending you sometimes. And Joe, what are you doing? Well, I am just checking out these meteorites, guys. I think they're used to change Deoxys form, but we don't have one yet. Yeah, and we never will, Joe. So guys, how about we end this episode here today? Thank you so much for watching, and please remember to like the video and subscribe as well as hit the bell icon. So, you know, when we upload, which is pretty much every day with a few breaks Oh wait, Donald, there, I have that thing to do. Also, so please, can we record a bit more, please? Um, Joe, you just interrupted my outro, so whatever you want to do better be good. Oh, don't worry, what I am about to do will be the best thing ever, Cuff Cough TM66. Um, Joe, why are we going to Eterna City? Oh, this is the place, yes, I found it, hehehe. <laughs> oh, nice, Joe, you want to rate the nickname I gave Gab Bite and see how well it suits our Dragon Boy, how nice of you. Um, yeah, something like that Donald, but anyway, here we go, everyone. Oh, I am so excited to see what he says. Um, Donald, do you know what he's doing, or are you just really stupid today? Wow, he said the nickname I gave Gab Bite, which is my actual name, by the way, is only decent. This guy should be hunted by SEAL Team 6 for insulting a president. LMAO, so how about we give him a better name, Donald, huh? LMAO, 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 LMAO. Wait, what the heck, Joe? What are you doing? Time to get some fucking payback, Donald, you fat lechonk faced piggy LMAO, LMAO, LMAO. LMFAO, wow, Joe, I did not see this one coming. And I have the perfect name for our Donald here, so tell me, Donald, what do you think? OMG, Joe, you lying sack of crap. I hope you go to hell and never come back. You were playing me this whole episode, and I can't believe I didn't notice any of those hints you dropped about your TM-66 payback. Oh, look, payback. even the name yes, writer says it's a better name than this. before I LMAO. I hate you. I hate you. Go away. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I apologize for Donald's awful behavior. But anyway, please remember to like and subscribe for more, and have a lovely rest of your day. Hey, 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 everyone, and welcome to the best game ever, Pokemon Platinum. Today, we aim to reach Pastoria City and take on Crasher Wake for our fifth gym badge, so please remember to like and subscriber if you enjoy the video. That's right, Obama, and we got a comment in our last video asking why we have Gastrodon when we already have ground and water coverage from Prinplup and Garchomp. So we will be ditching Gastrodon today and catching Gligar since everyone loves it so much. That's right, I also love Gliscor Joe. And after we beat this psychic who seems to have a full team of shit Pokemon, we shall go find one. Hey, Curly isn't so bad, Donald. And you know, boys, I almost wanted to use a Chingling on our team for Bance. Well, I wanted to use Drifloon Obama since I really like this Pokemon, but we can only get them on Fridays, I think. But maybe this Friday we could try get one. I wouldn't mind that either, Joe. But boys, I'm gonna get that Gligar first and I would love a shiny one. Well, if you want a shiny one, you can always leave it to me. Obama, ha, ha, ha. My Russian hacking skills are top notch since that's all I spend my time doing with my boy Putin. Yay, we found one in the first patch of grass too, boys, and some of our other viewers were kind enough to tell us where to find the Razor Fang to evolve this thing so we can do that in the next episode after training this guy up a bit. 
Sounds good, Joe and Donald. You can name this one if you like. Oh, fucking finally you let me name one Obama and I have the perfect name for this Pokemon. I will name it after my second favorite billionaire ever. If Bruce Wayne is your second favorite billionaire, Donald, then who is your first? Joe, shouldn't that be obvious? My first favorite billionaire ever is, of course, yours truly, Donald J. Trump. You know what? I don't even know why I asked. And by the way, we have Voodoo on our team just as a HM slave, so we won't be using one on our team. Yeah, and off screen we found a Houndor, and we thought we could use one since we haven't got a good fire type. And I wanted to personally use Magmortar, but we can't trade in this ROM, so we are stuck using Houndoom, but it's still a really good Pokemon. Yeah, and when we caught it, it was only one level away from evolving, so we thought that was a bonus as well. Guys, I have a feeling we walked straight past the Razor Fang, but we can get that off screen later and evolve Gligar in the next episode too. And also, what the fuck is the point of this place? Well, Donald, this place is just a chill kind of area, and it's a resort, too, so I guess you can buy another house here for the FBI to raid later if you like. Oh, hey, Obama, that's fine by me, because out of all the regions to live in, if I had a choice, I would absolutely choose the Sinnoh region. What about you two? I would probably want to live in Unova or Sinnoh, too. Donald, since I could be president of the Unova region as well. Yeah, leave a comment down below about which region you guys would like to live in and why. Personally, I would want to live in Johto because all the youngsters just want me to have their phone numbers. <laughs> and I should have seen that one coming, but anyway, Joe beat this little kid before you get more ideas and hurry your ass up to Pastoria City, which by the way is the city I hate the most in Sinnoh. And now Obama Snowpoint City is the worst, and just getting to that place is hell because of all that thick snow too. It's so annoying. Yeah, I agree with Donald on that, Obama, but I see what you mean about Pastoria too. Although it does have the marsh where we can catch some cool Pokemon. And I did also want to use a Sizer in this playthrough, boys. I love that Pokemon so much. Caesar is a really cool Pokemon, Joe, but I think it's one of few Pokemon where its normal form is better than the shiny. That green color on the shiny makes me want to vomit. Oh, hell yeah, boys, we got a Houndoom already. This will be our Hellhound from now on, and Blast burn its way to Cynthia, and using this, the next two gyms will be easy since they're steel and ice type gyms. Yeah, that's right, Obama. Although thinking about it, I would have preferred using Infernape or something, but I guess this will do too. And also, isn't this the city where Team Galactic tried blowing everything up? I was thinking about Infernape too, Donald, and how I would also have preferred to use it, but I think it's probably the most popular starter Pokemon to use in Sinnoh. Doesn't surprise me, Joe, and that reminds me, in the next episode, you're going to return a city and renaming our Prinplup because it still has the most ridiculous name and it's a girl one too. We can't have that here. Sorry, boys. Donald being a toxic masculine again, Obama. But anyway, boys, the guide says we have a rival battle to do now and this one can be difficult if we aren't prepared for it. I think this battle should be all right, Joe. I stocked up on revives and potions earlier and our team is fairly balanced. So this should be a good warm up for the gym battle. Yeah, except Staravia almost killed us, Obama. What the hell has Barry given this thing? Probably a bunch of steroids. Don't worry, Donald, I got this battle. Slash here will take Staravia out easy peasy, but my main concern is the grottle. Oh, nice. We are learning Dragon Claw, Joe. Just get rid of Dragon Rage since we won't need it anymore. And this reminds me someone in our comments who mentioned there is a TM for Earthquake on one of the routes we passed, so we should definitely teach that to Garchomp. I'm pretty sure it will learn Earthquake through leveling up Obama, so we don't need to teach that right now and could save it for one of our other Pokemon. Nice, we outsped that pony to Joe good stuff. Boys, I am having a lot of conflict about something and would like to ask you both for your opinion on this matter. Sure, buddy, what's troubling you? Well, we have had a pretty big split on whether or not to use Lucario on our team. Obama and some viewers really want us to, and some don't. So how should we solve this? Because I agree with both of them in that Lucario is really, really good, but it's also overused so much. So what do we do? Oh, I thought you wanted to talk about your feelings, Donald, with regards to your impeachment and how the world basically sees you like a fucking idiot, El Mao. But this conversation is just as good. Joe, shut your goddamn mouth, bro. You don't get a say anymore on whether or not we use Lucario or not, because you didn't even ask me what was up like Obama did. Guys, Bruce Wayne just beat Barry, which is great. He's able to do shit now. Yeah, which means the gym battle will be a walk in the park, too. And, Donald, I have a suggestion to your predicament. Go on, then, Joe. Enlighten me. We just ask our viewers on who wants us to use Lucario or not. And whichever one gets the most likes will be the winner. So that should be easy. Fine, Joe. Let's do it like that. But if you ask me, I say we just use it because why the hell not? 
It's a really good Pokemon, and we couldn't get Spirit Tomb in the end, so we can swap it for Lucario. All right, boys, I got to crash your wake. And those trainers in here are all assholes, especially that guy with that Azumarill. But anyway, boys, let's do this. Okay, Joe, it's Gyarados, which we used in our Heart Gold playthrough, so you should know what to do here. And his Pokemon are slightly stronger than us, but we have faith in you, Joe. Well, I do anyway. Yeah, and I have I don't no know faith after Joe brought out a fire type in a water type gym, the stupid gimp. I forgot I had Hound Doom out, Donald, so shut your damn mouth. Joe, you idiot, you literally had Hound Doom following you, so don't give me that shit. Instead, just focus on the battle, and yeah, good, at least you set up a sandstorm. I can just spam slash here again, Donald, so why don't you be more like Obama and have some faith in me? Bringing out that fire type was a calculated strategy on my part, too, you know? No, I don't know, Joe, because you just got Gabbite killed and we are still on his first Pokemon, so I have zero confidence in you, bro. He's dead now, Donald, but now it's his worst Pokemon Floatzel, so be ready for this one, Joe. Oh, this idiot has a berry on him. What a cheekskate. And why didn't we use one of these on our team, boys? He's so cute and has an armband going around his neck. Joe, why would we use this water type when we have Printplup with us? Holy hell, this guy is so strong, LMAO Joe. You gotta use those revives, buddy, and heal some of our team up. Or just let Bruce Wayne die. Okay, Joe, what is this strategy of yours? Just full kamikaze is what it feels like to me. Well, he took out Floatzel with Printplup somehow, Donald, and now it's his final Pokemon, Quagsire Joe, and I don't really have much to say about this one. Okay, I used a Hyper Potion, boys, and since we won't take much damage to his Water Pulse, I am fairly confident we have this in the bag now. Wow, Bubble Beam is doing so much damage. That's interesting, Obama, isn't it? All right, I woke up our Printplup, boys, so now I'm going to spam Bubble Beam, and I think we should teach some stat moves too, guys, especially for the Elite Four. Joe, don't even think about the Elite Four yet when you are already struggling with the fifth gym badge, you moron. Yay, I beat him though, Obama, so you should be proud of me for that at least. And now we have to stop those bomb people or something. I can't remember actually. Yeah, but I wanna see what TM we get from Wake First, boys. All right, Joe, good stuff. We got the Fen badge and wow, he gave us TM 55, which is brine, but we just taught that move to Printplup, so that was pretty useless. Yeah, and now Barry is here raving about Team Galactic and what I find funny, boys, is that out of all the gym leaders in Sinnoh, Crasher Wake is the only one to get involved with Team Galactic. The others just don't care. I agree, Joe, and I love that moment in Pokemon Black and White when all the gym leaders came to End's Castle and battle all those sages. That was such a cool moment in the series. That was one of my favorite moments too, Donald. But anyway, boys, let's end this episode here. And in the next one, we will be chasing Team Galactic and hopefully heading towards Kanalav City and taking on Byron for our sixth gym badge. So thanks for watching, everyone. And please remember to like and subscribe. Hey, 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 everyone. We're back in Sinnoh because this game is probably our most popular one by far. So we thought we would come back here and take on Byron in this episode. So please remember to like and subscribe. Donald, did I say you could do the intro? Oh, wait, no, I didn't. So stop doing that, you fat pig. Obama, I will do what I want because I am bigger than you. And just because you're sitting on the other side of the couch doesn't mean I can't reach you. Well, guys, today we are taking on Team Galactic again, it seems, and they have planted a bomb in the Safari Zone, which to me is the perfect situation for SEAL Team 6. This is literal terrorism occurring in Sinnoh now. Don't worry, Joe, we don't need a team of highly trained soldiers to defeat Team Galactic. We have a 10-year-old boy with a team of Pokemon to save the day here. Yeah, that bit of Pokemon never made sense to me, boys, but this particular Team Galactic Grunt has to be my favorite because he refuses to battle us and keeps talking to himself and running away and I always found it quite funny. I talk to myself too, Obama, but some people say that's the first sign of madness, but I find it relaxing and quite therapeutic. Yeah, well, you're a demented idiot, so that makes a lot of sense, but anyway, battle this guy now and he only has one Pokemon too. Yep, I second that Obama LMAO and this guy is four levels higher than us too. What the hell? Well, our Houndoom has still got the shittiest moves, and I am waiting till we actually learn a fire move like Flamethrower Boys. This is ridiculous. Well, I beat him, Obama. And look, Cynthia is here too. She must know how strong I am and just came to see what the competition is like and probably beg on her knees for me to go easy on her LMFAO. No, Joe. She just wants you to be an errand boy and save some Psyduck LMAO because she knows that's all you're good for. Also, boys, I would like to have a discussion with you about something. All right, Joe, looks like we have podcast time with Donald now. So what's the topic of conversation today, bro? Well, Obama, it's about the final Pokemon for our team. And if you remember in the last episode, we asked our viewers whether or not we should use Lucario. And basically everyone said a big fat no to that, which makes me happy. 
because I didn't want to use it anyway. Wait a fucking minute, Donald, did I just see that right? Um, sorry, Obama. What? I'm not sure what you mean. OMG, Donald. I can't believe you did that. You changed the name of Gab Bite to Fuck You Joe. <laughs> you said it, Joe. Looks like I have the last laugh. Donald, why would you do that, first of all, to our poor Pokemon? And second of all, this was all our viewers' idea. So blame them instead of Joe. I already don't like them anymore, Obama, but I still blame Joe because he was the moron who took whoever's advice that Donald, was to Donald, you go piece of shit. Why can't you just let go place? and admit when you lose something? That was a fair fight and you lost, so go back and change the name to Pansy again on our gab bite right now. Joe, don't interrupt me again, you deranged ghost. I will perform seance on you and banish you to the spirit realm where you belong because what you did was not fair. You had help from our viewers because you are too stupid to come up with any ideas yourself. Donald, all I did was delegate, which is what good leaders do, but I wouldn't expect you to understand what that means because all you do is tell people to drink bleach. All right, simmer down, boys, that's enough. Donald, you have made your point, so after this episode, you will go back and change the name of Gab Bite to Pansy again and apologize to Joe, too. Oh, yeah, I'll say sorry. I am so sorry that Joe is a brain-dead, useless piece of shit who can't come up with any ideas himself, unlike me. And by the way, Joe, that whole bleach situation came from my own mind. I didn't need to ask people what to do in that situation, did I? Yeah, that's the fucking problem, Donald. Things in your fat head. But anyway, can we please bring it back to Pokemon now? And I hope you haven't changed any other Pokemon either. Um, actually, I did change the name of our preen pup too, like I said I would, because Pingu was a boy penguin and ours is a girl. Oh God, what ridiculous name did you change it to, Donald? It better not be another slur against me or something. Nope, don't worry, Joe. I named our preen pup Stormy, so I always remember the best night I ever had. Jesus Christ, Donald, we are absolutely not keeping that name for our Pokemon. You will go back later and change both those names, and in fact, let's ask our viewers to name them for us, otherwise this will never end. So dear viewers, please save my sanity and give us names for our print plup and gab bite that are PG-13 at the most. Yeah, well if our viewers take Joe's side again, Obama, I'm changing gab bite's name back to what it is now, so there. And also, we have been requested a bunch of times to use an Obama's no as our last Pokemon, which I am absolutely down for because I love that giant cuddly Yeti. Oh, Donald, something we both agree on. I love Obama's no too. He's so cute. And also, he has a mega evolution as well. But sadly, we can't use that in this game, but I am so down for using one too. Look, boys, Cynthia's grandmother told us to check these ruins out, and they were probably built when Joe was a teenager, LMAO. But anyway, these ruins depict Azelf, Mesprit, and Uxi, and either Dialga or Palkia in the middle, I think. Actually, Obama, it would make more sense if that was Arceus in the middle, because he created the universe. And in the Arceus Chronicles anime, he is with the three late guardians. So I believe that to be Arceus, and not Dialga or Palkia. All right, Donald, that's a pretty good interpretation of it, too, and it does make sense, so I could agree with that. And Joe Cyrus is here now, and he's going to battle us, so be ready for it. He's quite tough. Don't worry, Obama, I got this. We did some training off screen and got our team all roughly to the same level, so we should be good to go here. OMG, Joe, you sack of crap, why did you bring a dragon type out with Sneasel? Well, Garchomp is going to be our strongest member of the team, so I thought if I use him we will win, and you both didn't tell me what Pokemon to expect either. So how is his death my fault now, Donald? Joe, you had the chance to switch, but you didn't do that, so it is your fault. Just because it will be our strongest member doesn't mean it can't still die. And in this game, Dragon has only two weaknesses, and out of all the Pokemon to battle it against you, choose Sneasel. Okay, well I apologize, Donald, you're right. I should have switched. But don't worry, I will still win this battle. Apology accepted, Joe, and I am also sorry for changing the name of Gab Bite, and I promise I won't be petty again, and now we are even anyway. So, let's be friends again, okay? Sure, Donald. Although I am not sure I trust you completely, but... Anyway, something we forgot to mention was we gave our Gligar a Razor Fang, but I think it only evolves at night, so maybe in the next episode we can make that happen, and we also taught it Swords Dance, too, which is an awesome move. All right, boys, I taught the HM for Surf to Stormy. Oh, I can't believe I called it that. I mean, I taught Surf to Prinplup. And now we are in Kainalave City, where we have the gym battle to do, and a rival battle. Also, boys, since we are here, we could do the Dark Rye event. And what do you think about using it on our team? 
Well, after catching Obama snow, we will have a full party Obama, and I have a feeling our viewers wouldn't want us to use dark rye because it's a legendary, but if some people do, then we could swap it out for hound doom. So let us know about that. Personally, dark rye is one of my all-time favorites. All right, Joe, it's time for a battle with Barry, and I am not opposed to using dark rye either, by the way, but let's see what everyone else thinks. Well, I will set up a sandstorm here, Donald, and take down his whole team with our gab bite. And then I plan to use Printplup for beating Byron because the guy has more rock types than steel. And so do all the trainers in the gym. That's probably the first strategy you've come up with, Joe, that I will get behind, but you better not just use gab bite for everything now. I would prefer our whole team to be roughly the same level by the time we reach Cynthia. Yeah, good plan, Joe. And in the next episode, we will head to Snowpoint City, too, and find an Obama snow, and we can catch Reggie Jagus, too. Um, actually, Donald, we can't catch the big boy Reggie because we need Reggie Rock, Regis, and Registeel from Hoenn, and we won't be able to trade on this ROM hack. Oh, look, boys. Barry has a Heracross, and this reminds me of the one we had in our Heart Gold playthrough till Donald decided to ditch it for ho -Oh for some reason. Joe, obviously you can't remember why I used ho -Oh, but it was because I felt it didn't get enough screen time in the anime compared to every other legendary. Even Arceus got so much screen time, but then again, he is God, so it makes sense. And once again, Joe brought out the wrong type of Pokemon and got our Houndoom killed by an Aqua Jet. Joe, you seriously gotta start reading which Pokemon is on the field instead of blindly attacking like you always do. Joe, that's twice you've done that now, bro. Seriously, stop it. Obama is right. You need to read which Pokemon is out and deal with it as needed. Or you just forget what type matchup is strong against what. So that would make sense to me. I just want this battle to end, boys, but look, I used Swords Dance and took out Floatzel with it. I love Swords Dance so much. Yeah, but now Bruce Wayne is gonna die too. Joe, so you can take out Torterra with Crobat since it has Air Cutter. And by the way, guys, when will Crobat learn some decent moves seriously? I think we should go on a TM hunt off screen and buy some too and teach Sludge Bomb or something to it. Yeah, we seriously need better moves, Donald, I agree, but we can do that later. Now we should take on Byron, and I always found him to be one of the easier gym battles in Sinnoh, and Fantina, I think, is considered one of the most difficult. Hey, after this first battle, guys, I think our print plup will finally evolve into an Empoleon, and I'm so excited for that. Although, have you seen its shiny form? It's so shit, I wish they made it all black or something. Wow, Joe, you one-shot that Steelix Elmau. This gym is basically full of them, and when print plup evolves now, we will be even stronger. Joe, don't bother teaching Aqua Jet since our special attack is higher than our attack, and anyway, we have Surf and Bubble Beam, so those moves will lead us to victory here. All right, I cut all the trainer battles out because they were so easy and nothing interesting happened. Plus, I am editing tonight, boys, apparently, and I take ages, so let's just take on Byron now. Yeah, so Joe, just spam Surf, this gym will be so easy for us. I almost wanted to use Byron's last Pokemon, Bastiodon, on our team, guys. It's such a unique and cool-looking Pokemon. Maybe in our next playthrough, we should use more fossil Pokemon. Yeah, but all it does here, Obama is set up iron defense, so Surf will still take it out really easily. But the best thing about this gym is we will get the TM for Flash Cannon, which we can teach to Empoleon. Awesome, boys. We got our sixth gym badge, and now we only have two left. I hope our Houndoom will learn Flamethrower by the time we reach Snowpoint City, though. All right, well, everyone, I say we end this episode here, so thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe and check out the playlists below if you would like to see our other content. And we are working on the next Super Mario Galaxy video too, but it's taking a while as editing those takes much longer than Pokemon does, so please be patient with us. Hey, hey, everyone, we are back in Sinnoh and starting right off the bat in the Pokemart because we are about to get the member card from this green guy. That's right, everyone, and we are probably going to be playing Platinum for the next few episodes, mainly because we are so close to finishing the game now. So we thought you would all enjoy us playing more of this wonderful game. And also, I am quite angry with one of our viewers, too, so this is the perfect chance for me to rip into them. Yeah, but before that, Donald, in the last episode, we got so many suggestions for new names for our Gab Bite and Empoleon, and we just want to thank you for them all, but we have decided to pick two we like the most. Yeah, this was a unanimous decision between us three as well, so we hope you like the new suggestions, and the first Pokemon we are renaming is Gabbite, and his new name will now forever be F-22, after the best jet plane ever. And basically, we need some sort of military aspect to this, and it will suit Garchomp perfectly. Yeah, we really like the name F-22, since Garchomp looks like a jet plane. And the next name we chose is one similar to what Empoleon was originally called, so we have decided with Pinga. 
Pinga was Pinga's little sister if you guys ever watched that show. So thanks to it, PFT, for that suggestion. And thanks to it, Yoshi Gaming 5632 for the F22 suggestion. Okay, but now I am really pissed off with at CookieCow3900 for saying the nicknames we gave our Pokemon are, and I quote, very bad. So how are we feeling about this? Well, Donald, I still have some nuclear codes lying around my office, and hopefully the FBI didn't confiscate yours when they raided your homes. And as Joe is currently still president, we have three sets of nuclear codes in total. Um, Obama, are you suggesting what I think you are? You know, I would like to think we have all matured since our younger days, and I don't think nuking our viewers is considered very mature. Hey, I was only kidding, Joe. You know I love all our viewers. Yeah, and I wouldn't take that comment as an insult from someone who calls themselves Cookie Cow. But anyway, we love you, Cookie Cow, and also, please share some cookies with me if you have any. Okay, we also asked you all in the last episode if you wanted to see us use Darkrai. And the issue is we need the national decks to use it. And by that point, everything in the game would be finished story-wise. So we sadly won't be able to use it. Yeah, however, we can get the Azure Flute, so if you all don't mind us using God on our team, then we can do that, and if you all say no, then I may ignore you all, because I love Arceus, and he reminds me of myself. Donald, actually. if you finish that sentence by saying, Arceus reminds you of yourself, then you can fuck off, and we won't use it. You fuck off, Joe. At least I had an idea from my own mind and acted upon it. Meanwhile, by the time your mind has come up with a thought, you've already forgotten it when it reaches your mouth. LMFAO, Donald. That was pretty funny, but anyway, boys, we need to head to the library now and listen to Professor Rowan's pointless lecture on Pokemon Evolution, but we get a cool new animation of our Pokemon walking around, checking out books again. What a nerd our Empoleon likes books LMAO. He would so get bullied by me if this was high school. Joe, if you ever bully our Empoleon, I will drop kick you into the sun. Don't you dare ever bully our Pinga. And by the way, you also wanted to choose it as our starter too, so shut your fucking mouth. All right, sorry, Donald, I was just a bit salty because of what you did in the last episode, but it is cute how our Empoleon just walks off whilst we are all sitting here. It makes the game feel way more realistic and provides more atmosphere, too. Oh, check it, Joe, another bomb has gone off. Time for SEAL Team 6. Oh, holy shit, Obama, I have them in the SAS on speed dial, so I will send them anywhere you want. What doesn't make sense to me is how did we hear any of those bombs go off when we are so far away from any of the lakes? Lake Verity is the closest to us, but it's still quite far. And Lake Valor is the furthest away, being on the other side of Sino. Well, in the anime, Ash was there at the lake, so he saw it all happen. But you're right, Donald, this makes no sense. But anyway, Joe, you need to head to Lake Valor and see what's going on over there. Sure thing, Obama. But boys, I am still very upset about not being able to catch Darkrai for our team. I really like it. Um, Donald is there anyway. You might be able to get it for us. Why don't you talk to your BFF, Vladimir Putin, and see if he can hack the game for us and give us a dark ride? Um, I can do it myself, Joe, but we shall see how much time I have because I have more papers to burn before the FBI finds them, LMFAO. But Joe, in this episode, we will be able to catch a Snover, so that will make you happy. Oh, hell yeah, Donald, and remember the name we both came up with together for it last night. You <laughs> two better not be naming it with what I think it will be because that's just not funny at all. Obama, it will be hilarious, but before that, Joe, we have an admin battle again. And this time it's with this Cyrus wannabe admin who calls himself Commander Mars. Oh, I am so ready for this battle, Donald, don't worry. But before we reach Candace, I think we should do some training in the snow routes up north and get everyone to at least level 40-ish. What do you two both think? Obama, I can just see Joe being a moron and bringing out our gab bite when he battles Candace, causing us to lose the battle. I was thinking the same thing too, Donald, but didn't want to say anything in case he didn't do that. But you went and said it now, so Joe, don't be an idiot and use gab bite in that gym, please. You two have zero faith in me and it does hurt my feelings, you know. And since I'm so old now, I have a weak heart, so you have to be careful with what you say around me now. You think we give a shit, Joe? In the last episode, you got two of our Pokemon killed because you messed the type matchings up, so my concern is them more than you. Yeah, Donald is right, Joe. A trainer should always put their Pokemon before themselves, and we put them before you too, LML. Guys, we could have used a Bronzong on our team too. I think it's a really underused Pokemon, and the shiny form in the all green color is super sleek. I really like it. Yeah, but if we get Darkrai, we won't need it, Donald, since I'm pretty sure it can learn Psychic, which is the only reason why I would use Bronzong, because other than that, it looks so shit, LML. 
Joe, you look worse than it does, and Bronzong is not bad at all. I really like it and think it's a very unique Pokemon. Talking of unique Pokemon, boys, some of our viewers suggested we use a Gal Aid, which I am completely down for using, but could someone let us know how to get one and where to find a Ralts and Dawnstone? Donald, instead of asking them, why don't you Google it, you lazy pig? It would be so much quicker, too. Well, Obama, if our viewers want us to use it, then they can tell me how to find it because I haven't got time for that shit. That's not nice, Donald. I am president and very busy, but I still have time to call all the youngsters on Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver and see if they miss me. <laughs> First of all, Joe, I thought that save file got corrupted, and second of all, I am impressed. It took you almost seven minutes this episode to say anything creepy. So I guess we could say you're making progress. It's called prioritizing Obama, and now look, boys, we have two double battles to do, and I hate this part of the game. Yeah, we cut to the Commander Mars battle because those double battles took so long, but Joe, you should be okay with this battle, I hope, anyway. All these commanders have basically the same team, but then they have their signature Pokemon being Purr Ugly, Toxicroak, and Skuntank. Yeah, but they are basic Pokemon Donald and nothing too threatening for us except maybe Joe L. Mao. All right, that battle wasn't that fun to comment on, but anyway, well done for beating her, Joe, and now we can make our way to Snowpoint City and catch a Snover. Snover is so cute, boys. I love him so much. He reminds me of a character from Totoro or something like that. I know what you're going to name it as well, you two, and I do not approve of it. I also saw someone's comment yesterday, too. Hey, come on, Obama. It's the perfect name, and it just fits so well, El Mayo, and it isn't like a mean name that we would give Joe. Yeah, if any of you haven't caught on with what we are talking about, then basically, we are naming our Snover Obama Snow El Mao. Yeah, it's like whoever came up with this name knew this moment would happen one day, Obama, and the day has finally arrived. So I hope that person is very happy with themselves. LMFAO. All right, guys, I made it through probably the worst route in Sinnoh. I hate the snow so much. But we made it to Snowpoint City, and I'm gonna head straight for the gym now, too. Yeah, with our Houndoom, I think this should be easy. And we also taught it Rock Smash as well to get some fighting types in there as well as fire. But we still haven't learned Flamethrower, which is so annoying. Hey, do you guys think that the gyms all have to be done in a set order? Or can it be done in any order depending on where you are? Well, Obama, I think in the anime you can take on any gym you want. But in the games they make it so that you have to follow the set order in which they made it. That's true until Scarlet and Violet Donald, but we already talked about that trash. And anyway, I think I have this gym puzzle down. And by the way, this gym puzzle is one of my favorites too. Well, she has a team of four, Joe, so let's see what you do here, buddy. I am quite confident in our team. Donald and her team hasn't really given me trouble before, so I will conquer. Oh, it's Sneasel again, Joe. Don't mess this up like you did last time. And I think I'm right in saying Candace has the most amount of Pokemon among all the gym leaders in Sinnoh, doesn't she, boys? Yeah, I think you're right, Obama and Joe. We are so gonna die here. This is a battle of two fast Pokemon, but I think Sneasel is faster than us, LMO. Donald, I just beat Sneasel, see you idiot. Your lack of faith in me is disturbing, and by the way, her next Pokemon Frostlass is one I completely forgot to ask you both if we could use, but it's too late now, I think. Actually, Joe, I would have said yes, but we have Obama's now now, which is just as good, but maybe if we play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond one day, we could use Frostlass. And talking of new games after this, we have had a bunch of requests to play Pokemon X, so that's probably what we will do. Obama, I told you Joe would be a massive idiot and bring out Gab Bite in this gym, and now look, he's dead and won't get any experience, and we will lose Joe, you moronic piece of crap. Yep, and there goes Bruce Wayne too. Joe, why are you doing this seriously? Do you purposely act like an idiot, or is this just your nature? Look guys, I thought Gab Bite can jump in the battle to get some experience, and then I plan to switch it out, and also the same with Gligar too, and he still hasn't evolved. So I wanted to try get him to do that, but instead she took them both out. Joe, once again, you brought out Pokemon we have that are super weak to our opponents. So of course they would get taken out, you donkey. Seriously, I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm by the end of this series with you. Oh no, please don't have one of those Donald. I promise not to do it again. And look, I just beat Candace anyway. I forgot we had flash cannon on Empoleon, which would have made our life so much easier. Oh wait, I actually forgot we had that move too, LMAO, but anyway, well done, Joe. We only need one more badge before we can take on the Pokemon League. So what do you both say? We end this episode here, boys? Yeah, good idea, Obama and I have so much to edit today. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And in the next episode, we will head to Veilstone City and take on Team Galactic. 
and do all the spear pillar stuff. So please remember to like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the channel too. Hey everyone and welcome back to Platinum. Today we aim to reach spear pillar and hopefully the distortion world too. So we hope you enjoy the video and please remember Donald, to like and subscribe Donald, will you stop doing the too. intros? That's my thing, you selfish piece of shit. That is Obama's thing, Donald. He's the leader of us, remember? But anyway, yeah, welcome everyone. And we have some announcements. First off, we evolved our Snover to Obama's No off screen since we did some training with it yesterday. And also we have decided that Sundays will probably be our rest day with uploads since I need my naps. That's not why we are taking Sundays off, Joe, but we felt we could use Sundays to focus on more recordings. So we have more time in the week for editing. So we hope you all don't mind that, but that's basically the major announcements. And also we've decided to get rid of Gligar because that dumb bat just won't evolve. And we have decided to use Galati instead since it's way more OP. Yeah, we had some lovely viewers comment in our last video, which you should all go check out by the way. But a viewer told us where to find a Ralts or Curlia as well as a Dawnstone. So in this episode, we will try catch one and evolve it to Gal Aid and take on Team Galactic with it. Yeah, it's been a while since I used one, but I am really looking forward to the last member to join our team boys before we take on Volkner. Oh yeah, and in the last episode we asked you guys, and by we, I mean Donald, asked everyone if he could use Arceus, and that was a resounding no, so Donald, sorry buddy, but you can't use God on our team. We will see about that, Joe, because it's my game, not theirs. So there, and I am just better than everyone, so I deserve to use Arceus. Actually, Donald, you don't deserve to, but anyway, boys, we are currently storming Team Galactic's headquarters, and at the top, Joe, there will be two quite tough battles, so I hope you're ready for them. I definitely am, Obama, and I just found the Galactic Key, which we will need to enter Cyrus's room. I know my way around this place like I do the White House bedrooms, LMAO. Joe, I can see you using the IGN guide again on YouTube, you fucking moron. You could just ask me or Donald, too, you know, since we know our way around here, too. Let him use it, Obama, otherwise we will be here forever. And I hate this place, so I want to get through it as fast as possible, especially with Joe playing. Oh look, Obama, Cyrus is giving a speech like how Donald used to during the campaign's LMAO spreading corrupt and brainwashing messages to people. Yeah, but only if Giratina would come out of his portal and take Donald with him to the distortion world, Joe. Okay, that's just mean, Obama, why would you say something like that to me? I would be all alone in there and have nothing to do. Well, Donald, you seem to think the planet revolves around you. So if you went to the distortion world, you could literally have your own universe and be friends with Giratina, although I would feel sorry for him. No, Obama, I would actually ask Arceus to create my own universe and have everyone in it obey me and build statues of me and paintings and museums, which have all my personal items in it, so people can go and imagine they are in my presence. Well, then they should also have a prison of all the felonies you have too since those are also considered personal Donald LMFAO. Joe, you can't fucking talk because the museum of Joe Biden would be full of your favorite youngsters. Can we get back to the game, boys? Because Joe is about to take on Cyrus again and this battle could be quite difficult if not played out correctly, Joe. Well, our Obamas now will slay here Obama and plus it can set up a hailstorm against his Pokemon, so I will clutch this. What's funny is Cyrus only has three Pokemon here, but when we battle him again in the distortion world, he suddenly has more. So where does he get the others from? He probably steals them off someone, Donald. I don't know, but our Obama Snow really needs better moves, boys. Woodhammer is a shit move that does more damage to us than the opponent. So what's the point of that? Well, Joe, you're using it against the wrong Pokemon to begin with. It would be really useful against, say, Cynthia's Melodic, but I agree, he does need better moves. We need and ice he just fucking him, died, Obama. Sad. So yeah, Obama Snow is a piece of shit right now, boys. I swear his defense is just basically zero. His special attack is super high though, Donald, but yeah, it did feel that he didn't last very long. I bet that's what Jill says about you every night, Joe LMFAO, but anyway, you are doing quite bad in this battle, if I do say. Yeah, but Cyrus's Crobat is not as good as ours. Obama, you are only saying that because our one is shiny, and more so because you decided to name it after yourself, so that's just a biased opinion. Well, Donald, that's something you should know a lot about. But anyway, there goes our Houndoom, and I just want to say that Houndoom has basically become our HM slave at this point, since we can't think of another fire type to get in the game, and it can learn a lot of HM moves too. So yeah. Oh yeah, and I accidentally taught Bruce Wayne Sludge Bomb instead of Crobat Boys. Joe, I was literally about to ask why you did that, you idiot. 
Crobat has basically no good moves and it's almost level 50 and the only good poison move we finally get for it and you go teach that to a Pokemon we are getting rid of. Donald, there are two damn bats in our party and they're both the same color. So I got confused and taught Sludge Bomb to Gligar by mistake. It was an accident, Donald, sorry. Joe, an accident is forgetting to hold the door open for someone. But what you did may basically cost us the rest of the game now because Crobat was going to be our saving grace. And now it's all ruined thanks to you. We may as well catch a Bidoof and replace it with Crobat because of how messed up you made everything now. OMG Joe, you got so lucky there. Cyrus's Crobat took our one out and we got so lucky it was still hit by the hail. I was gonna flip out there, Joe, for a second if that battle had carried on with my Crobat dying from that basic bitch, one holy hell, but Donald is right, you got so lucky. Well, our Obamas now actually saved me there from getting ripped into by you two. So whoever suggested Obamas now, I love you so much, and you will be awarded the highest honor a president can give. And we just got the Master Ball too, Joe. So who should we use it on, boys? It's a 100% catch, so we could use it on anything. Well, Obama, I want to use it on Arceus, but you and Joe and all of our viewers will be against that for some reason, which I don't understand why. But if not Arceus, then I couldn't care less on what we use it on. Yeah, Donald, we are absolutely not letting you use it on Arceus, but I was thinking we could use it on our new Gal Aid boys, since there is basically nothing left to catch in this game after Giratina. Wow, Ice Shard just one shot, that Golbat, nice Joe. And by the way, there are actually quite a few legendaries we could use the Master Ball on, and I'm not letting you waste it on a Curlia or Ralts. That's just so stupid, Joe. Hey, I forgot in this game we can also catch Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres too. Boy, so we could use it on one of them, if not Arceus. Donald, unless you have Dementia 2 and have forgotten how to count, then you'd remember there is three of those legendary birds, and it's literally in their names, and we only have one Master That's Ball. That's why I said we use it on one of them. Obama, you moron. I think using it on any of them is pointless, Donald, because we could just teach Mean Look to Crobat, and then they won't be able to escape, so we could spam Ultra Balls at that point. And I would prefer using it on Cresselia or Heatran. Guys want to know something story-breaking about this whole part of the game? Joe, literally no one cares about what you have to say. Well, I bet some of our viewers will, so I will tell you both anyway. In this part of the game, if Commander Saturn didn't let us release the three Lake Guardians, then they would have succeeded in their plan because those three help us beat Cyrus. Actually, Joe, that's not true because Giratina would have still kidnapped Cyrus and anyway, when we beat him in the distortion world, he just walks off somewhere never to be seen again. So I think they did actually win. Well, Cyrus did anyway. Check it, boys. I found the Ralts we need and it will evolve in one level too. So here goes the Master Ball, El Mao. OMG, Joe, you fossilized caveman. Why would you do that? Joe, you dumbass, why would you waste the Master Ball on a damn Ralts when we could have used it on Gyratina, you fucking shithead? And what the hell are you naming it? If you both calm down for like 10 seconds, I will explain. I caught it in the Master Ball to save us arguing later for three hours about which Pokemon to use it on, so I thought we should just use it now. And secondly, I nicknamed our Ralts Stickman, because Gal Aid reminds me of a Stickman. Well, Joe, you can go train it up now and evolve it too, because I am so pissed off. First you say no to using it on Arceus, and then you go pull this shit. Yeah, Joe, you are so stupid. Seriously, I'm losing brain cells every minute I'm around you now. They just die as soon as I see you at this point. He does this to make us upset, Obama. There is no other reason, because there is no way anyone on Earth is this brain dead. Well, look, boys, I got it to a gal aid now, so you two can either keep sulking or play the game with me. Whatever, Joe, and we just made a cut here for the sake of time. But nothing really exciting happened on our way up to Spear Pillar. And I am editing tonight, too. And have to get this video up today. So I don't want you two complaining. God, he's so lazy, isn't he, Joe LML? But that's fine, Obama. And anyway, this is our last battle with these two bitches with Barry. So let's destroy them, Obama. I am glad you're playing this bit, and not Joe either, Elmo. Hey, one of those bronzers set up a reflect, but I'm not sure if that protects both of them or just one of them. Do you two know? I'm pretty sure that reflect would protect both of them, Obama. So now this has made the battle more challenging, and I'm glad I'm not fighting them. I'm so scared now. Yeah, see how crap Hound Doom is, boys? It still hasn't got Flamethrower, which would have been so useful in this battle against these two. I think Barry will be coming in clutch here, Obama helping you out, because he did that with me, I remember. This battle was really annoying when I first played Pokemon Platinum. Oh, and here comes Skuntank now too, Obama. This thing is literally built like a tank. It just doesn't die. 
But that makes me want to ask, what has been your most challenging battle in Pokemon you've come across, boys? Well, I would say Cynthia Joe, but you seem to think she's a walk in the park because you're deluded. I would probably have to agree with Donald and say Cynthia, but if we are talking about Pokemon only, then Ultra Necrozma and Ultra Sun and Moon was pretty hellish to deal with if you didn't expect it and weren't prepared. Oh, that thing was the devil spawn Obama. It was broken as hell, but I bet people stopped complaining at that point saying that Pokemon isn't difficult anymore. LML. What about Volo from Legends Arceus? He was hell to deal with too. Joe, don't talk to me about Arceus anymore, especially whilst we are in Spear Pillar, because I'm still pissed none of you will let me use him. Yep, and that's still not going to change Donald LML, but boys, this battle is so dead, we seriously should have trained a bit more for it. I am literally being carried by Barry. And if this was Joe, I would bully him, but this is just embarrassing now. And Obama Snow died again. It hasn't really done much for us, except that moment its hail helped us beat Cyrus. We should ask our viewers if they remember any battles in the time they've played Pokemon that's given them a really difficult time, like this one is giving Obama right now, LMFAO. Donald, this battle isn't giving me a difficult time. It's just so long and dead, but I like your idea about asking our viewers. I am sure lots will say Cynthia or Red, Hey, those two have nothing on me. Wait till I battle our viewers' boys, then they will see who is the most difficult trainer in the world. It will be President Joe Biden. Yeah, sorry, Joe, there is no way that's happening because when they beat you and you start crying, Donald and I will have to deal with the aftermath and we haven't got the time for that shit. And also, we can't be bothered. Yep, I second that, Obama. Joe, you can go battle your youngsters again so we don't have to deal with you. Well, whilst Cyrus is summoning Pokemon gods, how about we end this episode here, boys? Well, I still want to see Giratina eat Cyrus Obama, so can we wait a bit? Joe, Giratina isn't going to eat Cyrus, first of all, and second of all, I have to edit the damn video today. And the more you keep talking, the more I have to hear your voice in Premiere, and I'm not looking forward to that. I just want to say before we end the episode that Cyrus's little shuffle back when Giratina came out, his portal was super cute, and you guys should go back and watch what I mean. And there goes Cyrus, boys. So thanks for watching, and in the next episode, we will take on Giratina in the distortion world and then make our way to Sunny Shore City and fight Volkner. So please remember to like and subscribe, everyone. Alrighty, everyone, and welcome to the distortion world, probably one of our favorite places in Sinnoh. So today we aim to catch Giratina and battle Volkner, so please remember to like the video and subscribe. Yep, that's right, Obama. We aim to catch Satan as he is basically known. And also, lots of you in our last video wanted us to catch Arceus. But the issue is we need the national decks for that as well. So we will probably battle him for fun after we have beaten the main story. Yeah, we hope you guys don't mind that, but do you two think we should swap one of our Pokemon out for Giratina? I mean, we did kind of do the same in our Heart Gold playthrough and used Ho-Oh, so we could do the same here too. I don't care for Giratina Joe, but let's ask our viewers and see what they think we could replace him with if they want but we could also catch Dialga and Palkia after as well. Remember. All right, Joe here, you gotta push these strength boulders down into the holes and the late guardians will guide you on how to do that too. But in case you fuck it up, we will be here to yell at you. Yeah, my guide said the same thing as you did Obama and it won't yell at me if I make a mistake so I'd prefer you to shut your mouth and let me follow this book instead. We have been playing together for quite a while, Joe, but we still don't have confidence in you yet, but maybe after a few more series, we will LMAO. Whatever Donald and guys, can we talk about how amazing the music is in here? It's like a combination of creepy and so cool at the same time, and it makes my little Biden very excited. OMG Joe, we don't want to hear about your little Biden. So shut the fuck up about that. But I agree, the music is really cool in here for sure. Donald, we live in a free land where I can say and do what I want, so you shut it. Joe, just because you can say and do what you want doesn't mean that you should say and do what you want now. Hurry up with these strength boulders. You're taking way too long, bro. Obama, I always forget this place is like a maze and it feels like I've snorted 10 bags of that cocaine every time I'm in here with all these weird angles and upside down waterfalls and shit. It's really tripping me out. Well, here's the upside down waterfall. Joe and I always thought we needed the TM for waterfall at this point in the game, but turns out we never did, but it's a really cool part of the distortion world. Hey, do you guys remember the distortion world in the anime? It was way better designed than this place. It had weird upside down houses and buildings and low gravity, and I wish they had styled this place to be a bit better looking. They should have consulted Joe when designing this place Obama with all the crack he takes and hallucinations he probably has. He should have been part of their focus Donald, group I haven't LMAO. done acid yet, so I haven't had any hallucinations which I know of or remember to be honest. 
Maybe us three should take a trip to Amsterdam, though. That would be so fun. How about you focus on getting this last strength boulder in the hole, Joe, because we have the final battle with Cyrus coming up now, too. Uh, so you should be thinking about that instead of when you last got high, you dumbass. I don't even know why we had to do all this strength shit anyway. It doesn't make sense. Joe, stop bitching. It's just part of the game. So get ready for your battle now, and please tell us you have a strategy. My strats are 10,000 IQ, Donald, don't worry, and we can use this battle as a warm-up one for Volkner anyway. Oh yeah, boys, we had some viewers comment on our last video saying we should get heart scales and then go to the move learner in Pastoria City so we can learn some new moves for our Pokemon. All right, Joe, let's see these 10,000 IQ strats of yours, and I also saw those comments, Obama, from some very helpful viewers of ours. So thank you for all the helpful comments, and I already went and got billions of heart scales so we can learn some new moves. Oh wow, Donald, I'm actually impressed you weren't being lazy for once. And you did something Hold on helpful there, Obama. for us. Donald, you fucking made me do all of that work last night because you said you would take me out for ice cream if I did. And Joe, I be quiet. forgot about it until you went and brought it up now. Oh, so Donald made you do all the work again, did he, Joe? That's right, Obama, and he's taking all the credit for it now. And on a side note, we are getting destroyed here, boys. Cyrus seriously likes to spam full restores in this battle, Joe. So I say we do the same as him if he wants to play cheap. Oh, I am really good at playing dirty, Obama. So you could leave the rest of this battle to me if you like. And Joe can take on Volkner since he's battled all the other gym leaders up to now. How the hell is his Hound Doom just tanking hits and our Empoleon is getting outsped by it too? This guy is using hacks, I swear. Joe, I think with one more surf, you'll be able to take Hound Doom down quite easily, but I am really wondering how Obama Snow is just dying so much. His health is so bad, Jesus Christ. Well, at least that's Hound Doom down and out Obama, but he's sending Gyarados out now, and our Obama Snow's grass moves are doing nothing to him. I was thinking, boys, we could have got the heart scales before all this because we could have taught Leaf Blade to our Gallade, which would have been so helpful, and Swords Dance as well. What the hell he switched his Pokemon out again, guys? This is getting so annoying now. He has Haunch Crow out, which will kill Obama Snow now, and we have no electric moves to deal with this. Yeah, we are so gonna die again to this Haunch Crow Joe, so where are these strats of yours then? Okay, wow, he just one-shot us with Drill Peck, but don't worry, Obama, I will send you out to sort this goon out. Wow, this is the second time now that Obama Snow's hail has taken out a Pokemon, Joe. You are getting so lucky. And by the way, we absolutely need to teach Blizzard to it because it will be 100% accurate with the Hailstorm. So that will help us a lot with Cynthia's Garchomp. Okay, but this Weavile just took me out with one Ice Punch, boys. Cyrus's team is super strong. Yeah, but we have Flash Cannon Obama, so it will take this Weavile out since it's weak to steel. And then I expect that stupid Gyarados to be sent out next, and it's almost dead anyway. So we have this battle in the bag. He has only two Pokemon left, Joe, including this one. So let's see what you do here. And by the way, did you guys see the trailer for the new Scarlet and Violet DLC? What did you guys think? One sec, Donald. Joe, you sent out Empoleon who's gonna die if Garadus uses Earthquake on us, just FYI, and I like the trailers, Donald. I especially like the fact that we can catch all the starter Pokemon, and that seems to be making lots of people happy, too. Yeah, I just revived Empoleon Obama and made a quick cut here because I was literally getting stalled out on Gyarados and we didn't have time for that shit. But once again, Obama Snow's hail basically saved us here. I never knew how useful that Yeti would be. Nice job there, Joe, and please comment down below and tell us what you think of the new DLC, if you guys are excited for them or what you'd maybe like to see. For me, I wish they would implement a flying mechanic like how we could fly on Latios and Latias in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Wow, Cyrus's Crobat is so much stronger than ours, boys, LMAO, so... Joe, you're gonna need to pop some more Hyper Potions in a minute. And that reminds me, we should teach Confuse Ray to our one as well. At the rate these opponents keep switching out Pokemon Obama, we should teach me and look to Crobat too, so this crap stops happening. All right, one more Flash Cannon should end this shit, boys. And then we can catch Satan, and I bought like 80 Ultra Balls with us, so hopefully that will be enough to get it. All right, good job there, Joe. We beat him for the last time, and then he just runs off, and Cynthia doesn't even try to stop him. And on top of that, why doesn't she battle him? As champion, she should be dealing with this kind of shit, not 10-year-olds. That's right, Obama, the 10-year-olds should just hang out with me. But anyway, look, I am going to fight Giratina now, and he's only level 40, which is weird. He should be at least level 70. Joe, you got to take into account the player being around level 40. 
at this point in the game, so it makes sense that Giratina would also be level 40. And most people, especially simps like you, would use it in the Elite Four. And Giratina is already super strong, so it would be a bit broken if they gave us a level 70 Pokemon before the Elite Four. First of all, Donald Giratina is level 47, not 40, and you can't call Joe a simp when you're an Arceus simp and wanting to use him from the get-go. And boom, caught it, boys, let's go. And I don't really want to use it right now anyway, but maybe before we get to Victory Road, if our viewers want us to use it, then I can take it out of the PC there. Giratina's Pokedex entry said it was banished for its violence and made to watch the old world from the distortion world. So I guess it must have had a fight with Arceus at one point. Yeah, but in the anime, Giratina is really sweet and is needed to balance the world. But in the games, they seem to make him evil for some reason when he's not really. But he is definitely my favorite out of Dialga, Palkia, and himself. Please leave a comment and let us know which of the three is your favorite. Okay, everyone in between meeting Professor Rowan and making our way to Sunny Shore City, we took our viewers' advice and taught our Pokemon a bunch of new moves using the heart scales and also got the TM for Flamethrower for our Houndoom as well as some other moves. So once again, How thanks for the info to help us get moves? better moves. In one sentence, Joe LMFAOO. But anyway, welcome to Sunny Shore City, boys, and this has to be one of my most favorite places in Sinnoh. It's just got such a nice, happy vibe, but that's all ruined because of Volkner's depressing attitude. Yeah, his attitude is super negative, and I don't like all the bad energy he's sending our way, boys. My therapist told me to avoid people like that. Joe, when did you start seeing a therapist again? And you gotta go to the lighthouse too, by the way, because that's where Volkner is, so we have to get him back to the gym. Ever since I realized I would be making videos with Donald for a lot longer than I'd originally thought is when I started booking more appointments with my therapist, Obama. Gotta look after your mental health, you know. Well, Joe, I just find that rude since everyone I have been around says I am like a ray of sunshine and just the best person to be around, so you should cancel your future appointments. No, Joe, ignore him and keep going. And also those binoculars in Kanto used to show us where legendary Pokemon used to be, if I remember correctly. Well, these ones show us the Pokemon League Obama. And if any of our viewers have any suggestions of anything else we should do after we beat them, then please leave a comment. We plan to go to the resort area and try catch the legendaries this time, as well as possibly do the Heat Ran post game, but that isn't very interesting. It would be cool if we could go back to the distortion world and battle Cyrus again or something. Boys, this game's post game has nothing on Heart Gold and Soul Silver. All right, Joe, this is the final gym and apparently the most difficult, but I think with our ground types, you should be fine here. Plus, we use some PP ups on our moves to make them last longer to help Joe out. No pun intended either. LMO. Hey, Obama, I can last a really long time, so shut your mouth, especially with these PP ups. LMO. These jokes write themselves, but anyway, we have a Pachirisu here first, and I used one of these on my first playthrough. How the hell? Did that Pachirisu survive an earthquake and a wood hammer from a bomb of snow? Seriously. No wonder it's a world champion Pokemon. Okay, Joe, those other trainers were easy to deal with, so now it's time for the battle with Volkner. So what's your plan here, buddy? Well, Donald, I am leading off with a bomb of snow since it has earthquake, and we shall see where it goes from there. TBH, I shall play this one by the ear. Okay, but just don't lose him. We have noticed his first Pokemon uses a lot of thunder waves, so we bought some paralyzed heals and hyper potions to help you out. On that topic, Donald, I noticed you have some items which we normally wouldn't be able to get at this point, so would you mind telling us how you did that? Oh, um, oh well. See, Obama Putin came over to my place the other day and said he wanted to have a go and battle some Pokemon trainers, and then he started speaking in Russian, and then like magic, he just disappeared, and I had some items lying around when I checked the game. Maybe I should get a prison cell for the both of you seriously, but anyway, boys, this Jolchen is already pissing me off with its Paralyze, and we are so much slower than it, too. Yeah, and this thing is also surviving earthquakes. Like, they're nothing. So what's going with that? First Pachirisu, and now this thing. I bet all the Pokemon in here have been drugged to hell. Joe, my advice to you is, if Abomasno dies, then use F-22, since he has Dig. And with that, we can also avoid taking damage. And you can also set up a Sandstorm as well to get small chunks of damage on Volkner's team and it will remove the hail too. Oh, what an amazing strat, Donald. That's what I call a 9,000 IQ strat, but not quite one of my 10,000 IQ ones. Yeah, sorry, Joe, but there's no way I am dropping 1,000 IQ points with you. That's just not possible, bro. And he's sending out his Luxray two boys, and I love its shiny form. 
The gold color on it is so classy, and I would so have one if Pokemon were real. Joe, I think you owe Donald an apology because his strat is clutching us in this gym, and I don't even want to know what your idea was, but Electivire is out now, and this was one of the Pokemon we really wanted to use, but because you can't trade, we sadly couldn't use it. What an idiot. Electivire used Quick Attack twice in a row, and we got two digs in and one. If he had used something else like Giga Impact, we probably would have lost Gab Bite and would have struggled a bit. Yay, congrats, boys. We got all eight gym badges of Sinnoh, and next we can head to the Indigo Plateau. Joe, you idiot. That's in Johto and Kanto. In Sinnoh, it's just called the Pokemon League, and we still need the HM for Waterfall anyway before that. And I think we should use a HM Slave for that move, since Empoleon is the only other Pokemon who we could teach it to. All right, well, I say we end this episode here, boys. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I swear I will get that damn Arceus by the end of the series. Otherwise, I will change Melania's name to Jinx. But anyway, please remember to like and subscribe and have a lovely week. Hey, 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 everyone, and welcome to Platinum again. And in this episode, we aim to take on the entirety of the Elite Four and Cynthia Two, depending on time. But we did some training off screen as well and got our entire team to around the mid-level 50s. So we hope you enjoy the video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more. Wugwan peeps, and that's right, Joe. We are making our way through Victory Road, and we'll probably end up cutting most of this place out, since this episode will be full of Pokemon battles against our rival. And as Joe mentioned, the Elite Four. Yep, and we decided to not use any legendaries when we take on the Elite Four, as we have become quite attached to our team. And this is also what some of you suggested in our last video too. And to be honest, our team is pretty strong anyway, and our only difficulty will be with Cynthia. Yeah, and as you can see, we finally got Garchomp to evolve, which was the last Pokemon for us to get to its strongest point. And it will really make dealing with Barry here and the Elite Four much easier to deal with. But I am really nervous about Cynthia, boys. Don't worry, Joe, since this is a more serious episode, we won't wind you up, but we'll support you 100%, and we already bought you a bunch of full restores and max revives and some other items to help you out, too. Yeah, and Barry here can be considered a warm-up for you, Joe, since his team is roughly the same level as the Elite Four. Well, maybe a bit weaker, but that's fine. You got this, bro. Thanks, you two. The moral support will help me a lot, and I won't need to take any crack before I battle the Elite Four and Cynthia El Mao, but... Do you guys think this Elite Four is one of the hardest? Yeah, Joe, this Elite Four is up there as one of the most difficult, I would say, along with the black and white one. But leave a comment down below and tell us your opinions on this topic. Oh, and Joe, we forgot to go get Dark Pulse for Houndoom, so you should probably go do that. Oh, yeah, Joe, we really could use Dark Pulse since Garchomp has Crunch. And when we battle, Lucian having Dark Pulse will make our life so much easier since he has Psychic types. Nah, Obama. I am a real G now, so I won't be wasting time on that shit, and we will take down Lucian with brute strength. And anyway, we have Garchomp, so why waste another move okay, slot on Okay, Joe, Houndoom I will give you pulse. moral support, but we'll absolutely not agree that you're a real G, LMFAO, and if you don't go get Dark Donald, pulse, shut the fuck up. I just beat like Barry Obama without Dark Pulse. I don't care if you beat Barry without Dark Pulse, Joe. He is so much weaker than the Elite Four, and apart from the first battle, we have beaten him every single time anyway. Donald, have some faith in me. People actually had faith in you when they elected you, and you went and fucked everything up, so do the same for me, please, bro. Joe, don't bro me. Thank you very much when this is a much more serious matter than running the country. Beating the Elite Four and Cynthia takes top priority, and I would mark this as a DEF CON 1 event or DEF CON 5. I can't remember which one is the more serious one, but whatever. Okay, enough arguing or whatever it is you're doing, boys. It's now time for the first member of the Elite Four being Aaron Joe. So, good idea using Houndoom first. We should be able to flamethrower our way through his team pretty much. His Drapion is probably the only member of his team that will give us the most difficulty, Joe. But otherwise, his bug types aren't that threatening. Even his Vespikeen is not that bad if we handle it right. Wow, I just took out two of his Pokemon already. That was super easy, boys. I am feeling really confident with this one. Yeah, but something which bothers me about the Elite Four is that I don't think they should stick to one specific type because the gym leaders already do that. And the Elite Four are just basically gym leaders with high-leveled Pokemon. They should have random teams of different Pokemon is what I think. 
All right, Joe, here comes Drapian, so be prepared to die. And I do agree with you, Obama. It would be more fun if the Elite Four had teams full of random types. Even some champions like Lance use pretty much the same type. And that moron has three Dragonites, too. That's why I think Cynthia is so tough, because she doesn't stick to one type. Steven from Hoenn is basically considered a steel type master, and Iris from Unova is a dragon type one. All right, Joe, well done. You beat the first member without too much trouble, and we only lost Houndoom to cross poison, so get him healed up. And then our next member is Bertha, and she uses ground types, so I suggest switching to Empoleon. Wow, if I ever divorce Jill, I will have to see if Bertha is available, boy. She's a solid 10 in my book, LML. Holy shit, Obama, this is the first time Joe has said someone above the age of 18 is a 10 LMFAO. I am very proud of you, Joe. You have grown up finally. Well, I did restart Heart Gold just to get more phone numbers from youngsters, but that's beside the point, boys, and this wish cash is being a pain in the ass. Yeah, I hate Earth Power, Joe, and I couldn't find its TM anywhere earlier. Yeah, Earth Power would have killed us, Joe, if you didn't get that wish cash frozen, so good stuff there. And now look, boys, here's the fucking Pokemon we tried to evolve but couldn't. Actually, Obama, we could have, and lots of our viewers commented that Gliscor only evolved at night, which is when we never played LMAO and TBH. I was getting too lazy to try evolve that. But maybe we could use Gliscor in another game. Yeah, but only if it's a shiny one, Donald, because the normal purple one isn't as cool. And also, you have no idea how confusing it is having two fucking Pokemon of the exact same color. And basically the same species in the party at the same time, especially with my bad eyes. Joe, you were doing really well with this Elite Four, by the way. Bertha was so easy, and Flint is next, too. And he basically has fire types, so we can use Empoleon and Garchomp, since Dig will do a lot of damage. Yeah, but Empoleon is part Steel-type Obama, so won't it do two times damage to us if he hits us with a fire move? How would that work, exactly? I think it might cancel out then, Joe. But I'm not sure. Maybe someone could explain that to us in the comments. Although, since we are steel and water, I am going to say that the fire moves would be either neutral or do two times damage to us. Well, we didn't get a super effective message, Donald, so my guess is that the moves do neutral damage to us, but be careful of Infernape Joe, it has close combat. Too late, Obama. It used Flare Blitz on me, which I think should have kept us with a bit of health remaining, but whatever. Oh yes, boys, here comes the F-22, and with Dig, we will clutch this battle. Just as the F-22 is the most superior plane on the planet, our Garchomp is the most superior Pokemon. Actually, Donald, if you had Arceus with you, then that would be the most superior Pokemon. But, well, you don't, so LMAO, your loss. Oh, if you rub that in his face even more, Obama, then he will have a meltdown. And I'm trying to concentrate here, so please say sorry, or tell him you promise we can get Arceus later. I don't give a shit about what he says, Joe, because I am already going to do the Arceus event when we beat Cynthia, which is why I really can't afford you to lose against her, and why I literally spent what money we had left on healing items for you, too. Yeah, I knew you would overrule my decision anyway, Donald, but everyone, if you made it this far in the video and haven't already, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as we are basically uploading every day and appreciate the support. They should like and sub for me, Obama, because these are the best battles I have ever had. And just hope Cynthia's goes as smoothly as these do. Well, Joe, you beat the third member of the Elite Four, and now it's time to battle the last one, being Lucian and his psychic types. And to be honest, I am not even worried about him. We just have to keep Houndoom and Garchomp alive, and we will beat him easily. Yep, that's why I am switching Garchomp out first, Donald, and we'll probably just use Crunch here, and Crobat could be useful too, actually. We could have taught it a ghost-type move. All right, Joe. He usually sends out Espeon first, which isn't too threatening, although it has Psychic, which could potentially kill Garchomp, so be careful. Nope, it was Mr. Mime first, Obama, but that clown didn't even last five seconds against Joe Biden, LMAO, and now here comes Espeon. See how the hell didn't Espeon die against that crunch when our attack is so high and he is only one level higher than us to begin with? Wow, Joe, you could have got in another crunch because Lucian didn't heal there, but he probably will now, and his psychic attack could take us out in two moves if we don't play this right. Nah, Joe just clutched that one, Donald, but here is Bronzong now. A Pokemon we could have used, and I wanted to actually, but this thing will probably take us out, Joe, so I would switch and use Flamethrower. Yeah, this guy's defense is really high, Obama. Garchomp's moves are really not doing much damage to him. One flamethrower should be enough, Joe. And by the way, Lucian has a Gal Aid too, but I think it's much stronger than our one. But we should totally get them to battle each other. Speak of the devil, here it is. 
Boys, and Lucian only has two Pokemon left, Joe, so well done for getting this far and not losing any Pokemon. We haven't had to use many of our healing items, thankfully. Well, I just lost Houndoom Obama, so you jinxed me there, and this damn Gallade has Drain Punch, which means he will just restore his health all the time, and then if he gets low, he will use a full restore or something, won't he? Using Thunder Wave, there was a good plan, though. Joe, since Gallade is fast, and he could use that reduced speed so we can get some damage in. Wow, he took our one out and has a Citrus Berry on him, too. We should have used a Leftovers or something on our Pokemon boys to help increase our health. Actually, Obama, I gave Empoleon a Mystic Water to help boost its Water-type moves and other items like that for our other ones, but I forgot to get a Dragon Fang for Garchomp, since that would probably help a lot with Cynthia. Wow, I love how Gallade is paralyzed on the turn we use Fly when it can't attack us anyway. That always happens as well as getting a critical hit when the opponent's Pokemon has like one health point left LMAO. Well, Obama, you should be happy because your Crobat took out his Gallade, and all that's left is his Alakazam. And this battle reminds me of Sabrina now. Yeah, well, I still would say Sabrina's Alakazam is worse than Lucian's one. And his is only stronger because it's high leveled. But Sabrina's one was just hell, especially when all it did was use Calm Mind. Well, Donald, this one didn't even use Calm Mind and just took out two of our Pokemon like they were nothing. So I say they are both just the worst to deal with. I would have also revived Empoleon Joe since it's our strongest Pokemon. And you may as well just brute force your way to victory here since it's almost dead anyway. Yeah, at this point, Obama, I'm just going to spam Ice Beam and hope for the best here. LMAO, worst case, we can always revive oh, Garchomp again yeah. and use Crunch Once if nothing again, else Obama works Snow's here. Once again, Obama Snow's hail saved us. Thank God for Obama Snow and the people who suggested him. All right, Joe, all the shit talking you've been giving Cynthia is about to be put to the test. LMAO and guys, we will get a super cool animation here as well. Just watch. Oh, wow, that is so cool that all our Pokemon just leave their balls and come out to support us as we battle Cynthia. The guys who made this ROM hack did amazing work with it with small things like this. Okay, Joe, this is the spirit tomb that we should have caught earlier but couldn't. And somehow Cynthia has one, but this Pokemon doesn't really have any weaknesses. So your best bet is to just brute force it to death and hope for the best. Yeah, I can tell that Cynthia is just going to spam full restores in this battle all the time, but I am feeling quite confident with this battle, boys, as we can also just do the same LMFAO. Oh shit, nice Joe, you got one last Dragon Claw in to take down Spirit Tomb, but Cynthia is sending out her ace now, so be careful because this Pokemon is scary as hell and literally has a move for every Pokemon we could bring out. What the heck, she has Flamethrower on her Garchomp. I was hoping to keep Obama Snow alive so we could take down Garchomp with Blizzard, but so much for that. Yeah, if you actually look at Obama Snow's defense and special defense, you would see that it has the lowest out of any Pokemon I have seen in a while, but it does have really high special attack but I don't consider that a good thing when it just dies in one move so we don't get to utilize its high attack power. This Garchomp literally is going to take out our entire team, Joe. You better have a plan here because you didn't save before Cynthia, which means we will have to battle the entire Elite Four again, and I can't be asked to deal with that. Well, I am actually starting to regret using that Max Revive on Obama Snow because I just realized that it's probably just going to die again. And now I wasted that revive on it. And what's worse is its hail is taking out our Pokemon now, too. Joe, I agree with you 100%. This Obama's no is the worst thing ever. And a traitor to our team. And it must be released when this battle is done because it's killing its teammates. Wow. And there goes our Garchomp again, Joe. How the hell is this thing so strong? Seriously, Cynthia probably has maxed out its IVs or something, I bet. Yeah, I think at this point we just keep swapping out and healing our team up, boys. And... Maybe Crobat could get a poison on Garchomp too, but if Cynthia uses another full restore, I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, Donald, your wish came true. We got the poison on Garchomp, now we have to pray to Arceus. She doesn't use a full restore here, OMG. Joe, you moron, you revived Empoleon only for it to die again to another earthquake, so what was the point of that? Donald, you didn't notice that she didn't use the full restore, so Arceus heard our prayers, and second of all, that Obama's no saved us again with its hail, and took Garchomp out after you were complaining about it and saying you want to release it. Joe, your dementia must be getting worse, buddy. Because I said earlier how much I absolutely love Obama Snow. And if any of you release him, I will slap you so hard, you'll wish your mom kept her legs closed. Donald, don't make Joe second guess himself, otherwise you might end up breaking his already fragile mind. But good idea using this time to revive our team, Joe. And by the way, when Cynthia sends out Melodic, you can use that time to switch to Empoleon, because the only move she will basically use is Surf. 
which won't do anything to our Empoleon. Once again, Obama's no saved us, Donald, and its hail took out another of Cynthia's Pokemon. So you really got to apologize now, because even in death, that Obama snow is taking out her team, LMO. All right, Joe, here is the melodic. So this is the chance for you to revive our team and use any ethers to restore the power points of our Pokemon if they need it. I think if we had a male Empoleon, then this battle would be way more difficult too, actually. All right, Obama, I basically revived the whole team up and made a quick cut since nothing happened for about 10 minutes. But now I think we can start trying to take out this melodic. Um, Joe, this would be the perfect time to switch to Gallade and use Swords Dance and then spam Leaf Blade since that will be super effective. But, you know, take my advice or not. At this point, I don't care. Actually, Donald, I was thinking we switch to a Boma Snow and kill something with it whilst it's alive for once. LMAO and Woodhammer would be the perfect move for this Milotic. Good idea, Joe, and we are sorry if this episode is a bit longer, everyone. We tend to keep our videos under 15 minutes if we can accept the mini-movies, but this episode will probably be a lot longer since we have battled all the Elite Four, and Cynthia herself will take about 300 years anyway, so yeah. Oh, look, it's Tagekis, boys. It's come back to haunt me ever since I released it in our Heart Gold playthrough, but I swear this bitch will be taken down in less than two minutes. I swear! I am not letting a Tagekis get its revenge on Donald J. Trump. See how good it is, Donald, and you went and released our one because you got salty at a viewer, and the fact that Cynthia has one should prove to you now that this thing is amazing and really strong. Big whoop, Joe, it took out two of our Pokemon whilst we have taken out four of Cynthia's, and this Tagekis will be the fifth, just watch. Well, I wasn't going to let it win, was I, Donald, you idiot, but my point is that it's still a really good Pokemon. Even Volo used one in Legends Arceus. Yeah, and they all met the same fucking fate, didn't they, Joe, which was death. So, as far as I'm concerned, Tagekis can stay in its grave forever. And anyway, Cynthia's on her last Pokemon, so we have so won this. Yeah, I never considered her Rose Raid to be much of a threat, and well done, Joe. You're officially stronger than Cynthia, so you can put that on your CV. And I just wanted to say a quick sorry to everyone who commented that we should use Giratina in this battle. Uh, we already had made this video you're watching right now as those comments were coming in, so... We kind of didn't get a chance to use it, but we will in the post-game, so we hope you don't mind that. Um, I have a feeling that Empoleon is going to die to this energy ball, boys, but don't worry, I think it's only fitting we end this battle with the first Pokémon we caught in this series, so I will use our shiny Crobat, Obama. All right, Joe Fly was a good choice there to use, buddy, so let's end this. And that's that, boys, we did it, we beat Cynthia, and are now the champions of Sinnoh 2. Yay! Oh, yay! yay! And now check it, boys. We get even more cool animations of our Pokemon. I love the ending to this ROM hack, and you should all play it. Yeah, this was a really good ROM hack, Obama, but it's a shame the post-game for this game is quite empty. I think we should go catch all the legends, though. Uh, I love this bit where all our Pokemon greet us as they walk to the Hall of Fame, and then our Empoleon is our last member who walks with us all the way. I think I'm going to cry, boys. And look, even Professor Rowan beat the Elite 4-2 boys, but I think he only did since we weakened them up for him. Joe, you moron. He is here just to congratulate us for beating Cynthia. And by the way, do you two maybe know who the champion before Cynthia was? Since Professor Rowan says the last time he was in the Hall of Fame was when she became champion. Well, I was the last champion, Obama, but I let Cynthia win because I am just such a nice person. But anyway, this is the team that got us here, boys. And I think we owe most of our wins to that Yeti. So thank you, Obamas, now. One thing to add here before we end is halfway through Flint's battle. Our recording software stopped working, but we got it working again for the rest of the Elite Four and Cynthia, as you all saw. However, we had to go back and fight him again to fill in the gap in the battle between Garchomp and Flareon, so that's why there is a small discrepancy there. That's right, Donald. And I guess we should end this episode here, boys. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. And we hope you enjoyed this longer episode. And in the next few episodes, we will catch some legendaries and visit the resort area. So please remember to like and subscribe for more. All right, everyone, we are back in our house like in every game after beating the champion and becoming the champion. And in howdy, this episode, howdy, we will battle some legendaries and mythical Pokemon. So please like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Okay, today is the day, boys. We shall be catching Arceus and naming it after me because... You two have ruined every single nickname for me so far in every game we've played, so this time I am getting my way, and you two can fuck off with your opinions and orders too, because I will not let you name Arceus anything but whatever I choose, so there.
All right, Donald, calm down. But before Arceus, I want to go see Darkrai and do that event since we can now, and then we should totally go back to the Elite Four before we end this series with Arceus, Giratina, Dialga, and Palkia, and any other legends we have, and beat them with them LML. That would be pretty funny, Joe. And we could catch Cresselia, too, since it's a Pokemon I haven't used in a very long time, actually. We should ask our viewers to build us a team of legendaries to battle the Elite Four with them for fun. So please leave some comments down below if you want to see that. Well, here's Cresselia Obama, but it flies off, and I really hate these roaming legendaries. They drive me nuts. Yeah, I think Mesprit will do that too, Joe, and we will need to go to Jubilife City and get that map app for our Poketch watch Hey, boys, thingy, I heard from so Joe that them. you all beat Cynthia in Pokemon for fuck's Platinum, sake, Hillary. and I just came to congratulate you all. So well done. Hillary, you can't just randomly appear in our videos on our boys' nights and take over everything like the dictator you wanted to be with our country. Well, Donald, Joe invited me today since we haven't hung out for a while, and I wanted yeah, to see everything you got we up haven't to. Hung out in a while. And he also told me you were going to catch Arceus today, too. Oh, hey, Hillary, you're more than welcome to stay Hi, with Obama. us today and hang out. And we are about to catch Darkrai first, actually, since Donald got some of his Russian buddies to get us a member card and the Azure flute, too. Joe, why do you keep inviting Hillary on random occasions without asking us first? Because unlike you, Donald, I am a kind-hearted soul, full of love and light, and you, on the other hand, are like this dark rye we are about to catch. You are the pitch black person because that's the color of your soul. Hey, don't do dark rye dirty like that, Joe. It's not even a bad Pokemon, and it purposely isolates itself on this island so as to not hurt people. Meanwhile, Donald here does quite the opposite of this, LMAO. All right, see what happens when Hillary plays with us, Obama. She gangs up on me with Joe because he's too much of a pussy to insult me himself and needs her help. And by the way, Joe, the only thing your soul is full of love for is children. None of you are paying attention to the game and noticing that I have already started the battle with Darkrai, and he has already put me to sleep. Darkrai's shiny version is up there as one of the worst, don't you guys think? It would have been so cool if they flipped its color and made it all white except its head and they made that black. I would love Darkrai to look like that as a shiny. Garsham has the worst shiny form in my opinion, Joe. And what about our viewers? Have you asked them that? Okay, I am just gonna stop you right there, Hillary. First of all, they are our viewers, not yours. And second of all, they aren't here with us to ask that question. We usually ask them to leave comments. Donald, what do you take me for? Uh, my IQ is 10,000, while yours is negative 10,000, you goon. Joe, maybe invite Hillary when Donald isn't with us next time, since all they do is fight. But anyway, I'm chucking ultra balls at him now, guys. And he has like a 1.5% catch rate, so we could be here for a while. Great, that means I could be stuck with this fucking bitch for hours and hours. Donald, the only person acting like a bitch is you. Because all you do is bitch when Hillary plays with us, when she's actually really sweet if you get to know her and not like how you Republicans okay. paint her to be. So let's bring it back to Dark Rye Boys. And since this guy is level 50, we could switch Houndoom out with him after we have done everything else in the game since he is our HM slave. Could one of you tell me what a HM slave is? Well, Hillary, I could absolutely tell you what a HM slave is and basically Yeah, no thanks, what it Donald. Is, we is... don't need anything else coming out of your mouth. So why don't you tell us what you like about Dark Rye instead? Well, Obama, I don't care about Darkrai, really. All I want is Arceus, and you all know that. Oh, guys, one thing I would like to comment on is some of our viewers said they would like longer videos, but we feel our videos are already quite long as it is. And editing them already takes hours as well. And some of you may not believe this, but we do have a life outside YouTube, which we have to deal with. And we still upload basically every day, so we will probably keep our video lengths between 10 to 15 minutes. Oh yeah, thanks for that announcement. Joe and I'm impressed you even remembered. But anyway, boys, this fucking dark rye is really pissing me off now. Well, you did say this thing had a really low catch rate, Obama, but this is getting ridiculous, I agree. Well, if someone wasn't a moron and used our only master ball at a fucking Ralts, then maybe we could have caught this thing by now, but sadly, we can't. No thanks to Joe Biden. Wait, you really did that, Joe? The only reason I did, Hillary, was to stop any future fights between us three about who we should use it on. And Donald would obviously have a fit about using it on Arceus. And I think he would look better in a premier ball anyway. Yeah, as much as I love Arceus, Joe, I do not have the patience to try and catch him in a premier ball. Oh, fucking finally, guys, we caught Darkrai. Yay us. Yay! Yay! So are we going to use Darkrai now, guys? Or should we build our team of legends first and catch them all and then see which ones we want to use? Oh, look, you were right. Hillary Darkrai lives on this island, so he doesn't hurt people. How sweet. 
but he must be so lonely. Yeah, well, before RCS created the universe, Obama, he was all alone too, so big deal. Oh, that creepy old man is gone, boys. What if he did stuff to us whilst we slept? Joe, just drop it, and now we have caught our first legendary guy, so next to shut Donald up, we shall head to Spear Pillar and catch Arceus. And if his catch rate was as bad as Dark Rye, then I'm leaving, and you can catch him, Donald. Yeah, I don't care, Obama. I will catch Arceus just so I can name it. And I also went and got all his plates, too, so he will be unstoppable just like me. Guys, what game are you going to be playing next? And please, can I join you? Well, Hillary, we will finish Pokemon White, Omega Ruby and Violet, and also Mario Galaxy 2. But right now, we are mostly focusing on Pokemon, as that's what people like the most. And no, you can't join us, LML. All right, Donald, I am heading to Spear Pillar for you know. And I say we let our viewers vote if they want to see more of you, Hillary. What do you think? Yeah, fine by me, Obama. I'm not a baby like Donald, so won't cry if they don't want me around all LMFAO. All of you shut the fuck up, because this is the moment I have been waiting for all my life. All right, Donald, I hope you're ready. It's now time to battle God, everyone, and he has just been chilling above Spear Pillar all this time and didn't bother to help us when Team Galactic almost blew up the planet, but okay. I think Arceus is the highest level Pokemon we can encounter in the wild, guys, so this should be a tough battle, and his stats are absolutely insane as well. Well, actually, Joe, in the resort area, you can find a level 100 Magikarp with the Super Rod LML. What even is the point of that, Donald? I don't know, Joe. Maybe the devs got bored one day, but I think it's pretty funny regardless. But anyway, time to focus and catch God, guys. And we are so underleveled for this battle. Yeah, he just one-shot us with Hyper Beam, and I feel this pattern is going to be the same throughout this entire battle. Well, I revived Galade to try to get a Thunder Wave on Arceus, but I think he has Refresh, which means he can heal any status condition. Yeah, but he doesn't have his signature move judgment yet, Donald, so that will save us a lot of trouble. Can't you also find a level 80 Deoxys in Pokemon Ruby or something, guys? Yeah, I am pretty sure you can get a level 81 in one of the games, Hillary, but I can't remember which one from. All right, I got the paralysis on Arceus, boys. And now I'm going to spam Ultra Balls and pray to well him that he won't use Refresh because that will just undo all my work. You're going to have to keep him in the yellow, though, Donald, because he will just keep using Recover otherwise. But maybe you could confuse him with Confuse Ray with our Crobat. Okay, good plan, Obama, but that confusion might knock Arceus out, and I forgot to save, which is all your fault, Joe. How is that my fault, Donald? In any way, it didn't give you a chance to save because that cutscene dragged us straight into the fight. Well, this guy is spamming Hyper Beam, guys, which is good because he will have to rest every other turn, but he will kill us in one shot. And I didn't buy any more full restores. Well, this is all Donald's fault for wasting all our Ultra Balls on Arceus when we don't even need it to begin with. Oh, hell yeah, boys, we caught this thing finally. I think naming Arceus Hillary would be the most perfect name for it, don't you think, Joe and Obama? Yeah, no way, Hillary, you are cruising for a bruising by making remarks like that. Sorry, but you need to leave right now. Hang on, guys, why isn't the adamant and lustrous orbs here? We need them both to catch Dialga and Palkia, don't we? Well, Obama, they are in that cave which we need to use Waterfall on so we can get them in the next episode, I think. But I say we end this episode here, boys, and in the next one we head to the resort area and do all the stuff there. Fine by me, Joe, and I'm getting sick of Hillary anyway, so thanks for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe, and we are sorry we can't make the videos really long, but as Joe mentioned earlier, we have other things going on in life and already upload daily anyway, so we hope some of you at least understand that. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum, and this series is slowly coming to an end now, so Hello, we hope my you all enjoyed viewers. it, and this will probably be the second to last episode. So please remember to like and subscribe. Yes, it's very sad that this series will be coming to an end, boys, but as you can see, we have the goat with us, and I gave him a dragon plate, which is why he's a purple color, and I also taught him some new moves, which you will see later but I still need to train him up to level 100 so we can use Judgment, which we will save for the last episode. Very nice, Donald. And now we are heading off to the resort area to check things out and take on Team Galactic, who seem to be harassing Heatran. Yeah, and thank fuck that idiot Hillary isn't with us today. I was so tempted to give her a good smack yesterday, OMG. Oh yeah, check it out, boys. We have a double battle here with Volkner and Flint. I forgot they were friends. And in the anime, you find out they knew each other when they were young. Yeah, and they want to battle us, Joe, so let's see what champion Joe Biden can do here. So go for it, buddy. Wow, Donald, you were right. I can sense so much less tension when Hillary isn't with us. If it makes you feel better, One sec, Obama, how did you get Dragon again. Pulse and Thunderbolt on Arceus? Joe, Donald. I don't know what you were talking about, bro. I just taught Arceus some moves. I know to be good and have absolutely no idea where they came from. Obama Donald has been with his Russian friends again. Do you know what, Joe? 
Since this series is basically over, I don't even care what Donald does anymore. He could name a Magikarp Michelle for all I care at this point. Oh look, Flint has his mag mortar again, boys. Maybe next time we should play a ROM hack where we don't have to do trade evolutions because those are fucking bullshit. Howdy howdy, boys. I see you're playing Pokemon Platinum now. Oh my fucking God, Joe, you piece of yellow snow-colored donkey turd. Stop inviting people to our sessions. Hey, 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 wouldn't you know it? It's Bernie fucking Sanders with us today, everyone. What's up, boys, and nice to see you too, Donald. How's life been treating you all? It was great till you showed up, Bernie. I thought I would get some peace and quiet today after Hillary crashed our Just party yesterday, Just ignore that old fart, not. Bernie. It's great to have you aboard, and we are currently battling Volkner and Flint, and you wouldn't believe it, but you are actually talking to the official champion of Johto Kanto, and now the Sinnoh region, too. Hang on. So, as well as beating Donald to become president, you're now telling me you're the champion of three different regions, too, Joe? Oh, don't inflate Joe's fucking ego even more, Bernie. I have already had it with him ever since he ganged up on me with Hillary. And now that you're here, this is turning into a Democrat orgy, I swear. Well, he did just beat Volkner and Flint, so I am very impressed. And no wonder you lost to him, Donald. Sorry to ask, but how many regions are you the champion of again? Bernie, you are the oldest among us and probably don't have many years left. So how about I help you out with that? That's a good cue to change the topic, I think so. Bernie, how about we give you a rundown of what we've got up to so far in Platinum? You already know Joe is champion. Actually, I have been following your journey along ever since you played Animal Crossing and then Heart Gold. So I know what you guys have been doing. Oh, wow, you've actually bothered to follow along with our YouTube journey, Bernie, for real? Yeah, of course I have, Donald. What do you take me for? I've also been following your court hearings. And I must say, you are one insane cookie, but we are all close to death at this point, so who cares, right? Just because you followed our playthroughs, Bernie, you can be my BFF, so I hope you're honored about that. And check it out, boys, we have been given a free villa in the resort area. They must know that four presidents, oh, sorry, I mean three presidents and one wannabe president is playing the game LMFAO. Yeah, and this villa was apparently Stephen Stone's Villa Donald, so I bet you didn't know that. He came to Sinnoh looking for stones and then decided he didn't like it here and left his villa or something. Well, by the end of this series, we have to have bought everything in this house, and then Cynthia will come over and stay the night with us. Wow, I remember in the last video, Joe started hitting on Bertha of the Elite Four, and now he's hitting on Cynthia. You have really matured throughout this playthrough, Joe. Well done. You're so sweet, Bernie. Thank I'll you. I'll get a room, Joe, seriously. And now, boys, I'm going to pick up the adamant and lustrous orbs so we can get Dialga and Palkia since we need them for our team and we should name one Hillary and the other Bernie. Hey, not a bad idea, Joe, and then we will have the creation Pokemon, boys. Hey, I think you should continue Pokemon White after this series is done. It's my favorite one. Yeah, we plan to Bernie, but I think instead of having multiple playthroughs going, we will focus on one main one, and then when that's finished, we will finish the others as we got carried away and started more than we could handle, but we will finish all of them for sure. Yeah, that's fine by me. Joe and Pokemon White is such a great game anyway, so that'll be a blast for us, and more so our viewers, too. Wait, what the hell? Guys, Dialga and Palkia aren't here even after we got their orbs. Why is this happening? Um, yeah, that is Otto Obama. Could someone please leave a comment and maybe let us know why they aren't here with their portals yet? Because we did just pick up the adamant and lustrous orbs, but they still aren't spawning. Maybe we have to do all the post-game stuff first before they spawn, guys. Also, we need to catch Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres, too. I don't know if I can be bothered to catch them, Bernie. They take so long, and I would rather do the rest of the event Pokemon, like the Shaman event, and then we can finish the final episode off by taking on the Elite Four. You know what, Joe? That's fine by me, and I just made it to Stark Mountain, too. Boys and Crash are awake, and Barry, we're already here. What the hell? Honestly, this is one of the most annoying places in Sinnoh. Stark Mountain has this weird camera angle, and then on top of that, you have to do like a billion double battles inside, and each trainer has like six Pokemon. Yeah, that part of the game is a bitch, Obama. I agree, but after we can catch Heatran, but that's a Pokemon I've never really cared about either. Oh, look, it's Buck Boys, and I remember him in the anime as well. He catches that Claydol. Oh, you've seen the anime too, Bernie? Of course, Joe, but right now I'm watching Black Clover. That shit is so damn good, holy hell. All right, you two old nerds, stop talking about anime and focus on the game, especially you, Joe. Buck here wants us to be his little bitch and go check out why Team Galactic is causing trouble, and that just doesn't make any sense, and he doesn't even know we are champion, too. Joe, can you stop leaving all the items on the ground seriously? I haven't mentioned it till now, but you have done that throughout this whole playthrough, and you even did it in Heart Gold as well. Joe did that in Pokemon White as well, Obama. Bernie, you little rat, you were being so nice to me. So why are you now snitching to Obama about me? I wasn't snitching, Joe, but just pointing out a fact. 
because that's the kind of guy I am. And also I noticed you guys did a poll yesterday regarding uploads, so what's that about? Oh, thanks for reminding me, Bernie. We did that poll because we wanted to ask our viewers what they felt about our upload schedule. And most people voted for the daily uploads, which we don't mind doing right now. But some also said they would prefer longer videos, which means we wouldn't be able to upload every day, so these takes ages to edit anyway. So for now, I think we will try stick to the daily uploads. Yeah, thanks to everyone who voted on that, and we hear you, and we may actually every now and then take a day or two off to upload a longer video and then go back to daily uploads, but we will see what happens after this series is finished. We are going to carry on with Pokemon White, so the next video for that will be a longer one. And depending on how well that does, we will go from there. If only Donald was this polite and respectful in the Senate, we could have maybe got along. I mean, but I anyway, did just call you Joe, my BFF, these two Team but Galactic okay. Commanders are battling you again, and I thought you said you guys already beat them. Well, I just realized something on that point. Bernie, the events of this game's post-game is basically what happens in the Arceus Chronicles anime movie on Netflix. The commanders try to catch Heatran, so they make a portal and find Cyrus. Well, if you ask me, I think these guys have attachment issues and trouble letting go. But anyway, Joe, this Bronzong is seriously giving you trouble, isn't it? Yeah, it just took our Garchomp out Donald, and we don't really have anything strong against it. So I will try to see if Empoleon has any chance. But this team's Pokemon is way higher leveled than us, and we are meant to be the champions. Well, Joe, you were blabbing to me earlier about how you're the champion of three regions, and now you're saying we are the champions. Because if you lose, you won't get all the blame. Oh, trust me, Bernie, we blame Joe for things he hasn't even done. Hey, that is true. We do that a lot to him, but he does deserve it, Bernie, if you've seen all the stupid things he's done since we started playing together. Well, Obama, I feel I have vastly improved from two months ago, and anyway, you can see for yourself how much better I have become at Pokemon Battles 2. I just beat Mars as well. Yeah, but now you have to battle this purple-haired person, and that reminds me you guys should ask your viewers what plate you want Arceus to hold when you guys battle the Elite Four again with him in the final episode. I think he should have the best looking color since the plate he holds changes his appearance as well as the type. Bernie coming in with the fire ideas, boys, so well. You all heard him leave a comment down below about what color you want Arceus to be. Personally, I think he looks best with the Dread Plate or Draco Plate, which is what he has on right now. Oh, thank God you beat them both. Finally, Joe, and seriously, having Arceus with us is so goaded. But anyway, they'll run off now, and we have to follow the scientist guy further into the mountain. Um, Obama, I just want to say this is a volcano, not a mountain since mountains don't erupt. Joe, you are such a nerd. Jesus Christ, I bet you got bullied in high school all the time. But anyway, boys, we made it with Buck to the place where Heatran lives, and this whole scene is hilarious to me. What I want to know is how these guys didn't get caught the first time you beat them. Well, Bernie, Joe wanted to hire Looker to be part of the Secret Service, which is something you will never get to experience, by the way, LMFAO. But anyway, I say we don't hire him anymore, Joe, because he wasn't even at Spear Pillar when everything went down. I agree, Donald. I mean, he literally let those two grunts get away, and the two policemen walking in right now didn't do anything either. So if you guys think crime in America is bad, then at least we don't let this shit happen. Um, Joe, I'm gonna go ahead and say crime in the Sinnoh region compared to America is way better, but that's besides the point, and well done for beating them anyway. I think we should end this episode here though, boys, and in the next one we will check out the survival area, do the shaman event, and finally battle the Elite Four with Arceus. Yeah, so please remember to like and subscribe, everyone, and thanks for having me with you today. Boys, it's been fun, and hopefully I can join you again soon. Okay, boys, we've finally made it to the final episode of this wonderful series we started. I'm so sad this is We hope ending. all of you have enjoyed it, and we hope you stick around for our other series. So please hit that like button and subscribe. Yeah, and in this episode, we are just going to talk about everything we have gotten up to, as well as find Shaman and take on the Elite Four and Cynthia one last time with our Arceus. And we decided to switch his plate out for every member so we can just absolutely destroy them. LMAO. Wow, Obama Donald just said Arceus is ours, not just his Pokemon. Joe, I can be considerate, you know? And since this is the final episode of our time in Sinnoh, for now anyway, I shall be a kind-hearted soul, full of love and light, like yours apparently is. Well, Donald, I will believe it when I see it, but so far you're doing well. Joe, we are only a minute into the video, so give him some time to turn back into a dick LMAO, but anyway, boys, I am making my way to Shaman, and I have a question for our viewers. How many of you actually did these events legitimately? 
leave a comment down below. Well, Obama the Arceus one wasn't even released officially and they didn't release it for the dumbest reason ever. Yeah, they didn't release the Arceus event because the devs thought it would be too difficult for players to figure out how to use the fucking flute. And I mean, what were they thinking with that? Well, they weren't thinking, Joe, that's the point. And by the way, remember in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, we had to do all that Braille shit to unlock the Regis. If we can solve that, then I think we are capable of using a flute. Oh yeah, Donald, do you care to explain to our viewers what you did with Arceus between this episode and the last one? Well, my dear viewers, as you can see, Arceus is now level 100 and has judgment, which is something I like giving to all the peasants who stand below me. And we shall be using Arceus against the Elite Four, and in particular, I am hoping to destroy Cynthia's fucking Garchomp in one shot. Very well, Donald, since this is the last episode, do whatever you want. But look, boys, I made it to the stone tablet, and Professor Oak is here with this Marnie girl. Oh, he is saying we have to leave a thought or feeling or something we are thankful about and inscribe that on the tablet as gratitude. And this is my cue, boys. You should all be grateful and thankful for me, Donald J. Oh, Trump. God, here we and go, I shall Obama. inscribe my own name onto this tablet here, and henceforth, we I shall be known coming, by Joe, all seriously. as gratitude. Donald and Shaman will be my partner. If there was any place you shouldn't be inscribing your name, Donald, it's right here, but whatever. And since when did Shaman become your partner? This series is over now. Well, Obama, I'm not actually going to use that little green rat, but I just meant Shaman will be my partner metaphorically because Shaman is the gratitude Pokemon and I am the gratitude president. Soon to be the gratitude prison inmate, Donald. Joe, shut the fuck up. You should be the most grateful to me out of everyone because I have let you become champion of three fucking regions now. And Unova and Hoenn will probably be the fourth and fifth. And all our viewers think you're some sort of Pokemon god. And that's all because of me. Yeah, you were right, Obama. It didn't take Donald long to act like a dick again, so just catch your new best friend Donald and get this shit over with, please. Oh, lucky we bought Gastrodon with us, boys. Otherwise, this thing would have got destroyed with Donald's Arceus. Yeah, but could someone in the comments explain what Shaman actually is? Is it a mythical or legendary Pokemon? Because in the Giratina movie, there is a bunch of them, and in the Sun and Moon anime series, Mallow has a Shaman that just chills about. I think it's considered a mythical Pokemon, Donald, but it's so pointless and I don't even know what its purpose is except to make flowers bloom, but that's about it. Well, it just killed Gastrodon, boys, so I'm gonna try attack it a couple more times and then start throwing Ultra Balls, and to be honest, if I kill it, I don't even care. Joe, take that back. If anything, Donald, I'm showing you gratitude by catching this thing for you. Joe, you need to reduce its health even more, you moron. I'm a real G, remember Obama, just watch this. Wait, what the actual fuck, Joe? How did you do that? Okay, I am speechless. Told you too, I am the real G around these parts, boys. And as champion of Sinnoh, these kind of feats shouldn't be a surprise to any of you. Donald, be careful. You are gonna get some competition from Joe Biden, El Mao. Obama, you really think I'm scared of Joe El Mao? I have been trying to turn him into another me all this time, but sadly, he's too stupid to take any hints. But anyway, boys, it's time we battle the Elite Four for the last time. And I put all our other Pokemon back in the PC box, except Arceus. I was going to say, this is basically going to be a slaughter on their behalf, Donald. But I forgot their levels would have increased a bit, so this might be a tiny bit challenging. Joe, this will absolutely be a slaughter for them. And I even stuck a fire plate on Arceus, so he's currently a fire type, and Judgment does fire damage, and I'm only doing this to take my revenge on these punks for what they put us through last time. Well, we could use this time to talk about what to expect from the channel coming up when this series is done, boys. And we did cover a little bit about that in the last episode. Boom, I beat and stepped all over Aaron like the little bug boy he is, and next I will smash Bertha into the ground. Phrasing. Okay, Donald, I see you stuck a splash plate onto Arceus now to deal with Bertha's ground-type moves. And guys, as this series is almost at an end, we shall be continuing Pokemon White next. And as mentioned in the last video, we will make the first episode of our White playthrough long to see how you all like it and take it from there. I was expecting the Elite Four to have six Pokemon, to be honest, Obama, but they still only have five, which doesn't make this much of a challenge, does it? Donald, you literally have the strongest Pokemon in the universe, and with the most OP move, and it's level 100, and you're complaining that there is no challenge, you dumbass. Yeah, Donald, I don't even understand the point of this. Why are you just massacring the Elite Four for no reason when you knew exactly how this would go? You could have brought a level 100 Bidoof and done this, and it would be the same result. Obama, you said you wouldn't care what I did in this last episode. So just let me have my moment. Will you please massacring the peasant four? There is nothing elite about them. 
Yeah, Donald, this isn't entertaining at all, so I'm gonna cut straight to Cynthia. Joe, wait, you fucking piece of shit. Donald, this is basically what everyone wanted to see, so shut your mouth and get this over with. Fine, Joe, but guys, don't you both find it strange that the Elite Four and Cynthia don't remember that we already beat them? Wouldn't it have been better if they had some dialogue which said something about having a rematch instead of the same dialogue they had when we first battled them? Wow, Donald, you couldn't one-shot Lucario with your god Elmau. Obama, it's not my fault Cynthia is a hacker because Lucario is a fighting type, so Psychic should have killed it, but because she probably uses an action replay, it didn't die. Oh, she is definitely a hacker, Donald, because now Melodic survived a Thunderbolt from Arceus 2, which is just bullshit. Yeah, and then she uses another fucking full restore. Why can't she accept her fate and face judgment, the blondie? Well, Donald, to the surprise of absolutely no one, you have basically won this battle since she has only two Pokemon left. Okay, but her stupid Rose Raid has somehow survived my psychic attack too. This is just bullshit, Obama. Yeah, and you got poisoned because of her sludge bomb, Donald. And now she's used another full restore, Jesus Christ. It's fine, Joe. I shall use one full restore too, and then it's time to take revenge on her final Pokemon to Gekis, Elmau. This stupid flying pancake will die. Donald, you do realize Tegekis is one of our viewers' favorite Pokemon, and yet you hate it still. What the hell even this thing survived a thunderbolt from Arceus? Cynthia has really drugged her Pokemon up. There is no way this thing should survive a strike from Arceus. Okay, well, Donald, you are the champion of Sinnoh now, too. Even though this doesn't count at Joe, all this since does you count. used God. But anyway, boys, I think this concludes our Pokemon Platinum playthrough. What do you guys think? Yeah, this is the end. Everyone, it's so sad and I'm going to cry all night. But we wanted to thank you all for the support and love you have given us throughout this series. And we will aim to make the next ones much longer. So don't worry. Yeah, thank you to all of you and see you in the next one. All right, you two today, we are starting a new series to change things up a bit for our channel. This is Pokemon Heart Gold. Probably the best Pokemon game and definitely the best remake ever. Oh hell yeah, Obama, this game is the goat of all Pokemon games. I've even played the ROM hack version, Sacred Gold and Storm Silver, and those are even better. Yeah, Donald, I considered playing them, but Joe is with us so well. Yeah, you get the idea. LMAO, yeah, Obama, I get it because Joe is so fucking useless, LML. What the fuck even is this Pokemon game? I have never heard of it or Heart Gold either. Joe, sometimes it feels like you want us to bully you. But anyway, this is a Gen 4 Pokemon game, and we will be playing it as part of our new series on our channel alongside all the Animal Crossings, too. So please, like and subscribe, guys. Hey, Obama picked the boy and name ourselves Gold, like in the manga. I loved reading that one. Oh yeah, Donald, that manga was so good. I was going to pick the boy and name ourselves Gold, too. I thought that girl character looked really cute, though, in her outfit. OMG, Joe, you are still a creep fucking hell. And her name is Lyra, and she is probably the most useless character in the entire series. She literally does nothing for us. Yeah, she is so useless, almost as useless as Joe El Mao. Anyway, first things first, we have to set our text speed to fast and change our frame color because that is the most important things in any Pokemon game. Frame 20 is the way to go, Obama. And also, by the way, we are picking Cyndaquil, right? Yeah, Donald, it's not even a competition. Cyndaquil is my favorite of all the starter two. Totodile is cute and Feraligator is really good too. But I remember when I was young and first played Crystal, I picked Cyndaquil as my starter, so it will always be special to me. OMG, I also picked Cyndaquil in Crystal version two, Obama. Great minds think alike. Why don't you two go get a room, Jesus? Also, why is this red-haired dude physically abusing us? I suspect he is one of your spawn, Donald LML. Joe, fuck off, you uncultured fuck. You are just jealous that Obama and I have something in common and we are getting along. I would go as far as saying Obama is officially my brother from another mother. Hell yeah, Donald, you are my brother from another mother too. And yeah, Joe, fuck off. Also guys, we will be nicknaming all our Pokemon and Cyndaquil will be named Obama after myself and we can name the others in our team after you two. That's fine, Obama, but I already have our team decided. Also, you will be naming me after the Dratini we will get after beating the 8th gym badge because Dragonite is so cool like me. He's also orange like you, Donald Elmau. Also, oh ho, guys, what the hell is this rat thing? I am scared of it. Please kill it now. You call me Orange Joe, but you are scared of a fucking Sentret, seriously. You are not even playing right now. Either Obama is, and you are still scared. Yeah, Joe, you are such a baby. Also, guys, look, we have made it to Cherry Grove City where Joe will give us the running shoes. Elmau. 
Ha 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 ha, yeah, Joe, you are the old man here, and even he looks better than you do, El Mal. Both of you seriously shut the fuck up. You are bullying me so much today, and I don't know why. Because, Joe, it is a crime against humanity that you have never heard of Pokemon Heart Gold before, so you deserve our wrath. All right, boys, we have made it to Mr. Pokemon's house, and we have to collect that egg for Professor Elm and head back to New Barktown. Also, have you guys noticed all the Pokemon professors have been named after some sort of tree? Oh, yeah, Donald, you're right. Most of them are. Oh, Professor Oak is here, and he is giving us the Pokemon decks now, too. Yay! Joe, you idiot, it's called the Pokedex, not Pokemon decks, you stupid moron. Oh, wait, boys, we are getting a phone call now from Professor Elm. What has happened? Oh, no, I am scared again. That red-haired guy has actually gone and stolen a Pokemon from the lab, if I remember correctly, so now we have to go back and see what is going on. Hey, look, Joe, it's time for our first battle with the red-haired guy, and Joe, you will be a man now and battle him for us. Oh, no, he has a water type, which we are weak to. What do I do? Joe, calm down. He has no water moves yet, so just keep spamming tackle until we beat him. Although I am surprised you know about type matchups since you couldn't even say the word Pokemon five minutes ago. Wow, I actually won, boys. Yay, yay. And also, Obama, I have Googled a spreadsheet of all the type matchups, so now I will be unstoppable. Okay, Joe, since you are so confident now, if you lose one battle in this series, you will be our Animal Crossing bitch again, and you will be the one who will be grinding levels for all our Pokemon off camera. Okay, fine, but I am naming the red-haired guy now, and I have the perfect name for him, Elmao. Elmao Joe, that is pretty funny, naming him Donald Elmao. Right, Joe, I will catch a Magikarp and name him Joe Biden. After you, the most useless president America has and ever will have, just like how Magikarp is the most useless Pokemon. What I find weird in this whole interaction is how the professor just stands there and doesn't even try to defend us from the policeman when he knew we didn't steal the Pokemon but it takes this bitch to come in and defend us. I thought you liked Lyra, Joe. You said she was cute. Nah, I did some more Googling and turns out she's pretty useless in this game. Oh, I thought it was because she's too old for you, Joe Elmao. LMAO Donald. Donald, shut the fuck up. She is not too old for me, but I don't like her because she does nothing for us in this game and apparently she even keeps calling us with pointless news which has no relevance to anything at all. Okay, boys, look, we are finally heading out on our Pokemon journey with our cute little Cyndaquil following us. Yeah, but before that, this bitch is gonna teach Joe how to catch a Pokemon, so pay attention, Joe. Trump, I know how to catch a Pokemon. You just throw those balls at it and hope for the best. Elmao, he isn't wrong, Donald Elmao. Hey, Obama, how about we get Joe to fight all the gyms for us so we can laugh at him failing all the time, LML. Yeah, good idea, Donald Elmao. But anyway, guys, this will be the end of part one of our Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough. Don't worry, we will continue playing Animal Crossing 2 but we also felt it would be good to play another of our favorite games. So thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. Hey everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. We haven't played in a while because of Joe, but anyway, we will finish this series and we hope you enjoy it. So please remember to like and subscribe and check out the playlists in the description below. Joe, check it out. It's your first trainer battle against this boy, so don't fuck it up. Oh, youngster Joey. Hey guys, I also read that you can get phone numbers in this game after beating the trainer, so I'm gonna get the phone number of every youngster in the game. <laughs> oh shit, Donald, why did we decide to continue this with him? Obama, we just have to accept the fact that Joe is a creep and will always be one. In Animal Crossing, he simps over Timmy and Tommy, and now he will do the same for every NPC child in Johto. Okay, everyone watching, at this point in the video, Joe fucked our recording up and the footage between the last trainer and the gym leader in Violet City was corrupted, and Joe still hasn't given us an explanation, so we are sorry about that. But he did manage to beat his first gym, and as you can see, we also evolved Cyndaquil into Kalava. Obama, he also ruined the footage between Violet City and the following route, so we are sorry about that too. Joe is just being a fucking useless idiot as usual, and a donkey could have done a better job, but anyway, you guys didn't miss much. We dropped the egg of we got from the kimono girl into the PC box because we didn't want to use it, so that's all that has really happened. Oh, one major thing we did is we caught a Flaffy and named it Hillary because LOL, and that will be the second member of our team as well, but anyway, boys, after that disaster, no thanks to Joe, we have arrived at Azalea Town, and it seems Team Rocket is here causing trouble. Yeah, I am really sorry about the lost footage, everyone. I think I forgot to press record, so I am really sorry. Please forgive me. Joe, I would rather forgive Team Rocket for cutting off Slowpoke Tails than your idiocy for not recording our footage, you dumbass. 
Both of you argue later we need to beat this town's gym and also beat Team Rocket because as Donald said, they are literally cutting up Pokemon. I have a guide here and this guy is who we need to help us chase Team Rocket away and oh, look boys, he left his daughter all alone. Fucking hell, Joe, leave Kurt's daughter alone. She is not interested in creeps. So go save all the slow pokes and we won't bully you for five minutes. Ooh, yay, five minutes. Okay, Donald, I will do as you say. Something I would like to talk about is the fact that in every Pokemon game, the world is always saved by a 10-year-old child. Like right now, this idiot Kurt fell down the ladder and now we have to go save the slow poke. Well, I love the fact that a child saves the world, Obama. Yeah, of course you would, Joe. Why am I not surprised? But anyway, Obama, a child saves the world because it is generally children who play Pokemon, not three presidents. Look, boys, I have already made it to Proton, the Team Rocket admin, and none of our team have fainted yet. Are you both proud of me? Yeah, Joe, sure, but we have not forgiven you for fucking our recordings up. That was so stupid. I hope you will never do that again. We are also quite high level Joe, so that's why you are finding everything so easy right now, LML. Whatever, guys, look, I beat all the rocket grunts, so I wish you would be happy for me. See now, look, this old fart. Kurt happens to have completely recovered from his back injury just as Joe managed to beat all the grunts. Obama, I would choose this game over Pokemon Scarlet or Violet any day, so stop complaining. Ah, look, boys, the little girl is giving me her phone number. It's like everyone in this game knows I am a creep. Joe, she is giving you Kurt's number, you fucking moron. Seriously, you need to calm your pants down and go take the gym on now, and it's a bug-type gym, so if you lose with Kilava, I will actually drop kick you to a mental asylum. Ah, uh, guys, there are huge spiders everywhere. What do I do? I am scared. Joe, you are such a baby. You have to take the leftmost spider, and it will take you to the next section of the gym, and they aren't even real, you dumbass. Oh, look, boys, I get to have a threesome battle with these two. <laughs> okay, Obama, I am actually considering calling Hillary, and we replace her with Joe for the rest of this series. Donald, she is always with us in spirit as that Marie Palmao. This battle is so easy, boys, and we will be able to level up Hillary some more, and then she will evolve. I wish you would evolve more brain cells, Joe, but listen now, it's time for the gym battle, and remember what I said if you lose this. Joe just spam fire-type moves, even though that should be obvious, but because you're an idiot, I feel I'm obliged to tell you that. Donald, leave me alone. I know what I am doing, so fuck you, fatty. Yeah, he seems to have got this down, Donald. Look, he is sweeping Bugsy's entire team. Only because I was the one who told him to use fire moves, LML, otherwise Joe would probably spam Lear all the time. Look boys, I managed to beat the second gym all by myself, so shut the fuck up both of you and let me play. Okay Joe, but now you're going to have another battle against Donald LML. I'm still not happy you guys named this ginger-haired fuck Donald. Well Donald, I'm not happy you exist, but you don't see me complaining constantly, do you? And watch as I destroy you, ha 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 ha. Joe, you are only winning so much because Obama and I do a lot of off-screen training just so you don't end up looking like a moron when we film, but we won't be doing that anymore. Yeah, Joe, see, we do actually care for you, but anyway, Donald, we will get to laugh at him loads when he meets Whitney LML. Who is Whitney? LML, Joe, you are gonna get destroyed by Whitney, but it seems you also have this battle in the bag, too. So well done, I guess. Yeah, well done, Joe, but anyway, guys, let's call it a day on this episode, so please remember to like and subscribe, everyone, and stay tuned for more Pokemon and Animal Crossing. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. We are carrying on from where we left off last time, so please check out the playlist below if you missed the previous two episodes. And please remember to like the video and subscribe and comment. Oh, what the hell do I do here, boys? You need to sneak up on the far-fetched Joe by stepping on the sticks. Oh yeah, we apologize for some of the text getting cut off too, everyone. You can blame Joe for that since he didn't record the screen properly, the dumbass. Yeah, I am not sure what I did there, guys. I am sorry. I must have been too tired that day, but look, I caught the first Pokemon. Yeah, well done, Joe, for doing that mini game. We also caught a HM Slave, which we taught, cut to take the trees down. Oh, check it out, another one of those hot kimono girls. I wonder if she is free later. I don't think they are that cute, Donald TBH. Yeah, Joe, that's because you want to get every single young trainer's number, instead you creep. Oh, check it out, boys. I think Hillary's about to evolve LML. Only if she would evolve her political position, then maybe we could have been friends. Yeah, looks like we're getting a Flaffy now. I think Ampharos is one of the best Pokemon to use in this game, don't you both think? Yeah, Obama as well as Heracross. His attack stats are insane, so we could consider using him too. Also, we should ask our viewers what Pokemon they suggest for our team, and we will pick some and name it after them. Oh, that's a good idea, Donald. Please suggest Pokemon to use, guys, and then I will name them after each youngster on my poke gear. 
Joe, we will not be naming Pokemon after your favorite children, thank you. But anyway, boys, we made it to Goldenrod City where our third gym badge is. Yeah, but before that, Obama Joe has to answer these quiz questions correctly. Well, he's already fucked it, which is no surprise to anyone. Hey, that was the warm-up round, guys. So now watch as I get everything right. No, Joe, you are just an idiot, and these questions are super easy to answer, so you really don't have an excuse. Well, look, I got it all right now, so you should be proud of me. Joe, if you beat Whitney on your first go, I promise to never bully you again, ever. Well, that will be fucking easy. This bitch will go down faster than I took down those youngsters. Well, this should be interesting, LMFAO. Joe Whitney is considered one of the most difficult gym leaders ever. No, Obama, this will be a clean sweep. Just watch. Okay, Joe, she is leading off with her clay fairy, so let's see how you do. Considering Donald and I both lost this on our first go, Joe, there is no way you will win. Look, that stupid pink shit is already in the yellow, boys. I am destroying her. LML, and now she used a potion and is back to full Joe. So now what will you do? Look, I have her on the run now. There is no way I lose. Okay, Joe, well done. You took down her first Pokemon without losing any of ours, and for you, that is quite impressive. Yeah, and now watch as I send out you, Obama, and her mill tank will also get destroyed. You flinched, Joe, because Whitney used Stomp, and she will now restore her health and destroy you, which means I can keep bullying you, LML. Joe, you fucking idiot. You killed me, you useless fuck. That was a tactical plan there. Obama, you had to be sacrificed for the greater good. Yeah, now you killed Hillary too, Joe, you idiot. We have lost this battle because of you, which was no surprise to anyone again. There is no way I lost this. This battle was rigged. Donald, you rigged it, you fucking cheater. For once, he didn't cheat Joe because he didn't have two, because he knew you would lose. You have proven once again how useless you are, Joe. Congratulations. See, Joe, this is how you beat Whitney. You overlevel your Pokemon and get them to evolve, and then you can't lose. See this 10,000 IQ strat of mine? It never fails. Yeah, except now this bitch is crying and won't give us a badge. We have to walk down, and then she will give it to us, Joe. But I agree with Donald. You need to use his strats if you want to become good players like us. Overleveling sounds like cheating to me, which doesn't surprise me at all that Donald would do that. But anyway, boys, now I read we need to go next door and get the squirt bottle to use against some weird tree on the roots ahead. Yeah, Joe, a pseudo wudo is blocking the path. Check it, boys, another child who wants my number. <laughs> it doesn't make me the creep if they are the ones asking me for it, does it? Yes, it does, Joe, you dumbass, because you are the ones saying yes to them. Anyway, will you please squirt the tree with your bottle? I want to squirt many things with my bottle, Donald. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe. Seriously, you need to stop this shit now? I may have to send you to prison with Donald if you keep that up. Well, look, guys, I took down this dumb tree thing with Hillary so easily. I think Hillary will end up being one of our MVPs, LMAO. She might, Joe, until we get Dratini, and after we call it Donald, it will be the real MVP. Donald, we are not naming Dratini after you. You have already been named after that red-haired rival of ours, so you cannot be named something twice in our playthrough. I suggest we name that Dratini Joe Biden. And look, one of my youngsters is calling me up. <laughs> Joe, we are not naming Dratini after you. We will name it Michelle Obama because she will be the most powerful team member and we need a strong female in our team. I thought Hillary was our strong female. Yeah, Obama, we are not naming that Dratini after Michelle. Fuck that dumb idea. We should name it Melania if you want a strong female. I'm surprised you didn't suggest we name it Stormy Donald LMFAO. Fuck you, Obama, that was ages ago. Right, I think it's time we end this episode, boys. We made it to e Critique City where we will challenge the fourth gym and Joe don't fuck it up. Thanks for watching everyone and please remember to like and sub the video. All right, time to show you boys how a real Pokemon master plays Pokemon Heart Gold. Oh my fucking God, guys, this bitch is like a parasite. She has infected our entire playthrough series, now all of them. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Hillary today either, Donald. She sent me a DM last night on Snapchat, boys, and asked if she could show us how a pro plays Pokemon, so apparently she's gonna fly through the next two gym badges for us. Yeah, and I watched your playthrough so far, guys, and you decided to nickname one of your Pokemon after me. And I'm glad it's Ampharos, because I would probably choose that as my partner, IRL. Wow, guys, look, she defeated that Team Rocket grunt in one move. Hillary is so good. Joe, it's not that impressive. Even you could do it. We are so overleveled, so of course we could one-shot that coughing. Donald, it's okay to be jealous of my Pokemon skills. When I watch myself play, even I get jealous of how good I am. Well, we got Surf now, boys, so Hillary, it's now time to go to the Burned Tower and fight Donald and see the legendary trio. Oh, wow, wow, it's legendary Pokemon. Please catch them, Hillary. Then we will be so overpowered. We can't get them yet, Joe, but we will later. Also, I saw some of your comments in the last video, and one of the viewers suggested we use Vaporeon. Now, normally I would agree with this choice. However, we have Donald with us, and he will probably make X-rated jokes 
and get the channel banned so we won't be using Vaporeon. Hey Hillary, you can't just invade our playthrough and order us about and tell us what Pokemon we can and can't use. What's so bad about Vaporeon, guys? I don't get it. Yeah, sorry Joe, you will have to Google that on your own. We can't explain it here, LMAO. Hey, Joe and Obama, look, I am absolutely destroying Donald with a fire type and he's using a water type. Shows how weak he is, LMFAO. Hillary, you dumb bimbo, that is not even me. Joe just named this red-haired moron after me because he thinks he's a comedian now. Look guys, Suicune, Raikou, and Entei all ran off and you seen here is simping over them like Donald simps over Hillary LMAO. All right, boys, it's time to take on your fourth gym leader and watch as I absolutely destroy Morty. I'm so looking forward to watching you in an official gym badge, Hillary. You are so cool, OMG. Yeah, we are also close to getting Obama to evolve into a Typhlosion, and when we do, he will become the most OP ever. Yeah, until we get that Dratini with extreme speed, Hillary from Blackthorn City, which is being called Donald. Yeah, right, Donald. We are not naming a Dragonite after you, even though you are both orange. Wow, Hillary, you destroyed Morty so fast. That's amazing. I wish I could do that. Yeah, well done, Hillary. We are halfway through our heart gold journey now. Yeah, so guys, we now have a choice between going to Olivine City or Mahogany Town. So, uh, which do you want to do? If we want to play properly, we should go to Olivine City first, like Ash Ketchum did in the anime. This is one of the rare occasions where I will agree with you, Donald. And also, boys, can we talk about how Ash is now never going to be in the anime again? Yeah, Hillary, those final episodes with him battling Leon was amazing. And I was so happy to know he finally won the championship and is now the strongest trainer in the world. Yeah, and the scene where all of Ash's Pokemon gathered around Pikachu and gave him the strength to fight one more time against Charizard was so emotional, me and Michelle started crying. Oh wait, Obama, what is Donald here telling us about this city's gym leader? Well, Joe Jasmine has gone to the lighthouse to help the sick Ampharos there, so we have to go see if we can help her now. Oh yeah, uh, guys, check it, I've evolved into my final form. Nice, so now we have a Typhlosion, and oh yeah, Hillary, catch a Magikarp and name it Joe Biden for me, please, LMFAO. LMFAO, Donald, that is pretty fucking funny since Magikarp is so useless like Joe. Oh, and here we have our Magikarp, LMAO. Hillary, I can't believe you sided with Donald with this Magikarp bullshit. Sorry, Joe, but it's pretty funny. But remember, you will eventually evolve into Garados. So this is a small sacrifice you have to make for us. Yeah, now we can teach Joe Surf and he can swim us across to the next town like a little Magikarp bitch. LMFAO jokes on all of you. Looks like I will be evolving now since Magikarp can't learn Surf. Yeah, we evolved Joe into Gyarados, guys. Otherwise, we couldn't get to Chinwood City. But anyway, now we are here. We have to battle Yusin and take on the fifth gym badge. Oh, wow. So we can catch Suicune now, guys, can't we? Not yet, Joe. We won't be able to catch Suicune for a very long time until we reach Kanto. Yeah, and watch now as I destroy Yusin Joe and put Hillary to shame, LML. Yeah, good job, Donald. You took down Yusin after I evolved Typhlosion, you simp. Hillary, shut your fucking mouth. You are just jealous that I have been playing way longer than you and you have slowly weaseled your way into our playthroughs. Well, this weekend we will be starting a new series and a brand new game too. So please like and subscribe everyone and Hillary, fuck off. Yeah, well, Donald, I'm about to take on the fifth gym leader, which means I will have beaten two gym leaders in one video. What have you done, huh, you fat pig face bitch? All right, that was uncalled for, Hillary, apologize. First apologize for being born. Oh, wow, okay, you two need to cool it now and we should all focus on this gym battle that Hillary is struggling with. That's because she is using me against that Polyrath, which is a water type, and I am about to die as well. Yeah, Hillary, why don't you use yourself since Ampharos is an electric type and so could have won by now. Well, check it out, I froze the Polyrath with Ice Fang, which means I will take this win, thank you very much. This battle could have been over ages ago if you had used the proper type matchups, you dumb moron. How we won the Storm Badge, Donald, does that remind you of anyone? Right, that's it. I am ending this episode here. So thanks for watching, everyone. And sorry, this is short. But Hillary is being so mean to me, so please remember to like and sub. And I am so upset, Hillary. Tell someone who cares, Donald LMAO. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching me play Pokemon with my best friends. All right, boys, we had some comments on this last video on how Hillary was being a bitch. So we ditched her in this episode. So it's just us boys again. Yeah, and check it, our egg has hatched into Togepi, so we will name him Rav, as requested by one of our viewers. Yeah, and one thing we did off screen was get the secret potion to give to Jasmine so she could heal up this Ampharos and get back to her gym, which will be super easy to beat with our Typhlosion. Oh, look how happy Ampharos is now, boys. It is feeling better and is now shining bright like a diamond like that Rihanna song. Yeah, I love that song, Donald, but now she has gone back to her gym. 
so we can head right there, Joe. Yeah, and in this gym, it's interesting because we don't have to battle any trainers other than Jasmine. They just thank us for helping her out. All right, Joe, I will be battling Jasmine, so watch how I obliterate her whole team with Obama here. LML. Yeah, this should be a clean sweep. Donald, this bitch going down faster than Joe took down your presidency. Obama, that is a shit analogy, seriously. But yeah, for a six gym battle, she is not difficult at all. Wow, her Steelix died so fast, Donald, that is amazing. And she has two Magnemite as well. I feel her team is pretty shit for a battle this late in the game, don't you think? Yeah, Joe, I agree. And she also gave us the TM for Iron Tail, which could be useful. But anyway, boys, it's time. We now head to Mahogany Town for our seventh gym battle. And there is some Team Rocket shit to do there too, apparently. I think we should train up our RAV a bit though, Obama, since it's only level one. So we should level our whole team up to around level 40 now, I think. The more over-leveled, the better LML. Ooh, can I train it, please, guys? Joe, no, you can't because you are so slow that you have only made it this far with our help and Hillary. But if you were playing by yourself, I bet you wouldn't have made it past the first gym. Forget the first gym, Obama. He would still be drooling over youngster Joey LMFAO. But anyway, guys, we managed to evolve our Togepi and also found Suicune again. Yeah, and here is Yusin simping over Suicune as usual, boys. Also, please comment down below what your favorite legendary Pokemon is. We would love to know, guys, and also remember to like and subscribe for more content from us. Hey, Obama, why did we skip that cave and not go through it? Because, Joe, there is nothing there for us to do except maybe battle the Karate Master, but he only gives us a Tyrogue, which I don't want to use for our playthrough. I always loved Hitmonlee Obama since he reminded me of Bruce Lee, the most goaded person to exist. All right, guys, we have made it to Mahogany Town, and why the fuck does that tree have metal sticking out of it? It looks so suspicious, doesn't it? Joe, you dumb fucking fossil, that's the point. Team Rocket have secretly taken over this town, and we have to find out what they are doing. Yeah, so we are heading to the Lake of Rage now, Joe, and there will be a super rare shiny Pokemon there now. What the fuck, guys? The shiny Pokemon is a red Gyarados, and you caught a dumb basic blue one when we could have had this red one and named it Joe Biden. Joe, not in any universe would we name a shiny Pokemon after you because you are not worthy. Yeah, Joe Donald is right, but don't kill it, okay? We should definitely catch this as it's a free shiny. Shut the fuck up, I know what I am doing. OMG, Joe, you fucking dumb, useless pigeon turd. Why the fuck would you use Hillary against it? Yeah, Joe, you fucking piece of shit. Why did you do that? That's what you both get for bullying me and not naming that Gyarados after me. Joe, you do realize you could have caught it and then released the blue one and named yourself after the shiny one, Elmo. Joe, sometimes you literally leave me speechless, which for me is almost impossible to do, as I always have something to say, LMFAO. Um, well, um, whatever, guys, let's just go back to the town and help Lance save the world. Yeah, it's now time to raid the Team Rocket Base, boys, and this part of the game is my absolute favorite. Lance literally uses a hyper beam attack against another person which would have killed him, MAO. Yeah, I am pretty sure Lance just committed murder, but who cares, LMAO is Dragonite is so cool. Wow, so Team Rocket used this store as a front for their base of operations that's so evil and devious. It's like how we have a secret presidential bunker underneath. Joe, you fucking moron. Don't finish that sentence and start giving out state secrets to random people on the internet willy-nilly. It's like having to watch a child inside a china shop who keeps touching everything with you seriously. Um, guys, we are so high leveled at this point. There is no way we will lose any battles from now on. There is no way. Yeah, why are they using level 16 Pokemon and we are almost level 50? This doesn't make any sense. Donald, should we tell him or not? Nah? Um, I don't think we should, Obama. Tell me what, guys, what are you both going on about? Well, Joe, we overleveled our Pokemon, so we didn't have to deal with you embarrassing yourself and more so us with your shit gaming skills in front of our viewers. Fuck you both. I have improved so much and never asked you to do that for me in any way. Look after we battle this Team Rocket Scientist. We can hit a switch to turn off the security system, so I bet you didn't know we could do that. You fucking betas. Joe, you have been Googling the entire playthrough since the beginning using that guide on IGN. So don't act clever, and we are sitting right next to you as well, you dumbass. Whatever, guys, let's just get through this dumb base already. I love to imagine Lance just running through this base hyper-beaming every single Team Rocket grunt he comes across, LMAO. And he has three Dragonites on his team too, so they will never run out of energy. I think having three Dragonites is a bit lazy, since the devs probably didn't know what other Pokemon to give him, but... Anyway, Joe, you need to battle this grunt here and then another to the west, since we need two passwords to enter the office. I was just reading about the special events, Obama, so do you think we should do them after beating the game? Let's ask our viewers, Joe. 
If you guys would like to see us do the DLC events after we beat the game, such as the Celebi one or the spiky-eared Pichu one, then please comment down below and we shall look into it. But that's not a bad idea, Joe. Well done. All right, Joe. Now you got both the passwords you need to head to the office and find out who is causing all this drama. OMG, guys, looks it's Giovanni himself. No, it's not Joe. It's just Petrol, some Team Rocket admin guy. He does nothing, and now you have to battle him. I don't remember these guys from the anime. Do you, Obama? I don't, Donald, but he is in the special episodes on YouTube, which are so cool to watch as they follow the games. But anyway, Joe, you don't have to chase this Murkrow, and it will mimic the password for us to enter the power room. Yeah, I made it, Obama. I am not that dumb. Look, I made it here fine. Yeah, but now you have a double battle to do, Joe, with Lance, which should be interesting. Joe, if you just keep spamming Lava Plume, you can hit multiple Pokemon at once so we can win this fast. And with you battling, I would appreciate that. Yeah, but I am hurting Lance's poor Dragonite Obama, and he is so cute and on our team. Joe, stop simping. Lance has two more Dragonites. It's not like he will run out anytime soon, especially with you battling. Yeah, actually, this is so easy, taking two Pokemon down with one move, Obama. Thanks for that advice. Maybe I can use this tactic and take down two Youngster Joeys at the same time. L-M-A-O. Oh, Lordy Lord Joe, please shut your fucking mouth and play the game. What do I do now, Obama? You have to fight all the Electro Joe and make them faint so they stop providing power to the generator and then we can leave this shithole. Well, that was easy. So well done, Joe. You have now destroyed this base. And we can take on our seventh gym, which is an ice-type gym. With Typhlosion, that will be easy. All right, Joe, don't fuck this up. And also, his ice-types are also water-types, too. So be careful and don't make me faint. I am leading off with Rollout Obama, and we shall see how much damage this will do. Not even half, Joe, and we are so high level, too. So now what will you do? I killed it, Donald, with another rollout. So shut the fuck up, bitch, and bow down to the greatness, which is Joe Biden. Joe, he still has three more Pokemon, so don't get arrogant. This pillow swine is gonna die to me too, Obama. There is no way I shall lose more. Ha 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 ha. All right, Joe, he has a dugong now, which is super effective against us, and it will definitely have water type moves. So now what will you do? Oh, this bitch has rest. What the fuck, guys? And I burned it too. LMAO, and he has sleep talk on it, Joe, so you will take damage even whilst he is asleep. LMFAO. Luckily, he's using Ice Shard, though, Donald, so I should have this in the bag now. GG to him. LMAO, Joe. He recovered again. I feel you're gonna be at this for ages. So how about Donald and I go to a bar and come back later, since you are proving how shit you are to us once again. Obama, don't fucking go anywhere. I just beat this white-haired ice-type bitch, so now bow down to me, Joe Biden. Wow, he did it, Obama El Mao, after what felt like an eternity. Yeah, and now upon leaving, we will get a phone call from Professor Elm, saying Team Rocket has taken over Goldenrod City or something. Joe, so we will do all that shit in the next episode, so thanks for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe, and we hope you have a lovely rest of your day. All right, boys, it's now time to head to Goldenrod City and take down Team Rocket, so Joe, get going. Yeah, Obama, I am so looking forward to showing all our viewers how strong I have become now, so please like and sub everyone, and thank you for all the support. All right, Joe, you will notice that Team Rocket has taken over Goldenrod City, so first you need to head into the underground and get the Team Rocket disguise, and then you need to head to the radio tower and beat the grunts. Wouldn't it have been so cool to be able to change into the Team Rocket grunt outfit whenever we wanted guys instead, this one time only? I would love to then go around Johto scaring all the people, LMAO. Yeah, Obama, that would have been a cool feature. But anyway, look, Joe is about to storm the radio tower. Guys, what was the point of me wearing this fucking uniform? If Donald here was just gonna come and ruin our disguise for us, it makes no sense at all, seriously. Yeah, that was one thing that always bothered me about this game too, Joe. We only wear the disguise for like 10 seconds and then Donald ruins it. For fuck's sake, you two, that guy is not me, so shut the fuck up, especially you, Joe. You wouldn't have even left New Barktown if you didn't have me helping you. Actually, I would Donald because there's this new thing called Google, and also I have Obama, and I have already made it to the director's room in the radio tower. So fuck you, Donald. Well, Joe, you gotta beat Petrol here again, but I say we edit this battle out as he literally has six coughing. Yeah, and now, Joe, you need to head into the underground again and find the real director because he has been stashed there. I wish someone would stash you where no one could find you either. Be careful, Donald. You are threatening a current president, and your list of felonies is already huge, so let's not make it bigger. LMFAO. All right, Joe, insult Donald later, because right now you have to beat him in Pokemon battle, and he will have a Feraligator, too. So be careful, and don't fuck this battle up.
Obama ever since we got flamethrower and lava plume. We have literally become so OP that nothing will stand in our way. But I do think we should get Thunder Punch and teach it to our Typhlosion, don't you agree? I do agree with you, Joe, for once you say something useful. However, we do have Hillary to cover us from water type moves and Lance because has all flying types. So when you battle him, it should be easy. Oh yeah, guys, you do realize we could catch Raikou and Entei and use them as part of our team right now if we wanted. Then we would have two legendaries with us. I don't know, Obama using legendaries feels cheap. Plus, if we do that, we won't be able to get that Dratini with extreme speed. And Dragonite is basically a legendary. Actually, Donald Dragonite is classified as a pseudo-legendary, not an actual legendary. Holy shit, Joe, how do you know what a pseudo-legendary is all of a sudden? Yeah, even I am surprised by this new revelation, Obama. How the fuck do you know that, Joe? Well, pseudo-legends are called as such due to the fact that their base total stats are very high, almost into legendary territory, and in some cases are even higher. We are just ignoring this battle with Archer because my mind is literally not comprehending what's going on with Joe right now. Yeah, Obama Joe seems to have turned into a Pokemon nerd, which is not a bad thing at all. It's probably his best trait now. Yeah, and he even beat Archer without breaking a sweat. Well, that was a really easy battle, and with Hillary by my side, we are so OP. And look, Joe, we got the rainbow wing now, which means we can go and get ho Wo after the 8th gym badge is beaten. All right, we decided to edit most of the ice path out as nothing interesting happened, but now we have made it to the end. So Joe solved this puzzle and saved the kimono girl, and then we can head into Blackthorn City. Aren't you both proud I made it through the ice path all by myself? Well, not really, Joe, because you decided to use a guide on YouTube even though the ice path is so easy to get through, but you still needed help, LMFAO. That's because you and Donald left me and went bowling again, and I had no idea what to do. Yeah, well, the only thing you have to do now is head to the gym and destroy Claire Joe, and this battle should be easy for us since we are so OP. Oh, I will beat this bitch on my first try, Donald. She will not be able to stand in the way of Joe Biden, the hero that saved Jodo from Team Rocket. Joe, you're not a hero, but anyway, it's now time for our eighth gym battle, boys. And let's make it a memorable one, too, Joe, so don't die. All right, Joe, she has sent out Garados, and with Hillary, you should be fine. But remember, this is the eighth gym, so don't expect it to be easy. How the fuck did she outspeed us, though we are way higher leveled? Joe, don't focus on that. We still one-shot her, so now take care of her dragon air. Wow, Hillary is really holding on here, isn't she, guys? Yeah, but now that bitch is going down in an LMFAO, and she isn't here to defend herself. Donald, shut your fucking mouth. I will always be better than you, so take Joe's advice, which he said in platinum, and stick your dick in a blender. Wait, what the hell? Was that Hillary just now? Yeah, what the fuck? She just spawned in here unannounced. Hey, Hillary! I think she's gone, guys. I'm not sure she was even here. Anyway, who gives a fuck about her? We need to focus on beating this Kingdra Joe. Well, I am really struggling here, boys, and also, if you both have noticed, I have gone through this entire playthrough without healing, pretty much. She's taken down two of our Pokemon now, Joe, I swear to God, if you lose this. Our Rev has this in the bag, Obama, although I still think this Pokemon is shit, and whoever suggested it does not know Pokemon like I do. Yeah, well, it beat Kingdra Donald and also stop insulting our viewers. Whatever, Joe, I know best, so they're... Hang on, why isn't Claire giving us the gym badge? Because, Joe, she is a salty bitch and doesn't believe she lost to you, which is understandable, but anyway, we need to head to the Dragon Shrine behind the gym and take the test there and then she will give us the badge. All right, Joe, you need to answer this test properly so we get extreme speed, and if you fuck this up, I will throw the DS at your head. All right, we did the test, everyone, and now this bitch is back here still salty. I watched the Johto series anime last week, and Claire wasn't like this in the show, so I don't know why the game designers made her like this here. Me neither, Joe, but anyway, look, we finally got the rising badge, which means we now have all eight, so yay us. Yeah, but more importantly, we can get Dratini now, boys. And I have been waiting for this moment since we began this playthrough. Oh, look, he's talking to us about Lugia now. Do you think we can catch him, too? We will only be able to get Lugia when we get to Pewter City in Kanto Joe because we need the Silver Wing, and Lugia will be level 70. So we are not ready for that yet. That's not even how you pronounce his name, boys. But anyway, Joe, go back to the shrine and get Dratini now. All right, since I beat Claire, I get to name it, and I have the perfect name for our little Dratini. Joe, shut your fucking mouth and name it Donald. I have not waited this long for you to give Dratini a dumb fucking name. Donald, be quiet, you fat piggy. I will be naming our Dratini Aura because it's a perfect name for Dratini. Right, let's check it out then, Joe. What the fuck? It's only level 15, boys. Joe, if you had named it after me, I would have happily trained it up for you to level 50. But since you didn't, you can fucking train it yourself. 
you useless piece of shit. Donald, it's no big deal, so calm down. And now, boys, I'll be catching our last Pokemon for the team, which will make you happy, Donald, because you suggested it. Oh, yeah, Obama, you got hair across. With this, nothing will stand in our way now. And since it's also so low-leveled, Joe will be spending his evening leveling Dratini and Heracross up for us, Donald. So how about you and I go play some tennis? Fine, but I am naming it Blue Boy because it is blue. Go fuck yourself, Joe. But anyway, boys, how about we call it an episode? We did quite a lot of stuff in this one. So if you all enjoyed yourselves, please remember to like and subscribe. And we all hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Okay, welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. And as you can see, we did some training off screen. And now we have a Dragonair, so we hope you enjoy the video. And please remember to like and subscribe. Dear God, please never let Joe do an intro again, Obama. He is so useless. Noted Donald. He messaged me last night on Insta and said if he could do the intro in this video since I made him edit. But, yeah, Joe, that was a bad intro, so you're fired. But anyway, boys, we are heading to Ecrutique City now to battle those hot kimono girls, and then we will be catching Ho-Oh. Elmau, Donald, you lost to them. You are so shit. Elmau, Elmau, Elmau. Okay, we will see how well you do then against them, Joe. And if you fuck this up, you won't play anymore with us, and you will only watch. All right, Joe, there is six of them and you will battle each of the evolutions. I remember in the original games we could rest after each one, but in this version it's way more difficult and we won't be able to rest, so be prepared, Joe. All right, thanks, Obama, let's do this. Joe, this will be your pre-battle warm-up for the Elite Four, so make sure you remember the type matchups and everything, okay? Donald, I am not a fucking baby, so stop bossing me about you fucking baboon. Joe, you're already doing shit and this is the first battle. So why don't you shut the fuck up and focus on the battle, you useless pigeon turd? Joe, how the fuck did you let our Dragonair die? Seriously, you're so fucking useless. It's not my fault I got confused. Was it you two? And with Donald yelling at me with his fucking opinions every three seconds, it is really distracting. If you had listened to my fucking opinions, Joe, then we wouldn't have been in this mess and our Dragonair wouldn't be dead, would it? Obama, OMG, please tell Donald if he doesn't shut up, I will make sure he's in prison by the time this video ends. He is really pissing me off and distracting me. I swear to God, I will get Dragonite to use Hyper Beam against him too. All right, all right, calm down, Joe, and Donald, shut the fuck up so we don't have to do this battle all over again when Joe loses LML. Fine, Joe, and it's good you are already on the third battle, but I am still very angry that you lost Dragonair. He is meant to be the strongest member of our team. Yeah, and now somehow Joe lost himself against a Flareon. Joe, how do you lose a water type to a fire type, seriously? Gyarados was already so low in HP Obama, so that's why now you shut your fucking mouth too seriously. Apparently, this kimono girl was spying on us in the dragon's den. When we were doing that quiz, guys, she would be a good match for Joe, since she likes to creep on 10-year-olds, too. OMG, Joe, you have already lost three of our Pokemon now, and you tell me I can't yell at him, Obama? Fine, go ahead, Donald, I agree. Joe is so shit at Pokemon battles, and we are way higher leveled, too. Guys, you do realize there is only, like, two more of them left to battle, so considering that, I think I have done really well. LMAO, look, she has a Vaporeon, Obama. Elmao Donald, and it's a male one, too. LMAO, of course, she would have a male one. Guys, you mentioned this Vaporeon thing when Hillary was here, and I still don't get it. Yeah, and Joe, we still won't be telling you what it's about. LMAO, you are too immature to handle that kind of information. Well, whatever, boys, check it out. I beat them all, and now this cute little girl has shown up. I wonder if she has a phone, too. Dear God, Joe, shut your mouth and head to the bell tower because it's time to catch ho -Oh. Look, guys, I made it to the top of the tower all by myself without a guide this time, too. I love this part, guys, when they do their dance and Ho-Oh flies down. It's so pretty and cool, too, don't you think? Agreed, Obama, but I wish Ho-Oh had more screen time in the anime because out of every legendary in the entire series, I swear Ho-Oh was the least seen. I know, right, Donald, and another thing that pissed me off was them removing Arceus' voice. Like, in his movie, he could talk, but every appearance after, he doesn't say anything, and he is the literal god of everything. Look, guys, stop getting distracted because Ho-Oh is here now, and I will be the one to catch him. All right, Joe, here we go. Let's not fuck this up, too. And I hope you have enough Ultra Balls, too. We will be fine, Donald. And I don't know what you mean by Ultra Balls, but I have Poke Balls. Oh, my fucking God, Joe, don't tell me you didn't get any Ultra Balls, you fucking useless parsnip-faced idiot. Well, I clearly didn't. If I don't know what they are, I thought I could just use normal ones. Jesus Christ, I don't even know why I'm surprised, Obama. Okay, we cut here because we were literally launching Poke Balls at Ho-Oh for what felt like an eternity. No thanks to Joe, but we finally caught it. Well, look, even though that took ages, at least we got it, so you should both be happy, right, guys? Joe, just shut the fuck up for the rest of the video before I abuse you, but anyway, Obama, we need to make a switch now. Um, Donald, what are you doing with Togekis? 
I am swapping that sack of shit out for ho -O Obama because one of our viewers called Muda told me to shut up and then proceeded to lecture me on base stats of a Pokemon I don't give a fuck about. So until he apologizes, we will be using ho -O. And by the way, Muda ho -O has way higher base stats than your shitty Togekis. So what you got to say to that? Okay, Donald, I get you are angry with Joe, but please stop taking your rage out on our viewers. And also, you were the one who said using legendaries in our playthrough would be overkill. You both just ignored the fact that we are now in the Kanto region. We noticed Joe, but Donald shouldn't be bullying our viewers. He should be bullying you, Al Mal. But yeah, welcome to Kanto, everyone. And now we head towards the Pokemon League Joe, or Indigo Plateau, I should say. This game has the best post game of any game in the series, don't you both think? Oh yeah, Donald, it's not even a competition. Heart Gold and Soul Silver have the best post game story. It's just so fucking good being able to revisit all the cities from Gen 1, but in the updated graphics of the time was one of the best things ever, and challenging all the gyms as well was just insane. I also love that we can catch so many legendary Pokemon too and battle Red at the end. I just want to catch that damn Suicune Obama ever since he turned into Jesus and ran on the water. We will find Suicune Joe, and also we asked you guys if you wanted to see us do some of the DLC events, and you all said we should if we could, so, we will take a look into all of that after beating the game. Look boys, I made it to the Pokemon League already so easily, so now let's battle the Elite Four. Joe, you fucking idiot. This isn't the Indigo Plateau, it's just the badge check gate. We still need to get through Victory Road and also do some training. Because after witnessing you against those Kimono girls, we won't stand a chance against the Elite Four in our current state. Okay, boys, I did a shit ton of training, and now I believe we have to battle Donald for the final time before taking on the Elite Four. How much training did you do, Joe? Well, I may have overdone it, actually, guys, because I am scared of the Elite Four. Joe, what the fuck did you level everyone up to level 70 plus? Well, you both told me to do some training, so I did, and here we are now. Well, I guess since you will be the one taking on the Elite Four and Lance, then the team should be higher leveled than normal. And I wouldn't be surprised if you lost at this level either. Look, guys, our ho is destroying his entire team. Yeah, and that fucking Tiga Kiss wouldn't be able to do this LMFAO. I'm a bit disappointed that Donald didn't bother getting his team to their final evolutions for this battle. He could have had a Gengar or Magnazone by now. For the last fucking time, Obama stopped referring this NPC guy as me because he is not. Well, whatever you have been beaten for the final time, Donald L. Mao, so now fuck off and go cry about it. Actually, Joe, this won't be the final time we battle him, but well done anyway, and now we can actually head into the Indigo Plateau for real Joe. Awesome, guys, we are finally here, so how about we call it an episode? Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And in the next episode, we will be taking on the Elite Four and possibly Lance, depending on how well Joe does. So please remember to like the video and subscribe, and I will think about swapping ho -Oh out too. All right, boys, here we are about to take on the Elite Four, and when I say we, I mean Joe, so please remember to like and subscribe, everyone. Yeah, boys. I am so ready to take on the Elite Four. You have no idea with our high-leveled team, so they better be prepared. Bet you have also been preparing with all that cocaine you've snorted Joe L.M. Fow. I don't know what you are talking about, Obama, but look, guys, this is the team that shall lead us to victory. I thought I would give a quick overview before we take on the Elite Four. Yeah, and with ho -Oh, we will be unstoppable LMO. Nothing will get in our way, even with Joe battling. I am still not happy about ho -Oh being on our team, Donald. It just seems too much using a legendary on the team. Fuck off, Obama. You wanted to use Arceus in Platinum, which is the most overkill you can get. Yeah, but you are just using some oversized chicken whilst Arceus is the goat. I think using Mega Rayquaza would have been even more fun to use boys. He is just so OP. All right, Joe, time to concentrate. So I hope you took your dementia pills and are ready for the first member of the Elite Four. He uses psychic types, too. Nah, this will be a clean sweep, Obama Wagwan. I have so got this. With our Dragonite, too, I will just Dragon Pulse my way to victory. The thing about Dragonite is that it can use so many different types of moves that it can basically cover all bases. Also, off screen, we went and taught some useful TMs to our Pokemon before the Elite Four to make them even stronger. Yeah, we taught quite a few TMs to our team guys and also, well done Joe for switching out to Typhlosion for the Ice type. I always thought Jinx reminded me of a hooker and it's one of the few Pokemon we basically never see in the anime too. Jinx would be the perfect Pokemon for Donald then, don't you agree Obama LMFAO? Shut the fuck up Joe, at least I am not a crack addict like you and I can actually get laid too. You look like a ghost and are basically dead anyway. 
Yeah, the only thing you get laid with is a Jinx LMFAO. But anyway, look, boys, I beat the first member of the Elite Four. It was so easy. Well done, Joe, but don't get too arrogant. It's now time to take on Koga, who uses poison types. I remember Koga Obama. He used to be in the original games, but now he's an Elite Four member. Yeah, his daughter Janine is now the gym leader. And we will have to battle her in the post game at some point, Donald. Some of the Pokemon these Elite Four members use are so forgetful, like who the fuck would ever use a Foratress in a playthrough? You have probably offended someone with that remark, Joe. But that brings me to a question, which Pokemon do you guys use the most in playthrough of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Excluding the starter, please comment down below. A Pokemon I wish we could use was Golem Boys, but having to trade to evolve it is probably one of the worst features in the entire series, seriously. It's such BS. Oh, I agree, Donald, that feature is so dumb. I really wanted to use Magmortar and Diamond and Pearl, but couldn't because you had to trade for it and it pissed me off so much. That was the reason I invaded Yemen. Wow, Obama, so instead of going to therapy or eating an ice cream, you decided to take your frustrations out on the wonderful people in Yemen all because you couldn't be bothered to call me up to evolve a Magmortar. That sounds like Obama, but to be fair to him, I wouldn't want to call you either Joe, but well done for making it to Bruno now, by the way. He is probably my favorite member of the Elite Four. Bruno is so cool, isn't he? Donald, back in my youth, I wanted to be as ripped as him, but unfortunately, I had a country to run. Well, your idol is getting destroyed by me, Obama, so how does that make you feel? I hope you feel so upset inside and jealous because he is losing to me of all people and I am useless, LMO. Joe, why would I ever be jealous of you? Out of the three of us, I am the only one who did two terms as president. And I could have stayed on if I wanted, but thought, nah, it would be better to give you fucktards a chance. Fuck off, Obama. You may have done two terms as president, but I have made it to the fourth elite four member by myself with no help from any of you. So how does that make you feel? LMFAO, Joe, you are still shit at Pokemon battles. Remember, you lost to Whitney LML. But you told me you also lost to Whitney to Obama, so how is that an insult to me? He was lying, Joe, because Obama is actually a good player, unlike you, LML. But now I am wondering how many of our viewers lost to Whitney on their first try. So please comment down below if you have, and then you can be part of the same club as Joe Biden. So live with that for the rest of your lives, LMFAO. God, imagine being in the same club as Joe LML. I would just leave society and live in a cave in Yosemite or something if that were me. I thought you guys would have been more proud of me for beating the Elite Four all on my first try with the team we all built together, two boys. Why aren't you happy at all? Because you now need to battle Lance, Joe, and also you were like 30 levels higher than all of them, so it wasn't actually a challenge. Give me any game, then Donald and I will fuck everyone up in it because I am the one and only Joe Biden. All right then, Joe, we will give you Pokemon Emerald Kaizo or Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux and see how you do in those you arrogant shit. Yeah, comment down below which one you'd like to see Joe play out of those two games, everyone, because he is really getting super cocky now and it's annoying. I am already destroying Lance and his Dragonites with our one boys. So those other games you mentioned will be a joke. I am pretty sure Emerald Kaizo is considered one of the most difficult Pokemon games to play Joe and I have played and didn't make it past the first gym. Well, Obama, if you can't even make it past the first gym, it means you are so shit because I made it past the first gym in our Heart Gold and Platinum playthroughs. L-M-F-A-O. Joe, you just got our Dragonite killed, you fucking moron, and you say you're good? Donald, you haven't actually done anything in this entire playthrough except criticize everything I have done? That's because, Joe, you have made some choice options in this playthrough, and yet somehow we have still made it to the champion battle. Yeah, and I just fucking won, so shut your fat orange mouth and bow down to me, Donald. I do have to say well done to him, Donald, since he did actually beat all of them without our help, and he only lost one Pokemon and didn't heal either. A fucking three-year-old could have beaten them Obama with the levels Joe had. Oh, a three-year-old, where, where, tell me? Dear God, Joe, look in a mirror and you will find the three-year-old. All right, boys, here we are in the Hall of Fame. Well done, Joe. I will agree with Obama. You deserve at least a well done for making it all the way here by yourself somehow, by some miracle. You can't even say well done without sounding like a dick, Donald, but thanks, I guess. And now look, we can see all the Pokemon that helped us get this far, and I do feel Tegekis should have been here too, since it did help us a lot. Fuck Tegekis, Joe. I will release that flying pancake after the credits are done, but anyway, I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching, and we hope you enjoyed us beating the Elite Four. And next we will be heading to Kanto and taking on all the gyms there, so please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon too. Thank you for watching. Okay, everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold.
And today, boys, we will be heading to the Kanto region, so please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. That's right, Obama. And we are still in pursuit of that fucking Suicune, which I really, really want. OMG, it's Cameron the photographer. I've never seen him in New Barktown, though, boys. At the end of this series, we should go to our PC and look at all the photos he took of us. But first, we need that SS ticket so we can get the ship from Olivine City to Vermilion City. Do you boys think we should try catch all the other legendary Pokemon? The only thing I want to do in this game is that Arceus event, since he is so cool and can create us a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, he will create us a Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina, I think, Joe. But we need to activate that event, which I think we should do after beating Red. Oh, look, it's Professor Oak, boys. We haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's going to upgrade our Pokedex to the National Dex, so we can encounter the Kanto Pokemon Joe. And if I remember correctly, some of our viewers a few episodes ago told us we should try do all the events, so we should listen to them, Joe. The Giovanni event is a cool one, too, by the way. Oh, God, Obama, I forgot about this part of the game. We should have told Joe to get us some kombucha or something whilst you and I played this bit. Oh, fuck yeah, Joe. I'm playing this bit, otherwise we will be here forever if you play. Oh, yay! This is the bit where we have to find the lost child, isn't it? Oh, fucking hell, he knows about this part of the game, Donald. He has had the IGN guide up the entire time we have been playing, and I noticed a separate tab open in his Chrome browser for this specific part of the game since we beat Whitney, and I only understand why Joe had that open now, Obama. Hey, I was really looking forward to helping that little girl Donald, and now you have ruined it for me, you fucking orange baboon. Joe, you are the baboon here still hitting on little girls and unzipping your pants all the time, you fucking creep. Obama, as I said in our platinum playthrough, my flyers got stuck. And it just so happened to get stuck again, so shut the fuck up. Wow, these cruise ships have Nintendo Wii's in them, that's so cool. I know, right, Donald? Maybe we should go on a cruise together one day, just us three. But anyway, it's now time to go see the captain. Because that's where the little girl is. Hey, Obama, it's not fair that this old man here gets to be with this girl. But you won't let me play this part of the game. Joe, I'm literally saving you from impeachment, so drop it and let's just get this dumb side mission done so we can get to Vermilion City already. Fine, Obama, and thank you for looking out for my best interests. I don't give a fuck about you, Joe. I just don't want Donald getting a second term so I can always have that over him, LMFAO. Fuck you, Obama. Just wait till I am out of prison, then I shall have my second term and be known as the Pokemon president. Who wouldn't want a president who loves Pokemon? I will get so many fucking votes, LMAO. Except you will probably use an action replay to hack the voting machines, Donald, if you want to be a Pokemon president. LMAO, Joe, that was pretty funny. But anyway, boys, check it out. We have finally made it to Vermilion City. Ooh, look, it was Suicune Obama, and now this idiot you've seen is back again trying to steal him from us. Joe, you do realize we will be able to catch it still later, but it will go to one more place before we can. And we won't get to that place for a while, I think. That's fine, Donald Suicune isn't going to go anywhere. And anyway, whilst we are here, we may as well take on the gym, which in my opinion has the stupidest, most annoying puzzle in any game. It literally exists to piss the player off. I don't remember this puzzle, Obama. What is it again? Joe, you can even remember what you said three seconds ago, LMFAO, but anyway, we have to find two switches in these trash cans placed around the gym. But it's just so stupid. Yeah, we cut to the gym leader because this gym is just the fucking worst. But anyway, let's get this shit done, Obama. Lelty Surge is going down. Wow, this gym leader has Pokemon at a high level than the elite foreign champion. Yeah, but thanks to our training and Dragonite, we will easily sweep through this entire team. That's all thanks to me, Obama. I did all that fucking training and you both take the credit, you parasites. Joe, shut the fuck up. And by the way, be a doll and get our team to at least level 85 before the next episode, will you, K? Thanks. LML Joe is always going to be our bitch, isn't he, Obama? Why stop at level 85? He should get them all to 90. What I am wondering is why Surge here doesn't have a fully evolved team. I mean, how hard would it have been for the game devs to give him a Magnezone instead of Magneton? Because they are fucking lazy, Obama, like they were with Scarlet and Violet, and look how great those useless games turned out. But at least we have beaten Surge now anyway. Yeah, we got our ninth badge, boys. Well done. Now I think we should head north to Saffron City. And what's cool in this game is that we can battle the gyms in any order we want, but I guess we could take on Sabrina next. Sabrina is renowned to be one of the most difficult gym leaders, but when Joe gets our team to level 90, it will be so easy, LMFAO. Yeah, thanks, Joe, for being so kind and volunteering again to train our team some more. 
I never, ever, never, ever fucking volunteered, Obama. You just volunteered for me, you moron. No one asked you, Joe, so get on that after we have finished recording, thanks. But anyway, we have this tiny route to get through before Saffron City Boys. I think we should at least try Catch Mewtwo after beating all the Kanto Gyms guys. We could even use it against Red. Who would we replace Mewtwo with, though, Obama? We will replace Mewtwo with our oversized rainbow chicken since we don't need two legendaries on our team. As long as we don't use that to get kiss, I don't care what we replace Mewtwo with Obama except Typlosion and Dragonite. I say we get rid of Hillary Elam Fayo. Fuck you, Donald. If you get rid of me, I will fucking bitch slap you every day whilst you are in prison and have my speeches play on repeat for you in your prison cell TV. Oh, hey, Hillary. I think she's gone, Joe. What the fuck? That bitch just randomly appears, insults me, then leaves like nothing happened. I am also confused by this, Donald. It's like she knows every time you insult her, but you do ask for it, LMFAO. Anyway, check it. This is Mr. Psychic's house where we can get the TM for Psychic. Yeah, and that's about it for Saffron City Boys. So next time we will take on Sabrina with our hair across. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe. And also comment down below on if you think we should use Mewtwo or not. Have a lovely rest of your day. Hey everyone and welcome back to Heart Gold, where we will be taking on Sabrina today. But something we would like to discuss before the battle is we have been debating on if we should speed up the game or not which we experimented with in this video, and have come to the conclusion that we will be keeping the game sped up. And the reason is that we try to upload videos every day. So for the sake of getting content out to you all as fast as we can, as well as taking into account time for editing and other things we have to do in our life, this is the conclusion we have come up with. So we hope you all understand and apologize as well for the changes in speed you will see in the first few minutes of the video. Yeah, it's just, we have a lot going on in our lives outside YouTube, so we hope you understand why we are keeping the game sped up. And we apologize if some of you don't like this, but this is something we may consider changing in the future. I mean, I am an acting president, so have other things to do as well other than play Pokemon. But see, I still sit here and upload content for you all every day, so you should all be thanking me by liking the video and subscribing, and also joining our channel if you feel like it as well. Joe, it's not just you uploading content, you idiot. Obama and myself sit here all day too, since he has nothing better to do, and in between my court hearings, I am free. So I make the thumbnails and edit sometimes as well too. So shut it and beat Sabrina for us. Whatever Donald and look, she's getting absolutely destroyed by us already. And she is on her last Pokemon too, so we have nothing to worry about LML. Joe, I was gonna yell at you for not getting our Pokemon up to level 85, like we told you to in the last video. But I'm glad you didn't because we are already very high leveled and these gyms are so easy. Yeah, I think we shouldn't do any more training, boys, until maybe we get to Red since his Pokemon are all in the high 80s. Fine, guys, we will keep our team around the level 70 area for now. And look, we have made it to one of my favorite cities in Pokemon, Cerulean City. This is also one of my favorite cities, Joe. Please leave a comment and let us know which city is your favorite in the Pokemon world. Sunny Shore City in Sinnoh is also another favorite of mine, too. But... Anyway, Joe, we have to go to the Nugget Bridge here, like in the OG games, and also head to the power plant as most of Kanto is shut down because of the power plant not working. Yeah, we will sweep through these peasant trainers and get a nugget at the end, which we can sell to make bank, Joe. Also, this is the city where that moron was selling a bike for like a billion dollars. Oh, I remember that in Fire Red and Leaf Green, Donald, and I don't think we could actually get that amount of money to begin with, but I still tried. Joe, you're the type of person who believed there was a Mew under that truck in Vermilion City, LMFAO. I remember you telling me about that when you were the VP. LMAO, what an idiot. He actually believed that Obama. Joe is also the type of person to start crying as soon as he entered Lavender Town because of the music. Hey, listen, Donald, that almost gave me PTSD. I don't like ghosts, and that town is full of them. Especially that graveyard tower. It freaked me out more than your face does. That's funny considering you look like a ghost yourself, Joe. Oh, hey, look, it's Bill's house, boys. I remember when he turned himself into a Pokemon. Wait, Bill turned himself into a Pokemon? OMG, Joe, you played Fire Red with Obama. You should remember, you moron. Why would Bill Clinton turn himself into a Pokemon? I need to give Hillary a quick DM and ask her about this. You moron, Joe, not that Bill. This is Bill who created the PC system in the Pokemon world and TBH. I would rather have had Bill from Pokemon as our president instead of that other idiot. But anyway, it is what it is. Okay, boys, I made it to the power plant, and this police guy's is a saying some shady figure is skulking around the Cerulean gym. Yeah, we gotta get that machine part back, Joe. I bet that shady guy is Joe, too, Elmao. 
Wouldn't surprise me, Donald LMAO. But anyway, Joe, hurry up and get in the gym, will you? By the way, guys, we had some comments in the last video saying it would be cool if we put Mewtwo on our team. So I say we replace Ho-Oh with it and we can teach Fly to our Dragonite. No, Joe, I like Ho-Oh. He is our rainbow chicken. Wait, I thought we beat Team Rocket, boys. Why the heck is this guy here now? Didn't he get the memo? Well, clearly he didn't, Joe, and I am not sure why he even stole the machine part to begin with. It makes no sense. But anyway, after this, we will absolutely never see them again. Oh yeah, guys, like I predicted, our Pokemon Violet video did so well, so we will be continuing that as a full series along with our other ones. I don't actually mind playing it, Joe, it's just, for some reason it doesn't really feel like Pokemon to me, and I'm not sure why it doesn't. I like some of the new Pokemon designs and new features, but for me, Pokemon Heart Gold was peak Pokemon, as well as Gen 5. Oh yeah, we had a comment regarding Gen 5, Donald, and yes, we will be playing Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2 at some point, but we have so many series going right now, we feel we should finish one of them before starting a new one. And so far, this game is the closest to being done. Yeah, we got our 10th badge today, and maybe in the next episode we can take on two gyms as well as maybe catch some legendaries too. Something I was also thinking we could do was swap some of our team members out for new ones. Joe, have you started doing crack as well now? What do you mean, Donald? Joe, why on earth would you want to swap some of our team members out at this point? And we already had this discussion too, but you forgot again, didn't you? Well, I thought it would be nice to try some new Pokemon out now. Joe, if you do that, then you will be the one leveling them all up for us, and we don't have time for that either. You have to play Platinum next, and then upload our second episode of Violet. Actually, Donald, I kind of wanted to play Sword and Shield as well, since those games were ones I actually enjoyed quite a lot, believe it or not. Joe, we can have that discussion tonight after the presidential meeting, but well done for returning the machine part. And because of that, we can progress through the post game and visit more cities. Yeah, I think after doing this, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno become available to use guys so we could catch them next. Good idea, Donald. But anyway, let's end this episode here, boys. Thank you for watching, everyone. And please remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day. Joe is an idiot, LMFAO. Tally ho, tally ho. Here we go, boys, back with Pokemon Heart Gold. Tally ho today. We're going to do some more battling and stuff and take a visit to yep, Joe's yep, PTSD yep, yep. town. Joe coming in hot with those Avatar references. Yip, yip, yip. Here we go, boys. Taking on these three hoodlums with coughing. These three are just coughing simps, and so annoying guys watch our ho -oh take them down like I've taken all those youngsters downtown. I know, right, Joe? But we have got to send you to a therapist ASAP, because I'm starting to feel sorry for these youngsters. And they ain't even real, but anyway, boys, how's your week been? It's Saturday already. Time flies, doesn't it? Oh yeah, Barry, this week has been the shit. I got so stoned in the White House and have still managed to record and upload our videos every day this week. So give me some credit here, will you? On top of that, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers to please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Yeah, Obama, I've also been busy with the FBI raiding more of my houses. So I gotta be one step ahead of them. And at the same time, make sure to attend my court dates on time. And if it was Joe, he would miss them all because he'd probably oversleep. Hey, check it, it's Grimer, boys, and guess what his evolution is? Such a child, Joe, it's Muck, but we will be ending this conversation right here. Speak of the devil, here he is the big man himself. Right, Donald, take this thing out before our channel gets banned. Fuck, we got hit with Sludge Bomb by Muck, uh-oh. One more Thunderbolt and he's dead, Donald, get on it now. Hey, you two. I wanted Muck to hang around a bit more, but it is what it is, I guess. And by the way, where's my Suicune? Up your ass, Joe, and guys, I want to say after this series is done, I say we run the game on normal speed on our other playthroughs, as I think more people will like that. No, Obama, I will decide that thanks not them, as I am Donald J. Trump, and just overall better than everyone, and I'm so great and amazing and handsome. Great ego, more like... Fuck off, Joe! You wouldn't have made it this far without my help, so who cares if my ego is big when I'm right all the time anyway? Donald, you were only a president, but meanwhile, Joe is actually the current president, and he is the champion of Johto and Kanto. Whatever, Obama, I'm actually getting more pissed off with this idiot trainer with three Magnemites. Why would he do this? So salty and got no comeback to me being the champ, Donald L. Mount. Right, Mount, Joe, Mount, you are Mount. cruising for a bruising champ. Just wait till I get my hands on you. No violence is allowed here, Donald. You already embarrassed the country when you started that riot, so we don't need any more embarrassment when Joe beats your sorry ass LMFAO. Ah, we are in Lavender Town now, boys. I hate this town so much it stresses me out, and then I need to snort more of that cocaine I confiscated off Hunter. Well, that cocaine clearly isn't working for you, Joe, is it? But don't worry, this isn't like the original Lavender Town, and the Graveyard Tower is now the Radio Tower. Yep, just picked up that radio card to wake up Donald blocking the way to Pewter City. Oh, sorry, I meant Snorlax. 
OMG Obama, so funny, I look nothing like a Snorlax. Forgot how mirrors work, have you, Donald? Try looking in one and you will see what we mean. This is all recorded. Joe and I will show Hillary how much of a prick you've become, and then what will you do when she takes my side? Well, I control Hillary in the game, Donald, so I will get her to use discharge on you. Uh-huh. She will really appreciate you saying you control her, Joe, when actually it's the other way around. Hey, Joe, your best friend is about to show up on the right. Get ready. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who, Obama? I have no friends other than you two. Sounds about right, Joe. And when I'm in prison for the rest of my life, you'll only have Obama. OMG, Obama. It's Sui Kunye. Now can we catch him? WTF. He just ran away from you again, Joe. But I'm not surprised because anyone with at least one brain cell would turn the other way and run from you if they blah, saw blah, you blah, coming. Blah. I can't hear you, Donald. Joe Yuasin is telling us where to find Sui Kun. And he says that Sui Kun prefers water with some hills and somewhere up north, which is basically Cerulean City. Oh, great. So we could go there now, but instead we have to continue going down the longest route in Kanto. Yep, Joe, because then we can get to Fuchsia City and battle Janine for our 13th gym badge. And we need to get to Celadon so we can get some new TMs from the department store there. All right, Fuchsia City boys, we finally made it after that godforsaken route. But now we need to head straight to the gym, Joe, and this one is a poison-type gym. So use well myself being Typhlosion, and we will win easy peasy. Hey guys, what's your favorite type in Pokemon? Mine has to be fairy type, they're so cute. Mine is dragon or ghost type, Joe, because they just suit me, I'm especially dragon. I'm surprised it's dragon. not poison type because you're so toxic, Donald LML. So fucking funny, Joe. Seriously become a comedian so I can throw shit at you when you perform, you goon. All right, you two calm down and stop being so loud. Joe, when you enter the gym, go along the right side and then down and you'll find the gym leader. Wow, they all look the same, Obama, so without your help, I would have been here forever. Well, that's just plain racism, Joe. On what planet is that racism, Donald? They all literally look the same and are dressed identically, so my comment was in fact valid. So shut your baboon face. Oh wow, a crowbat. This reminds me of our shiny crowbat in our platinum playthrough guise which we named after me, and you should all go check that playthrough out by clicking the link in the description. Yeah, except Obama as a Typhlosion is destroying this gym without any trouble at all, but considering most of her Pokemon are bug types too, this is easy. That's because I am the real G Donald. And I will take down Red on my first try, easy peasy. Like Just Aang keep taking down, down, down youngsters, Lord. Joe. That's all you're good Donald, for. Donald, you LML. cut me off one more time, and I will send Melania a DM that you cheated on her with Michelle. Oh, my fing god, you two shut the F up and don't bring Michelle into this. Either Joe or I will tell Jill you've been snorting cocaine every day at the White House. Ha, joke's on you, Obama. She has been snorting it, too. You really think I have enough time to go through 10 bags of that stuff a night? We split it each 50-50. Wait a goddamn minute, Joe, when the F did you get that stupid Togekis back into our party? I only realized now. Go get Ho-O back and release this flying pancake. Took you long enough to realize, Donald, it's been with us since Lavender Town, and you only notice now, and apparently I'm the one with dementia and slow. Oh, and he released that Ho-O too, Donald, and I tried my best to stop him, but I couldn't and was hoping for some backup from you, but apparently you were busy probably Googling Stormy again or something. Both of you can go to hell if you seriously released my rainbow chicken Obama. Just go take on Misty, will you, Joe, before I get more pissed off? Just so you know, Donald, I didn't actually release ho -Oh. Obama said that to wind you up, which is absolutely deserved. Well, you can still go to hell, Joe. You haven't done anything to benefit us today. And you can edit this video, too, because ICBA. Well, watch me and Hillary take down these stupid water-type trainers, Donald, which is something you haven't done, and actually you haven't even played for about a month. It's always me, so go do something blah, useful, blah, blah, will blah, you? Blah, Joe, go to hell, you turn up face moron. Donald, you are just salty because I am the champ and you are an inmate. Go fuck yourself, Joe. I'm done here. You know those meetings with the CIA when I got Osama killed were way less stressful than having to deal with you two these days. No wonder my blood pressure has gone up so high. Don't blame your blood pressure on me, Obama. Joe is the one acting like a child because that's his age demographic. Actually, Donald, according to our analytics, all ages love our videos, so up yours, LML. Yeah, and you beat Misty without much difficulty either, Joe, although her team could have been a bit more varied. What are you talking about, Obama? He hasn't finished yet, and Hillary just went to sleep, which is Joe's favorite hobby. Wow, and now she's used a full restore. What the F is this crap battle? Oh, Hillary woke up, Joe. Only if you could have naps that fast, maybe our country would be in a better state. Oh my fucking God, now we are frozen, Joe. What the hell are you doing? And now Hillary is dead, thanks to you, Joe. I hope you feel good about that. As much as I hate her, I wouldn't want that to happen to her. And now look what you've done. Yeah, I have nothing to say to that except I'm sorry, boys. Well, you are lucky this is her last Pokemon Joe because you've decided to bring out 
a dragon type against her Pokemon, who all have ice types, especially this damn Starmie. Yo, holy hell, now you got Dragonite killed too. Donald, shut the F up. You have not been helpful during this battle at all. You could have warned me she had ice type moves, and you, Obama, are just as bad because you didn't help me either. Joe, you are older than all of us, and we are not going to baby you dumbass, and look, you won anyway. Even if you did manage to knock out two of our team, and they both had electric moves. Both of you can go away. I'm going to go see Sweet Coon instead, because he makes me happy, whilst you two make me so angry and upset. Yeah, well, Joe, you better have Ultra Balls with you this time, and don't pull a ho-ho where you had, like, only one Poke Ball with you. Oh, it's Mr. Simp again coming over here and lecturing us on Sweet Coon. I'm just going to watch Sweet Coon for a while, guys, so we can catch him in the next episode. Whatever, Joe, and thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe and become a member, too, if you would like to support our content. All right, boys, no intro today because I have waited for this day ever since I first saw Sweet Coon back in Ecritic City. And now is finally the chance for us to catch it. So here we go, but please remember to like and subscribe as we get ever closer to 1,000 subscribers. All right, Joe, don't mess this up since you've been waiting for this Pokemon to catch for ages now, and it will be level 40 as well. So I think that's the main reason why we brought out Togekiss again, Donald. Yeah, and as soon as we have caught Suicune, Joe, you better get Ho-Oh back, all right? We will see Donald, but you will both be proud of me because this time I bought some Ultra Balls Elmao. Thank God for that, and by the way, we could go get Lugia today as well, boys, since we have to go to Pewter City next to Battle Brock. Oh, yay, I really want to catch Lugia, and then we can replace it with Ho-Oh, what do you think, Donald? Oh, nice, Joe, you caught Suicune rather quickly, too, I must say, but anyway, we won't be using it, so off to our PC box, it goes forever. Obama, I want to fucking use it, so let's ditch Ho-Oh and use Suicune, I don't Joe, care Joe, you can Donald shove says. Suicune up where the sun doesn't shine, we ain't using that shit, because Ho-Oh is better, so they're... Donald, go to hell, we are using Suicune. Joe Suicune is only level 40, so you will be the one to train it all the way up to level 75, so do you really want to do all that? Hmm. Fair point, Obama. But I still want to use it just out of spite to piss Donald off because he is always bullying me and winding me up. Joe, you deserve it now. Watch this, LML. Hang on, Donald. Where the hell did you get all these other Pokemon from? I don't know what you're talking about, Obama, so let's instead do this LML. Donald, you fucking Snorlax moron. Don't release it, please. What you gonna do about it if I do, Joe? Huh, huh, huh? Donald, why did you do that? You fat piece of shit, I hate you so much, I hate you more than anyone ever, you horrible, meanie, orange, baboon-faced pig. Ah, ha, 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 that's a big fuck you to Donald, you, Donald, I will send every single youngster in my contacts after you because of what you did. Oh, no, I am so scared, Obama. Joe is gonna send all his friends after me, all of whom are under the age of 10. Please save me from this horror. Usually, I wouldn't get involved with your petty fights, but you crossed the line this time, Donald. Why the hell did you release Tagekis? And that was a Pokemon one of our viewers suggested, too. Oh, look, I found Donald lying asleep on the ground, doing absolutely nothing Joe, as usual. Joe, for the last goddamn time, I am not a Snorlax, so stop saying that. After what you did, Donald, I am changing your contact on my phone to Donald Snorlax Trump. And the name tag to your prison cell will be Snorlax, too, as well as your jumpsuit tag. All of it will be Snorlax. Joe, you better not do that shit to me. All I did was release a virtual animal on a game. But you are now bringing this conflict into real life, and that's a step too far. Haha, ha, Donald, I caught you with an Ultra Ball, and the Pokedex entry even relates to you too. It says, what sounds like its cry may actually be its snores or the rumblings of its hungry belly. Sounds exactly like you, Donald. LMAO Joe. That is 100% accurate to Donald, but only if Snorlax came in red to suit his Republican Both of way of you can thinking. go to hell too seriously. I only released that to Geekus as a joke, and you go and fat shame me and call me a Snorlax, which if anything you are too, Joe, because all it does is sleep like your sorry ass does Donald is salty. Time. Donald is salty. Donald is salty. Go fuck yourself, Joe. Okay, well, in other news, I just went and got the silver wing from Joe here, and now we can go to the Whirl Islands back in Johto and get Lugia, but first, let's go beat Brock, boys. Maybe a nice gym battle will calm everyone down, and it's against Brock, too, and he's my favorite character from the anime. Oh, yeah, Brock is also my favorite to Obama, and I will definitely feel calmer after seeing him, but I was just upset with Donald for releasing Togekis, and he still hasn't apologized either. For God's sake, Joe. Fine, I'm so sorry for releasing Tagekis and upsetting you, and I apologize, and you are still my friend. So lots of love yours sincerely, Donald J. Trump. And I'm so sorry for threatening to release my youngsters after you, Donald. You are also my friend, and I love you too. Yours sincerely, Joe Biden. All right, good. We are all friends again. So now, Donald, hurry and beat Brock so we can head to the Whirl Islands and get that Lugia. 
Yeah, don't worry, Obama. And look, Joe, I will use you to win this battle, which shows how much I am sorry for being mean to you and how sincere I am when I apologized. Okay, Donald, but you almost got me killed here, and that wouldn't show much sincerity, would it? Oh, um, oops, that was a mistake. Donald, you lying piece of trash. You did this on purpose with your BS apology just to make me feel you were sorry, when in reality you were being a snake as usual and got me killed by another water type of all things on purpose. That's your fault for believing me, Joe, you moron. And anyway, I would rather become Hillary's personal butler than give you an authentic apology in every universe ever, LML. Gotta agree with Donald there, Joe. It was your fault for believing him, and now he's destroying Brock with Hillary, an electric type in a rock type gym, LMAO. If I was you, I would be super salty about this situation. I can't believe you fucking did this, Donald. You are the reason why the world hates our country. I hope you know that. And it's because you pull shit like this all the damn time. Blah, blah, and we are blah, idiots blah. For no one always cares about your opinion, it. Joe. And this damn Cabotops has given me hell, Obama. Brock keeps using full restores and endure when he knows he's going to lose anyway. He just doesn't want to lose to an electric type Donald, which makes sense to be fair. But anyway, you got it now. So well done. I think that was our 14th badge, too. Yeah, that's right, Obama. And now we only have Blaine and Blue left. But first, we need to head to Pallet Town and speak to Professor Oak. And also, we can catch that Lugia now as well, finally. OK, boys, I made it to the Whirl Islands. And I know my way around this place. So we will get to Lugia very easily. And we still have about 75 Ultra Balls, thanks to Joe. So we should be good. You're welcome, Donald. And I think we should add Lugia to our team, too, after this. But who should we get rid of? Hmm, well, we could swap Lugia out for Ho-Oh, because having two legendaries on our team feels way too much, and we only have two gyms left anyway. Obama, we are not going through this again. I am doing Ho-Oh some justice, since he never gets any screen time in the anime, whilst Lugia is plastered over every wall. So it's only fair we keep Ho-Oh on our team until we beat the game. Well, Donald, if you had told me earlier that that was the reason why you wanted to use Ho-Oh to give the poor fellow some screen time, then I wouldn't have made a big deal about swapping out our Tegekis. Joe, you never asked me, you moron. But anyway, let's drop that subject before we start fighting. And I was thinking, anyway, we could get rid of Heracross as good as it is. Lugia is better. Oh, yeah, Donald, we could get rid of Heracross for now. That's a good shout. I kind of like the rest of our team, and I don't feel attached to Heracross yet. And I also agree, Lugia is one of the goats. All right, here we go, boys. Time to battle the water bird thingy. Lugia has probably the best area of any legendary Pokemon in the games. Don't you guys think? I mean, just look at this place. It's so pretty. Oh, hey, I have a question for our viewers. Could someone please explain in what situations the ability pressure would be useful, as I'm still unsure to this day and would like to know? I am guessing it could be useful for competitions, maybe. Oh yeah, that's a good question, Obama, because it says it raises the enemy PP, but what good would that be? LML, Joe said PP, but anyway, sorry, if you die again, Joe, you might have to take this L like Obama had to, with our Crobat and our Platinum playthrough if we want to catch Lugia. No worries, Donald, I would take any L to be able to catch Lugia. I'm so excited for this Pokemon to become a member of our party. Oh yeah, we got it, boys, and you didn't have to die, Joe, so good stuff, boys. So now let's go back to Kanto and swap it out for our Heracross. And the good thing is it's already level 70. We don't need to make Joe train it up much, Elmo. Oh, we got a lonely nature on it too, which is all right. I guess this means its attack gets increased, but defense gets decreased. Although judging by its stats, having a special defense boost could have been better. I think lonely nature is good though, Joe, because our special defense is already so high anyway. So what difference would it really make? Well, boys, how about we end this episode here and in the next one, we will aim to battle Blaine and Blue and then see where we go from there. So thanks so much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe for more. All right, everyone, and welcome to Heart Gold. And this will be a longer video as we aim to take on the last few gyms as well as Red. So we sup, hope sup, you sup, enjoy sup, this sup, video, everyone. and please remember to like and subscribe. Yeah, we thought as we are so close to beating Heart Gold, we wanted to make another video of this amazing game before it ends, as we have really enjoyed playing it, and we hope you all have enjoyed watching it too. Yeah, that's right, Donald. And some things we did off screen were change up Lugia's moveset, as you will see, and just cut to Viridian City. Also, boys, let's all try be friends and no fighting either, please. So, Donald, don't go and release any more Pokemon, and Joe, don't rile yeah, Donald. Yeah, yeah, Obama, okay, we get it all right. We aren't children. It's all just friendly banter in the end. Well, you two always act like children, and then I have to act like the single father, making sure you two behave yourselves, and then I don't even get to enjoy the game. So, shut it, Donald. Well, this news will make you both happy. 
We finally reached 1,000 subscribers, boys. So on behalf of those two idiots, we just want to thank you for your continued support. We hope you continue to enjoy our content and the games we play. We would love new game suggestions for the future alongside our other ones, including Animal Crossing. But that game is challenging for us to make content for now as it's becoming very dull, but we aren't stopping. Yeah, well done, boys. We made it to the big 1K, but enough celebrating. We have lots of work to do getting towards Cinnabar Island and the Seafoam Islands, too. I am not happy with 1K, boys. We need at least a billion subscribers. So help us get to that, everyone, because then that's another thing I can boast about in prison, as Donald, well as being a billionaire. Donald, I will make sure you are put in solitary isolation for I the entirety the of your Joe. sentence. But anyway, boys, we made it to the town that started it all, Pallet Town, and here is Red and Blue's houses. Yeah, this is where it all started, guys. So let me ask you both if you think Ash is red and Gary is blue. Well, Obama, I don't think they are the same as the manga and the games are in a different universe to the anime where Ash is. At least that's what I think. I agree with Joe, actually, and don't think they are the same either. But let's ask our viewers and see what they think Obama. So please comment down below on what your opinions are about Ash, Red, Gary, and Blue. Oh, good idea, Donald. And also, everyone, we would like to know which legendary you would like us to catch after beating Red. As this game has so many and we will make our judgment based off which comment has the most likes too. I personally would like to catch Mewtwo and then we can use it for the Elite Four rematch battles. Not gonna lie, Joe, I would prefer using Mewtwo for Red since he will be very difficult and funnily enough, he will be the only trainer who is higher leveled than us. But I think that will be a good challenge since most of this game has been easy and the Elite Four will also have higher leveled Pokemon too. Check it out, boys, it's blue, but we can't battle him yet until we have got all seven gym badges from Kanto, so we still have a ways to go. Yeah, he's talking about how Cinnabar Island got destroyed by a volcano. So I assume this happened after Fired and Leaf Green. Well, we only have one more badge to go, boys, so after Blaine, we can come back here and take Blue on in Viridian City. Wait a fucking minute, guys. Why did he say we only have five badges? Shouldn't we have six? Oh shit, we forgot to take on Erica in Celadon City, guys. I completely forgot about her. Oops. No worries, Joe. We have given you a hard enough time, and I don't want to fight today since we are so close to beating the game, and plus it's just more content for our viewers anyway. So first let's beat Blaine and then go take on Erica, and with our team it'll be easy. Peasy, lemon, squeezy. Oh wow, this Arcanine survived an earthquake from Lugia, boys. Yeah, but you didn't need to waste an Aeroblast on it, Donald. And by the way... I would have suggested we use this if we didn't choose Cyndaquil as our fire-type Pokemon. Oh yeah, Arcanine is so cool, guys, and I love the Legends Arceus version of it too, which I guess is the old form of it. I think it's only the Hisuian form of it, Joe. And by the way, there has been lots of news about a Legends Kirim game, and I wonder if Unova will have a different name as well, like Sinnoh was Hisui. It probably will, Obama and I would love a Legends Kyrim game. It's already one of my top legendaries. Zekrom and Reshiram are cool too, but I wonder what that original dragon Pokemon will look like. No time to wonder about that right now, Donald. It's time to battle Blaine, and with Earthquake, this won't take long, LMAO. I wish they changed his Pokemon a bit. Don't you think, Obama, like they could have given him a Magmortar instead of Magmar since this is the post-game too? Yeah, that would have made the battles more interesting, Donald, I agree. But I'm also surprised with how versatile our Lugia is with its moveset. I didn't expect it to learn Earthquake and Thunderbolt. We could probably beat Red with our Lugia all by itself. That would itself. be suicide if we did that, Joe. What a dumb Donald, idea. Donald, I wasn't saying we should. I was just saying we probably could, you moron. Yeah, well, we won't be Joe in any case, but look, we beat Blaine Boys, and now we should head to Celadon and take on Erica, which is a grass-type gym, so using Typhlosion will be the best bet. Oh, hey, do you guys remember what this old man used to say in the original games, LMAO? But they went and changed it, I guess, to be more family friendly, which is just BS. Oh, I remember that Donald LMAO. I wish they kept small things like that in the game. It made it more funny. But anyway, time to take on Erica, boys. And we made some cuts for the sake of time. But this battle will probably be quick, too. Wait, I don't remember what he said, Obama. Can you please tell me? No way, Joe. Because he actually reminds me of you. And we don't need you turning into a creep again before the series ends. Hey, that's not fair, guys. I am the only one allowed to be a creep, so I will Google what he says now if Joe, you both want to exclude Google that, me. then I will make sure to edit you out of this video, and it's my turn to edit today, so don't think I wouldn't do that. Obama, you can't do that to me because I am an integral part of these videos, and I bet people love me more than you anyway. 
Yeah, Joe, they love watching you fall off things in your idiocy during speeches and watching your mind slowly fall apart, too. Well, in other news, we got our seventh gym badge, boys, so now we can finally go and take on Blue, and I wish he was at least in the high-level 60s. But instead, his entire team is mid-50s. Yeah, Obama, but his team is super varied, which is something I really like, as his gym doesn't really have a type. Well, Joe, if you remember, which you probably don't actually, but anyway, that gym used to be a ground-type gym when Giovanni was there, but I do prefer Blue's all-rounder team, and I consider a practice battle for Red anyway. It would be a better practice battle if he actually he had a stronger team, Donald. Well, anyway, here we go, boys. Let's finally take on our boy Blue and destroy his crappy team. And by the way, I would really like to be the one to battle Red at the end if you two don't mind. Do you know what, Joe? Go ahead, who gives a damn at this point? We may as well go out with a bang since Donald, this series is almost over. Donald, are you implying I'm useless again and will lose to Red even though I am the champion of both regions? Joe! You can't keep using that as an excuse to do whatever you want, and you wouldn't have been champion if Obama and myself didn't help you. Hell, you would still be in New Bark Town if it wasn't for us. You know, I was trying to concentrate so we could get through this gym puzzle, but all I keep hearing is Donald Snorlax's voice constantly. It's fine, Obama, you made it to blue now, so destroy him and then we can head straight to Mount Silver. All right, I think this is the last time we let Joe train our Pokemon Donald, because we are very high leveled. And the only thing that's good for now is Red and the Elite Four rematches. But since this series is going to be over in probably the next episode or two, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Agreed, Obama, but we are also using legendaries. Remember, LML and Lugia was level 70 anyway, and it took down that Exeggutor with that super effective move. Yeah, Ice Beam and Thunderbolt will carry us in this gym, guys. Lugia has a super effective move for basically every member of Blue's team, LML. And I didn't plan for this either when I added those moves to him. Yeah, Obama, that was probably an oversight on your behalf, you idiot. Well, I didn't plan for Blue Donald. I was actually thinking about Red considering his team is about 10 plus levels higher than we are. And he has like a level 88 Pikachu with a light ball. El Mao, what an idiot. Blue used Roar and dragged me out, but I'm a water type and he calls himself the original champion. I am the only champion around these here parts, Blue. Joe, the Move Roar picks a random Pokemon to bring out, and I'm pretty sure Blue doesn't sit there for 10 minutes deciding on which Pokemon he'd like to battle from our team, you moron. Whatever, Joe, but now we are on his final Pokemon, and with Hillary, we won this battle, so I guess this was a good warm-up for Red. Good job, boys. We finally got all 16 gym badges, so now we can head to Mint Silver. Nice, this last badge was called the Earth Badge, and by the way, I'm pretty sure we can get the other starter Pokemon from the different regions after this. Yeah, Joe, Stephen Stone, who is the champion of the Hoenn region, is somewhere around Kanto, I think. And he will give us the Hoenn starters, and after beating Red, we can get the Kanto starters off Professor Oak. Speak of the devil here, he is calling us Obama, telling us to go visit him in his lab. Yeah, and he will give us the final HM, and I think we should teach Rock Climb to Hillary and remove Power Gem. I never understood how Rock Climb is a normal type move when it literally has the word rock in it, but whatever, I guess. That sounds like a personal problem, Obama El Mal. But yeah, Joe, we can make Hillary a HM slave now, too. Let's see what that wench thinks of that LML. Okay, everyone, we cut to the top of Matt Silver. And before we begin, we should show everyone our team boys. Yeah, we taught ho -Oh Sunny Day to counteract the hail effect, as some of our viewers suggested to us in the last video. And we also bought a shit ton of Max Revives, as we will probably die a lot, LML. That's right, Joe. We bought Max Revives and some full restores and also gave our team some move boost items such as the charcoal and magnet to Hillary and Typhlosion. Yeah, we gave the C incense to Joe too since he will be able to deal with Red's Charizard and I think that's about it, boys. So I think we should begin this legendary battle. Ooh, I'm super nervous, boys. Don't worry, Joe, you got this and he will probably lead with Pikachu first. So bear that in mind since we have Ho-Oh out. Okay, set up Sunny Day first, Joe. He is so going to outspeed us, Obama. I am scared. Oh, holy hell, he came in hot with that Volt Tackle, boys. Oh, damn, and we are already dead, LML. Okay, Joe, don't worry, this was to be expected. He took half of his own health anyway, Joe, so Pikachu will be easy to deal with. Don't worry. Thanks for the support, guys. I will use Earthquake now. Okay, good job, Joe. It's now one for one, but don't let your guard down yet. Red is really strong. Oh, Lapras is next, boys. I say we bring out Hillary and discharge this Lapras to its grave. Good shout, Joe. Although Lugia had Thunderbolt too, remember? And we would probably have the speed advantage with him too. Got the paralysis and one more discharge should be enough to KO this dinosaur, boys. Awesome, Joe, but remain composed, buddy. We still have a long way to go. 
Ironically, I am most worried about his Snorlax more than anything. If I had to fight you as a Snorlax, I would also be scared, Donald, but Blastoise is next, Joe. So what you gonna do here? Oh no, he has Blizzard on this Pokemon too, boys. I think I can outspeed him, maybe. And we got Frozen too, just great, Joe. We are so gonna lose now. Yeah, say bye-bye to Hillary, boys. She did her best, but somehow we got outsped by that fat blue turtle. Maybe the hail is giving him a speed boost, guys, but yeah, Hillary did her best. A moment of silence for her. Are you guys battling red and not telling me? Oh, hey, Hillary, yeah, sorry you got taken out by a blue turtle, but you can come support me in this battle now if you like. Oh, wow, I see you caught Lugia, boys, well done. And of course, Joe, I will be here for moral support, too. I remember beating red in Pokemon Crystal. It was really tough. Oh, here comes Donald now, everyone. So be ready, Joe, because he knows Blizzard as well. So funny, Obama, once again, but I trust Joe and Lugia to take me out. I mean, take Snorlax out. Okay, wow, our most powerful move did absolutely nothing here, guys. I don't know what to do now. And that was a critical hit, too. Wow, don't worry, Joe, I believe in you. Okay, I am just gonna spam our most powerful moves, boys, because that's my plan. Jesus Christ, Snorlax has so much health, guys. But I'm impressed with the fight you're putting up, Joe. However, I think we should have had a Pokemon with Toxic or something. Hang on, why aren't you guys using potions or anything? Well, we did buy some Hillary, but I wanted to try to go as long as possible without having to heal to show everyone how amazing of a trainer I am. But this is clearly not going the way I wanted it, so might have to drop some Max Revives in a moment. Good idea Joe set up a Whirlpool to take a bit of his health out each time. Yeah, but I don't think Gyarados will be strong enough to take Snorlax out. We should have kept Heracross in boys and taught it close combat. I know I will switch to Typhlosion and use Eruption and see what that does. Crap, he has Giga Impact too, but he will have to lose a turn after that, Joe. So please hurry up and get rid of this Snorlax. This is crazy, this guy has an unlimited health bar. I swear a Dark Souls boss is easier than this guy's. And Red just keeps using full restores too. I bet he just doesn't want to lose to me because then he'll be so embarrassed. Oh my god, he used another. This is so annoying, boys. Yeah, I have a feeling you will die too, Obama, because Joe is refusing to use any healing items, the idiot. Oh, and there he goes, LMAO. Nice try there with Typhlosion, Joe, but I suggest you bring out Dragonite and use Extreme Speed, since his attack is super high. Yeah, first I am reviving Ho-Oh, so I can try set up a sunny day, Hillary. It took me ages to find the max revives, too. I almost thought I forgot them. Joe, if you forgot them, I would have switched off the game and thrown it at your head. We have been battling this godforsaken Snorlax for what feels like an eternity. Joe, can you please kill it already? Oh, finally we outsped it and I got a Dragon Pulse in hell, yeah. Told you to use Dragonite, Joe, and see now we beat Donald LML. Joe, if you use Sunny Day with Charizard out, it will be a disaster, so I wouldn't do that, but up to you, buddy. Oh god, he has Air Slash, which just makes me flinch all the time, doesn't it? Joe, you should have brought out Lugia with Thunderbolt, you moron. We are so gonna lose Ho-Oh again now. And yep, we flinched again. I think we should have come into this battle better prepared, boys, and Hillary. Although you can leave now if you want. How the hell is this Charizard so fast? It literally just air slashed us to death and we are using Ho-Oh of all things. That's fine, Obama. I am here now to save the day with my water type moves, so this Charizard will feel the wrath of the mighty Joe Biden. And you're dead, Joe, so now what? Okay, this is our last Pokemon, Joe. So please to God, will you revive some of our team? You don't need to act all cool. We know you're good at battling, kinda. This guy has Dragon Pulse on his Charizard too. This is Mental Guy's Red is the worst thing I've ever had to deal with. Oh, thank God the gods heard our prayer and air slashed mist for once. OMG. All right, Joe, Venusaur is the last Pokemon you can do this. I know it. Okay, I'm gonna revive Typhlosion and take down this green thing with Eruption. Now I have had enough of red. You better, Joe, because I can just see us getting poisoned with Sludge Bomb at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if Arceus just appeared and zapped us all with judgment. And there's the poison, Obama. But I say just let Gyarados die, Joe, so we can switch out to Typhlosion and win this horrible battle. All right, boys, here we go. Say bye bye to Red. And I wonder where he goes after this battle, too. I heard a rumor that he may have fallen off the mountain in shock of losing. OMG, that battle is finally done, boys. So well done, and thanks to Hillary as well for coming out to support Joe. You are most welcome, Joe, and well done, you three, for beating Pokemon Heart Gold. Next time, I think they will do the Elite Four rematch battles and catch some legendary Pokemon. So thanks for watching their video, everyone. And please remember to like and subscribe.